everybody today we are starting a new game and it is called Chrono Cross now you might be wondering why are you playing such an old game because I mean clearly it's old I think it was made in like 1999 so I'll explain that a little bit but first let's kind of go ahead and watch the beginning part uh, this kind of little video you'll kind of see some of the characters that we're gonna be uh, playing with a little bit of the story um, but basically this is my favorite game of all time. I don't know if you've looked in the description of all my videos, but uh, one of the questions is, what is your favorite game? This is it, Chrono Cross, uh, an RPG made for the PS1. And basically for the past three years on YouTube, <clears throat> I've wanted to play this game. I just never did. Uh, but now I finally gone ahead, downloaded an emulator, it's on my computer, and yeah. This is going to be a series. I'm 100% finishing the entire game throughout. This is not one of those series that I'm going to quit on. It's my favorite game of all time. I'm going to finish it. And who knows, this might even be maybe the last uh, series on my channel ever. Basically, this series will take us up until summer, then I go to college. So who knows, my favorite game of all time might be my last. But, let's go ahead, watch this trailer and then we'll start playing the game itself and you can hear in the background this music is fantastic I still listen to the soundtrack like by myself sometimes like it's a good soundtrack now the one thing is the quality seems a bit weird I think there is a way to have better quality but I'm not a genius with emulators so I'm not particularly sure it's fine though. Either way, this game doesn't look great. So, mainly what I'm showing you guys is right now the music, the feel. The old PS1 RPG 2000 days, if you know what I mean. And then, yeah, after this little cutscene, we're gonna get started. And, uh, this is gonna be one of those series where if you're not interested in it, don't watch. Um, yeah, it's the least I can say. It's not a new game, it's basically. 18 years old. I'm 18, this game is 18 years old. It's perfect. Chrono Cross. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I have to press one of these buttons, I think. Yeah, one of those buttons. Uh, my setup's a little wonky, like I said, I'm not a master with emulators. Let's go ahead and start a new game, Vibration. Yes, let us get that vibration on. What are we going to name ourselves? You know what I'm going to do? <clears throat> I would change my name to Aqua, but you know what? The character is Surge. I'm going to leave it as Surge. All names are going to be default. I'm not going to change it to Aqua because, well, it's not me. It's not the way I see it. So, yeah. And one thing that you're going to notice is we're going to have three characters right in the beginning. We're going to have Surge and we're going to have two other characters. Those two, so this game is really weird in its storytelling. Basically, right now, we're starting out in the middle of the game. Once we get a little section done of the middle of the game, we go back to the beginning, and then we start from the beginning, and we'll come back here later in the game. But basically right now, you're not gonna know these characters. They just give you Kid, which is the girl in the red, and then they give you a random character. But we will meet these characters throughout the game. And another thing, you could tell how old this game is because there's the text, but they don't actually have a voice. They don't have voice lines for any of them. Maybe a couple grunts and stuff, but yeah. So, I don't know if I'm going to read the text. I think I will. Yeah, kinda let's, let's just get going. There it is. There's no turning back now. Oi. Okay, you know what? I'm not going to read it because some of these things, people have accents. I take it back. I'm not reading it. Uh, but I'll try to go decently slow for those of you that actually do want to read. But the one thing is, I am a fairly fast reader. So, hopefully you guys can keep up. But the dialogue isn't uber important. Basically, any of the big plot points I'm going to show you guys anyway. Okay, so that's that. Okay, that is running. So over here, uh, we actually can't do anything over here. This is just a balcony. And this will be a full playthrough. So I'm going to try to get every chest that I can. Any, like, 
um, cutscenes that I can. I'm gonna try to get gather all the characters. Obviously, I'm not the completionist. I'm not gonna do a 100% playthrough, but I will try my best to get near 100. So, how combat works in this game is it's if you guys ever played Chrono Trigger, uh, this is Chrono Cross. This is its sequel, uh, but it's just like that. So you don't meet random encounters. You actually meet encounters on the map. So if I run into that, I will fight it. And I usually don't fight, but for this one time, I will show you guys how to defeat this. I can just kind of run past it, but again, just to show you the mechanics. And it is a little bit from Chrono Trigger, because you do go in an arena type style. So basically, at the bottom, you can see HP and stamina. Um, so you can defend, run away, element, or attack. And element is basically magic, which we don't have yet, but we will get later. So with attack, you can choose someone to attack, and you have three ways to attack. One, two, three. And then each of them has a bigger chance to hit. So 59%, 79%, 92%. And then the lower the chances, the stronger the attack. So let's just do one of these. It hits, 29. We hit the two, it's only 18. So you can kind of tell the damage. It's kind of like a risk reward type thing. And this is Kid. I think overall my favorite character in the game. And see, now she only has one stamina. Basically, there's no point to attack, so I'm going to go ahead and defend. And then Razzy, she's obviously a character that we get later on. She's basically going to disappear after this cutscene. But she's supposed to be a healer type mage, so she's not really supposed to be attacking, but oh well. Okay, we can go to elements. So these are basically special attacks and magic, like I said earlier. And then each of these is kind of on a level, but we'll, we'll go through that more later. For now, we'll use Meteor Shower. But yeah. Uh, this is a classic RPG, guys. Turn-based RPG. Bang, bang. That should kill it. There we go. So yep, that is how combat works. And actually, Kid, like I said, uh, my favorite character in this game for sure. Maybe not in the entire like video game universe, but just to even prove that she... Oh, oh no, I need to get away from that bat. Just to prove that she really is my favorite. She's actually the background. Oh, oh no! Okay, never mind. You know what? I won't show you guys. And actually, I'm actually misspoken. The background on my phone is Annie from League of Legends, but the background on my computer, which I'm not going to show you because I have to mess up the recording, is actually Kid. Let's go ahead and run away from that bat. Because basically, nothing that I do right now actually matters. So I might as well just kind of get through it. And uh, you guys gotta remember, this game is the sequel to Chrono Trigger. Uh, infamously for its very, very complicated storyline. So if you guys don't understand the storyline, you can leave a comment below and I can try to answer your question, or you can easily just kind of Google it, uh, go to the Wikipedia page or something. But that being said, the story is very, 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 very complicated. The good thing about this game is it was made in a way where it's not directly tied to Chrono Trigger in a sense. You could get the full picture of the story without Chrono Trigger. You don't actually have to play Chrono Trigger to be able to understand this story. It, it's helpful, but you don't have to. And like I said, all of this that I'm doing right now, you're not actually really supposed to understand in a sense, but that's kind of just how games worked back then, I guess. But yeah, we kind of get warped up. And we're gonna have a little cutscene here in a second, and then we will be teleported back to the beginning, or to the beginning of the game where we will start our adventure. And another thing is, this is gonna be one of those games where I kinda mass record. So I'm just gonna sit here for like five, six hours and record it. And I'm not gonna be feeling, uh, you know, I don't know. Because the whole intro outro thing is gonna be kind of annoying. Who knows? Okay. But, uh, I was about to say, maybe I'm not going to do it. I'll just kind of, like, to be continued and then go on to the next episode. But you know what? I might actually do it. I'll just have to kind of take a look at the timer, so especially on my phone. So right now it's 3.51, so at f around 4.20, <laughs> uh, we have to stop. But, yeah. And... 
I've been talking constantly. I'm not gonna be doing this entire time. Most of the time, I'm probably not going to be talking. So, just putting that out there. So, you might not understand any of that. Of course, I understand it. I know exactly what's going on there, but I'm not going to spoil the game this early on. That'd be quite stupid of me. So, I'm going to leave that a complete mystery until we get to that part. So obviously, because if I told you what happened right there, obviously, you would, like, huge spoilers later on. But we have the cliche beginning. Little boy has a dream. or It wasn't a dream, but, you know... And he wakes up in his bed at his town. Seems like every game kind of starts like this. Every Pokemon game. Every Zelda game. Every Final Fantasy game. But man, this music is so good. You guys, it's probably just nostalgia on my part. But man, I do love this music. But yeah, you could kind of tell... Graphics aren't the best, but you know what? This isn't my favorite game because of the graphics. So, You're finally up. Uh, did you have plans to meet with Lena? Lena came to see if you were up, but you, young man, were still never. You shouldn't break promises like that. Girls can be pretty scary if you make them angry. True. Uh, yeah, Lena is basically like supposed to be like kind of like future wife type girl. So, I'm not going to go through this entire town, but basically, over there, some village elders with a couple animals running around. Really nothing to do there. A bunch of these houses are enterable. There's kind of people with a bunch of cutscenes. Uh, this lady right here is basically the first place where you can buy stuff. So, you can buy elements and armor from the vendors in this game. I'm not going to need any weapons or armor because I don't really have enough money, but I will buy some elements if I have some money. I do have 100G. Uh, let's buy... Um, this is not a consumable. Oh, okay. Let's just buy a fireball and let's buy an aqua beam. There we go. And let's go to the main menu. So the main menu looks we could save, load, customize our items, which are like story game items, equips. So these are, our, uh, this is like obviously like our armor weapons, uh, status and elements. And we can allocate our kind of things here. So right now we have a tablet, cure, and let's go ahead and put fireball on here. Uh, cure. Let's go ahead and put aqua beam on that one. And let's go ahead towards Lena, which is on the beach. Or port thingy. We gotta go talk to her. That's not supposed to happen. Alright everybody, I did that entire thing over again. Now we're back. So, we were supposed to get Komodo scales from El Paso Beach. Uh, but I was a sleepyhead, slept in. Uh, so now we're gonna have to go get them by ourselves, but that's fine. And then, unbeknownst to us, that person to the bottom left will carry us on our boat some point in the game or him her I don't know looks like she I don't even know if that's a girl or a boy yeah but we must get that Komodo scale necklace so we gotta go get some scales and then she's gonna meet us uh, is that okay with you Serge yep no problem let's go get them scales let us go get them scales. And uh, how we're going to have to do that is basically there's these little Komodo dragon thingies. We have to trap them because they will run away from me. And this is the exit to the town right here. And how this game works, just like any, any other RPG, there's a like a home map type thing. So the beach is right over here. And there's a couple places we're going to have to visit in the game. So to our left is going to be a grave site. Uh, the canyons, how we're going to get to a lot of the map. There's a Hydra Marsh and a uh, waterfall over there where we, where we get the mythical Chrono Cross, but I'm not going to get into that. Let's go ahead and save memory card one, and we're going to overwrite 
our other save, which was a test test play. So now if the game crashes, it's at least saved. But yep, uh, I think we have to grab three. Do, do. And then let's push this rock out of the way. And those big blue things, uh, they don't get what we need, but I want to get to that treasure chest. So it looks like we're going to have to fight them. I'm not going to fight the ones that we don't need to, but in this case, he's behind a treasure chest, so I'm going to be happy to be fighting them. Boop, boop, boop. Let's kill Sand Squirt first. Oh, okay, good. Good hit, good hit. Let's go ahead and hit him with that 55. And then let's defend. Let's go to him. Let's hit him with the two. Yeah, I was gonna say that should kill him. Defend. Then we'll have seven stamina. So we should be able to two hit him. Just like that. And then of course we get items at the end. Humor, humor, and a fang. Let's see if that was worth it. Fireball. Eh, I guess it was worth it. Not really. Okay, so that's one of the Komodo dragons that we're going to have to get. So, basically, we have to move this rock to trap it. So we move that rock there. And then we make a run to there. Where are you going, buddy? By the way, when I first played this when I was a kid, this took forever because I didn't know how to do this stuff. So it might look easy, but at the time it was pretty complicated. Uh, I guess let's kill the Komodos. There we go. I wasn't happy with the automatic 50. Because these things have good agility, I think. Let's hit it with one and then defend. Yeah. And the big dudes will pull off fire spells. See? Oh, I missed. There we go. At least he's dead. Okay, well, we didn't get to defend, but that's fine. But we should be able to kill the... Oh, okay, actually, just defend. He's gonna hit us again, but not for much. Let's attack him. Bam. Oh, I missed! There we go. Maybe that... Okay, I was gonna say, maybe that'll kill him. It did. That's pretty good. Alright, we got two more HP. Let's do it. So, that is a Komodo scale. We have to go get two more. Let's do this. And yeah, it might sound like I'm kind of rushing through the game. Well, I know the beginning of this game very well. So, I'm going to be rushing through the beginning because I know it. Once we get to later parts of the game, I'm not going to know the game as well. I don't know what to do. I can't, I'm can't. i pretty sure. Do I have to just like chase this one down? I'm pretty sure I just chase. Yeah, this one I just chased down. I don't think we actually trapped that one. Apparently, this was a slow Komodo. Let's go ahead and try to go for that 50. Bam. Nice. Maybe we can insta-kill this one too. Bam. All right. I like it. Didn't even give him a turn to attack, we just slice and dice him. Ba -ba -ba -ba. And I actually, I, pro I did this in the wrong order. I probably shouldn't have came this way because the beach is over to our left. Oop. And there's a Komodo over here in this piece of land. So I probably should have done it that one and then this one, but it doesn't really make a difference. Uh, this one is blocking a chest, right? Yeah, this one's blocking a chest. I want to get that chest. I know there's probably not even good stuff in it, but... You know what? Okay, let's go ahead and kill big guy first. Oh! Kill him. There we go. It doesn't really do anything for me, but hey, he's dead at least. Let's just defend. Can't do no damage to me. Let's hit him with the three. Wham. Go ahead and defend up. Right, let's hit him with that three. Bam. And the statistics say 55%, but uh, I don't believe it. 
I think they're very, very generous about it. Because 55%, I hit them like 90% of the times, so. Okay, how am I supposed to push this? Hello? What is this rock? There we go. Okay. How long will it take to get to the surface? This is gonna... Okay, I was like, this thing's gonna float forever. Silver... Oh, hold on. What is that? Oh, I think that's an accessory. Improves hit percent. I'll take it. Okay, that was actually worth getting then. Because that gives me a... Uh, item. So basically, we have to jump on top of this thing. Yeah. So let's get up here. Oh, no! Okay, I want to not fight that thing. Can we... No! Okay, I guess we're fighting it. Whatever. Whatever. Or we could just run away, I'm pretty sure. But you know what? I need the experience anyway. That's how RPG games are. Hit him. Bah. I'm going to need the experience anyway. Because, of course... There's a boss coming up, so... I'll beat it, obviously, no matter what, but... Let's get a, let's get a fireball going, you know what I mean? Boom. And spells are pretty strong. And since it's... This game has the kind of, like, method of certain things being strong against other things, kind of like Pokemon. I don't know if... Water sh or fire is fire strong against water in this game? That'd be kind of wonky, but maybe that's a thing. I have no idea. Boop, boop, boop. If I do a whoop? what? Dodge twice? What kind of garbage is this? What kind of garbage is this? Don't dodge. Alright, everybody. So, I have played my way through all the way around. Gotten the two Komodo scales, gathered everything back up. And we, right now, we're in the midst of fighting right where we left off right here. So let's keep going. Hopefully the game doesn't crash like that very often. If it does, I'm going to have to deal with it. Um, that's the thing. When I downloaded this emulator, it came with the risk. Okay. It came with the risk of crashing, and I've heard it crashes often. So, um, I expected this. Jump! No! Okay, we gotta remember, it jumps like right at this corner over here. We're gonna have to remember that. When we come back around. It jumps like right at that line. I was hoping we wouldn't have to like defeat all of these again that would suck okay so okay bam what that was bull crap I landed on that thing I don't want to hit none of that Wow at least the music is good how can I get mad when music is this good jump on you. Bam! Right on him. Right him. Hit him with that three. Let's not give him any time. Hit him with that three. Okay. I could hit him with an element, but I'm not going to for a certain reason you're about to see. Fireball. Ba, 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 ba. I only seven damage. I thought I'd be way more than that. 
Twenty percent. Oh, wow. That's too fun. Bam! Straight. Ooh, oh, some damage. Aw, oh, come on. Don't hit me with that. That was really bad. I missed a lot of shots. That was bad. That was bad. Wow. Oh, okay, I was like, that does... Is that, that damage? Okay, we... We have to stop doing that. Like, we really have to stop doing that. Okay, fine. I'll just go with these safe ones. Oh, he's dead. Okay. And guys, I have... I'm starting to realize more and more that these graphics are worse than they're supposed to be. Because even like the things on screen, they kind of seem a bit blurry. Okay, let's go meet up with Lena at the beach. I think that's all the scales. We could go down there, but uh, I don't know if I'm feeling that. I don't know if I'm feeling that. And I'm not gonna lie, I kind of want to go save because I'm scared the game's gonna crash. And we can save right here. So we're gonna go ahead. Save. Yes, please. Save that mem- save that progress. If I lose that progress, I will cry. Opasa Beach. Now, this is truly where the story begins. There you are. Yeah, I'm right here. How you doing? Sorry I'm late. I hope you didn't wait too long, Surge. And a lot of Let's Players do funny accents and voices. I'm not one of them. Well, how'd it go? Did you get the Komodo Dragon Scales or whatever that said? Oh, they're beautiful. I'll be able to make a great necklace with these. Thank you, Surge. It sure has been a long time since we came here. We used to come all the time. Yeah, actually, the background of my PC is a photo of this exact ocean. The seed never changes, does it? It's been rolling in and out like this since long before we were born. It's been here for eternity, it seems. It's probably seen many things, heard many things. It'll probably keep rolling in and out, in and out, long after our lifetime without a single change. Hey, Serge. Remember we used to sit and talk like this when we were kids? the gentle sea breeze and the tranquil sound of the waves just the two of us talking do you still remember that day yes i do remember i don't really you do nope uh so serge you haven't forgotten about the promise we made that day hee <laughs> hee that makes me happy oh that's good but aren't memories strange just when you think that you've forgotten about something it comes floating back into your heart i guess it's just lying there and wait waiting for the right moment why, we might even remember this very moment someday, in 10, 20 years, when we're all grown up and married, and have kids of our own. And then one day, the time comes, and wonder what kind of adults we'll be, what kind of life we'll be leading. I wonder what to make of this day. We'll never forget this day. Yeah, I hope you're right. Um, Serge, there's been something I've been waiting to... Bum, bum, bum. Serge. What? What's wrong, Serge? Serge, the ocean is coming, my dudes. The ocean is coming.
Okay, well, I'm definitely going to figure out what's the crash, like what's going on with that. I don't know if I'll be able to fix it, but I need to find a way around it because it's going to be a big issue. I've recorded one half an hour episode and I've crashed four times. That's not appreciated. Especially when we get deeper in the story, I'm not going to have as many chances to save. So, uh, after this episode, I'm actually going to be taking a little break, maybe trying to figure out what's going on. But it's fine. For now, it's fine. So, we woke up on a beach, huh? Where's Lena? You were the only one I saw when I got here. Are you a friend of Lena's? I believe she's in the village babysitting. Well, I best be on way. If you're looking for Lena, you should stop by the village. You know you shouldn't be playing out here, boy. Wouldn't want anything to happen to you now. So, I know what just happened. You don't know what just happened. And I'm not going to tell you because, once again, spoilers, spoilers. It's so hard. When you actually know what's going on, like, to me, it's, like, really obvious what just happened. But, like, obviously, first time people watching this, they don't know very well what just happened. But, um, boom, boom, new animals. Let's just jump, jump down this hole real quick. Let's go get this chest. Found a feather. What's over here? That's the real question. No. Um. Is there anything over here? I don't even. I don't even think so. All right. Let's go back. Back down the hole. And, uh, let's try not to fight these things for now. Unless we have to. Yeah, I guess we'll just go down through here. want to get that chest. No, I hit it! Alright, well, we should probably fight one of these things. Just to kind of look at the animations and such. Dun, dun, dun. Don't dodge! Okay. Dang it, it lived. Alright, seems like both of them want to take bites out of me. Oh, okay, I'm not even in good condition. Why do both of them want to take bites out of me? Alright, let's go to this one. Hit! Dude! So annoying. This will defend. You must die. Bam. Don't let him attack. Hit him without one piece. Alright. Get that stuff out of the way. We'll get this chest. Find another bone. Oh. I guess... I'm so used to them running away from me. That was weird, it just actually standing there. Oh, we got some more enemies. Don't dodge! Haha! -ha. Don't dodge! Aha! And just to make this quick, because I won't kill the thing with a single strike. We will kill it with one fireball, so get that out of the way. I'm sure at some point I'll stop singing along. Once I get further into the game and hear it a couple million times, I'll probably start being more annoyed than... Yeah. Whatever I was about to say. I want to get that chest too, so... Let's hope the game doesn't crash while we're in the middle of this. Wow. They get priority? What kind of garbage is this? Yeah, see, one of the things you kind of see is at the top left, um, you can see that little, like, really faded out circle. That's this field, field effect. Basically, I think the more color of an element it is, like, the stronger the element is or something, or kind of what's been used recently. So, that is supposed to be, like, pretty solid and clear so you could see it, but in the game itself, it you could barely read field effect. So I don't know why that looks so crusty, but I'll definitely have to play with this ivory helmet. Let's go over here. 
place that boy on top of our little brain. Let's get out here. And we're actually going to end off the episode right here. So next episode, we'll go talk to Lena. And we'll continue the game. But for now, I will end here because the crashing is causing me a bit of trouble. So I'll have to figure all that stuff out. But no problem. Best game of all time. I can handle it. So guys, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to like comment as well as the channel. And I will see you guys later. God bless. And goodbye. Alright everybody, we are back with some more Chrono Cross. Since the last episode, I did manage to fix a couple issues. Uh, the graphics are going to be way better, especially in battle. You'll see once we get into it. I don't think I've fixed the crashing issue. Hopefully it crashes less. Uh, I don't know, but that's kind of what you get with these uh, emulators. So, let's just continue. I think we have to go to Arnie and to see Lena because something did happen at the beach, and it's a little bit weird. I know what's going on, but I'm not gonna spoil it, but let's go talk to Lena. But you could already tell, the graphics are a bit better. I did play with some of the, so even like the text is better. I played with some of the settings in the emulator. I look like a boy who used to live next to me, huh? So clearly she doesn't recognize me. That boy died. He drowned when he was very young. This all happened 10 years ago. Soon after his mother passed away too. I was still very young back then so I don't remember. But his name was Serge. Surprise, surprise, that's my name. So clearly the kid is dead in here. You can find his grave up at Cape Howell. Actually, why don't you visit their site? No one's been up there. Still have some chores to finish. Goodbye, stranger. Okay, so I went to the beach, something happened, and apparently these people don't recognize me. So let's go head up to Cape Cowell. Another thing that I did off, uh, off camera, that lady right there that sells stuff, I ended up buying a couple elements, like just antidotes and heals, so nothing big. Okay, Powell is right here, though. So let's go head up to K. Powell. There's nothing over there. And I did fight also some enemies as kind of like a test. Because I was trying to figure out um, whether the game would crash on me or not. So I ended up just doing a bit, a bit of fighting. But it was only like simple enemies. Nothing big. Let's go ahead and equip that Electro Jolt, though. Nope, wrong place. Elements, no. Okay, come on, David. Allocate, there we go. Let's go ahead and put Electro Jolt. We did, I think, level up to get another one. Oh, hold on. Okay, I was like, why can't I put Electro Jolt there? Alright, cool. Alright, ooh, not item. Let's go ahead up to Cape Howl. Or, I don't know, Cape Cowl, Cape Cowl, whatever. I don't know, it doesn't matter. There's something written on the tombstone. Rip, our beloved Surge, died age seven. Nobody can take anything away from him, nor can anyone give him, give anything to him. What came from the sea has returned to the sea. So you must be Surge, the ghost of the boy who died ten years ago. Don't move. It's no use. There's no escape that way. All you have to do is come with us. Mr. Karsh, do you think it is truly 
true that this chap is a ghost. He seems like a perfectly perfect young... God, the way he talks is annoying. That doesn't matter. We found the boy here just as he said we would, didn't we? Now seize him. Hold ya, your seahorses. And, uh... There's Kid, finally. Ooh, the... Out of the way, miss. You don't want to get hurt now, do you? I'm not going to even try to read her lines. Like I said, she has like an Australian accent or something, so... You have a problem? Do you have a shaken idea of who you're dealing with, missy? That's enough. Alright, come on. Let's just fight him already. Listen up, Junior. Orders are to take you in. We don't want to hurt you. Just come with us. Or else this axe, oh mine, will have to do the talking. For crying out loud, why don't you shut up and get it on with it? I'm gonna kick your so hard you'll kiss the moons. Alright, let's do this. Boom, 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 boom. Fair enough. You lose no choice. You'll regret this, Missy. Let's fight. Alright, let's do this. Um let's take out uh, let's go soul first. Okay. Hit him with the two. Bop. He doesn't do much damage, actually. Sir, his in his innately inane element color attribute is white. Right, that does it. Quick, attack him with the opponent element attributes color black. So, kind of like the whole Pokemon theme, things are good and strong against each other. Uh, I don't know how to, so they don't have any black. You should always carry elements of every color, then how are you, blah, blah, blah. I'm shaking in my shoes to tell you this, sir, but I don't have any either. We'll have to let you, sir, car, show us how it's done. Useless fools, or er, real men don't need magic when they can fight with their might. So, yeah. Surge is white. Oh, so you would use black magic against them, but they're dumb. They, they forgot it. Set him with the two. Oh, come on, don't attack. Eight. Oh, yeah, that doesn't actually do much. Let's go ahead and use an element fireball. I think fire is red is good against green, right? Should be. I don't know. Uh, it didn't seem too good, I don't think. Well, let's go ahead and take this guy out. Good hit. Man, these guys attack often. It's kind of annoying. Hit it. Okay, that was a good hit. Again. It's kind of annoying. I can't even finish off like a wave of attacks. Uh, let's go ahead and use Magma Bomb. This is basically Fireball, but targets multiple enemies. There goes Salt. Oh. Let's go take out Pepor second. Hit it. Nice. Hit that three. Hit him with that two. And then he's yellow. That's not going to work. We'll hit him with the fireball, though. Now, I'm hoping to get this battle done quickly so I can go ahead and save. So if the game crashes, I don't lose his progress. Okay, so he's done. Let's go ahead and... Missed. Okay, hit him with that one. Does she have pilfer? Uh, she, I think, will get a special ability where you can steal items from people. Usually bosses have better items than just, like, normal creatures. So, you usually want to pilfer people like this. Uh, let's go ahead and use Electro Jolt. Maybe... Maybe yellow is good against green. Yes, okay. It does seem like yellow is good against green. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. Alright. Technically, that was a boss fight. Oh, we got a good couple materials nice very nice i'll take it sir karsh i say we shake it out of here so that we can live by the way if you've kind of tell salt and pepper salt and pepper yeah uh where these aren't ordinary brats we're dealing with cowards as for you missy we won't forget you oh i'm so scared all right well thanks kid you are right mate Surge, your name's Surge, ain't it? 
Well, right now her name is girl because we don't know her name, but her name is kid. Just oh me, my names. Her name is kid. I'm gonna leave it as kid. That is her name. Call me kid. Nice to meet ya. I just couldn't stand by and watch those blokes gang up on you like that. They just pissed me the bloody hell out of the. Uh, yeah, I wish I could. Okay. Yeah, I don't know how to read that. Uh, but why was that mob after ya? No idea. What do you mean you never even met him before? Eh. Ah, forget it. Hey, Serge, how about you and me team up for a while? That car fella ain't gonna leave you alone, that's for sure. So I'm pretty sure in this part of the story, we either choose for her to come with us or for Lena to come with us. Uh, boy, I'm, I don't honestly don't really even like Lena. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna let Kid... Let Kid travel with us. Because I like Kid. She's my favorite character. Beauty mate that decides that they're real good mates now. Yeah. Anyways, it'll be getting dark soon. I guess we head up to Arnie and shack up for the night. Oh, and Serge, don't go trying any funny stuff just because I'm cute and all. Alright, I'll try my best. Let me save. I really need to save. I just put. I'm not taking no chances. Oi, let's get our arses down to Termina. Alrighty, tidy. Let's do this. Oh yeah, man. I nearly forgot. Let me give you this. It's a teleporter. You'll be able to switch your party members from afar. All you have to do is. Oh, it's a planner. Uh, let's, let's look it up in the menu. So I'm pretty sure. I'll look it up in the menu in a second here. I'm just gonna run outside and save. Uh, who the? What are you doing in my house? My is a playground for kids. All right, go play outside. Um, Marge, who the? He so, Serge lived here, and his mom was supposed to be here. Uh, I've been in the house for five years now. Sorry, that name doesn't ring a bell. So, whatever with all your gibberish, man. You better get out of here. So yeah, uh, in this, uh, cause I don't, I don't want no spoilers. But basically, his mom is dead in this place. Ugh, no spoilers. But his mom is dead. Uh, I'm pretty sure Lena said that in the earlier dialogue. But let's go ahead and uh, quickly hit up a save. Quickly hit up a save. Bam. Alright, so even if we crash, it won't matter. At least, not too much. I'll be able to make it up in like 30 seconds. Let's go see if... Does she have any new elements? Let's see. Anything new? Nope. Okay. That's fine. And then... Oh, there's the crash. Alright, so we saved in basically the perfect time. So now, we gotta go to Termina, which is basically through this canyon. So, let's go ahead. Continue on our journey. Our excavation is nearly complete. You're stuck to the low pad. Make sure you wake. We have some of our men working on the high ground, so do not interfere with their work. So yeah, basically, before all of that, we actually couldn't get through this valley. Um, but I never really came here because I knew I couldn't go through it. But now that that's kind of done, we can go through That's why I said, now you're good to go. Because technically, I was supposed to come here and not be allowed. But obviously, I knew I wasn't going to be allowed, so I just didn't bother. But yeah, oh, I feel in battle. Now you can see kind of things look a lot better. You can finally see the field effect too. And yeah, um, about the crashing, I don't really know what I can do other than try a new emulator or a new, like, copy. I don't know. But that's a little bit too much work and I don't want to lose a save file. So I'll just have to kind of work through it. So we we're later in the game we're gonna go up there and find some stuff, do some things. For now, no. But yeah, I don't know. I guess we'll just have to deal with this, and I'll have to try to strategically save. Also, that big bird up there we can fight, but it's a really tough bird. So we should probably come back when we're a little bit higher level than take that on. Oh, uh, why can't we should get back to the matter like this? We failed in our mission. That was awfully awful back there, Pepper. I want a rematch, by the way. Do you remember what kind of outfit he was shaking? Hmm. Just something just like that, Pepper. Oh, you remember, so he looked like that, huh? Actually, it's him, Pepper. Uh, so you're sure about that wonderfully wonderful thing, Pepper? Let's shake it. We're really gonna shake it to you this time. Let's go fight them again. Yeah, again. 
so many of these things are supposed to be spaced apart for a new player, but since I kind of know what I'm doing, I'm kind of just like beelining it through. This time I made sure to bring the black helmet with me, Pet Boar. Good, we'll shake it on him and attack him with it. Affirmative, affirmative. So apparently he has some black magic now. Let's see if he does. Turn black. Yeah, see that, um... Oh, dearly dear. That was no black attack element you just used, was it? He was a black element that makes your foe more susceptible to attacks of the opposite white, wasn't it? I'm afraid you're right. How so he turned me black. He didn't really attack me. You did bring a white attack element with you, didn't you? If you didn't bring one with you, you're more stupid than I thought. Or I'm awfully awful. I'm afraid I didn't. So, yeah. These guys are kind of supposed to be stupid. But hey, I'll take it. Makes it easier fight for me. Yeah, these guys are basically like the humor in all this. So he strengthened himself, which isn't gonna do much for him. Wham. Wham. Let's go ahead and fireball him. Bam. Let's go ahead and defend. Pet board box. So this is kind of a special ability, although it's not very strong. Hit him with the double. I probably should have used Magma Bomb earlier instead of Fireball, but oh well. Honestly, doesn't like really matter. Bam. Good stuff. Bum 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 bum. bum. It's another boss, more levels up. We got a new element, Uplift. Retreat, let's shake it on out of here. So again, we could try to take on that bird, but it's not a super good idea because we'll die. We need to be quite a few more levels up before we try to take that on. But of course, now we are out here on the other side of the, uh, the little landmass. Let's save so we don't crash. just like that okay so now we can go over here to like I think there's like a marsh the manor which we can't get into where we're supposed to go is over here into Termina which is basically like the biggest city in the game sorry I'm totally out of the Bellflower out of Bellflowers there's a big ruckus down in the Fossil Valley men from the Dragoons were setting roadblocks in the valley I'll get some in a few days so come back again then Young man, you have many, you have my sincerest apologies. I understand we are here to prep to you as Casey Dragoons. Those knights should be done with their work shortly. Oh, that's all right. I can get my flowers from other places too. Never mind that. I haven't seen cards around him lately. How is he doing? Well, he said he was going to ghost hunting down south. I'm just a private, so I do not know for certain, but I heard a rumor that Lord Viper ordered him to do that. So, or some dude sent him for me, a ghost. Now that is something. I just hope it's not a sign of coming disaster. If you see him... Give him my regards. I will do that, and I will be back. Oi, did you hear that? Karsh is that bastard that we saw at the Cape, and that ghost he's hunting. Ain't that you, mate? So that Acacia Dragoon mob is behind after this. Let's check this place out a bit more. So yeah, now we shall explore the city. And we'll... What, what was that? You don't know who he is? Ah, he must be one of the tourists here. So, that boy is your sweet Glenn, a member of the Kish. Uh, pretty popular with the people here, but it really surprised me to see that naughty little boy grown so much. It makes me feel my age, Sigh. So, let's hunt as much as we can until I crash. Uh, welcome, would you like to stay with us? Basically, this is an inn. That you can stay to refill your HP, but I don't really need that. And e these are save points. So you could save only on the outside map and these save points right here. So while I'm here, might as well hit up a save. Just like that. Oh, did I click on it again? The end is a hotspot of rogues, blah, blah, blah. Can we go inside these rooms? We can. Let's see if there's anyone interesting in them. Okay, so she, she's saying that there's a kid. 
Uh, blah, blah, blah. This guy has nothing good to say. Basically, what she told us is that there's a kid with a boat, which will be useful information for later. Just run into here. <clears throat> okay. And, uh, the crashing, it seems like it happens about every 12 to 15 minutes. So, <clears throat> I'm expecting a crash in the next three minutes, if it is based on time. Alright, so there's a bar and Lisa's in. Let's, let's check out both of these. So these guys are talking something about a frozen flame. Which will be part of the storyline later. Welcome, our house is open all, but don't allow any... Put your feet up and have a grand time. Okay, uh... Okay. Hehe, <laughs> the blah, 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 blah. I don't really care about their dialogue. Let's talk to this guy. My name is Giel. I'm having a certain bet with a fortune teller by the bridge. If I can bring the item of proof from the manor within a week, I shall... If I cannot, I shall lose. So he needs to get something from the manor. As there's a trick behind any mysterious matter, there's no such thing as a impregnable fortress in the world of toast to my coming victory. So, he needs to go to the manor. And, wink wink, we're probably going to have to go into the manor at some point too. Let's go check out Lisa's in thing. I'm pretty sure we can buy elements here. How may I help you? Yeah, we can buy elements here. Let's go ahead and buy... Uh, these are both... Go we'll buy one of these, one of these, one of these, one of these, and one of these. Or two of those. Alright. Let's head on out of here. And, uh, let's go see... Master Viper, I'm here to polish your statue again. So that's apparently the guy that sent those three after us. Alright, squeaky clean. I've got it to be extra clean for the coming festivities. Heavy folks come to the Viper Festival. Termin is a peaceful thanks to the watchful eye of our Master Viper at times. Time strict. He watches over. With that said, of course, the real Master resides in the manor along with his Acacia Dragoons. If you'll allow me to brag a little bit, I was invited to the manor a while back. It is a magnificent place. If there is a heaven on earth, that would be it. The manor is beautiful, and its design incorporates the surrounding terrain to its advantages, making it an incomparable fortress. On top of that, there are powerful soldiers standing guard in the front of the main gates that can destroy any monster with just one blow. While an upright citizen like myself might be invited to the monster's manor's garden party, but not so for you folks. The most of you will get is a cold reception from the gate guards. Ho, ho, ho. All right, that's settled. We've got to sneak into the Viper Manor. You got to find out what those are up to. Uh, Why well, was Karsh? I've got some business there as well, so I'll go with you. How about it, Serge? Let's do this. It's an obvious choice, right? According to the Grandpa here, the Viper's Manor is a bloody large place, which also means it won't be an easy break to. There's got to be more than one way. If we don't plan this right, it'll cost us our lives, truly. So real quickly, we're gonna do two things. Uh, wait, no, we gotta go to the bar. Yeah. Like I said, this dude over here wanted to go. How you doing? There's no such thing. Okay. Home, so you have business the matter as well. Gambling is a lot more interesting with higher stakes. As a seasoned sailor. Okay, if you can find one, leave the rest to me. Okay, so let's go ahead and ask for his help. He will come with us to the manor. And of course, we're going to leave his name as Giel. Perfect, now we got three people. Once you find a boat, leave the rest to me, I shall guide you. I believe the fortune teller said the target for the bet is located at the manor's mess hall. So if you guys remember that one girl that was talking about uh, renting a boat, so that is going to be our next objective. But real quickly, I'm going to run and save at the end before I crash, because I'm at 25 minutes here. I am primed for a crash in. Nope, not like that. So let's go ahead, do up a save. Alright, cool. So, we saved our progress so far. 
So, before we actually find the boat, uh, let's make sure to explore the rest of the town, just kind of so we know what's up. So let's check out the building to our left and right. I'm just too cool. Okay. Let's see what's inside this house. And that is how six great dragoons sealed the dark evil and restored peace to the land of the end. Mama, do dragons really exist? How big are they? Oh, silly. This is a fairy tale. The old people made it up. But Mama, Corchus says dragons still exist. Are you still playing with that boy? How many times have I told you to stay away from them? Besides, how it's focused like that. It's making Goldov so remote to us on the main. Where in the world is there a such thing as a dragon tier? I'm sorry, Mama. The Corchus stories are fun to listen to. I already told last time about Master Viper's manner. was so scary. No buts. Anything the boy says is flat out lie. Any child that believes in such nonsense is not a child of this family. No way I belong to this family. Cough, cough. There, there, you're not going to get better if you don't listen to me. Now, if you promise me you won't play with Korcha anymore, I will tell the next story. I promise, so please tell me the next story. Yes, yes, what should I read up next? Uh, spoiler, dragons do exist. We'll see them later on, at some point. So we'll see what this house is about. What's going on? Yes, who might you be, Grandma? These are travelers passing through my mind, so sorry my eyes have become really weak in my old age, and I thought that my grandson had come back. My grandson was such a cute boy. He was really plump and cheerful and loved to make people laugh. That's why the boy joined the circus to become a clown. For the first few years, he wrote letters to me almost daily. He said he, how grateful the work was, although it was very how gratifying the work was, but it was challenging. One day, his letters suddenly stopped coming. I haven't heard from him since. I hope he wasn't in an accident or something. I just pray that I might see his cheerful face once more. Over the heavens, come claim my soul. Grandma keeps saying, so you tells me stories about him. We don't know where he is. If you ever meet him on our travels. And there is the crash. Bam. Okay, so 28 minutes. Hmm. Alright, so I'm not going to repeat uh, those two houses because... We were in there, no reason to go back. So we checked out this entire part of the town. Over there, you know what, actually, let's go ahead and check it out. Basically, we're about to end the episode, so let's just kind of check out everything before we leave. Me work, but work all day, tiring, need rest, when we blah, 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 this guy doesn't speak correctly. What are you looking at? I'm working here. Get out of my way. You're boring me. You're not working. What did you just say? Maybe you don't get by, but I'm here to oversee these demi humans. These guys always slack on the job. If you don't watch me carefully, I need to keep my eyes peeled. What's this about? Termina Festival. Authorized personnel only. You have no business. Keep moving. Let's see. Can we get. Can we do anything up here? Where are the twins back? I'm Yi and she is me. We are just backstage support for Nikki and Mickey. Mickey, whatever. Someday we're going to take the lead on the stage. But when will such a day ever come? Sigh. And I'm guessing that big crowd above is a line. Or people trying to see Nikki. The series off limits, all non-staff members keep out. So yeah, they're up there trying to see Nikki, but um clearly they can. So what we're gonna do real quick is we're gonna talk to a few people on the other side of town. And then we're gonna leave off the episode. Bada -ba -bum, bum, bum, bum. So yeah, we basically checked out everything in this area. Let's kind of go see what's up over here. Our mighty anxious, sorry, it'll just be a bit longer. I'll have these hot baked viper churros ready in a jiffy. What's that? You don't know what viper churros are? First, grind down. Okay. Uh, I don't really care. Okay, he just told us how to whatever. So this is a fortune teller. Let's see what she has to say. Who might you be? Fortunes be good, fortunes be bad. So anything from readings or destiny, searching for the missing. Do you wish your fortune to be read? Yes. Who would you? 
Let's do surges. Well, this is interesting. You're not dead or anything, are you? Has anybody called you back from the great beyond? You might just be the key to the destruction of this entire planet. Can't say for sure, but fate seems to have a great task for you. Be careful, my boy. Hey, Surge, that's nothing but rubbish. Let's hurry up and get moving. Hmm, you there. And your eyes, I perceive both the look of beauty and the look of a beast. Be mindful not to bring about your own end, my dear. A dream lies in wait, reaching out to engulf you. Sorry, ma'am, I don't believe in fortune telling. I make way f I make way for me own future by myself. Lastly, you should listen to your elder's advice. Ha, huh, I don't give a damn. Let's go, Surge. Okay. I don't think we need any more. So, that way to our right is the boat that we're going to need. And you know what, guys? We're going to end off the episode right here. We're going to check out the upper portion and the side portion in the next episode. For now, I'm going to go to the end, make sure we save our progress. But yeah, guys, that was it for today. We defeated Salt and Pepper twice, which was good. Made it through the canyon. Let's go ahead and save. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure you like and comment as it supports my channel. And I'll see you guys later. God bless and goodbye. All right, everybody, let's go ahead and continue with Chrono Cross. So last episode, we defeated Salt and Pepper. I'm just going to call them that at this point. Uh, and checked out Terminum and obviously went through that little valley. So let's go ahead and check out the rest of Termina today. And of course, get ourselves a boat to try to go to Viper Manor, which we'll investigate a little bit. Me, I love boats, but I can't become a sailor because I get seasick, so I decided to become a ship craftsman and build the fastest and awesomest boats ever. So my first step is to watch all the boats here to research, research, and research. Ain't I smart? Uh, yep, so the one that's docked is the best of them all, apparently. Let's go to the smithy. How you doing? Welcome. This here is the official blacksmith of the Acacia Dragoons. We'll carry only the best goods. Come and take a look. So yeah, we can make a bunch of stuff. Uh, and down at the bottom, you can see who it's, it'd be good for. Uh, let's go ahead and make the Copper Swallow. Uh, let's make... We can't make the Bronze Dagger. And we can't make that. Okay, can we make any armor? No, we're missing a bunch of stuff still. Um, so they need iron. Let's go ahead and make sure we've got right stuff equipped. So, bam. Nope. And let's go to the next character. Put an ivory helmet on her. Okay, we're good on everybody else. Zappa. Arch, how many times do I have to say it? Let the customers back here. How many years have you been my wife? What's a big ape like you doing worrying about such trivial stuff? Don't you complain on up a storm over here sir, coming to talk to you. And not just be just one or two, but three. You'll never uh, hard a craftsman like yours truly. Whatever. Come on. I expect it. Always fighting over something, Mr. Dario. Mr. Glenn once lived here peacefully. Mr. Dario used to watch over Mr. Glenn. Mr. Glenn respected his big brother more than anything else. They were poor but happy, thinking of each other's well-being. You can see that just by looking at this room, right? Hey, are you two listening to me? Gee whiz. So these two clearly something with each other. I'm not talking to him ever again. I'm not talking to my big brother ever again. Tournament of Swords, Youth Division, runner-up, Mr. Glenn. Um, 
Oh, that Johnny's working too hard to become a hero, but I wonder if he'll ever tell me I'll be your hero. Uh, come here, you little kid. Stop running. Huff, Huff, I'm working hard to become a future hero. The first step to heroes is building a good physique. So I'm running laps around here. How you doing, dog? Literally. Okay, let's head up to this big building. Wait a minute, I didn't check the corner of that building. There could be someone in the little corner. Right there, okay. Okay. There's not an item there either. Just making sure. Dude, you just did a moonwalk. I believe I am the right track, however. This kid's straight up to the moonwalk. What is your opinion? I think it's good. You really think so? I need to hone my skills a bit more. Father, when did you come home? I came back just a moment ago. The ship docked ahead of schedule. Have you been after a short break? I shall be on my way again. Oh, Father, off on another business trip again. Yes, that's right. This is an important matter. Business opportunity. I shall be gone for a while again. Why don't you paint less and start studying accounting for chance? You'll never make a living off painting. Is there anything you need? Tell the maid. She shall give you some money. Well, I'm off. Father had promised to go see the festival with me, but then he does not really care about the promises he makes to me. Poor boy. Wait, let's just make sure we don't... Tr we need... Okay. So I want to make sure we didn't trigger any storylines by talking to him. Alright, let's go ahead and head down to the right. Yo, or Yahoo. Hello there, come and see for yourself. This is the prize of all prizes, a rare catch, a live mermaid. This is what you call a real treasure. Remember that, kids. Unfortunately, this isn't one for sale. She's my most valuable item. So what do you think? This isn't some stuffed animal or anything. She's really alive. Her pure, pure, like it's made from crystal or gem-like eyes. She's the ultimate collector's item. Phew. Ages creations are indeed great. Such a beautiful thing. Is this thing really alive? Hey, come on, look over this way. Oh, how beautiful she is. Ah, there's a boy right there. Ouch. Hey, you, you think this is really fun? How would you feel if you were trapped in a tank like that, being stared at every... Yikes, yeah, it's Korcha, run. Korcha, not you again. Don't you go bother my customers. It's no place for likes of you. Just leave now. Shut up. What customers? You're selling a bunch of bull. Why don't you uncover when I show up? Hey, everybody, the shop is a bunch of baloney. Shut your mouth. Don't you say such ridiculous things. Get back to your demi-human friends. Hey, I won't take that from a sleaze bag like you. Hey, you guys, you're not from around here, eh? Don't you want to around? You're going to get burned. Just watch your back. Bam, right on it. I didn't even notice this boat was right below the bridge. Keep moving along. That's Korcha. He's from Goldove. I wonder why he hangs around here in Terminal all the time. You shouldn't mess with the likes of him, I tell you. He's nothing but trouble. I'm gonna go save real quick. I feel a crash coming on. I don't know if you guys have watched the recent episodes, but um, I'm using an emulator and it has crashing problems. It crashes about every 12 or so minutes. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure to save my progress while I'm here. So I don't lose anything. There we go. So, if we crash, I'll just redo a couple people I talked to over again and we'll be good. But, let's head back up. Let's head back up and... That is the person with the boat that that one girl was talking about earlier, and spoiler, spoiler, um, he's going to be the one to give us a ride to Viper Manor, which is our next destination with Kid and Giel. See, he's right there chilling like a villain. What business brings you here? There are only shrines here. You shouldn't disturb the resting peace of the brave who fought valiantly. There's no such place for outsiders to roam around. I don't mean to be harsh, but if you have no business here, leave now. I have some business, you don't don't worry about it. So she was this is unfortunate. Let us pray without any flowers for today. That's why the dude wanted them flowers. Father, brother. Oh boy. Is this such a mystery that sure never rusts, even when left in the rain? It seems as if the souls of its masters live within it. Do, do you not think so, Glenn? Yes, I have engraved in my memory the lives of my father and brother who have wielded the sacred sword, Ein Lancer. Let us hope that is true. What do you mean by that, Miss Riddle? I cannot allow you to, you to even... Do you not think there is something odd about the dragoons of late? Daddy's face shows such anguish, and even Karsh was saying he was sent on a ghost hunt. Miss Riddle. Everyone has been acting odd ever since the beastly guest arrived at the manor. Beastly, huh? Sounds like a sounds like a panther. Glenn, promise me to always keep the unclouded truth in sight. Do not be swayed by the masses. The splendor of the iron we well, can't say that word must not be tarnished as you wish. Chuckle. Oh, forgive me, I just found it a little awkward to hear you say such words. A chill wind has risen. Shall we return to the manor? Yes, of course. So, that is the daughter of... Person Army thing. And Glenn is, of course, part of the Dragoons. So that sword is supposed to be in the ground, I'm guessing. Clearly is not in the ground. But, let's take a look. Beneath the sacred sword, the warriors lie. Thirteen, Grandmaster Garia and Grandmaster Dario. Those are the two brothers that we saw earlier. So now let's walk around to the boy with the boat. And that guy rushed and hit as soon as I got there. It was a hilarious sight. Ah, yeah, that's great. Oops, I've got customers. Sorry, I'll get you some big fish next time you come by. All right, Korcha, it is really going to be big next time. You only ever catch small fry. Your boat skills are first class, but your fishing skills suck. Aw, uh, shut up. See ya. Oh, it's you guys. You tourists, right? The festival is a waste of time. My name's Korcha. I'm here from Goldov working as a ferryman. I can take you anywhere you like with this boat. I take money, but don't worry. It's not that much. My boat skills are quite famous around here. I guarantee a comfortable ride. Hey, you want to get... We want to get to the Viper Manor. Can you take us there? Viper Manor, what you doing up in that place? You're going to have to steal treasure from the vaults or something? Don't go snooping into your commerce's privacy. Are you going to take us there or what? As long as you can pay me, I'll take you anywhere you want. It's just that I don't know how to get to the manor. If you want to get there, bring someone who does. I shall guide you there. Are you sure you can get into the place like that? Yes, trust me. All you need to do is prepare the boat. You got it, but it'll cost you. It's going to be around 100G. Let's pay it. Hopefully... We can save once on the world map. Come on, get on board. It's a little tight with four of us, but it'll be a short trip. Don't you worry about a thing. All right, so that's another reason we got Gil, is because he is our guide actually into the manor. So that's pretty good that we got him. All right, let's make our way to the manor. And a lot of things up until this point are still a mystery. So hopefully this will clear up some of the things. Hey, those you guys didn't listen. Those guys didn't listen to me. Jeez. Oh, it's wow! It's Corch's boat. 
Oh, cool. Hey, those are the guys I talked to earlier. It looks like we're in the water. Man, this game's sprites are a little bit funky. Alright, so we go... By the way, the reason they did this, where they point you straight to the manor, is because there's like islands and stuff, which we're not supposed to go to yet, so this is why they made it where you can only directly go here. Which is a little funny. Alright. Don't you think it's a pretty dangerous indeed? Well, we'll make it. Man, why isn't there a safe point? You sound confident. Alright, let's get our arses in gear. And there's the crash. So that's great. Alright, I'm gonna restart it. Alright, let's get going. Indeed. We'll make it. You sound confident. Alright, let's get our arses in gear. Alright, let's get going so we don't crash. Let's get going. Intruders. Begin stone toss. You would think he would like go tell other people instead of just standing there throwing stones at us. Cause I mean I guess he doesn't know what type of danger we are, but if I were him, I would go like tell somebody else, you know what I'm saying? I guess let's keep going up. Oh, a stone hit us. No! Oh, okay. We slid right past. Oh, that's bad. Okay, nope. Let's go over here. Oh, okay, I just jumped on us anyway. Alright. No problem. Now we got a copper swallow. Hit him with that 90 bam 95. Oh, that's gonna poison her. Dang it. Oh, miss. Oh, thank you. Dash and slash. It's so we finally got one of his special abilities. Wham. Straight 42 to the face. I like it. Alright, I like it. I'm pretty sure there's a treasure chest up here, right? Oh, we gotta wait. No! Okay, so that's water. There we go. Oh, it jumped on a stone. Dang it. Aw, gets first hit. Kind of dumb. Let's go ahead. Hit it. Nice, nice. Good hits. And then a dash and slash should kill it. It didn't. Okay. It's fine. It's almost dead anyway. There we go. Honestly, man, I'm just trying to get to a save point. Dude, you gotta be kidding me. Alright, we made it past. That's frustrating. Don't. Okay. We made it up to the chest. Alright, we got the chest. Free fall. I don't really know what that does. I mean, it's obviously an element, but I don't know. Okay, good. Let's run up here. Okay. Oh, it did hit us. That's stupid. But that's not the way to go. Oh, no. Okay, we need to go up the other side. Don't... Ah, I jumped on us. Oh, we're weak. What? 
Okay, well, I'll make sure to kill these things then. What? What? Oh, that's bad. Miss. Haha. You know what? I'm just gonna go to her. Don't miss. Good. Oh, oh no, oh no. Okay, don't kill, don't kill. Okay, only six. That's fine. Let's use Magma Bomb. How is this thing not dead? That's annoying. Well, let's go ahead and... Okay, good. And let's go over here. What? Okay, hit it with a two. And let's use one, one down on this. That should do a good bit of damage. And then let's try to kill this. Nice. Okay, good. And this time, we're gonna say we're gonna heal with consumables. Okay, okay, okay. Let's heal with consumables because we need to get up to full health. And then let's hope a rock don't hit us. Oh, of course it hit us. And if you haven't known by now, each time a rock hits us, it takes our health away. Okay, there's nothing up there. So let's go through here. Okay, once we get up there, we're going to have a boss fight. So we're going to heal right here. There we go. Arg, they made it up. Aha, let's be the end of you. Hiya. Alright, so let's fight this guy. Oh, I dodged it. What a butt. Seven. Okay, that's not that bad. Let's dash and slash him. Wow, he's not dead. Lucky. Let's go ahead and hit this guy. Nice. Nice. And then we're gonna use Magma Bomb to kill the other guy too. Just like that. Bam. And Gil should be able to kill this guy. With this, with his special. There we go. But little did we know. Little did we know. Oops, darn it. Huh? Little did we know that's not the actual battle. So, this guy stupidly hit a bird's nest.
Ooh, I made it. Ooh, I made it to the safe point. Oh, thank God. All right, guys, I'm, I'm just gonna, this is story time. The reason I didn't talk that entire time was that was literally my fourth time going through that entire thing. I legitimately had to speed run that because I had to get it in to the 15 minutes. And that was like my fifth try because of like the first three that I died. Whew. That's so, I'm so glad. Oh, I got here in time. I'm going to have to fix this lag issue 100%. This should have been half an hour. It's now 120 minutes, which obviously is cut down in the video because I'm not going to show the failure attempts. But wow. I'm so glad I made it to the safe point. But guys, I'm definitely going to fix the crashing issue next episode. Because I, I don't think this is going to work for the entire game. I can't play this game in 15 minute intervals. Because some parts are not going to have save points. I got lucky that I can do this one in exactly like 15 minutes. But guys, yeah. Thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and comment. As for the channel. And I will see you guys later. God bless and goodbye. Alright guys, we are back with some Chrono Cross, and the last three episodes I've been having some big issues with crashing, but this episode I have updated my emulator, did a bunch of setting fixes, so I'm hoping, hoping that today it won't be crashing, but we're just gonna have to wait and see, but for now, uh, I just noticed I'm kinda burned, and I don't know if I can fix that. I guess we'll just have to ugh, deal with it. Let's go see what this guy's up to, though. Actually, let's go through his things first. Don't be touching that. <laughs> okay, well, I guess we can't go through his things first. Who are you? Oh, yeah, you must be the new helpers I was told about. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Oh, great, you're just in time. My back gave out recently. I can't feed the dragons. I want you to take over for me. Do you have a key to the manor? Sure do. Wouldn't mind giving it to you if you take on the job. Do a surge. A key to the manor. I'll take it. Will you feed them? Yes. All you have to do is feed the dragons to satisfy their hunger. I'll give you a nicer gift depending on how many times you feed the dragons. So, basically, um, it's kind of like Diner Dash, where each dragon will get mad if you don't feed it. And if one of them pops, you lose. Uh, let's do it 20 times first. 20 times, eh? I'll be counting. Alright, so let's do this. So, bam, bam, bam. You gotta head back over. Bam, bam, bam. So, yeah, we gotta go and grab hay each time. Bam. Bam, bam. It's gonna be easy. 20 times? Sh I should have probably taken on a harder... Taken on a harder challenge here. Honestly. Bam, bam, and bam, 20 times. That wasn't too bad, actually. A job well done. You'll find the key in the cupboard. Take it. And here's the gift that I promised. Bronze helmet. Okay, come feed the dragons again sometime. All right. Um, What I need is some <laughs> some ointment, honestly. All right, but let's, let's try to go for the 100. Sure. No, 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 no. Okay, well, I guess we're finishing the 10. Maybe he'll give us some antidote if we do the 10. Maybe. That that would be great if he did give us some antidote, honestly. Because I don't know if there's going to be a place where we'll be able to buy. Bam, that's 20. Or that's 10. Come on, give me an antidote, my dude. Excellent job, well done. Here's a little something. Knee pad. Okay, well, I don't really need the knee pad, actually. Uh, will you feed them? Sure. Let's do it 100. You ju no one has ever been able to complete it, although I did hear a tale about one legit the man reached 99 before he s still want to try. Yes, let's do this. Whew. All right, this will be hard. 100 times, yeah. I'll be counting. All right, let's do this. As long as that one's happy, we're good. Think we're gonna make it one yes we made it nice Whew. golly gee he succeeded as of today you are now for the master dragon feeder excellent job well done here's a little something iron vest all right that's some good stuff that's a, that's a higher leveled for ours man one of us is burned i don't really know what to do about it anyway let's go ahead and equip the new stuff uh yeah we're definitely gonna put that on i'll we'll put the knee pad 
Uh, with the bronze helm. Now, what about these guys? Okay, we can't really give anything to them, but... Alright, cool. That's good. Let's go ahead and save. Alright, so we did manage to finish... I wonder if I do those over and over again, I wonder if I'll keep getting items. That would be kind of cool. I could just, like, fully equip all of my people. Although, I don't think that's... I don't think the game would allow you to do that. Alright, but let's keep going on with the game. Let's see what's over here. What can I... Oh. Uh, okay. Apparently, I can't. And these people, they're enemies, right? So if I go up to them, I will have to fight them. And it's a pretty cool battleground, in my opinion. It's like the manor backyard. I don't know why that seems like off for some reason. Like, the little, little, like, like right there in the screen, for some reason it's a little bent. Hopefully I'll get used to that, because it seems a little bit wacky. Why is it doing that? No, there's like a legit line in it, so that's not me. Not me like doing weird stuff. There's like a clear line. I don't know. Let's see, how tough are these guys? Actually, no. Because uh, I can use Wand on. Bam, that should kill him right there. Maybe I need to turn some of the graphics down, honestly. I think it's like breaking up the screen. Alright, good stuff, good stuff. Found some tablets. And honestly, that other fight, since we had to speedrun, I was really under leveled for it. So I should probably use this time to level. At the same time, this video is basically a test whether I'll crash or not. So, hey, stop right there. Oh, okay, well. I guess he just mad did a mad dash all the way to me. Go get this chest over here in the corner. Ointment, actually. Am I still burned? Yes, I'm still burned. That is actually exactly what I need. That is exactly what I need to fix that burn. Thank you. Thank you, game. Intruders. Oh, God, the guy's chasing me. Help. Okay. Uh, we're gonna have to fight him, I guess. After this episode, I'm gonna do some leveling. Hey, stop right there. Okay, another fight right after. I'm definitely gonna do some leveling. Because, like I said, because of the speedrunning for, for, of the crashing, I had to run instead of actually fighting things and leveling normally. Wham, that was a good little hit right there. This guy looks like a mini version of the other two that we were fighting. Give this one an ice blast. Bam. Hit him with that three. And let's go ahead and pilfer somebody for their items. Yoink. Got another ivory helmet. Although I don't need those, maybe I could disforge them or sell them or something. Bam. And hit the other one with the ability. Because there's no point in hitting the weak one. Because that'll be overkill. So might as well kill that one, which needs it. And this one we can kind of just poke. Just poke at him. Yeah, I don't know why the screen looks like that. Ugh. Okay, I'll have to fix that. Alright, good stuff. We got inside the manor. They said it was impenetrable. Little do they know your boy Aqua is going in. There's something up front. Oh, gotta go to the front, not the side. What? something up front. What do you mean? Oh, there's a knob with numbers. I'm gonna turn it. I know what happens, though. Uh, let's do three to the right. 
and four to the left. I don't know if that's the right number, which it is not, so I'm going to be going down. And that puts us in jail, sadly. Can't believe they would fall. What should we do with these fools? Well, let's taunt them so we have to fight them. Yeah, that's exactly what kids are doing, taunting them. Alright, so let's go ahead and fight them. Oh, I guess we gotta actually go out the door. Alright, so we're past the 15 minute mark. That's pretty good. Oh, okay. Dash and slash that guy. Aw, oh, seriously, you didn't die. That's dumb. Alright, well, I guess we'll just have to... Seriously. Alright, well, I guess we'll just magma bomb, and that'll kill him and damage the rest, which is good. Just like that. Okay, well, he missed his first attack, which kind of was kind of sucked. Bam. You know what? Now let's hit. Let's hit that guy with the wand on. Wandom. I don't know why there's an L there. That makes it so hard to read. And let's take this guy out. Oop. Man, these guys. They dodge. Their dodging is so annoying. Let's go ahead and pill for this guy for some items. Yoink. Take another ivory helmet for no apparent reason. Ah, oh, seriously, I didn't kill him. Oh, let's, let's poke him. There we go. Alright, we're at the 17 minute mark, guys. We're not crashing. This is crazy. Nice. Why don't we disguise ourselves in these suits? I'll take it. So now I look like the guards. How neat is that? Alright, so now we can walk around with these guard costumes. First, let's see what is down here. Can I open this? Hey, you, that's... That was a trick box. Trick box, alright. Bum, bum, bum. The boxer boys. Well, well, which one of us do you choose? You only have one chance. So, one of them has the prize, one of them we have to fight. Let's take big box. The, too bad, too bad, wrong. Aw, oh, man. Alright, well, I guess we gotta kill him. Okay, good hit. And then, what color is he? Okay, well, I'll just hit him with that Ice Blast. Why not? These guys are tough, though. You can tell, with all that damage, and he's still not even... Oh, okay, maybe he's not that tough. <laughs> Never mind. Let's go ahead and just try to get to our ability. Aw. Of course he got to attack. Okay, yeah, they're not super strong. Let's go ahead and use one down on this guy. I'm just going to keep saying it that way, guys, by the way. So if you're infuriated by me, sorry. Bam. I'm dead. Yeah, that ability's strong. Really strong. 
Oh no, I meant to heal. Ah, oh, whatever. It's not like I'm gonna need to heal for this specific fight. I'm not slacking off. It's locked, so we can't get in there yet. And we need permission to enter. Now get back to your post. All right, so we're basically done with this bottom part. Can't really do anything in there, so we gotta explore the rest. The rest. Let's do this. So basically, our mission is to find the code for the top so we can get through. That's our main objective here. Oop, I didn't mean to do that. What? It fell down. How many times do I have to tell you? It's to the right and to the left. Oh, come on, I need the code. Better write this down before I forget. Okay. So he knows the code and he's going to write it down before he forgets. No! Man, I was trying to follow him. Alright, well, I guess we're gonna have to find out his room in a little bit. For now, let's beat the crap out of these things. Wham. Uh. Let's ice blast this one. Since it's red. And I'm pretty sure these things can burn us. Let's go ahead and get rid of that bad boy. And this one seems like it's on its hind legs, so we'll attack it with Kid. Because that one's dead. Um, Let's pilfer this one. Might as well. Let's see what items it has. If it's good, I'll keep pilfering it. What is it? Ointment? That's actually pretty good, because we're probably going to get burned a little bit. Oh, no, I want to do this one. And we're going to go through each of these rooms, obviously, and one of them is going to be Glenn's. But even if we find Glenn's pretty early on, I still want to check out the other rooms, obviously. I don't want to just... I'm not speedrunning the game. That's the thing I have to remember is I could speedrun it. Let's make sure to heal this time. But there, there's no point in speedrunning it. We could take our time, you know. Like this, since Glenn is gone now, no reason to follow him. I'm going to go back in here and see if there's anything that I missed. Let's see. Okay. So there's not, none of the soldiers. I don't think I have any good information. Can't you see I'm busy? Don't you goof around now, newbie. Uh, found turn green. Okay, so that's an element. I uh, wish I had chosen... Uh, blah 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 blah. Okay, nothing important out of his mouth. Oh, okay. Okay, so these two doors are to there. Let's go in here. See what's in this room. Ooh, nice, a safe point. Okay, so Glenn is writing. Better write that down. Okay. There's a message on the wall. Four to the right, eight to the left. So four eight. Okay, well, there is our thingy. We could technically go up and turn the door right now. It's in here. Revive. Oh, I'm gonna. That's a good item. I, I'm gonna need that. But obviously, I want to check out the rest of the rooms. I'm not gonna just straight up run through. I want to make sure to get through everything. All right, cool. So let's keep going. So, there's four hallways. Can we go in here? No, it's locked. There's four hallways. This hallway, top hallway, and then left, right, top, bottom, you know? And then some of these doors are kind of protected by those door eye wall things. We're just going to have to fight those and kind of get through it. Okay, well, she's not waking up. It's another trap chest. Let's see what we can do about this one. Alright, uh, I'm gonna choose the big one again. Aw oh, man, I missed. I didn't do it again. Are you kidding me? Alright, well, that's fine. Let's go ahead and ice blast it. Out of here. And let's just go to Gale because I know his one double whatever is gonna kill it. 
And there we go. They didn't even get a chance to attack. That's what I want. That's what I want. And... Boom. Good stuff. Also, we do have to keep in mind that the safe point is downstairs on the left. Because... Yeah, we're gonna need, we're gonna need to save there, obviously. Turn black. Okay, so another another element, which we're not gonna really use. We're not gonna bother with those things. Ugh. All right, I guess we're gonna have to fight each one of these things. Apparently. Oh, there's a lot of them. Good stuff. Good stuff. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. And let's heal with consumables. Because we need to get healed up for this door right here. And I'm pretty sure we can go through the door when it's not looking. But again, I'm, I, I'm a little bit behind in levels because of the past couple fights. So let's go ahead and actually defeat this door. Oh, come on. There we go. Let's hit it with a dash and slash. Wham. Straight through the door. And then let's get Gil over here so he can do his wandle thingy. Bam, just like that. It's kind of weird. This animation looks so weird. You're basically putting a staff through a door. It's just kind of funny looking. That does a good bit of damage. But, of course, this thing is only one enemy, so of course it's going to have a little bit more health. Let's see what it, let's see what we can pilfer out of it. It's a real question. It does a bit of damage. Not too much, though. Yeah, let's go ahead and pilfer. See what we can steal. It seems like a kind of thing that we can probably steal something good from. Magnify. I don't, I don't know what that is, but maybe it's something good. Okay, I th think it's getting low. Uh, you know what? I guess we'll just defend for now. Yeah, Rose Saucer is pretty... Since it's yellow, I think green is good against it, right? This should be pretty effective. Yeah, it was pretty effective. Oh, it brought something into the world. Well, that's not going to really do much. Oh. Alright, looks like I got it to work, so let's jump back into this. Uh, where even was I? Uh, do we have Magma Bomb on him? Doesn't look like it. You know what? We'll attack big guy with a three. Dodged it. I know this guy has Magma Bomb on him, so... We can just hit a couple. Yeah, we'll have Magma Bomb and take care of the rest. I don't know what the Komodos, what color they are, but it looks like it killed them, so. And then I'm hoping this guy goes down, finally. Okay, this guy really wants to be up. There we go. Okay, but this little weird scarecrow thing is still alive, so. It's, oh, okay. So I wish I had, I think I do have a yellow, but I think it's on, uh, Gil. Well, that should take care of him. Just like that. Easy peasy. Alright, let's continue on. Let's see what's in. It's locked. Oh, seriously, we did all that fighting for a locked door. Okay, and uh, this thing is fairly strong. Do not enter, please go around. Okay. I'm guessing, can we not enter these? Okay, that's not a room. Okay, so we checked out the top and bottom of the left floors. Let's go ahead and check the top and bottom of the right floor. And then we know the, f we know the code. This is the treasure vault. What's with you guys? Say the password. Uh, Dragoons Forever. Negative. You're imposters. It's fine. I guess we'll beat them up. No problem. And I'm guessing that big yellow thing is there for us to not cross it. 
So we're probably gonna have to defeat these guys and kind of go around through the door. It's my guess, but these guys are easy to beat. We'll give them a little pounding. Of course, I missed my first three attack though, which is kind of annoying. It's a dash and slash him. Bang. All right, so he's on critical health. I think a couple hits from Kid will kill him. There we go. And we can Ice Lance this one. Might as well. Ooh, that didn't kill him. Aw, oh, that didn't hit. Alright, looks like that one hit. You know what, let's... No, I don't want to heal him. Oh, okay, maybe we just use Magma Bomb. Alright, good stuff, good stuff. I guess I'll just... I'm, I'm thinking maybe this door gives us to the other door, maybe not. Ooh, this is the treasure room. Okay. Um, hee <laughs> hee, this is great. But it looks like the frozen flame ain't here. Ah, well, I'll just take a look what's here. So that's what she wants. She wants the frozen flame. But yeah. I, could, I, I guess this is another one of those things. You know what? I'm going to go for the big chest again. So far, the big chest has not been it twice in a row. You know what? I believe in the third. Third time, big chest is going to be it. It was. Good. Wait, what? Seriously? Alright, that, that's kind of dumb. Well, that was a good hit. Hit it with like a critical three. Alright, let's go ahead and dash and slash it. And that makes me mad. How do I miss three times in a row? Unless... I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm not supposed to get... I don't even know anymore. But we are going to pill for this one. And I'm going to keep picking the big one. At some point, the big one has to be it, right? Heal. Okay, actually I needed that. Heals are good. And let's go ahead and... Special attack. There we go. And let's keep moving. There's a treasure on the wall. Um before before we do that, let's check no, I didn't mean to take it. I was going to check the other things. Ah, oh, that's annoying. But we got... We, she, kid is right, we did get the treasure. You too, Pip. Hmm. So this leader looks like a sign. I see that you are not dragoons. Actually, we're just uh, no matter. Come out. Who are you, and why are you helping us? Oh ho ho, who said anything about helping? I'm the scienti scientific genius of Vapor Manor. Please call me Lucia. You will be my guinea pigs. Finish them. Okay. So apparently she wants to set her little monstrosities on me. So that's fine. We'll just have to beat them up. No problem. Nice. Nice. I hit two two hits. That's good. Oh, these things hit decently hard. 14, 14. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, no. Let's not do that. Let's dash and slash. Just like that. 
Hopefully. Oh, wow. That thing is strong. Man, what is... What is she feeding them? Hey, honestly, what is she feeding them? Let's fireball this one. Okay, well, we know its limit then. It's not invincible, at least. It's almost dead. But wow. Those things hit pretty hard. We're going to use Wandle on this one. Because if I hit it with the other one, that'll just be way overkill. I don't really need it to do that. So... I'm going to hit it with this one, because this one does need some damage. And we're just going to be able to poke it with Surge and kill it anyway, so. Yeah, just like that. See, 14 would have killed it. I didn't want to waste, like, 60 more damage for no reason. I want to use Ice Blast on it. Damn. Oh, that did a large amount of damage. Good, that's good stuff, good stuff. Oh, so apparently that was a boss battle. I mean, I'll take it. Wonderful. You have extreme expectations by defeating my bulbs. Now please leave. Okay, so she's just gonna... Leave us? Okay. Mr. Hi, I'm Pip. My dream is to someday on a big, huge ship. Okay. Uh, let's see. I must... Okay. He is an evolving monster, which he's from storm as a battle. It is too early to test this, so I have a chance. Do not free it, please. Are you sure I can't free it? Can I please free it? Let's open it. Thanks, I'll make my escape later. Okay. So, it'll escape later. Cool. Nice. I'll take it. Wait. I am extremely interested in all of you. I cannot leave right now, but, but when you need my help, I'm willing to help you. Ho, 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 I'll be waiting. Okay. So, she seems nice. At least. Um. Controller? Seems to be doing, like, its own. There we go. Ooh, okay, another treasure room. Watch out for traps, don't touch anything. Hmm. This one's missing a shield. Bam. I'll be goobly glabble. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna have to fight these then. That's fine. Hopefully these things aren't tough. Oh, okay, they're not too tough. Wait, uh, I probably should check its color. This might be weak against it. Okay, it still killed it. Oh, there's only two of them. I thought there was three. Alright, good stuff. Killed them pretty quickly. Actually, I don't even have to heal. Nice. Decker shield. Let's take it. Nice. And bronze helmet. Okay. I could fight the rest of those jellies, but I'll do that when I level because after this episode's over, I am going to stay here and level a bit. Check the other door in a second. Let's just do this one first. Can we grab his stuff? You don't open that. Okay, so we can't. Yeah, what do you want? Uh, don't know who I am. I am one of the four divas of the Acadia Dragoons, headed the name's Karsh. Oh, we can ask him questions. Uh, where's Gen- Who? Tell me about the Viper Manor. What's this frozen flame? A uh, top priority classified secret. This has been rumored in the northern countries for generations. Those claims that it contains mysterious powers which can guide anima and change history. Okay. Cool stuff, my dude. Alright, last door. Last door before we actually go through the big door. What's inside? Kitty. 
This guy's sleeping, so we could arg. What do you want? Only I can open that. Well, let me open it then. Or you open it. What? What is it? Who are you? I am Zoa, one of the four divas, devas, whatever. So come on, bro. Let me open that. All right. Well, what's up, kitty? Yeah. Okay. So there's a few treasures just in here that we'll be able to get in the later part of the game. But yeah. So the core, the code. Oh, hello. Is four. Eight. But for now, that is going to be the end of the episode because we're already running about 30 to 40 minutes. So, guys, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and comment as well as my channel. And I will see you guys later. God bless and goodbye. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Chrono Cross. So, last time we explored the manor, we got the code. Let us now continue into the rest of the manor. Let's turn it. The thing is four. And the second one is eight, which the animation will take absolutely ages, but that is fine. It's going to take forever, but the door will open. Bam. Okay, so now we have three choices. Front left right so here good pee pee okay we can't go that way clearly let's check out what we can do here and we will be able to go on a bridge right here and then to a library that is a cool moon or two moons i don't even know what's going on with this planet oh it's a little bit laggy in here um so there's nothing down there there's this random little girl here. So, like, what are you doing here? Dragoons aren't allowed up here, you know. We're not really dragoons. What are you talking about? Take care of our costumes. So, like, what's your point? <laughs> what, is, what is it, Marcy? Is someone there? Some weirdos. Hmm, Marcy, lower the ladder, please. All right. Quick lore, um, in Chrono Trigger, this guy is one of the, th I forgot if it was three or four wise people, thingies that was sent back in time. Oh my, you must be, yes, you must be Serge, my, have you grown. This guy is basically historic. Uh, can I kill them yet? Patience, child, I need to have a word with these people. Who are you? And how do you know Serge? How do I explain? I guess you could say I'm the prophet of time. I told you the world is not just a single identity. Another world similar to our own exists in another dimension. There you will find what you might have become a world of possibilities that might have existed. A whole history that has not been written yet. It is out there somewhere. We are simply unable to see, feel or experience it. Whoa, trippy. Sir, this world is not the world is you grew up in. Whoa, 10 years ago, something happened that put your very soul tattering on the balance. With a 50-50 chance of life or death, this is when your future was split into twain. In your home world, you have survived to live a happy and prosperous life. This is how you made it to the present point. However, here in this world, you are in fact dead. You died 10 years ago, but this world's timeline is filed over ago. You have no place in this world. Here you have bird ghost brought back. So I told you guys, when that happened, I kept, I didn't want to spoil it. But yeah, basically we're in a different world. I do not know what happened 10 years ago, nor I guess what triggered your existence into this world. The lo locations where such div divisions in the time space continue to occur are called Angelus Era, where angels lose their way. It is said that there at the borders of two dimensions fluctuate in such ways to make the passage between the parallel realities a possibility. Perhaps in this world you are the missing piece from a giant puzzle and maybe just maybe the vacuum created by your non-existence here has drawn you across the border filled between the dimensions to fill the void in that puzzle of course no one can say for sure so yeah that's what I, that's what i was trying not to spoil but basically that that event the beach now there's two worlds however it appears as though these two worlds are connected by some unknown force depending on the location the two worlds can influence other subs and we will Spoiler, we'll be, we'll be able to go between the two worlds, but just not yet. I am quite certain there is a wormhole that connects the two parallel worlds. 
For your information, if you press the start button on the world map menu, will appear that allows you to display which world you're in your home world or another world. Uh, if what you say is true and this world is an alternate reality, then why the bloody hell did Serge die? The reason has to be something that happened 10 years ago. You can only find by moving on. By the way, uh, when we talked to Lena on the beach, she, she said Serge died 10 years ago. So basically, yeah, no, I'm, no way I'm gonna let you shut up, you little brat. Can I, can I? I guess it cannot be helped. This may be fate in itself. We ain't here to play advise you not to take mercy lightly. This child is one of the four divas, the highest rank of the dragoons. What, this little brat? Hee <laughs> hee, too late now. Say bye bye. Alright. So I didn't save, which kind of sucks. Let's go ahead and defeat this little girl. Should be an easy enough battle. Maybe. Alright, let's hit him with that two. Okay, we got two good hits. I like it. How hard does she hit? 25. That's a pretty good hit. Oh, she's blue. Okay. Let's hit her with the red. If she's blue, we don't want to hit her with another blue. Unless we, like, truly have to. I should... Ooh, that does a good bit of damage. I'll take it. Hit her with another two. And let's go ahead and pill for her. I don't think we're going to lose this battle, so wasting one little turn won't really do much. Let's see what we get. Silver Lope. Okay, that's, that's an equip. It's pretty good. And, ow. Oh, okay. Good damage right there. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to watch out for that. Definitely gonna have to watch out for that. That should do a good bit of damage. Back to Surge. Go ahead, hit her with that 3 P, and then hit her with that dash and slash. Bam. Okay, let's go ahead, hit her with the 2, and then defend, defend. If you think you're smart, then what about this? Cat's Cradle. That didn't do that much damage, actually. That's fine. Okay, she's low on health. Let's go ahead and hit her with that fireball, because I know that does a good chunk of damage. That is a good chunk of damage right there. Why, why that does it? Ice Blast. Oh, not on Kid! She's gonna die! Oh, come on. Why'd you have to kill her? I needed her XP. I guess she really didn't like Kid. That's fine, I'll just kill you anyway. That just sucks because Kid won't get the XP. Ah, one more turn and Kid would've got the XP. That's really tilting, actually. Yeah. Let's go ahead and do that. But we did get another Ice Blast, Elemis. That's pretty good. It's not over yet. I'll get you next time. All right, ho, ho, ho. I did not think you would be able to defeat Marcy. Oh, come on, I'm not that weak. Very well, I should advise you of your next step. There are eight pillars in the main hall behind the second to last pillar. On the left is a button to release the platform. Dragoons are not allowed up there, so it is best that you beware. However, there's, n there's a much stronger being you will encounter. If you say so. If you say so. So, uh, second pillar, second from last, on the left, there will be, oh, Marl, how you doing? Huh? Who the, hmm, are you Surge? You are even more sexy than I thought, ooh la la, oh, who the bloody hell are you? And this one must be kid, you disgust me, what'd you say? If you're gonna insult someone, you should at least speak proper English. Ironic. Je m'appelle Marl. I am the right hand Harlequin to Mansoor Lynx. Surge, if you lie down with a thing like you will surely catch fleas. Ugh. I think you can do much better if you gave her up. Actually, I suggest you all turn black. Back? Black? You should not defy him. Oi, what's your problem? Please. Surge. I would hate to see anything sad happen to you. 
fatted up to hear with you. You shut up. I'm having a serious conversation with Serge. Why don't you mind your own business? That's it. Put up your dukes. I'm gonna kick your arse so hard you'll kiss the moons. Are you the one who is doing to blah blah blah? I cannot cop fighting here. Imagine the trouble I would get into. Au revoir, Mon Serge. See you again. Alright. So, we'll deal with her later. Please dream of me. So she clearly has a thing for Serge for some reason. Jeez, what's her problem? I'm guessing I still can't go here, right? Good PP. Yep. So, second to last. Let's push the switch right there. Arg. What do you think you're doing? Alright, so looks like we're gonna have to fight these two. No problem. We'll demolish them. Uh, let's go attack this guy. Nice. Two hit. Got a three. Let's hit him with the ice blast. I should kill him. Whoa, kid is one HP. That's not good. I forgot to heal her, apparently. Okay, let's go ahead and heal her. Oh, the camera's so wonky. Uh, okay, there we go. Yep. Let's fix the camera angle. Oh, that's it's good that I healed her right then. She would have got hit. Bam. And then let's go ahead and magma bomb here so we can hit both of them. Oh, he's not dead. It's kind of annoying. Defend with him. Aw. I wasn't defending with Kid at the time. Hit! Nice, so we even killed him. Okay, we missed. This sucks a little bit. Um, hit him with the dash and slash, I guess. It's not really super strong, but it's fine. There we go. Bum, 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 bum. Let's make sure to heal everybody. There we go. And let us go up. Alright, so we got a door. Okay, well, there's a safe point here. It's good. We don't have the crashing problem anymore. So this isn't necessary, but... At the same time, if I die, it's probably a good thing. I won't die, though. Your boy, Aqua. Knows how to play this game. Alright, so we got two... How come they didn't jump at me earlier, huh? Why does this thing gotta do this to me? Why gotta do this to me, man? Bam, you thought. And we'll be able to hit this one with that ice blast. Out of here. Nice. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. And none of us actually got hit, which is also pretty good. Alright, I guess we'll, we'll go through... Okay, so it's locked. That means we have to go through this one. And might as well defeat the door boss while we're here, right? We could just bypass it, but you know what? Might as well kill it if we're here. Hit it. Nice. Nice, two hits. Let's hit it with that ice blast. good amount of damage and I would kill for it but we really don't need what it gives us so we'll go ahead and ice lance it Bam. and 
then with him, all we need to do is get up to Wandam so we could do the staff thingy. I'm pretty sure we're up to that point, yep. Which is good. One hundred. Good stuff. Alright. Oh, it's gonna spawn things in now, won't it? Darn it, man. Darn it, man. Whoa! There's water on my phone. Oops. Okay, I probably need to take care of it, but apparently one of my bottles with water is leaking. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, that's not good. Ironic. Something just popped up from Amazon on my phone that said something about it being waterproof. It's ironic. Oh, okay, didn't hit. Defend. Pretty sure we have a spell with him, right? Uplift? That should be enough. You know what? I'll just leave the water there. But I will definitely move my phone so it doesn't break. Should be a good idea. Bam. Bum, 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 bum. Let's go ahead and heal up. And go through this door. What's behind this door? You see that? That is a frozen flame. Oh, messed up my buttons. Oi, could this be it? It can't just be hidden out. Nah, it ain't the frozen flame. Don't see any other booty here, though. I guess I bet ask the general directly then. Well, he's right there. What is it you wish to ask me? My compliments on getting past my security. Now, may I ask you, who in heaven's name are you? So you're General Viper, don't feign ignorance on me now. Why did you send your dragoons to get me mate Surge here? Surge, my dragoons, I'm afraid, my dear, I haven't the foggiest idea of what you're talking about. Mystery man, this must be the beast they're talking about. General, I believe these vermin are here to see me. Well, it seems you have saved me the trouble of finding you. Lynx. Hmm, so his name's Lynx. Young girl, are you? What's the matter? Can't get your tongue? I finally caught you. By the tail now, Lynx. I've come for two things. The frozen flame in your life, you murderer. Aha, so you must be Kid then. Member of the fearsome band of thieves known as the Radical Dreamers, correct? Radical dreamers, this young lady, precisely. Don't let her innocence fool you, General. She is quite ferocious. Haha, <laughs> ferocious. By the way, there is, I think, a game called Radical Dreamers, or like a visual novel thingy. After what you've done, I hate to disappoint you, but the frozen flame is not here. The fire lies hidden in the Sea of Eden, the place where the past and the future... Alright then, it looks like I'll have to put that off to later. In the meantime, I'll settle my score with you, Lynx. Prepare to meet your maker do this. Alright, let's go ahead and fight Lynx. By the way, full transparency, I actually lost to him <laughs> once, so this is my second attempt, but we should be able to beat him. Hit him with that 80, hit him with the 3, let's hit him with that dash and slash, and he is black, dash and slash is white, which so this should do uh, a decent amount. And it's a good thing we use that because now we won't be able to use white abilities. Then the two, the three. And let's pill for him. Let's see what item we can get. Power glove. Okay, pretty good, pretty good. Although, oh, I missed that last one. Imbecile. Oh, come on, kid's not an imbecile. Although this special attack is black and his color is also black, it should still do a good amount of damage. It's not com it's not gonna like completely void it out. So, yep, still near 100. It's pretty good. Uh, missed the three. Oh no, we missed two threes. All right, well then we'll just defend for now. 
And we'll attack with Kid. Missed. Imbecile again. We'll just defend. Defend. He's gonna come up close and attack. There's do the three. Do that. And defend again. Alright, we missed that second one. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna ice lance him. I don't have any white magic on basically anybody else other than Surge right now. So. Let's use an uplift on him. Not, it's only going to do about 30 damage, but that's fine. Let's, let's just go ahead and Ice Blast him. We're not going to even attack him. Bam. Hell soul. Okay, she might die here. She might die. Yep, she's dead. She's not dead. Okay, good. Good. She's not dead. And then I guess we'll just defend. Defend. Hit him. Oh, he didn't hit him. Okay, well, it's a good thing she's defending. Um, I don't know what cursed means. Hopefully she doesn't die, like, after a certain amount of turns. Let's go ahead and use Photon Race since it's white. That should do a big, big amount of damage. We're just going to keep defending with her anti-white. That's fine. I don't have any white elements on her anyway. Ah, oh, come on. Are you serious? Okay, let's try for... He should be low soon. I don't know who he's not becoming low at all. Well, we're defending on most people, so that's no problem. Okay, that's one attack. Let's go back to defending. Oh, hit him with the critical. He's gonna defend with him. There's, like, no point in even attacking. Okay, the 80 landed. Okay, he's, he's starting to get low. You know what? We're just gonna... Nostrum. What does this do? Oh, this heals him, doesn't him? Doesn't it? 200. Ooh, that's a, that's a lot of health, actually. I don't do that much damage very quickly, so... Well, Surge's... Okay, and we're just, I guess we'll start attacking. I guess because I have nothing else to do. So he doesn't like, he doesn't do a lot of damage. It's just an annoying part. Surge is basically the only one that does a consistent, like, large amount of damage. I guess we'll use Fireball because we need to get that damage in fairly quickly. Only thing, I just don't want anyone to die because then they don't receive XP for the fight itself. It's literally the, it's just the only thing I don't want to happen. Okay, he's he's low again. Imbecile doesn't really do anything. That's fine. Get him one more time. I guess let's arrow saucer him. I don't think it's going to do much, but... At this point, Kid doesn't do much damage with their normal attacks. So I just need to do something... Should do okay. Wait, I have an element, right? Yeah, might as well use fireball once again. Just start bum rushing him at this point, try to kill him before he pulls out a spell that insta kills me. All right, we should be able to kill him right here if we yes, no, okay. She might die, she might be dead here. Miss, good, she didn't die. I've gotten lucky. If you guys don't know what that spell does, is it basically insta kills you, like just makes you dead. So that that she dodged it twice is pretty good. All right, we managed to get through this fight. 
By the way, transparency. The first time that I actually lost, it's because he used Hell Soul on Surge the first time and it insta killed him. That's why I lost the first time. Because I basically didn't have Surge from the beginning of the fight. Trick! That wasn't actually a Link, so that was one of his little buddies. Bugger, it was just a shadow. Did you think I was stupid enough to pick a fight with a rabid dog? Why just the sh shadow of mine is enough to deal with the likes of you? Now, Serger, what do you desire from this world? Do you wish to live again? Do you want to erase your demise from the pages of history? What's wrong, sir? Ah, the sound is really strong. Listen to me, the end of the human world is nigh. When this comes, sir, there shall be a deep between you and the world is not so but this is history. Another kitty. Three kitties. Bugger, this doesn't look good. You cannot escape. There's something I want to ask you. Daddy, about the void Oh Take her hostage. Don't move a whisker if you want this girl to live. Goodness gracious, who are you? My darling riddle, why you dirty? Shut up, old timer. Our lives are at stake here. There ain't nothing dirty about saving your own life. Kid, just stay calm and quiet and I won't hurt you, okay? I just need you to come with us till we reach a safer place. You alright, Serge? Come on, let's bust out of here. Let's get moving. In my opinion, the worst part of the game is about to happen, actually. And you'll see why. Don't be foolish. Do you really think you can escape? We are blocked in. You f you fiend, take your dirty hands off Lady Riddle. Oh, okay, what do you take me for, an idiot? Grr, ah, surge this way. <laughs> I love how everyone just casually walks everywhere. If I were one of them and like my daughter was like about to die, I'd like be full sprinting, you know what I mean? We have you now, you vermin. There's no way out of here. Bloody hell. Let's work out a deal. At least my daughter and I shall let you walk away. How about it? Yeah, right. As if we can trust you. Are you willing to jump to your death? Oh. She got hit. Oh, she fell. Yoink. What do you... Why do you live for? What are you willing to... What are you willing to die for? I've been waiting for you, Serge. Waiting a long, long time for you. Boy, you don't know. Now come to me, Serge. The assassin of time. The chrono trigger. Come to me, Serge. No. Yoink. You saw, homie. Oh, did I, did I click the menu by accident? Well, we lived, so that's good. You're finally awake. You're looking for your friends. They're outside. All right. Thank you. All right. Well, we're going to end off the episode, but I will... Uh, I do want to save before I... Obviously, I want. Well, I want to quit the episode at a saving spot. Okay, well... 
Guess we'll keep going until we find a saving spot. Oi, Urge, you finally woke up, huh? Give your thanks to Korcha. He's the one that saved us after we fell off that cliff. No sweat. It's part of my job as a ferryman, but I have to admit, you caught me by surprise when you came falling from the sky. You're lucky that it was the sea that fell into you, not the rocks. I agree with that, but geez, you're such a wuss. How could you get knocked out from such a short fall? It's for me a little graze like this. Ain't gonna, uh, yeah, you know, she just fell on the floor. Ain't gonna knock me. Uh, spoiler, uh, do you remember that thing that Link set her with? Yeah, uh, that's gonna do, do, do some bad things to her. Oh man, she's burning up. There's a clinic in the village. We should take her there. Come on. I'll take her. I need your help. See, I thought these little noises were like my mom talking, but actually they're just part of the game. Whoa, there's like a ferret lady. It seems the patient has been poisoned with hydra venom. I would say the most she has to live is about two days. If we had some hydra humor, we would be able to neutralize the poison. Doc, if we find this hydra humor, can we save this girl? Yes, but that's impossible now. Hydra's now extinct in El Nido. What do you mean extinct? What's going on? Hydras are very rare and valuable creatures. The blood, bones, meat, every part is valuable. It's considered to be a penitentiary for various illnesses. That is the reason Hydras were hunted to extinction in El Nido. As a result, the whole species been, has been made extinct just to make a quick fortune. Is there no way to find this humor? If we could cross the sea to the mainland, there might be a chance, right? That is not possible. The currents of El Nido are extremely dangerous this time of year. It is highly probable to cross to sea unless you are in a large vessel. If you manage to get there, your chances of finding Hydra Humor are bleak. We do not have much time. Doctor. Hey, Doc, where are you going? Nothing's been resolved yet. Excuse me, I need to be alone for a while. Serge, what are we gonna do? Kid is going to die, and if we leave, if we leave her like this, is this some kind of joke? Wait right here. I'll go get the doctor back. Whoa! Who the hell are you? What's this? Is it a bumping into Maha? Don't you know any manners? Blah 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 blah. Hey, there's Haro. What's up? Boom! 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 Haha, ha, she is down for the count, just as I thought. Serge, why don't we just leave her be? Quaria, <clears throat> what's with the strange costume? The attire, I have no business with his own chicken hawk. I'm having, I'm having a conversation with Serge, don't bother me. Why, I'm gonna... You made me mad, I'll show you some manners. I'm not gonna cut you any side because you're a girl. <clears throat> Try if you dare, I am not so weak to be caught by a chicken hawk. <clears throat> <laughs> You've got some nerve, you're gonna regret it. Charge! Ah, she's gone. <laughs> Dang it! Where'd she go? Haha, -ha, you're amusing. <clears throat> Aha, such a simpleton. It's so much playing jokes on you. I was only here to see how she was doing, but I had fun while I was at it. So long, Serge. Please dream of me every night. Will do! Tch, she's such a loon. What's her deal? I just don't get it. Yo, Serge, all of that blah, blah, blah. Oi, or oh, not oi, Serge. Come on, go talk to her. Dude, I'm trying to, f I want to end the episode, man. Oh, wait, you know, where do you get you leaving the poor girl? Bro, I want to save. Serge, I'll leave this with you. It's my favorite amulet. Astral amulet. Remember what the prophet said, Serge. Where did it all start? Where do angels lose their way? Try to remember, Serge. <clears throat> I'm feeling a bit tired. I'm gonna rest up for a while. You heard what the doc said. There are more hide there. On top of that, there's no way to get to the mainland, and Elito isn't a small place. We're gonna take a one in a million chance to search for this thing just to save a girl you barely even know. Hey, what you gonna do? I'm gonna find a way to save her, man. Kid's my favorite character. I'm not gonna let her die. All right, then. I'll come with you. Okay, so basically, Kid is sick now. She gets replaced by this, as uh, Marl said, Chicken Hawk. 
By the way, do you have any clue where to start looking? I really don't like this guy. Um, I'm just not a fan of what he looks, how he looks. Oh, uh, damn, what are we going to do if only we had some kind of clue? Um, I just don't like how he looks. Maybe you should go see the shaman. The shaman might be able to give you some claws for that amulet. That's right, the shaman. A shaman, that is an unfamiliar word that enhance the power. They're like a mayor. Of the, the shaman might know something. Yeah. We'll continue this outside. Let's... Blah, 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 blah. Okay. So, basically, we're gonna try to find a safe place. Which, actually, there's one outside. Huh? Do, 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 do. Oh, it's one of those kitty things. Oh, you're learning from Mel's place. Oh, hey. Okay, that's Mel. What is she up to? <clears throat> What's up? It's just a cat. Strange guy. Come on, let's get going. <clears throat> Alright. So basically, kid is sick. We need to find a cure for her. Next episode, we need to get going as soon as possible. You probably need to equip yourselves, right? I'll be waiting here. Call me when you're ready to go. We haven't got much time. If you need to see the shaman, uh, take the lead. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. So I'll explain it real quick. Just so you guys can get an idea, we're gonna have to go talk to the shaman. She's gonna explain what this astral amulet is. I'm just gonna tell you what it is right now since we're gonna do it next episode. It is the thing that's gonna let us hop between the two worlds. And how Kit said, find the place where it all started. That is Opasa Beach, where we met Lena. So basically, we're gonna have to go there with the astral amulet, go into the other world because there are no hydras in this world to kill to save Kid. So we're gonna have to go to the other world, go where the Hydra lives, kill that Hydra, grab the humor, come back to this world, and save her. So that is the plan for maybe the next episode or two. Right now, I'm just trying to find a place to save, though. I'm not gonna even... We're gonna talk to the shop owners, obviously, next episode two. We're gonna kinda get a feel of the town. For now, though, I'm just looking for a stupid save, man. Ah, more cutscenes. Another life is about to slip through my hands, just like before. Nothing has changed at all by studying medicine. Man, I am powerless. So are you going to just give up on this life? That's not the case, is it? If you don't, who else will help her from the edge of life and death? I don't know your past. Living by the, is a very painful thing. You need to face reality, Hannah. Running away isn't a sin. It accomplishes accomplishes nothing but I one thing is different from the past you have the ability to heal everyone in the village recognizes that don't suffer yourself you give up now you'll never be freed from your now go don't let it without doing something first I've done it I am a failure as a doctor but I must do what I can thanks or law dude I'm just looking for a safe spot you know what I mean I think there's a safe space in there this is the dragon tribe resident of be sure to act courteously on the premises. Pretty sure there's a save in here. Please don't trigger a cutscene. No! Welcome to the dry I am Sina, a shaman serving in high priest. I presume that you have to come to try and seek assistance. Please don't hesitate to ask. No, let me save first. You possess a young but gentle air about you. Hmm. This is an odd wind that is twirling about. I have heard that much wind bears appear at times, but... Do you seek the truth that you are already dead in this world? Hmm, I see. So that's why you have a cool odd air about you. As for a way to return to your original, I do not know. There are always there's always reasons why such a phenomena occur. The land of Genesis, you, you your only key may lie there. The, the key that connects your worlds to this, shall we say it is dimensional distortum of sorts. If events in your world are different from the events here, it may be possible to save the girl stricken with a horror. That is, if the extinct Hydra still exists in your world. One must choose their own path, but as long as we are human, one will sometimes become lost. I pray that your journey be blessed by the guidance of the great six dragons. Cool. You can finally save now, so that's great. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching. Next episode, we'll get the town, travel to the other worlds, do a lot of exciting stuff, guys. Thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to link in the comment as a personal channel, and I will see you guys later. God bless, and goodbye. Hey everybody, welcome back to some more Chrono Cross. Today we're starting at the village that we landed last episode. Of course, the kid got sick, and blah blah blah. We gotta go find some Hydra humor to save her, but 
yeah, let's kind of check out the town because we landed here last episode, but we didn't really check it out. So today we're actually going to check it out. Uh, one which choose their own path. I pray that your journey be blessed by the guidance of the great six dragons. Yep, so we talked to her basically. She told us the amulets, something special, blah, blah, blah. Say, have you heard of the six dragons? There's supposedly, supposedly six dragons. Descend from the heavens to seal away the evil and promise eternal prosperity across the land. It's part of the old song, blah, 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 blah. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's a zip line that we can take uh, to get all the way to the bottom of the town very, very quickly. We're not going to use that though because there are some shops that I want to take a look at up here. Uh, this is the element shop over here. So we're a small village, but we have some rare elements you won't find in bigger towns. Let's take a look what we can buy. Uh, okay, uh, what do we need here? Let's buy a couple tablets. A couple medicines, a couple ointment, a couple braces, and then we don't really need much of the stuff. Maybe a meteorite, photon ray, another gravity blow. But we don't really need any much more than that. And then we will sort out our equipment and stuff in a little bit. Uh, but for now, since we only have two members in our party because of course Kid is sick, which we will get her back in due time. Uh, for now, we're going to get a third one, which is going to be Korcha because he's just, I mean, it's kind of obvious. He's kind of waiting for us. He wants to save Kid because he low-key low likes Kid. So of course he's going to come with us. Oh, hi there. There isn't much of a feel right at home. I love how when we landed here, she kind of like kicked us out, but all of a sudden now we're just chilling. So that's cool. Let's see, what is Mel doing? What? Don't you bother me, I've got to concentrate and concentrate. Okay, well, we'll be back here later. Because there's going to be a quest, I'm pretty sure after we get back, kid, there's going to be a little side quest here. Um, I guess we can go up here. Pretty sure this is another uh, zip line wire thingy. Yeah. Do you know that these wires are. If you don't know, I'll teach you. Uh. Alright, so let's keep going. So, what's it gonna be? Uh, of course, I'll do it. Yep. Let's pay him the 10G. Might as well support local businesses, right? And I don't think we're going to need anything up there anymore. So we can safely travel down over here. And there is the blacksmith shop. Right. Actually, this girl. I'm pretty sure we, you can trade elements. And actually, but there's no reason to take a look at the elements to trade unless I know what I actually need. So. Let's upgrade equipment. Let's forge. Um, we can make a brass rod, but we need an eyeball. And then here he has a copper swallow. Okay. Um, let's make one of these. Oh, yeah. Make one of those. Okay. Actually, there's not very much we could buy. I thought we'd be able to upgrade a bit more. Um, apparently not, but that's fine. Let's see. No, does this guy have anything? Turn it up, but do you have a, a shiny material? Elements are common items, but there's a special kind called summon elements. These kind of release awesome power depending on the six attributes. Is a mysterious... Okay, this matter is essential. Okay, so he's just talking about some like weird material that we can upgrade good stuff. That's a gnome. What's up, gnome? The wind brings back memories. Hey, boy. From the main island, you know the Hydra Marshes. It's the forest to the southeast. Although they're called the Hydra Marshes, there are no more Hydras there. Everyone left the forest after the Hydras died off. I too left the forest. They ain't no fit for a living creature anymore. So, when we go to the other world, that's exactly where we're going to have to go to the Hydra Marshes to find a Hydra to help kid. Now, what is... Welcome, it's a small shop, but feel free to relax. Can we buy anything? Doesn't look like it. Alright, so we're basically set, then, to get moving. We're basically set. So let's 
let's go talk to oh wait actually um let's see what can we trade is there anything useful oh we can trade elements well i don't i think we're good for now uh okay i don't know why well, thank you here it is please take a get it right so we got pelvic bone Are you ready to go? Ready anytime? Uh, yeah, I'm ready. There's nothing else that I want from here. All right, we're off. Okay, so the bone that she just gave us—it's a long story, but basically, if you guys remember in Termina Town, the one Grandma was talking about a little boy that ran away from the circus. Well, he's a bunch of bones now, and yeah, I don't—I've never actually finished the quest, but. I'm pretty sure something happens if you get all the bones. I know you get the head from the canyon, which we're actually going to do right now, if possible. But, I don't know where this boat's take. I think we're going back to Termina, right? Okay, so yeah, we're going back to Termina. But either way, we're going to need to go to the other world, so we've got plenty of time now so far the game has been very linear as a story but this is kind of the part of the game we're actually gonna start expanding a little bit so now we're gonna do some exploring and not just go straight for the quests who said you could dock that thing here get that thing out of here right now hey don't be such a hard head it's not like we're robbing from anyone besides nobody else is docking here right that's not the point what I'm trying to say is here keep it you can't bribe me with some the delicious scent and the subtle texture. This must be the famous rare drink of Dragonians and Dragon's Glory. Thought this might happen, so I snacked some from my mom's kitchen. Alright, I'll give you special permission this time, but next time I might not be so easy when that happens. Don't worry, I'll get some more for you. Very well, heck, <laughs> you're pretty quick for a kid. If you don't hurry, that girl's gonna die. You two can't do this alone. Why don't you let me come along? So, now we got courtship. Now, I've stated in previous episodes, I don't like Korcha, I don't like his design, I don't like who he is, I actually find him very creepy, but I don't have any choice, I basically have to keep him in my thingy. Now, okay, I don't think there's much to do in this town, because we've pretty much explored most of it. Right now, again, our main task is to basically bullet point towards the Hydra Marshes in the other world. But we're going to do a tiny bit of exploring before we go there because, well, this is what the game's about, right? So, what's over here again? I forgot. Shadow Forest. What's in here? Let's take a, just a quick look. A, a small gander. Oh, this is the... Pl okay. Um, We might be able to grind levels here. But I know there's not a mission there yet. One thing that we will do as a side quest right now. I guess we just go from the north part. I guess it doesn't really matter. We're going to go kill that bird up there. And we're going to get the head of the skeleton. If that's here. I don't know if it's in the other world or this world. But let's go up here. I'm pretty sure the guards shouldn't be up here. The guards are usually blocking this until you get to a certain point of the game. Now we're at that certain point in the game. So, let's go down here, and let's go fight this bird. So earlier, the bird would basically murder us back when we had only kid, but now, I received a big egg. Okay. Okay, are you going to fight me? <laughs> there we go, it's just kind of hopping around. But, I don't know, I don't think this is a boss, but this is definitely like a stronger creature. Probably not as strong now, since we waited kind of a good long while to actually fight it. It's still fairly strong, though. Okay, so its color is white, so we could use black magic, but I don't really have much of that. Wow. It's... okay. Well, maybe it does take a little bit of work. Wow. Okay. Hopefully it doesn't just insta-kill. Oh, dang. I'm gonna defend with him. Let's see how hard this guy hits. Okay. 
He hits pretty hard. Okay, I'll, I like it. Let's go ahead and headbutt. Once again, I just I don't like his move set, man. He looks so weird. Oh, he's getting ready for another attack. Hmm. I think Gravity Blow will hit him. Hopefully he doesn't kill anybody. He might. He very well might. Maybe this will just kill him, though, since it's against his color. Oh, perfect. Okay. Whew. I was scared Gil was going to die there for a little bit. So, yeah. Uh, like I said, if that peck almost killed Gil now, it would have definitely murdered us earlier in the game. So, good thing I waited. Uh, how How is our health? Okay, Gil needs some health. Um... Let's just use tablets. There we go. Only Gil took health. Okay, let's check out the rest of the canyon. Pretty sure we can go up here. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, this, this was a skill that I, talk, that I was talking about. So, we did get the pelvis. Now, this is actually the head. Looks like I'm causing quite a stir. I've been waiting forever for someone like you. Yeah, I know. By the way, if we would have came here earlier, we would have talked to the soldiers. A bunch of them were talking about something creepy going on. It's another kind of like line we missed. Yeah, I know. You and I are both dead, huh? I don't know how I ended up like this. I don't have a body and I don't remember a thing. You understand what I'm going through, yeah, don't you? But I have a feeling everything will come back to me once I find my body part. So how is it going? Will you help me find my body? Sure. Yeah, I've... I'm heavier than I look, but I hope you don't mind it. Don't swing me around too much. I start feeling nauseous. So, we got the heavy skull. So, now we got the pelvis and the skull. And I don't really know how many parts there are. But, um... I don't know. We'll go through the game and uh, we'll find them slowly, I guess. Now, can we... Can we go up there? Uh... uh we gotta go through here. Oh, we just walk over this. And some of the sprites in this game are so wonky. Let's get this flower. Bell flower gently. Don't really know what that does. And this is also an enemy right here. Let's fight it. I'm gonna try to encounter on video at least every enemy once in the game. Ooh. We got a bird. Okay, well I'm gonna take out the small boys first. Wow, my second one missed. That's kind of dumb. Okay, I was like, is anyone attacking? Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. I was trying to... Okay, whatever. I was trying to do something else. Alright. Uh, oh, I was trying to get my third hit off. That's dumb. Alright, well we can use one down on this guy. Let's go ahead, get rid of him, and then take care of the bird. Get out of here. 99 damage. But you ain't one. Hey, he hits kind of hard. I like it. His headbutt, you know what? I'm just going to defend. His headbutt doesn't do much damage. I wonder why the bird's not attacking. Okay, well, there. I just as I said that. And the bird attacked the person that is defending, so that's pretty neat. And let's go ahead and use Ice Blast, might as well. Bam. Dead. Ice, Ice Blast, I think it's Ice Blast, whatever. There's quite a bit of damage, I like it. Da -da -da -da. Uh, did I heal? I didn't heal, but whatever. He's missing like five health. I think he'll be fine. All right. Uh, I think for now that is basically everything here at the canyon. So we're gonna get moving. Do do do. And I guess we should probably quickly check out the marshes on this world. Just kind of like take a look at them and then go to the other world. Other world's Hydra Marshes. But also, what I'm going to end up doing is... 
since I, I know what's gonna happen next, oh, the <laughs> little pup just attacked another one. I know that the next Hydra Marsh, like this next part of the game, in my opinion, is the hardest part of the game. Um, just for the fact that, um, in this next part, there's a lot of bosses in very quick succession without a lot of leveling in between. So it tends to be very, very overwhelming. Do, 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 do. So, um, after, I'm gonna try not to get into the big, big bosses this episode, and obviously we're gonna, we're gonna finish this episode, you know, 30 minutes, we're gonna get some stuff done, but after this episode I do wanna do some grinding to prepare for the next one. So over here, we have a place which we can't do anything with yet, and over here, this is the Hydra Marshes over here. So, like they kept saying, on this world, there are no more Hydras. Let's talk to this guy. Huh, you say you're searching for a Hydra, huh? Didn't know they died out years ago? You won't find any of them here in El Nido. Now, if you're wondering what happened, just look about you. The ecosystem that kept the water clean has been destroyed. Now the water is just pools of acid. What once was a beautiful living woodland has now become a dead forest. So yeah, basically, if we step in that water, we get poisoned. And there's not really much to do in here, really. And we can go into that water, but we need like some kind of suit to not take damage. So for now, we're gonna leave it be. There's really no reason to be here because once again, there are no hydras there. But if we go to Opasa Beach, we will do something that is very wonderful. Opasa Beach. Angelus Arar. Is it true that this place has split the flow of time in twain? So, Serge, what you gonna do now? We're gonna use the pendant. That's what we're gonna do. You know what I mean? What is that? Is it reacting to something? This is the hole that connects the two worlds. The whatchamacallit hole, right? So, yep, if we stand here and use the astral amulet, bam, we get poofed to the other world. This time, we don't get taken by the beach, but we actually just kind of do it ourselves. And bam, we are at the other world. And you guys got to remember, in this world, we are actually alive. Felt like my body split into two, a very strange feeling. So now we're in the other world. I still can't believe it though. Chip, so we can basically switch worlds whenever we want, anytime we want. But we just do have to remember that this is our real world. So here we are very much alive. So we can go talk to Lena real quick and I'll show you guys that she actually does recognize us. Serge, where have you been? You had me worried sick. You just suddenly disappeared from the beach. That was some magic trick. Don't even think about pulling that one again. Once is enough for me. So yeah, to her, we basically just disappeared. But in reality, we actually went to a different world. But it's really nice. Now, in this world, not everybody thinks I'm dead. So that's good, right? So let's do a couple of things. Of course, right now, we're supposed to head to the Hydra Marshes. But we're going to main like the main quest we're gonna do that in a little bit for now let's just kind of do some of these can we go through here or is are we still not allowed the poor army is currently investigating the area it is off limits we will inform you in our investigation oh, so we can't go through there oh, okay so our search limits is kind of okay i guess we're just fine we're just gonna go straight to the hydra marshes then you know what i'll i dig it I wish I had a little bit more leveling, but oh well. Why, if it isn't Surge, didn't the village elders tell you not to come near here? Do you have some kind of business here? Hmm, I won't ask you what it is. I can tell by the look on your face that it is something important. Here you go, go through. I'm sure the three of you can handle yourselves. Truly. Before you enter, I'll give you a word of advice. The marshes are like a maze full of poisonous monsters. Be prepared. Yes. Do we have... How many antidotes? We have 11. 
Okay, you know what we're gonna do real quickly? We're gonna go and we're gonna buy some more antidote because we're bound to get poisoned a lot. And I will buy some more tablets since I do have a quite an excess amount of money. Um Yes, show me your elements. Wait, does she sell antidote? Please tell okay, you do sell antidote. Okay, good. Uh let's buy Let's buy 20 more of them. And then medicine will buy 10 more. Okay, cool. So now we have some antidote. And real quick, I keep forgetting to do this. But our equips. We need to um take care of these. Is ivory better? No, ivory is worse. Um, what does this do? Okay, let's take the knee pad off. Let's go over here. Uh um uh, improves against magic defense. There we go. Okay, let's improve his hit and give him a bronze helmet. And then this guy, uh, we'll give him. Oh, we can't give this to him. I wonder why not. Okay, well, wait. Shifts attribute of element attacks received to weapon. Don't know what really that does, but you know what? I guess we're fine with with that little kit. We're fine. Let's head to the marshes now. We've got plenty of antidotes, and we've got some medicine and some tablets, because it, undoubtedly we're gonna get poisoned and we're gonna need a lot of small health supplies, not big health supplies. And here the water is not poison, uh, but like I said, we're gonna go through the entire map here. We're gonna try to finish as much of the game as possible so this isn't a 100% run but I will try my best to get everything possible I think I've said this in an earlier video but yeah so anything that I can get to might as well there's no reason not to get it I'm pretty sure this enemy is tough I'm pretty sure this thing just bl literally just blows up okay so it's it's green right you know what? Actually, we'll just use Ice Blast anyway, since it's level 4. It's probably stronger. Even though it's weak against yellow. Boom. Yeah, the thing just blows up, right? Yeah, the thing literally just does nothing but poison all of us. Do I get anything from it? Or do I just, like, just get poisoned for no reason? Oh, okay, we do get stuff from it. Okay, and we even got air saucer. Okay, cool, I'll take it. Uh, real question is, are we poisoned? Yes, yeah, Surge is poisoned. Okay, not items, no. Elements, use. Antidote. Yep, there we go. So, we're gonna get poisoned quite a lot. So, I'm expecting to do that multiple times. For a second, I thought my controller died, but no, it's just a little cutscene. Alright, cool. A little what you doing standing there in the days. I, I hate cold and climbing places besides we ain't got time to sit around and toast marshmallows. You right? Yeah, that was like a little ghost girl. It's very creepy. Boom. Over here is where we're gonna come out of. Yeah. I think. Alright, I guess let's check it out. But let's see what this is. Okay, so this, this is like a little... Is there only one of them? Oh, okay, there's two of them. Okay, that didn't hit. That didn't hit. Wow, okay, just nothing wants to hit. Oh, that thing hits quite hard, actually. Finally, something hit. What? Okay, wait, uh, what is this? What color? It's white? Oh, no, 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 it's blue. So let's use fireball against it. Wow, the thing's not dead. Gotta be kidding me, right? Bam. Nice. One of them's dead. And this should kill it. If this doesn't kill it, I'd be surprised. Although, I've had surprises in this game before. 
Wayne. Okay, they did kill it. Good stuff, good stuff. Man, I... I can't wait until we get rid of Korcha. I don't know why. I just legitimately never liked that character. I just, he just looks weird. I don't know. Maybe I'm... Maybe I'm biased or something, but... Yeah, so when we finish this entire thing, that's where we're gonna come out of. For now, we'll leave it alone. And we have two paths. Left and up. I know left is the way we're supposed to go. Up here is basically nothing. We can't really do anything just yet. But we can get a chest. Found a cure. And there's a little... Um, gnome here. Now... I don't want to give any major spoilers, but basically, the people that live here are these gnomes. These are going to be our main enemies throughout the Hydra, especially near the end. But I'm not going to spoil it. You guys will see in the end. Let's go ahead and give them a good whacking. These, these people are pretty strong. They're not weak. The main thing about them is sometimes they come in very big groups, and it can hurt quite a lot. Let's go. Do I not have a magma bomb on him? Wow. I'm guessing these are all single enemy. Okay. Well, let's just ice blast one of the one of ones that I didn't attack. So then we'll be able to use magma bomb with Gil. Oh. That guy just died. Okay. I guess I'm okay with that. Let's see if we can hit them all. Ooh, both of them dodged it. What a what a cheeky lad. Okay, let's hit him with only one, and then wandle the other one, because it should be an instant kill. Should be an instant kill. And then the other one is very weak, so we could probably just poke him with Korcha. And he should be dead. Give him a little whacking on the head with the, the pole. Bah. But, the one thing that I am fairly happy with is he his attack is stronger than I thought it would be. Not gonna lie. I always thought Portia was, like, really, really weak, but he does hit decently hard, so I'll take it. I'll take it. And I'm guessing we can't... Okay, we can't do anything with that. Uh, can we do anything here? Pretty sure the thing... Oh, we can. Okay. Maybe we can. Okay, we can't walk up there. Um, before we go up there, because if we jump down that, we're not coming back. Let's take a look what's up here. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe the way we have to go is that way. Maybe I was wrong. Let's take a look at what's up here. Everybody down. Something's big heading our way. It's a giant bug. Alright, what was that thing? I cannot believe this place. Okay, let's... So yeah, I guess we're just gonna finish this way. I kind of forgot what was the other way. But all I know is if we go that way, there's no turning back. So I want to check out this place just in case. Did you just see a strange looking creature up ahead? Yup! That thing of a thing of a jigger. I hate these things. Bubba Biba. This this Biba no place for humans, Biba. Go away, Biba off. Alright, get ready to fight then. I ain't scared. That's for oh show. Oh it Come on, bro. Okay. Leave it to Biba. Biba, call friend. So the thing that sucks with these guys is they call friends, which is quite annoying. So basically, if we don't kill them fast enough, they'll just keep calling friends over and over again. So let's make sure to kill them. They're also a nice way to farm, though, because if they just keep calling their friends, you can just stay here. Just keep killing them and killing them and killing them. Bubba, oh my god, more friends, that's not good. Okay, well let's try to kill... 
Oh, I lost track. I don't know which one has the health. I'll just guess the middle one, I guess. Hopefully this kills him. Did that kill him? Nope. That's fine, though. Okay, give him a good... You would call even one more friend. Oh, now we got four of them. That's not good. And they hit fairly hard, which kind of sucks. These things are blue, right? Alright, well, I'm just going to attack the middle one. Hopefully, he doesn't just call friends infinitely. That would kind of suck. Man, this, these things have a large amount of health, surprisingly. It'd be cool if they didn't dodge very often. Oh, it's a good thing he missed Surge. Surge is kind of low already. Okay, this one's almost slow. Beba Lout Revolution. Nah, fam. What does that even mean? Ah, uh, no more friends come. Beba, no friend left. Okay, no more friends. Good. So, we can just defeat these ones, get on with our lives. But, this thing needs to stop hitting me first. So, let's go ahead and Ice Blast this one over here. Because, I'm pretty sure Magma Bomb should be able to kill it. Kill the other one, at least. So, let's go to one on the back here. Try to get up to Magma Bomb. Ugh. Why didn't they let me Magma Bomb? Don't attack, don't attack. Okay, good. Yes, we have Magma Bomb. Hopefully this kills maybe two of them. So definitely do some damage, though. Wow, didn't kill either of them. Alright, well, let's maybe try to finish these ones off. Stupid thing dodged. Hopefully they don't do some, like, special crazy attack. Let's defend. Defend. Okay, good. They hit us when we're defending, so that's good. We won't lose too much health. And defend. And Corpse is getting kind of low, so we're going to have to be careful with him. Because they're hitting him quite a lot. But... We should be able to actually kill these guys, if we don't stop missing, that is. We really have to stop missing. It's actually super triggering. This one needs to die. Finally. Don't. Don't hit him twice. Okay, good. What we're gonna do... Ooh. Uh, let's defend. We're gonna have to heal him up, for sure. Others are still defending, so... Let's make sure to kill this one. Okay, Corch is still defending. But we're definitely gonna have to... Don't... Okay, I was gonna say, if, if they hit him again, he's dead, so... That was pretty lucky. Let's use Cure, right? We have Cure. I'm Korcha. Just because, obviously, I don't want him to die, because I want him to get the experience. Alright, come on. Just gotta kill three more. Please hit. Good. And let's hit... Are these guys? No, I don't want to hit them with that. I guess we can hit this one with a fireball. I maybe need to relocate some of these. It seems like some of my elements are kind of... I'm not... I don't have an equal amount. Really? That one's seriously not dead. It's fine. We'll whack him. Alright. Please hit. Good. Hit again? Good. Now, 
Uh, the one in the back is weaker than the one in the front. The one in the front is not even touched, I don't think. And Corcha doesn't have any elements. So let's go in the back. Hit. Nice. Good hit. Boop. Surge. Hopefully I can kill off the one in the back. If I hit both threes. Yes. Ooh. That was... That was a good hit right there. A solid 66. You know what? Let's go to Gil. Make sure we defend. Make sure he don't die. Okay, so both Surge and Gil are a little bit low. I'm pretty sure, though, we're going to be able to finish them off before, though. If they don't dodge... Mm, it's so tilting. Okay, it's a good thing they went for Korcha. Good. like it. Uh, okay, he's going for Surge. I don't think Surge is defending, is he? Uh, okay, let's kill the one in the back. Good. Let's make sure we hit him. Ooh, he mi mm, that's so bad. Surge is gonna die if we don't... No, 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 no. Okay, good. Corcha. One more hit to Surge and he's dead, so... We have to kill this one, though. This one needs to die. Do I have a cure? Heal. I'm gonna heal Surge. That leaves Gil very susceptible, but he Gil's not gonna die in one hit. Surge might. So, we really gotta kill the one in the back, though. Nice. Two good hits. Alright, this won't kill Gil, though. That'll definitely hurt, but it won't kill him. Alright, one more. Missed. God, come on. Do we have a heal? We don't. Okay, we'll use dash and slash on him. I don't think I have any more healing stuff, so... Go ahead and hit him pretty hard. Okay, good. Hits Korcha, not Gil. And that was a good, like, critical attack, so... That's good that it wasn't used on Gil. Okay, let's go ahead and defend. Good. I like Corpses being a good bait. He's being good bait. Okay. Bam. Okay. If we get some good hits, he should be... He should be low now. Okay. He's gonna hit Corcha. Well, Corcha has a good bit of health still. So, he's fine. He'll be fine. And Gil's still defending, so... He's not gonna die no matter what hits him, basically. And I'm pretty sure these guys don't have any spells, or they would've used them by now, so... Okay, good hit. Nice! That was a good... That was a good three. I'll take it. Alright, we made it through that fight. Good, good. We got a lot of fur. Okay. I, I, Biba, really sorry. Here, I give you this. Please forgive me, but this Biba flu is handed down on the Biba family. A Biba magical, it calls Wingapede, it makes Wingapede Biba good, Wingapede. It best Biba used in a wide open space. Well, I'll Biba see it. Wow, we beat him in one fight, and he gives us his family heirloom, so. <clears throat> this guy apparently doesn't have very good standards. He could have just ran, he didn't have to give me some, but we will be using the Biba flu for sure. Why don't you try blowing the flute here, Surge? I will, but first I'm gonna save. Definitely gonna save real quick. Okay, so let's go ahead and try and blow the flute. This be by the wrong place. This is in the wide open space I was talking about. So that wide open space is going to be over to our right. But for now, guys, we're going to end off the episode here. Let's go ahead and use some tablets, though. Get all healed up. And none of us are poisoned. Also, 
Uh, let's allocate some things because, um, let's put revive on surge. Let's put a cure. We need some more healing things for sure. 100%. Um, let's put, um, heal. Heal's good. Okay, let's go to the next character. I don't think he has any spaces, right? Nope. Corcha does have- Oh my god, he had a bunch of space and I didn't even know it. Alright, that's fine. Let's put Bushwhacker. Photon Ray. Gravity Blow. And... Let's put another Gravity Blow on the two. We'll put... Is Ice Blast two? No, it's four. Let's put Magma Bomb. Magma Bomb. Uh... Just two, one of those, and meteorite on three. Uh, put a capsule, and on four, ice blast. Let's actually go back to surge. Let's put magma bomb on him, and on Gil. Heal. Uplift. Okay. Oh, let's put Magma Bomb here, too. Alright, cool. So, we've got our kind of elements in shape, guys. So, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy today's episode, make sure to like and a comment. That supports my channel. And I'll see you guys later. God bless. And goodbye. Hey, guys. Welcome back to another episode of Corner Cross. We are at the Hydra Marshes. So, let's continue exploring. So, if you guys remember, we are here to get the medicine for Kid because, oh, there's a Bebo over here. Mm, I want that treasure. Uh, I don't like humans, but I don't hate them either. I just like strong beings, no matter what species. We're strong. Okay, so let's go ahead and kill him because I want that chest behind him, honestly. So let's go, Biba. Now, these things call in friends. So, let's try to kill him quickly here, or as quickly as possible so he doesn't call too many friends. I don't think we'll be able to kill him that quickly though, I think Korcha should attack next. Oh, he's gonna call it a friend. Oh, he, he was actually really close to being dead. You know what? This might kill him. Maybe we can just completely stop him from calling friends if we just kill him right here. Nice! He didn't even get to call it a f He did have a friend! No! Oh, that's fine. We'll kill this guy fairly quickly. We were like one turn away from killing him without him calling a friend. Oh, okay, well... Okay, that, that one attack got us to his special, so that's good. That's basically all I wanted to do is get to this guy's special so we could do this. It's 100 straight damage. Some good stuff right there. Uh, let's defend with him. Boop. These people do hit pretty hard. Not too hard, though. Okay. Hit that 70. Good. And let's dash and slash. Doesn't do too much damage, but... Gotta do what you gotta do. Let's hit with Korcha. Missed. Dang it. Boop. Give him a little love tap. Maybe the 66 will hit. Nice. Um, this guy is yellow, right? So let's use the arrow saucer on him. And this should do a good bit of damage. I'll take it. So let's heal. And let's see what's behind him. That Biba, that Biba quite fun. I give you the treasure behind me. Hasta la Biba. Bushwhacker. Okay, that really wasn't a very good prize. Is there anything over here? I don't think so. Let's go over here. And this is where we'll be able to blow the Biba flute. 
bum. A wide open space. Could this be it? Serge, why don't you try blowing that flute? Okay. Uh, wrong place. There's, there's the centipede thingy. Flyapede. Don't tell me we got a... This is the wingapede. It's actually smaller than I thought. Serge, why don't you try feeding it something? Oh, it doesn't like it. Alright, looks like we're gonna have to earn its respect. So. Let's go ahead and beat the thing into submission then. Alright, good. Two good hits. This thing is green, so yellow stuff will be good against it. A nice spike right through the stomach. Nice. It's 100 damage. It's some good 100 damage right there. Uh, let's hit it one more time. And then use Wando. Wando. I don't even... I gotta stop pronouncing I just gotta stop even saying that word. Should do around 100 damage. Nice, now we got Korcha. He hits pretty hard, surprisingly, so... Nice. Man, this thing's dodge is terrible. Poison gas. Alright, he's gonna try to poison us all. Alright, two of us were poisoned. That's fine, though. Because I have antidotes. Bam. Alright, he's pretty low already, so... Nice. Is it dead? Okay, we, t we took it out. Faster than I thought. Kind of sucks we got poison, so we got to use some antidotes, but whatever. That's like 30G. Not too much. Okay, so we used a heal and a cure. Foothold could give away any minute, Serge. We should avoid passing through the middle. That probably means let's go through the middle. Secure the poison. And let's drop. And we landed on an octopus. Or a squid. Blop. <laughs> what do you want? Uh, you know what we should probably do before the battle? Just in case. Let's take some tablets. Can we... Who would have thought there would be a cavern inside of this tree, let alone the old monster? Well, at least it served as a cushion to break our fall, otherwise that would have hurt. Can we get past it? If old five legs here wakes up, we could be in a lot of trouble. We should try and get out of here while we still can. What are you doing here? Encaged fairy. Hey, Serge, is that really a fairy? I've never seen one before. We can't just leave her trapped like this. Let's help her out. Yes, let us help her out. Wait right there, my darlings. Oh, that thing woke up, I think. Do you think you could walk out here alive and with my dinner too? Come to think of it, it's been years since I wrapped my sweet tentacles around human flesh. You'll make a fine course to go with a delicious fairy appetizer. You should consider it an honor to be the dinner guest of him. I do not believe this. It is just one battle after another, but this time we're trapped in a hole. No way out. We've got no choice but to fight. Let's do this. This thing should be pretty easy to kill. I've... I'm not even kidding, the five, six playthroughs that I've played, I have never beaten this thing. I've never thought to look down here at the cage, so this is actually a first for me. But how hard could this thing be? Right? Okay. He doesn't hit much harder than basically a Biba. Maybe like twice as hard? That's not that big of a deal. 
the thing that we gotta be careful with is is his mass spells. Those might be dangerous. So we're gonna definitely have to be careful. And his spells probably hit quite hard. So we're definitely gonna have to be careful. Uh, let's go with Corcha. Hit! Nice. Good stuff. We've gotten. Okay, this is a special. How much does this do? 59. That's not even that bad, actually. That's fine. Uh, let's use. Let's use Ice Blast against him. Even though it is the same color as him, it still does a really good amount of damage, surprisingly, so. And then let's go ahead and use Fireball. Fireball should be effective against him. This will hit him pretty hard. Hexa hitter. Okay. Ooh, Korcha might be dead here. Ooh, Korcha's dead. Um. Let's defend. Oh, come on. Hit Gil. He's defending. Okay, let's go ahead and use revive on courtship get you back alive my dude and with him let's go ahead and heal Korcha. there we go he shouldn't die from single hits I was just kind of unlucky that he got hit with both of the strong ones uh, you know what we're gonna do we're gonna defend We're gonna hit him with the two. Oh, uh, and I was gonna defend right after, but it's alright. He's gonna hit Korcha, who's defending anyway. That's fine. Defend. Uh, I think we have a fireball on him, right? Mm, we have magma. You know what? Magma bomb's fine. It's not as strong as fireball because it's a multi target attack, not single. But it'll still hit about 50, so that's good. Okay, this guy's almost dead. Good, he's hitting Surge, who's defending, but he misses. Oh, okay, he's hitting a couple times now. It's a good thing he was defending, because that would hurt quite a lot. I think Mag Magma Bomb does quite a bit of damage, so let's use Magma Bomb. 30. He's not dead yet. He should be dead after these hits, though. Yeah, he should be dead. There we go. right into the floor. Nice. That is the octopus down. Alright, well, we saved her from being eaten, so that's good. Thank you for rescuing me. You are kind of strong for human folk. I was surprised. Let me introduce myself. My name is Razli. I come from the Water Dragon Isle. I think you can tell by just looking at me, but I'm a fairy. I guess you could say it's fairly obvious. Teehee. I heard rumors about that island. They say due to the abnormal weather, they have been having their water source dried up. If that was in another world we just came from. I wonder if it is the same thing in this world. It is not. Huh? Our water source has dried up this world. I don't understand what in fairy godmother's name you're talking about. Search, perhaps we had better explain. Q explaining of the worlds. G, so there's another world, and you've come to these marshes in this world to save your friend in another world. Yes, you seem to have got it, but actually, Surge is originally from this world. We do not expect you to believe us, but it is true we have traveled through a wormhole to your world. We need the Hydra humor to make the medicine that'll save our friend. There sure is a Hydra in this forest. I saw it with my own fairly eyes, but that's when those big noses caught me and threw me in here to become food. I want to go home to my island, but it's too... Teehee, how about taking me along with you? Of course. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. And 
I would add her to my party, but I think Korcha is stronger. What? She's green. Yeah. Um. You know what? Maybe. Right now we're going to leave Korcha in. For now. Tihi, thanks. I'll be waiting by the force and be careful, Sergi. And thank you for coming. Yep. Uh, I don't want to look at Korcha anymore. Real quickly, let's get this chest, though. Recover all. I'm pretty sure... Oh, we can't do that now. Okay. Well, we'll have to switch her in... Never, maybe. I guess we'll just keep Korcha. Although I don't like Korcha. I think he's probably a better character overall than Razli. So... Okay, so now we're at the point where we were last episode where I didn't want to go any further. Alright, where can we jump? Can we jump? Okay, move, please. How do I... Hello? I'm trying to get out of here. It's not letting me. Yeah, the only way out is over here. Ah, oh, this is so annoying sometimes. Like, the pixels just aren't right. It's supposed to let me jump. Yeah, see? Like, the anime, like, this, I don't know, the, it's, the map is just so weird sometimes. Alright, well, this is where we would have came if we would have used that little leaf thingy. So let's go ahead and continue on. Arrow saucer, we don't really need that. And although it's probably not fun to watch me fight all of these things, like I said, this next, well, I said this last episode, and this next part of the game, in my opinion, is the hardest part of the entire game. So I do need to fight everything possible to level up the most. Why is there only one of these things? But yeah, I will have to fight everything that I can, sadly. Boom, straight out the front. Yep, I think, I don't know if those, that, like, that specific enemy type can call on friends, but if it can, it can't now since we killed it so quickly. Alright, we found a tablet, that's good. I, I'm always in need of tablets. It's good stuff, good stuff. So let's continue on, this, this is the main story path. Now we can run past these things, but like I said, uh, I need to level up as much as I can, so I will be fighting these. And anyway, we have to fight at least one of them to kind of see, you know, what they do, what they look like. Hit? Nice. Okay, the three hit, though. That's kind of disappointing. How hard do they hit? Okay, they don't hit that hard. This thing is... Yeah, so we're going to need a yellow. I'm just going to defend... Okay, so, cool. Seems like this thing has, like, high agility or something. Devour. <laughs> well, of course, it's trying to run away. That's fine. Yeah, it's not even a lot of damage. Except that, that poisoned him, which is kind of annoying. Of course, it missed. Let's go ahead and headbutt him. Okay, that did a decent amount of damage. Man, why do the threes always hit? Like, never hit. It's so annoying. Boom. Bush Basher. Ooh. Did quite a bit of damage. And... This should finish him off. This doesn't kill him. He's immortal, so. Yeah, so we're gonna definitely have to kill Korcha. Boom, 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 boom. 
No, I didn't. I didn't heal. I was supposed to click a button down. Okay, let's quickly. Elements use. Hello? Okay, antidote. And then. Uh, tablet. Okay, cool, everyone's healed. Oh, I didn't heal his poison. Gotta make sure to do that. Uh, antidote. There we go. Everyone's full health. Alright, cool. And we have a triangle here we could save at. Which is good. And you know, you know we... Can we use... We can use a teleporter here. Um, wonder if we should get Razzly in. Hmm. What color is she? She's green. Actually... Most people here are green, so that won't really help my attack. It'll just hinder it. So you know what? We'll be fine without her. And I don't even actually want her either. Only reason I want her is because I, I don't want Korcha, really. Alright, but let's keep going. Okay, so that way it's a bunch of trolls. This way is other trolls. Alright, I guess we'll go this way first. Halt, humans. We cannot permit you to advance any further. The Hydra is deity of the forest. Out its forest will die. Should you still wish to advance, you will have to get by us. Prepare for battle with the humans. This is a really sad part of the game. Basically, we have to kill this entire forest and kill a super, like, rare creature just to get the medicine to save, kid. So it's very kind of sad. Oh, that is some damage. Jeez. Alright, oh. There we go. Good. Let's use Magma Bomb. Magma Bomb's gonna be really good in this situation because we can do so much damage to so many people. Damn, that's a decent amount of damage. It's not too high. But... Nope, nope, didn't want to use heal. I'm pretty sure... Okay, Magma Bomb is on this level. Yep. Let's hit them all with the Magma Bomb. Okay, one of them is dead. Ooh, that did a lot of damage. Now, I'm pretty sure Korcha also has a Magma Bomb. If we can hit anything ever. Okay. So, that's gonna hit pretty hard. Oof. Uh, we have Magma Bomb though. That's good. But we're gonna have to be careful for another one. Oh wow, two of them are dead. Okay, we could probably kill... That's a little bit annoying. Um... Just defend. 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 So we could kill them all in kind of like one swipe. There we go. Alright, hit please. Good stuff. Alright, that one's dead. Of course it'll hit Surge, the one that's not defending. That's good though actually because he's the highest HP one. You know what, we're just going to go up to one of them and straight go Savage. We missed. Okay, that killed that one. And let's just up... Oh, they're both yellow. That was a mistake. That's fine, though. You just hit him right in the noggin. Either way, that'll kill him. Because Giel's magic is fairly high. Bum, 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 bum. Nice. Next. That was the next boss. So let's make sure to heal up. Too strong. Are we unable to stop them? Ah, man, this game, this part of this game makes me actually sad, man. Like, these are poor, just, things trying to protect. These guys are literally trying to protect their home. And a rare creature that, like, keeps the ecosystem in check. And we're just going through remorselessly, just slaughtering all of them. 
kind of sad, man. It really is. Uh, let's go to equips. Is this better? Nope. Uh, let's go to these guys. I'm pretty sure this is something better, though. Yeah, bronze mail is good. And... Okay, all that stuff is worse. Is there anything we can put on them? Nope. Okay. Let's quickly, let's go over and save. Just real quickly. We're gonna keep going. But let's save real quick. Yep. Okay, I'm pretty sure... I think the Hydra might be up next. Is it your intention to kill the forest? Ah, they're strong. Man, I have to kill the forest to get Kid back. That sucks. That sucks a lot. You be fowler of the forest, human vermin, prepare to receive the anger of nature that you deserve. Oh great Hydra, hear my voice. Turn on these wretched humans. Teach them how the forest, no, our planet, is pained by their existence. this man but I gotta save kid I kill me do I have another heal I don't basically this is it Ew. come on dude he's Oh, see, he instantly does future odor. I can't even have time to heal because everyone misses. And Corch is dead. All right, fourth, fourth time's a charm, hopefully. Uh, okay, there we go. Hopefully fourth time. We'll beat him. Don't miss. Good. So far, Surge is hitting his shots in the beginning. Good, an ice blast. Okay, 100. Good damage. And let's just hit him with a 1. And then wand on him. Alright, so guys, this is my fourth time fighting him, so I'm really hoping we can defeat him this time. At this point, I'm already, like, on the fact that I'm probably gonna have to finish this fight without all my characters. At this point, though, I just wanna beat the fight. <clears throat> Honestly, I just wanna beat the fight. Um... Come on. Hit him with that, too. Hit him again. Now let's hit him with the Ice Blast, since <clears throat> the likelihood that we'll be able to use this later kind of small since we're probably gonna have to be constantly healing ourselves try to get a three nice oh I was gonna defend that's mean I was about to defend okay at least he hit a defending character let's defend on him good he missed hit an 80. Good. He's hit an 85. Okay, he's hitting his shots. We're doing it. It's happening. Let's heal Korcha. Let's go ahead and heal him preemptively a little bit. Okay, Gil is defending, so that's a completely fine hit. Let's try to hit a 2. Good. And heal Surge. We go good stuff good everyone's hitting their shots this is amazing I like this in past attacks nobody was hitting anything so that's good let's try to hit a two good and defend defend okay he still hasn't used his special ability the putrid whatever 
Good. All right. Let's use... You know what? We're gonna use Arrow Saucer, yeah. He's probably gonna use Putrid Breath next. And defending doesn't really help, so... Okay, he's low. He's low. Good. Let's try to finish him off before he even uses his... And, okay, here it is. This is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt a lot. I wonder, can he, does he pull an, okay. This is, this next attack is gonna hurt a lot. So definitely, let's defend. Let's just defend on him. Defend. Oh, he didn't. Okay, he didn't go for the future breath. This is actually a really good turnout so far. Okay, this is where the game starts screwing me over. I've lost three battles in a row because of this accident. That surge starts missing near the end. I need him to really not miss right now. Good. Good. He's gonna use future. Oh, he still is not. Oh, he's gonna need some healing badly. Do I have healing on him? I do have capsules. Surge is definitely good because if Putrid Breath comes out, he might die. And Surge is the only one with revive. Don't miss those shots, Surge. Those are the only shots that I need for him to hit. Do I have? I don't. So I just have to defend. Let's go to Surge. Let's just try to hit the three. Mmm. And I wasn't defending. Let's go to Korcha. He has... If he... Okay, he didn't miss. Good. And I'm gonna go ahead and Capsule Surge again. Because again, he's the only one with a revive. So I'm gonna be taking special care that he doesn't die. And he's also our biggest attacker. Oh. Okay. Maybe we could kill him. If he doesn't miss, please don't miss. We could possibly kill him. I'm gonna take the safe route and heal. I'm gonna heal Korcha. Basically, I think whoever I don't heal is dead. But Korcha does damage. Yep, basically, Gil's dead because I didn't heal him. No, he survived. What a what a legend. Just don't. Okay. Hopefully this kills him. Please tell me this kills him. If G if Gil survives with three health, I'll actually cry. Yes, that did it. Oh, I'm a genius. Bam. Rest in peace, Forest. I am sorry, but I need a kid back. So basically, this game made you choose. Do you want your friend to live, or do you want to save the planet? If I was in real life, I'd probably... Uh, I don't know. What do you humans intend to do with our mother planet? Not thinking of the future, cutting down trees like there's no tomorrow. Burning the forest to make your towns even bigger, and all for what? Do you think that you are the only ones who live on this planet? Do you even know the works of life forms other than yourselves? You're nothing more than freaks of evolution. Alright, we got the Hydra humor. But, at the same time, we have killed the forest. Sadly. Alright guys, but we are going to end the episode off here. In a second. There's not a single door for home in this forest anymore. Have they abandoned this place? Let's hurry. Uh, no. This is, this is, oh, we, we literally just destroyed their home. 
Uh, let's make sure to... Oh, we're full health. Okay. Let's go see what's up front. Oh, what's up? I really should go back to my home. wonder how everyone's doing. Okay. Well, she's part of our party, I think. All of a sudden, the Oreo about seems different. I can't really pinpoint what, though. Man, we killed the forest, man. We killed the forest. Alright, well, that's going to be it. My, I just choked a little bit. My throat is dry here. I've been talking for like an hour and a half. Let's go ahead and save, guys. Thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and comment. As it supports my channel. And my controller is broken. God bless. And goodbye. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Chrono Cross. Today we're going to be finally saving Kid. Uh, we got that Hydra humor for her. So we can finally get her back in the party and get rid of Korcha already. I'm not going to lie, Korcha has impressed me a little bit. Uh, his attack was quite good, so it made it easier to do all, all the boss battles. But I, I'm still not taking the fact that I still don't like Korchuk, so I'm going to be happy to see Kid back in the party here soon. And then, I don't know, I honestly haven't thought about what characters I'm going to be using end game, because if you guys don't know, this game does let you, like, you collect, like, 15 to 20 characters over the entire game, so there are multi, like, many characters you can choose from. Uh, obviously I'm going to be keeping Surge. I, m I most likely will be keeping Kid. I usually don't keep Kid, but for specifically for this run, I want a Kid run. So I want Kid to be with us. So basically I just have to decide my third character. But there's a lot of good third characters, so I don't know which one I'm going to choose. So yeah, I don't know. Well... For now, let's return to Goldove and get Kid back. That's the most important thing on the list at the moment. And yeah, right now, we can't control the boat, so like I'm not actually doing anything. But once we get further into the game, we'll actually get our own boat and we'll be able to sail anywhere we want. So those islands, uh, for now let's just put Razzy, Razzly, I forgot her name. But for now, yeah, we can't move, but we will soon enough get a ship. Let's rush over to the doctor. I agree. Let us rush over to the doctor. Let us get Kid back. What up, Doc? Oh, it's you, dudes. The patient strength is at its limit without the antidote. Yo, what's up, fam? I got you the antidote. Oh, wait. I gotta, I gotta use that as an item, don't I? So I gotta press this. Hydra humor. Bam. Activated. Can this be Hydra humor? But how? We will discuss that later. As long as we have this, making an antidote will be... Easier than catching a wave. We can save the girl with this. We will prepare an antidote right away, nurse. Help me with the preparation stat. Yes, let's do this. I have no idea where in the world you found this, nor do I know who you really are. But now is not the time to ask such questions. You have done your part. Now you can leave the rest to me. Alright, dudes. Surf's up. You heard the doc. We've done all we can. Just trust him and wait. Let us wait. It's already close to nightfall. Doc, how is she? Will she be alright? Yes, yeah, she's past the critical period. There are no signs of complications from the poison. The girl has held up well, but only thanks to you dudes. You have done the impossible by finding the antidote. I still cannot believe it. You, with the red bandana. Your search, correct? She would like to speak with you. 
It'd be a little while longer before she falls asleep from the aesthetic. Will you speak with her, dude? Yes. Let us go speak. Let us do the speaketh. I will be in the room next door, so call me if you need me. And do not forget that even though the poison is gone, she has not completely recovered. Well then, catch you later, dude. Catch you later, homie. Hehe, <laughs> you've become a bloody handsome while I was out of it. Okay, okay. I don't know all the details, but I heard what happened from the dock. Looks like there's been a lot going on while I was asleep. I guess it proves that you can take care of yourself now. Eh. Oi, Serge, you did good, mate. Why don't you look cheerful for a change? Ha, I would have been alright without an antidote at all. Now I owe you one. Thanks. Yep. I can't let my favorite character die. A world different from our own. That is far out, man. That that there really is such a thing. Oh, yeah, and they told him, obviously, what, what we've been doing. And you dudes are from this other world, I presume. Just to make it clear, Doc, the only one that's from the other world is Surge. All the others, including myself, are from this world. We're all with him for different reasons, though. I'm from the same world as Sergi, too. Whoops, my bad. I totally forgot. Come to think of it, the first time we met you was in the Hydra Marshes. Yeah, if Sergi hadn't come and saved me, I would have been in big, big trouble. Another world, so I suppose some things are slightly different. Hydra Marshes are a good example of this, otherwise we would have never found a Hydra in this world. Parallel worlds never to cross each other, yet existing alongside one another. Doc, let's not think about too deeply about this. There isn't any easy way to explain it. Even after going through it myself, I still doubt what I saw. Let's just drop the theories, Doc. The girl's been saved. That's all we need to know, right? Haha, <laughs> that's very like you, Korcha. But he's got a point, Doctor. The kid's life has been saved. I don't think we need to think any further for the time being. Well, I guess you are right. Cannot find an answer to this by thinking about it on my own. It's pretty late. We've been talking for quite some time. Let's call it a night. One good day's rest should be enough to let her go up and hang ten. Surf silk, my dudes. And here's the... Oh, I want to punch this girl. You'll see what I'm talking about in a second. Yes, that little one, Mel. Yep, and she's gonna steal kid stuff. What a nice little girl, am I right? So yeah, we're definitely gonna get that stuff back. Obviously, we're not gonna just leave it in her hands, but... What you gonna do, sir? You've already found a way back to your own world, right? You can just go back home and live a peaceful life, pretending that nothing ever happened. But can you really forget everything you've seen here? And can you live with yourself after you turn your back on us? Now come to me, Serge, the assassin of time. The Chrono Trigger. Named. Just like the first game, Chrono Trigger. Look at that. What are you gonna do, Serge? Uh, I won't go back yet. I see. Then I'll stick around with you a little longer. Just don't slow me down, you hear? Don't know what happened 10 years ago, but it looks like Viper's mob has got something to do with it. Let's go after them. I need to go bash up that Lynx character and get me hands on the frozen flame. Lynx, he stole something precious from me. He's taking away my future. I'll find him, no matter what it takes. Korcha, I heard that you've helped in the search too. Hmm, it was nothing. Yeah, well thanks for the nothing then. <laughs> now then. One point I thought we were doomed for sure, but it looks like it's all settled now. All that's left is to take you guys back to Terminal, right? The job ends here. You get a special discount price at 300G for the round trip. Sorry, but I need to make a living too. 
Nah, uh -huh, you're pretty damn screwed, huh? I shouldn't have thanked you earlier. Hmm. What is it? You looking for something? Hmm, yeah. Well, the elements I had on my grid are gone. Wait, sir, did you remove the elements from me grid? Hmm, if it wasn't you, then who did? The only ones looking over you while we're gone were the doc and the nurse. They should be in the room next door, so let's ask them when we head out. The doc should know something. Hope you're right. Nope, Mel has them. So, we're definitely gonna go hunt down that little girl. Get our stuff back. She's a little, she's a little cheater. Huh? Well, what you doing? Hey, Blondie, if you want your stuff back, I challenge you to catch me. Mel, wait. Hey, what is it, dude? If Is Mel up to something again? Well, yeah, the same old mischief, but this time she's gone too far. Jeez, that idiot. What is she thinking? I don't get it. Sorry about her, kid. I'll get the stuff back from her later, so go easy on her, all right? All right, that's no problem. I ain't nothing I'll suffer without anyway. Not to be rude, but I don't have time to play around with brats. I've got to chase after Lynx. Hmm, what is it, Serge? Well, you're not wrong, but Cortez said that he'd get them back later. We don't have time to waste. In that, come on, let's go. No, let's go after Mel. I need those elements back, fam. All right, if you insist. Okay, then let's go find that brat right away. This ain't gonna. That's the plan. Yeah, I don't. I know she didn't have much, but I want her elements back, dude. I'm not just like giving them up. Not to mention, I don't like Mel at all. So I swore she was in that house. Let's quickly check inside the tavern. She's not here. I'm like 100% sure. Let's maybe ask her. Does she know? Yes, Mel. She hasn't come by here today. Uh, whoa. Oh, crap. I triggered the same thing again. Okay, well, she's not here. Do, 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 do. I wonder if we have to trigger that line for Mel to be in her house. I don't think it'd work that. She, I think she's to the left over here by the zip line. She has to be. Is that her? No? Oh, okay, so she, she's not there. Okay, everybody, so. The way to get Mel, um, uh... yeah, but I, yeah, I was right. So you, I did have to actually trigger a sequence to find her. I had to talk to this guy. I don't know why they, in the game, they made it that way, where you have to talk to that guy for some apparent reason. But hey, whatever. <laughs> I guess that's how the game goes. And she'll be at the residential tower. Fun fact. I, while I was googling this to make sure I wasn't hallucinating or the game is bugged, I found out you can actually recruit her. Later in the game, Mel can join your party, which I've never done before, so. Okay, so that kid's got the top. See, yep, she's not escaping. Wow, <laughs> you idiot! That's what you get for messing with my customers. I'm not gonna forgive you just for crying. That should be enough. We've got my stuff back, and there's been no harm done. Even so, we have to teach the kids some proper manners. You never know when she might do it again. Don't worry about such minor stuff. I say it's already forgiven. Let's just leave it at that. Besides, that little un's got some guts to steal from a member of the Radical Dreamers. Hey, don't you call me a little... I've got a name too, you know? It's Mel. Oh, how feisty. So she's got some real spirit too, but... Weren't you crying just now, or were you just gonna... Or were you, were you just faking it? I tell you, she's gonna be a real mean one when she grows up. What you mean by that? Oops, I guess you're still just a little un. Don't don't worry, just forget it. Arg, I said don't you call me a little un. Are you sure you want to leave it at that? 
I just don't get you. Oh, well, no use bothering with it now. Then I'll go ahead and wait for you at the docks. Come and find me when you're ready to go. Alright, let's get moving then. Alright, let's get uh, Gil back in the party. Let's see what she has to say. Mel won't cause any more mischief, but promise me to play with me again. So yeah, um, we will play with her again later in the game once we can add her to our party. For now, let us depart. Uh, we should probably just use a zip line since it's quick. We gotta waste money to do it, but you know what? Might as well support local business, am I right? These kids need some money, wanna buy some elements, you know what I mean? No, I want to become the wind. No. Yes, let me become the wind. Now we shall become the wind. We. Alright, now we are back at the docks. Easy peasy. Oh, let's talk to Korcha. Uh, yep, let's go back to Termina. Korcha left the party, thank god. Yeah, I'm just, I'm gonna say it over and over again. I'm just not a fan of Korcha's design. Like, like, um, I don't know, maybe I'm not just, maybe I'm not the biggest fan of skinny, almost nude little kid. I don't know, that, that's just my opinion. I mean, I guess he's not a little kid, but he looks like it, because considering his size. So, I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm just not into that, but... I'd rather have Surge, Kid, and Gil. Or any other member in this entire game. Actually, there's only about two or three characters that I actually don't like in this entire game. Um... Uh, wait, let's talk to Korchi again. What, so what does he say if we come back? You're on your own from here. Okay, so we can't get him back. Um, basically, I don't like him. And if you guys see to the left, there was that big ship of a singer called Nikki. With all the little fangirls. Yeah, you can eventually recruit Nikki. And he's another one of those characters that I just... I, just, I don't like their design. It just seems wonky to me. And you might be wondering, where am I going? Well, I'm gonna go check on something. If we go in this hut, there should be a guy that we can recruit. Yes, there is. That guy in the green and red. That guy. Oh, blessed child, flow in the river, rest in peace. Blah, blah, blah. I'm not gonna read that. Come on, please say your last farewells. Why? Why did you blah, blah, blah? Some random person died. The boat shall now be cut adrift. Your sun spirit shall ascend to the heavens with your own with your warm blessings. Everything that has form must eventually fade away. Although that may be nature's way, I feel my heart being torn apart at many times of this. Why must we face death? And who is the one that decides when we die? I have not yet seen the light, amigo. So yeah, this guy looks like Rey Mysterio, <laughs> and he like talks to the dead and stuff. Dear passing stranger, if you have a moment to spare, please give this wandering soul a small prayer to guide him on his path. Now I'm good, fam. I'm Gucci. Alright, let's... I don't really care about that. Oh, hello, controller? Alright, well I guess let's go talk to him real quick. Sob, sob. Okay, they, they have no... They have nothing to say to us, so that's fine. But I'm pretty sure we can recruit him. Hmm. Are you are you really a human who does not exist in this world? You're now drifting between the boundaries of life and death. You are too to be taken in the arms of the darkness, although it is my best interest to aid you. A duty to watch over the spirits here. It's alright, Greco. I'll be here to keep things in order. Romana, you are still too young to take on such a test. Spirits are always looking for a chance to draw the living into the darkness. 
but my brother Getz was able to save you from being drawn into the darkness. He gave his life. I'm the sister of Getz. A small thing now and then won't get me down. This time you must save this one from the darkness. I think Getz desires that also. You might be right. I believe that uh, to, to live in the hiding for the rest of my life. I realize that I'm the only. I was only trying to escape from my responsibilities. May I assist you in escaping the darkness, amigo? Yes. Okay, so we got Greco. He is another party member. I'll add him. I won't use him, but I'll add him. Please call me whenever you wish from help, amigo. So. We recruited him, so now we have him for the rest of the game. Uh, I will not use him, but hey, uh, if we're gonna play the game, might as well try to collect as many members as we can. So yeah, let's keep going now. And I'm not exactly 100% sure where we're going next. But maybe this cutscene will help us? The general and his men are headed for Fort Dragonia. There has been much word that the major power of the East Poor is up to something suspicious. They might seem to have heard the rumors of the frozen flame in El Nido and are coming to investigate. My, then that means the Poor Army might invade this town anytime now. I wonder if we will be alright. Yes, that is why we are moving to the fort for a while. The fort, the fort is far from town, so it is not used normally, but it has good defenses. I was ordered to remain at the manor and protect Miss Turtle, but she felt very uneasy about the way General Viper was acting before he left, so... Oh, sir, did you hear that? When I was snoozing away in Goldov, Lynx and his mob hightailed it out of the manor. The fort's supposedly a ruin built by the extinct Dragonians. I heard that they've been all kinds of mystic rituals there. It said that the dragon tear was needed for the rituals. Bloody bastards, what are we? What are they up to now? Sir, this is no longer a problem. We don't stop these buggers now, they're gonna cause some major hell around here. Fort Dragoni is on top of Mount Pyre, southeast of here. It'll be hard to get by land, so the question is how are we going to get a boat? Blonde braids. A blonde red blouse. That sounds like the description of that thief from the Radical Dreamers. And that red bandana, he's just like the ghost Karsh was describing. So what, you want to take us on or something? Sorry, Dart. Sorry, sorry, Dory. But we're in a bit of a rush to the Fort Dragoni of yours. What business do you have at the fort? That makes me even more suspicious. I will draw my sword if it needs be. Oh, Glenn, stop that. Your brother would never have drawn a sword in such circumstances. Leave my brother out of this. Oi, don't get your knickers in a knot. I don't care if you draw your sword or not, but I ain't, I ain't stopping for you. See ya. Alright, forgive me for my rash behavior. Come to think of it, I really have no interest in who you are. Really, I only want to know the truth of what is happening here. I should follow my own way to find the truth. If you intend to go to the fort, I would offer you a word of advice. When you get on your boat, first head north, and then east, you should find a small island there. A retired dragoon lives there. Find him and ask for his advice. There are many frightful rumors about the fort, you know. You never want to expect that there. All we need to do now is find a boat. Let's let's get a move on. Now, where would we find a boat at? I wonder if Corcho would give us his or rent it out. Um, I actually like, I actually don't know. So let's just talk to him. You guys need to cross the sea. Then I might just might think about lending you my boat with two conditions. How, with that clunky boat of yours, I don't think we're gonna survive a round trip, but I guess there ain't... It ain't the time to be picky, so Korcha, what are your conditions? First, if you ever find the dragon tier, give it to me. The other condition is, once all this ruckus is over, um, I want you... What was that? Stop mumbling and speak up, I can't hear ya. Uh, I want you to be my wife. Ooh, what did you just say? I said, I want you to be my wife. Oi, Korcha, don't mess with me. I'm gonna kick your arse so hard to kiss the moves. I'm not joking. To tell you the truth, I, uh, that it, it was love at first sight. Hmm. Oi, you know who I am, don't you? Yeah, you're some kind of thief, ain't ya? Don't worry, I don't care about your past, and I don't want you- I don't want you to feel forced. We can wait until this fuss is over, so please. 
Yeah, just, just tell him. <laughs> okay. This is none of your business. It's my own problem. <laughs> I, okay, I understand, but this ain't something I can agree with too on a whim. I'll consider it until I settle the score with Lynx, that is. That's about the best I can promise. I can't guarantee you anything more. Alright, that's, that's all I need for now. Okay, I'll lend you the boat. What was that Glenn guy saying earlier? Something about going to see an old man on an island to the east. Hey, you be careful with yourself from now on. Just remember that your life is not just your own anymore. You're carrying my wife to be. Do you want me to come with you? Sure, come along. Why not? But I'm not going to put him in the party. I'll add another character, but I will not add him to the party. Okay, then I'll be heading home now. Remember that I'm just lending you my boat. Don't you dare sink it. So, oh, this is actually kind of funny. So this dude uses a boat. And then this dude just shut up, just like, is going to swim to Termina. I mean, why do you even have a... Okay, well, I guess he's using a boat for his company, but... I don't know, it just seems like a little... Okay, let's go. So, now we got a boat. Look at that. So, our next objective... Oh, don't tell me it'll force me to go there. Oh, no, 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 alone. Okay. See, like I said earlier in the thing, at some point we'll get a free roaming boat. So now we got a free roaming boat. And this is going to be the end of the episode. But before we go, I'm going to show you guys some of the things that we will be doing. So here is the water dragon isle for the water dragon. A guy has navel. This is going to be the grass dragon. Here's the air dragon. Here's Goldov. That's how we get out of El Nido, but we'll never be able to get out of there. Uh, this is where the Earth Dragon will be. This is where this is where we're supposed to be going. This is the old man's place. This is the Isle of the Damned. We'll have some missions there. Uh, pull back for now. Um, there is going to be a quest in that fog. Over here is a Sea of Eden. Basic. That's like going to be the most biggest plot based place in the game this is marble an islands with a bunch of demigods or not demigods demi humans uh, I forgot what this place is and then uh, the place that we're supposed to be going to where links in them is in that little thing in the middle of that kind of like volcano thing past the fog if you see that little entrance and then over here we got Arnie village blah 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 so that's kind of like the world but you also gotta remember there's two worlds so basically in two worlds all of this so just imagine this map, double the size, that's about the world in this game. Uh, but guys, what I'm going to be doing now, because I've got my three main characters, because I think Kid and Surge are what I'm going to be using for the entire game, then the third is going to switch, but the next part of the game I think is going to be fairly hard. So what I'm going to be doing between this episode and next is I'm going to go around and level my characters. So next episode we'll head into that fog and... We'll do some things, but for now, I'm going to focus on leveling, but you know what? The next episode is going to be here very, very shortly. So guys, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and a comment as it supports my channel, and I'll see you guys later. God bless, and goodbye. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Chrono Cross. Today, we're going to be going inside the fog, and yeah, I actually already went inside the fog, and I'm here in the middle of a cutscene. So yeah, apparently there's a ship in the fog, and we're going to go explore it. Now, you might be wondering why I'm already in here. Well, when I first started the intro, my fan was on, and it was making a bunch of noise. So, uh, oops. Uh, but I didn't do much in between episodes. There's a quick clip here. So, I'm just grabbing some items, and here's another clip. I set the cook free from the Viper Manor. No idea what that does. It might be a quest, but I didn't really check it out any further. Also, I did some more managing of the equipment of my characters and the element allocation. But... It's not much difference. I basically put recover all on Kid and uh, some stronger spells, some level four spells on some of my characters. But yeah, basically, uh, we took the boat, went into the fog. If you watched last episode at the end, you could see the fog that we went into. So let's get started. Well, what are we waiting for? You're right. We will not be able to navigate our boat. Yeah. So let's go. Let's see what is going on with these people. But yeah. So, I know it's a very sudden jump from last episode, but recording, am I right? Oi, is this thing really a ghost ship? Those aren't good noises. Those are pirates. 
A holy matey. Who are you? Make way for Captain Fargo. By the way, he's probably one of the coolest characters in my opinion. Fargo is definitely a contender to be our third character. The definitely. Arg, you seem to be a bit young for one of Link's sub subordinates. Well, who cares? What do you want from us? That's up to you. But first things first. What is your intention? Don't play stupid. We know you're trying to get the to Mount Pyre. We saw General Vipers and Link's ship anchored nearby. Are you trying to deliver them a message? Is that it? That's a load of bull. We don't work for them. We're out to get them. Get in our way and we'll kick your butt so hard you'll kiss the moons. Ah, are you serious? Explain yourselves. Cue the talking and explaining. I see. So that explains why you're after Lynx. But, don't you know you're risking your lives? Don't you recognize the danger associated with Lynx? He's a monster, a cold-blooded monster, an incarnate of death. To be frank with you, we've had our share share of encounters with Lynx too, but that was a long time ago. Ever since then, we've had to disguise ourselves as a ghost ship, so you're going to face Lynx, eh? It's easy to say, but cut the crap and get to the point. Yeah. Arg, bring out your you-know-what, a hey, Captain Fargo, or I, I Captain Fargo. I just want to see if you youngsters can match up to the likes of Lynx. You making sure you're not, you're something about talking the talk and walking the walk. Looks like they're ready. Let's see what you can do. All right, let's do this. Are we fighting the pirates or his parrot? Does he have a parrot? Is that a thing? No. We're fighting... Oh, some, like, soldiers. Okay, cool. Well, let's kick some butt. Good hit. What? Okay, they're white. Dash and slash this one over here. The other one's almost dead, so... They didn't do too much damage. Let's get Gil. Hopefully we can hit his third one. Let's see. Wow, it missed. That kind of sucks. Oh, nice miss. You loser. Let's hit a second one. Good. We can use Magma Bomb now. So hopefully that'll kill the one on the left. Yep. Two. Kill two of them. That's pretty good actually exactly what I wanted and I'm pretty sure kid can okay okay um I guess we'll just hit the second attack kid hits pretty hard actually six damage I thought that'd be more than that really all right well we can just hit him right where it hurts I thought those things were gonna be a bit tougher apparently not though apparently not Let's make sure to heal all the way, because there's, let's face it, there's probably going to be some more fights. Just loosen you up, time to get serious. Like I said, just, just probably get, there's the parrot. I knew he had a parrot. What kind of pirate doesn't have a parrot? That was, that was just getting us loosened up. I knew there was going to be another fight. That's why I made sure to heal. Bum. All right, but now we are truly fighting a parrot. Just what I wanted. What color is he? Okay, so water stuff will be good against them. Oh, come on. Okay, flap. I'm pretty sure this is an AoE attack. It's not. Okay. That's good. 78. That's a good bit of damage. Wow. Alright, well, since I'm not that big... Since I missed most of my attacks, I might as well just use my cure on kid. Make sure she doesn't die. There we go. Let's go over here. Let's make sure we don't miss. We still miss. Um, Aqua Ball. That should be good against it. This should do quite a bit of damage. 72. Okay. Basically. Oh, come on. Seriously, man. I just want to get to Wandan. There we go. It's really all I wanted on this guy. Now he's basically useless other than his heals. I'm probably going to have to switch out Gil soon. He's really bad, honestly. The next character that we get that I like, I'm basically going to be switching him out. Um, 
Let's just go to kid. Okay, she got a hit off. She's gonna flap somebody else. It's gonna be kid again, seriously. Oh, no, 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 it's Surge. Okay. That shouldn't do too much damage. Yeah. He can survive that. Hit. Good. Then, ooh, this should do some big damage. This, sh this should do quite a bit of damage. Yeah. Really? Only 96? Well, I guess her magic isn't that high. Okay, good. Ah, oh, you missed the third one. Well, we can still use Ice Blast, which is good. And this should do quite a bit of damage. I think Surge's magic is a bit higher than Kid's. 150, yes, that is... You know what? We're just gonna... We're gonna go over to Kid and make sure to defend. And then defend. Oh, okay. Surge wasn't defending, but... His bird's gonna be dead in a second here anyway. If I can hit... Good. Good. And... I'll just hit him with the Arrow Blaster. Since it's a stronger attack than most. Yeah, there we go. Easy peasy. Alright, we got some level ups. Let's make sure to heal all the way in case there's a third fight. You never know with these pirates. Okay, so he's just uh, not bad, mateys. We'll meet again, is what he said. Are stronger than I expected. You got me blood, blood boiling. I'm next. I knew there was another fight. I knew it. Good thing I healed up. I knew there was another fight. I'm a genius. All right, let's take him on. Jolly ho, up and at him. All right, let's do this, Captain Fargo. Nice miss. Just hit him once. And then let's go over to Kid. Try to do it. Nice. Okay, we hit that three. Okay. I was arguing on defending with Surge, but he didn't get hit anyway. Okay, so he's a water type. Let's see what we can pilfer from him. A, pi a pirate should have some good loot. Let's see what we get. Photon beam. I don't know if that's good, but you know what? Miss. Okay, if we can hit one more, and we can wand, wand on him. Bam. Should do quite a bit of damage right there. Let's go over to Surge. 80 is pretty good. Okay, 85. Hmm. That sucks. Okay, let's use Arrow Blaster. I should do quite a bit of damage. Yeah. Oh, over 100. I'll take it. Good hit. Good hits. I like it. Let's use Electro Bolt. That should be pretty good against them also. Okay. Uh, not near 100, which I don't like. Let's defend with him. Defend with him. Good, so heals defending when he gets hit. Okay, both hit, that's good. And then let's use upheaval. And this I'm guessing this should do around 80. Yep, around 80. Okay, nice, good hits, good hits. Heal is still defending, so that's a good target. Um, you know what? We're just gonna defend. Go over to Surge. Defend. Defend with him. Defend. Ah, oh, he's giving us plenty of time. I guess we'll use... Um... Fireball. Why not? Should be pretty low at this point. Okay, that didn't finish him off. But Surge should should be able to... If he hits this three... Yep, I was going to say, if he hits that three, he should be. Now that's smart. If he hit that three, I was... I was really betting on him being dead. So... It's good. Oh, did I not heal? Okay, all my, all my people are healed anyway, so it's fine. I almost made a mistake. If there was a fourth fight, dare I say. 
Not bad, but keep in mind, we be pirates. Oh, and, and then he just falls. Man, someone always falls. First it's Kid, now it's Surge. Who's gonna be next? The tranquilizers are made from jellyfish stringers. You lovers, you lovers will sleep for a while. Oh, come on, man. I, now, well, that's that arg. Stick these land lovers in the hold. And we beat his statues, and then we beat his bird, and then we be beat him. And then wh what, what, what kind of things do we get for that? Puts us in a jail cell and tranquilizes us. Oh, it's a cutscene. Spooky tiger. Ah, oh, we got a saves point. That's pretty good. Are you alright, Serge? You don't look so well. Be on your guard. There's something going on outside. Let's take a look. So, they had to disguise themselves as a ghost ship, right? What's up with the fog today? You can't even see the water out there. I ain't scared. So they disguise themselves as a ghost ship. Surprise, surprise. Now, there is a ghost ship. And there's ghosts. So, uh, nice job. Nice job. Look what you did. You brought this upon yourself. Something's up. There's a spooky skeleton in the room. Bum, bum, bum. Now look what you've done. You have summoned the spooks. Right, let's take care of this guy first. Nice, good hits. Spooky. Let's hit him with that, uh... Okay, control it. Hello? Real quick, let me... Okay, there we go. Do magma bomb. Boom, boom, boom. So that didn't kill the skeleton. But that was close enough. Gil should be able to take care of that. Hopefully, if we... Okay. Okay, that's not that too much damage. We could heal that. Let's hit it with another one. Hopefully this one will hit. Okay. That one died on the end. Um, They're both black, right? Mm. I guess we'll just use Magma Bomb. That's fine. That should do a bit of damage to them. My kid should be able to finish them off. If she has good, good hits. There we go. And let's see what we can pilfer off this one. Although he might get an extra attack, and I'm curious what we can pilfer. Power glove. That's good, actually. Missed. Okay. But we will be able to... Oh, ton right. And actually, that reminds me. I should probably uh, look at my elements, because I'm pretty sure we got a couple new ones. A couple ones that I should probably be equipping here soon. Bum, 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 bum. Let's make sure to heal. What are these monsters doing here? What's going on? Okay, so... Oh, another cut. Oh, okay. So let's take a look at our elements. Allocate. So we got some new ones. Uh, so we're on... Okay, let's take a look at our new ones. We got Photon Beam. That's a new one. Uh, what is this? Photon Ray? It's level 1, right? Yep. Um. Okay, I don't think we have any more new ones, actually. But we do have some new equips, I'm pretty sure. So, let's go over here. Should probably put the power... You know what? What does this do? Magic defense? Is any of this stuff better? No, okay. Maybe we don't need the power glove. You know what? Actually, I'll put the power glove on her. There we go. Let's save. Alright. Let's keep moving on. We're only at like 15 minutes in the episode, so we can go for another 15 to 20. Okay. I'm guessing this way is locked, right? Yep. Okay. Um... 
Arg, looks like you're alright. I thought you're gone when the monster went in. Yeah, I think that mighty kid would go down that easily. Anyways, what's the bloody hell's going on? Arg, sorry, but I don't know either. Before I knew what was going on, I was attacked. Go ahead, I won't stop you. Bet you won't. Let's see what's in this. We'll, we'll help the guy fighting the skeleton in a second here. What's going on here? How'd you guys get out? Get back in the hole. This sucker's mine. Okay, well, um, let's go up here. Let's see what's in here. Found aqua ball. It's pretty good. Let, let's, let's just help the guy out. I need the experience anyway, right? So let's help this guy out. And we should be able to take care of these. Oh, oh it would have been so cool if I would have hit those. Okay, come on. Hit. Ah, I'm being so like I'm being so disgusting with it. I keep trying to go for the for the for the nuts. It's not working. All right, fine. I'll hit the two, and then the three. I'll I'll be I'll be reasonable. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Yeah, okay, I hurt. Actually, I did hurt pretty badly. Let's use ice blast on this one, and then I think Gil will be able to clean him up. Yeah, Gil should be able to. That hits, okay. Bam. And Kid should be able to take this one out. Yep, yeah, there we go. Good stuff, good stuff. Let's make sure to heal. Because I think Kid took quite a bit of damage right there. I could have taken that thing myself, you know, but thanks anyway. Yeah, yeah, the guy probably would have died. Alright, let's help this guy out. Bum, bum, bum. Alright, only two? No problem. Easy peasy. I won't go for the nuts this time. I'll go reasonable. And... You know, we'll do the same thing as last time. Hit the, this one with Ice Beam, then let Gil finish him off. I won't go for the crazy plays. Oh. Who's he gonna hit? He's gonna hit Surge this time. No problems. Ooh, I did actually a bit more damage. But this hit this guy. Hit? Aw, oh, I missed. Okay. Well, let's hit him with one more. And then we can do magma bomb. And this should this should kill both of them. I think his magic is pretty high, so. Yep, there you go. No problem. Yeah, so when I was talking about earlier how like Fargo, I did like his character, I'm honestly thinking of taking out Gil and adding Fargo whenever we get him. I don't know when, but if we do. Oh, okay, well I guess we're fighting him. But whenever we get him, because I'm starting to, because I like Gil, he looks cool, but I'm starting to realize more and more that he's actually kind of bad. His special is really good, but basically, other than his special, he's pretty useless, actually. The only other good thing about him is his three, his, yeah, his three, hits multiple people. But other than that, it's not, it's not like anything special. And I think some other people can do some higher damage. Okay, so let's go over here. Let's try to hit that three. Ooh, a hit. Good. Okay, and the second one should hit. Wow. So the 60 didn't hit, but his 94% didn't. That's surprising. But Magma Bomb should finish off both of them. I'd be surprised if they didn't. Just like that. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. Right, let's do some healing. Right, let's see what's inside this room. Locked. Alright, I guess. Oh! Let's make sure we heal. Alright, now let's take a look at what's in the chest. Fire pillar. Alright, door's locked, so we have to go upstairs then. Alright, let's see what is up on the deck. Oh, okay. So, over here is a fire, over there is a wraith, 
Okay, well, I guess we're fighting both of these real quick. Alright, both of those ghouls were taken care of. Let's check this room before we go over to the captain's headquarters. What are you doing? Arg, you got me. It's right there waiting. Um, I want that chest. So, let's... Okay, found whatever that is. Sorry, I'm not in charge. Alright, whatever. I know who's in charge. It's stupid captain guy. Is this door locked? Yeah, that door is locked. Alright, well, this is where we need to go up here. Let's go ahead and take care of this skeleton real quick. All easy like. Let's make sure we heal. And this is where Captain Fargo should be. Phew, thanks for the help. Uh, who are you? Oh yeah, you're the line of lovers. Guess it doesn't matter. Now, where do you plan to go? A key? I have no idea who has it. Okay. This place is locked. Can't go that way. Let's make sure this guy doesn't have it. Uh. Oh. Okay. Let's go through the vent, you know? Why not? No problem. Got a gold that I just got right there. And we also did get a new element, Gravity Blow. Alright, we got capsule, which doesn't really help. You got a key? What the? Okay. Okay, I'm guessing this guy right here has the key. That guy right there. Aw, oh, man. We didn't really get a lot of gold from that. Alright, tell me, you have the key. Ah, oh, you don't have the key either? Okay, well, it seems like none of them have the key. Okay, we got past. And there's a wraith there. Of course, there's a wraith there. Ooh, we got some iron. I don't know if I've gotten that before. Or maybe I'm just delusional. This guy has the key. Uh, how did you get out? Oh, forget it. We have more serious matters. Bro, move out of my way. Can't get through here. My, uh, what? A key? Hey, who's the key duty? I am. Alright, give me that key. You want the key for the doors, eh? Here you go. Alright, thanks. Uh, I love how he just gave me the key. Like, was it really that easy? Okay, well, you know what? I'll. I guess I can't get through here. I have to go back to the vent. Alright, well, that's fine. Now we got the key. So let's go back. So let's go all the way back down, up and around, down the ladder. Alright, move out of my way, buddy. I got the key. I'm important. I have the key. Alright, now we gotta head back down the stairs. But guys, we are around that time. I think we're gonna finish off. Oh, I didn't. Oh, okay. I thought that was an like, automatic movement. Alright, we are about the time where we should end off the episode so guys thanks for watching if you did enjoy make sure to like and a comment as is with the channel and i will see you guys when my controller works uh hello uh okay <laughs> okay god bless and goodbye hey guys welcome to another episode of chrono cross so we're on the ship we finally got the key to go up on the deck to see what's up so let's go ahead and make our way there. Yep, we use the key. Oh, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and skip that wraith. Or whatever the thing are. Just... Oh! What the heck? Oh, there's... Oh, we're, we're stuck. Alright, well, let's, let's go kill this thing. Clearly, I, I might be able to avoid it by going like between the cannons. But there's no reason to avoid it. Let's go ahead and attack it full on in the face. Okay, the thing just instantly attacks. 15, that's a decent amount of damage. Okay, good. Oh, taking that thing right out, showing it who's boss. Good stuff. And then we'll use Photon Beam on this one just to get it out of the way. Too bad we actually gave it a chance to attack, but it happens. Wow, I didn't kill it. That's surprising. Well, let's go ahead and make sure it's dead. Seriously, I just hit my table with my controller. Okay, this guy should be dead. 
That took way too long, actually. Um, what can we pilfer from this? I'm curious. Wow. Dang it. That was kind of dumb. Okay, well, let's just defend. What does this even do? Elemental trap. All right, well, we're not gonna use any more elementals. I'm just gonna straight crit you in the face with that three. Sick. That was a, that was a, that was a shot right there. And we got a hell soul, which doesn't, isn't really that good, but you know. Let's keep, oh, let's keep moving on. Controllers acting up again. Hello? Okay. Man, finally got the game to work, but now my controller don't work. Hello? You're gonna say something to me. Okay, the guy's just gonna stand there. And there's a wraith and two wraiths. I, I guess we're gonna have to fight them, but I'm just gonna skip it over. Alright, I have gotten through those two enemies. Let's continue on with exploring. Uh, doesn't look like I can go through there, though I don't know if this is even the right way, but you know what? I guess we'll figure it out. To be needing that. Man. Okay, maybe we do have to go through here to get to the deck. Maybe I'm mistaken. More iron? More iron is good iron. Alright, we should be able to get near the deck now. Okay, this door will let me in, so apparently the other doors weren't actually doors. Oh god, there's so many of these things. Alright, you know what? I'm not gonna obviously show all of these on the camera because it'll get boring at some point, so let's fight them. Alright, everybody, I've taken care of the enemies. What is this thing doing? And it ran. So yeah, I was just like right there. I just finished off the enemies around here. Man, the thing keeps running. Oh, controller, please. And you know what? I'm gonna try not to fight this thing. Oh, I think I'm gonna have to fight it. Oh, okay. Just kind of follow it around. What are you doing? Oh, and the thing ran. Oh, no! No! That sucks. Alright, well, I guess we're fighting it. So, no problem, no problem. I'll be able to take care of it quite easily. That's just kind of annoying. My controller is quite wonky. Yeah. I'll be able to just two-hit that one. Photon beam the next one. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. And there's a treasure up on that platform. I wonder how I get to that. But I guess I don't have to juke this thing out anymore, so we'll be able to kind of take a look around. More iron. More iron is always appreciated because we'll need plenty of it. Oh, okay. I, I do have to go up through here. Before we talk to her, let's grab the treasure. Why do you keep approaching me? Can't you see I'm hiding? You want to know why I'm here? I'm a stowaway. I wanted to desperately see the sea. When I woke up, there were monsters all over the place. It really scared me. Anyway, I want to see the world because all my life I've been blah, blah, blah. Can you broaden my view of the world? Yeah, sure. Easy party member. Bum, 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 bum. So, is this a p possible candidate to replace Giel? Sadly, it is not. You know what, though? I might replace Giel with this guy. I honestly might. Nah, okay. We'll leave Gil for now. That's a good thought. Alright, cool. So now we have her on our party list. Just another one, you know. Add it to the checklist. Let's go ahead and open this bad boy. Photon beam. You know, I should probably equip that on somebody since most things are dark here anyway. With this... So, because that's all fault, it's pretty good. Let's go ahead and save real quick. Because there probably will be some boss battles up ahead here. Let's go ahead and save. Alright, let's see what's going up on the top deck. What is going on in Donkey Kong? Okay, so they're all fighting. 
cool, cool age than time, mateys. Look out. All right, I guess we're going to do some fighting. So that's always fun, right? Yep. Only one, are you kidding me? That's all you got for me? One. Two. One, two, ice blast. I should probably do a photon beam, but I'm too lazy to go to the next page, so I'll just use ice blast. And it's dead anyway, so I guess no biggie, right? No biggie. I'm guessing we're going to have to do this probably multiple times. Because that's just how this game works. It just keeps throwing enemies at you over and over and over and over. Or you call yourself Sea Dog. Show me some spirit. Uh, okay. I guess maybe we don't have to fight some more. All right, let's uh, let's go help the captain, I guess. Oh, actually, captain doesn't need help. I mean, he's a strong, independent man. He can take care of himself. Oh, looks like he's hurt. His arm. It looks like he hurt his arm, my dudes. Your name's Serge, yeah? Aye, captain. I'm counting on you. What did he say? Keep your heads high, mateys. Don't forget. Oh, I think we got to steer the boat. It's time to show these monsters what we're made of. Keep your head high. They're coming. Okay, so he wants us to steer the boat? Maybe we're fighting the boat? I don't know. Either way, we're fighting something. Something big's coming. Oh, okay. Well, there's a little, 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 little bunch of little ones. Oh, not a bunch of little ones. There are a bunch of uh, little ones that turn into a big one. That's cool. He's got a big mouth. Oh, we're gonna shut that big mouth shut. Good hits. Photon beam. Right into the face. Bam. That's pretty good. Diminish, what does that do? Does that make the field dark? Yeah, that changes the field. Or something like that. No. It disabled some kind of magic. Let's pilfer. Let's see what we can grab from this guy. Maybe we can snatch something good. Good. Okay, let's see what we got. Gravity blow. Okay, that's not that good. What does this do? Please don't be something big. Okay. Giel has... He's cursed. Giel's cursed. That's not good. Miss. Don't hit. A, don't miss a second time. Let's use one down on this guy. Let's see what's up. Hopefully this doesn't heal him or anything. I know some bosses do that. If you use the same attribute, it actually heals them. That did heal him. Oops. Oops. Oh, that's gonna do almost nothing. I like it. Oh, that was a critical hit. Um, let's use another photon beam. Do a little bit of damage. I'll have to make sure to not hit him with any more dark magic. I do not want to heal him. Missed. Ah. Alright, well, how much damage does he do? Ooh. That is some large damage. For now, though, we'll just photon ray him. It's not going to do, do too much damage, but that'll do enough. Death's odor. Oh, what does this do? Oh, wait. We already did this one. He's just going to miss skill. Easy peasy. Try to hit him with the three. Good. Just defend. Do that. And then let's go ahead and heal ourselves. So we don't die if he hits us again in the, right in the face. Alright, that, sh that should keep us from insta-death. Imbecile, pretty sure this just lowers our magic defense. And let's go back to Surge. Controller's not working. That's great. There we go. Alright, let's go back to Surge. Hit the two. Let's hit him with an Ice Blast. That should be pretty effective. That should hit him quite hard. Only 40. Okay, that's kind of disappointing, actually. 
Go ahead and defend with everybody. Okay. He missed. That's good. Try to hit him with three. You know, let's just try to hit him again. Okay, good. Go back to Surge. Try to hit a three. Alright, two threes. That's pretty good. Death Soder. Hopefully, just aim it at Gil and he just dodges it. Okay, no, he'll hit it at Surge. But he misses. This doesn't really do anything. Okay, good. Got the two. The three. Let's go ahead and Ice Blast him. And it looks like he's getting low. Yeah. Let's go to Surge. Try to hit a three. Another three. Dark Breath. Ooh. I don't... Oh, okay, we've already seen this attack. Doesn't matter. Doesn't really do much. Let's go back to Surge. You know what? We'll just defend. Actually, we can use Arrow Blaster on him. This should probably kill him, honestly. I don't think he has that much health left. Okay, it didn't kill him, but I'm sure that should finish him off. Yeah. And he's just gonna melt straight into the ground. Poor little monsters. There we go, easy fight. Bum, 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 bum. I like it. Okay, we got another recover all. That'll be really useful. I'll probably put that on surge 100%, because we're gonna need that. Looks like the sea's back to normal, yeah, because we defeated the boss. You said you were heading to Fort Dragonia to go after Viper and his men? Let me give you some advice. Mount Pyre's fiery hell. Without any protection against fire, you'll lose strength fast. I suggest you go see the water dragon for his divine protection. Although I haven't heard much about him recently, I wonder if that dragon's still alive. Actually, I haven't heard much about the other dragons either. And those monsters we just beat. What's going on nowadays? I'll tell you, even the CMCs have changed in nature. It's probably because we human folk have come around... Yeah, yeah, I don't need this mushy talk from a pirate. In the name of Davy Jones, what have we done? Man, I really want Fargo on my party. Um, So, we can go to the Mount Pyre, but of course, like he said, we'll get burned. There's no point. We need to go to the Water Island first. But I do want to check out uh, Termina. Let's see if we can upgrade our armor a bit. Let's see if we can upgrade our armor. Because I know... I think Kid, actually both Kid and Gil are a little behind, and you know what, I'm really thinking of switching Gil out right now, I don't have, you know what, I don't have a character that I super like to put in Gil's place, but I think we gotta put something, so if something that you guys, if you guys ever play this game, a quick tip, before you put another character in, make sure to remove all of his stuff because it does stay on his character it doesn't automatically de-equip so whenever you guys do this make sure to de-equip your people so in this case put an ivory mail and then take the rest of the stuff off there we go now he's ready to be traded out use the teleporter I guess for now we'll use this guy wait a minute this guy, oh no, he's red. Screw it. We're going to leave him on. We're going to get to that battle no matter what. So that's fine. Let's go ahead and um, let's allocate his elements. His equipment we might change though. Didn't we have like another, maybe not. I guess we'll just put there and wasn't there one with six? I guess we'll put magnify there, right? All right, that's fine. And I guess let's do his equipment so we can see kind of what we need to upgrade. Uh, okay, he already has a bronze mail on. Put a bronze helm. Um, prove his defense. Let's hit his hit percentage. Alright, let's go in terminal. Let's go to the blacksmith. See what kind of uh, stuff they're selling real quick. Um, also... We should probably stop by the element shop to pick up some more elements here. Uh, how may I help you? Probably just a bunch of tablets, right? Because we have a ton of gold. Uh, 
How do I just buy like 99? Night. Why won't it allow me to buy like a ton? Oh, because I already have 99. Oops. Alright, let's. Oh, that's a lot of gold. You know what? Let's just buy all of that. Cure? Okay. That's. Oh, I don't need that many. Let's buy like five. Cure plus. Buy like five. Heal. Like five. Buy like five of those. That is some good stuff, actually. I needed that. Like, badly. Allocate. So, real quickly, let's take a look. So, heal all. That restores to everybody. Okay, that's pretty good, actually. Let's go to this level four. Let's definitely... Ooh, I didn't mean to do that. Let's put heal all there. Arrow blaster. Let's go back to one. And put revive. And then, actually, we're probably going to end off the episode here. Uh, but don't leave just yet. Let's see what we can buy from the blacksmith. And then, I guess, in the next episode, we are going to the Dragon Isle, which is kind of exciting. I think it's going to be our first dragon, right? And I don't know which world it's in, but I guess we'll figure it out once we go there. If it's there, then we got it. If it's not, we'll go to the other world and take care of that. Alright, so let's disassemble. Um, let's see. I don't need the ivory helmet. How many of these do we have? Oh, we have three. Well, let's just disassemble all of it, because we don't really need these. Right, ivory helms are useless. And then we'll keep the rest of this stuff for now. Armor... Ivory mail, right? We don't need this. And we got some iron vests. Oop, I don't want to do that. Bronze. Let's get rid- Oh, what? You saw that equipped. Ivory mail. Okay, whatever. And then, wait. Actually, we'll keep all that for now. Let's forge some weapons. So, ooh, we can make the steel swallow. Yes, definitely make that. Let's see. Iron dagger. Let's make one of those. And then which... which Who uses the gloves? Yeah, we can make an iron glove. Definitely make one of those. Um, okay, that's, I think that's it for weapons. Iron mail. Uh, okay. Let's make one of these. Okay, we don't have enough copper. What kind of accessories? Let's see. Can we disassemble? You know what we'll do? Um, okay, she's going to talk about some kind of rainbow material. Uh, but we can't really find that yet. Let's go to equip. Let's go to steel swallow. Uh, he already has an iron vest. That's better. And then Iron Dagger, Iron Vest, Iron Glove, and then we're going to disenchant some of our, or disassemble and get another Iron Vest, Weapons, Copper Swallow, yes, so we can get some Copper, Forge, uh, Armor, Iron Mail, right? Yes. So that is going to be for our third character. And we don't really need... Ooh, we could use some iron helmets, actually. Um, let's make two of those. I don't know if I'll actually use those. Let's go here. Put the iron mail on. Bronze helm. Let's put an iron helmet on him. Iron helmet on him. Do we have... Okay. If Let's make one more iron helmet. Forge, accessories, iron helmet. There we go. Let's go to kid. Bam, iron helmet. Alright, so we've got all iron weapons. We've decked out with iron armor and iron accessories. So, we're pretty well off. I think we'll definitely 
like 100% be ready for this water dragon island. I don't think we're going to have any issues with that, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and save, but this is going to be the end of this episode, guys. If you did enjoy, make sure you like and comment as it supports my channel, and I will see you guys later. Real quickly, let me save. I'll show you guys that I saved. So, yep. So, guys, yep, once again, thanks for watching. And, oh, wrong block. God bless. And goodbye. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Chrono Cross. Today we're going to be going to the Water Dragon Isle uh, to get apparently like some kind of tier that would help us go through the lava because of course we have to get to Mount Pyre uh, to see what Lynx and them are up to. So yeah, let's head over there. I don't know which world it's in. It's either in this world or the other one that we need to go to. But since in this world we already have a boat, we might as well try the water island on this world first. And the water island... Where is the water island? Yeah, water dragon island. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, th I thought it'd look more watery, but yeah, this is it. So, let's go check it out. Let us see what is going on. Yeah, the water island does not live here. Or the water dragon isn't here. It's hard to believe, but according to the fairies here, the legendary dragon... That that thick wall of ice blocking the entrance into the underground cavern proves it. And they don't, so maybe it does live here, but maybe it's just stuck behind that ice wall then. Um, let's do some exploring then. Let's talk to some people. Forces of nature are astonished in this place is one standing. It's covered, but now... Hmm. So it was just a couple of days ago this was apparently covered in water, so that's kind of weird. But you know what? That's fine. Let's fight some of the en local enemies, and if you guys, uh, look at the new weaponry. So last episode, we bought iron tools for everybody, so everyone's got a little bit of new weapon. Let's, let's see how hard it hits. Oh, that's pretty beautiful right there. That is pretty beautiful. What color is that? Blue? Alright, well, we don't have any big uh, red items, so we're just going to use Arrow Blaster. That should probably kill it. It's not dead. You gotta be kidding me. Let's see how hard she hits. Okay. Okay. Kid can hit pretty hard, apparently. I don't know since when she was able to hit that hard, but I guess those iron tools really do up quite a bit. So I will definitely take it. So that was that enemy. There's a chest up there. Hmm. I'm going for that chest. And then we'll do some more exploring, but I am definitely going for that chest. If we can, like, run past it. Found iron. Alright, well, I guess we have to fight it. Stuff, good stuff. And we get... Oh, I was trying to heal. We get quite a bit of gold from these guys, so... I'll take it. Continue on exploring. That chest was honestly kind of useless. I mean, I guess we need all the iron we can get, but... We basically have everyone equipped with iron anyway. So... I really need that. See another chest. Hopefully that one's not also filled with iron. What's up with you? As of late, everyone's talking about the existence of dragons. We adventurers have been researching it for a while now, though. Okay. Can we walk up this? We can. Look at that. Some of these sprites are really deceiving, honestly. On another iron. Although we don't really need it. I guess let's go up here. Oh, wait, we should probably talk to that guy right... Oh, oh so we should probably talk to this guy. I forgot the entrance is right here. Found this thing at the dried up. It's kind of creepy, so I'll give it to you for free. Oh, I have nothing to do with it now. See ya. Sturdy ribs. Hey, that's another part for Skelly. Yeah, I, have a, I had a pretty good physique. Did I ever tell you I did acrobatics? Hey, that's right. I used to be a clown in the circus. Just like that grandma said. Look at that. Alright, we can't really do anything in there. Let's head up here. See what is going on with the water dragon. Fairies. Okay. Before we talk to them, let's go grab this chest. See what's up. More iron. What I expect. Alright, what's up? D. 
Dear sirs, have you come to the silence seeking the dragon? If so, please turn back now. Due to the abnormal weather conditions, the fountain has run completely dry. This island was called the Island of the Springs. is desolate as you now see. What do you have to say? Although we can fly, we fairies aren't we fairies aren't very strong and we can't fly too far. It's a different story if we can catch the wind, but the wind is capric it's just like okay, whatever. Do 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 what do you have to say? Born from the morning dew drops of the age tree, whatever. Alright, let's see what we happens if we climb. What are y'all doing up here? Rest of the sea is an invitation to the dark, embracing the abyssal darkness where the souls gather. Alright, yellow one, what do you say? Did you hear did you hear a small star fell in the sea of triplet seas? Okay, so that's another little side quest that we're gonna have to take care of eventually is go into the sea where a little meteor dropped but wink wink it wasn't a meteor it was a spaceship which that could be taken as a spoiler but eh. we don't actually know the story behind it so we will see let's walk up here yep can't get through here okay time to make our way to the other world because clearly this one does not have anything to offer us and I'm sure the other world this island is probably very thriving with water and we'll go ahead and see the water dragon do, 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 do. now real question I don't know where I'm gonna get a boat on the other world um, but I guess we'll figure it out right um, we just stop right at Arnie Village over here. Alright, and let's go ahead and go to the other world. And I actually haven't taken Kid to the other world yet, so... Actually, I might have. I don't know. Let's try it out. Uh, Astral Amulet. Actually, the Astral Amulet is a thing that she gave us, so she should know. Yep. Get the animation done to go to the other world. Fall through the world. Boop. Man, Surge has some huge socks. Like, bright pink socks. Actually, honestly, the, the only thing that I've never really liked about this genre of gaming is all the characters look so wonky. Like, I wish they could just be, like, semi-normal, but, like, man, what kind of kid is that huge pink socks all right so when we came here earlier the poor soldiers would not let us through the canyon let's see if they're done yet are you done yet okay so we still can't go through and where do we go i wonder oh i got an idea Remember that one guy at the pier? He had a boat, right? Let's go see if he'll be able to rent us out a boat. Just maybe. Yeah, that guy right there. Yo. Huh? Oh, it's you, Serge. Great day. How's your... Oh, what was that? You want me to take you to the water dragon? Oh, it's not too far, so I'm going to take you there for 100G. Let's get it. All right. I told you, I told you. I knew this guy would be able to help us out. But we will eventually have to get our own boat in both worlds. We're gonna have to get a boat. For now though, he'll take us there. It's kinda cool, the water dragon isle is basically like right below the main island. So that's kinda cool. Of course, water dragon is my favorite because I'm a little biased oh it's been a while since I visited this isle but it's uh, but there's something strange I don't see any of the fairies that usually dance around the pond oh pardon me there's a small village of fairies on the island. it should be just beyond this pond I don't know what brings you to this isle but it re but it's best to ask the fairies to learn about the place in the meantime I'll be around here fishing this pond is great for fishing there you go he gets paid and he can fish look at this guy making a business so, how we travel around this island is on these lily pads. They basically all just go towards a different place. Um, 
Let's go. I know this one takes us over to the right. I want to grab that chest. Can I jump on it? Hello? Hello? Okay. B, I guess not. So, you know what? Screw that chest. We don't need none of that. And then we can go on this one. That'll take us over here. And this one will take us over here. And the water dragon should be just right up ahead. Real quickly, of course, let's do up a save. Don't want to die to the water dragon and then have to go all the way back to where the episode started. And all of us are looking healthy. Actually, we need tablets for them too. But it's fine. I'm not expecting to lose this fight, so. Or I think we're gonna fight I don't I don't know maybe it oh hmm just when I thought it was a rarity to see humans on this one island you all high hole long look at this house beautiful perfect fit for our new home too good for these fairies the humans taught us that the world is built on dead bodies of other species see because we killed the Hydra now they're killing the fairies all right dude that ain't cool I mean, it wasn't cool that I destroyed their home. This ain't cool either. So, um... Yeah. Can we fight them? Will you... You do not cherish the treasure of nature as we do. Be gone with you. Alright, looks like we're fighting. You know what? Let's do this. Although I feel bad for destroying their home. Come on, man. Why I gotta take out the fairies like that? Y'all are going down. Bum, bum, bum. What I might do is I might do all these fights off camera. I'll, I'll, I'll defeat these ones, but if there's any more, I'll get them off camera because there's no use in sitting here for 20 minutes fighting each of these goblins. But I definitely will fight all of them because I do need to level a bit. Bam. Nice little slash right there. Just hit him with that three. Ooh, good hit. That Greco should be able to pound him. There we go. Bum, 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 bum. Too bad you can't see Greco's weapon. You can see uh, Surge's and Kids because they've just got like iron blades, but for him he has iron gloves and they're kind of like hidden behind his Mexico suit. Alright guys, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to clean up this entire crowd and then I'll be back. Alright everybody, all the goblins have been taken care of. Let's go talk to this one. Hey, wake up. Please answer me why, why, oh, why. <sighs> Stupid goblins, gnomes, whatever they are. Alright. Hmm, I knew you'd come. Now I must confront you fools once again. I suppose this is fate. It sends now with your death. Die, human scum. And. These people really think they can beat us? I doubt it. Oh, okay. Brought some friends, eh? Hi ho chorus. That hurts like not at all. Man, these guys are weak. Let's hit them. Oh. Okay, good. We can use gravitone. Hit a mall where it hurts. This should do not a lot of damage, but hey, it'll do something. Now let's go ahead and just beat this one to death. Bah. Let's go ahead and kick this one right in the face. And then... No, not magma. Not magma. What is this? You know, we haven't seen his move yet. Let's go ahead and try it out. Close line. He just beefs up his arm and then boop. Okay. That's a good amount of damage, actually. Go ahead and get in here. Oh, two good hits. Nice. <laughs> oh, I was like, nice miss, but he did get one hit in. Uh, let's go ahead. Do we have Magma Bomb? Let's do Magma Bomb since two of them are weak. That one should be dead. There we go. That should do a good amount of damage, actually. Okay, come on. Bam. 
And I wonder if... By the way, after this fight, I'm going to switch up our elements a little bit. But man, Greco's defense is great. Um, Let's do Magma Bomb. I want to take Gravitone, put it on Surge. That was pretty good. Okay. Um, controller's not connected. Hello? Alright. Controller disconnected for a minute there. Okay. Good. Take him out. Maybe we can just three him? Nice. Good hit. Alright. Get them out of here. Bum, 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 bum. Nice. That was a boss fight? Maybe I, like, did a little bit too much leveling. Grr, what strength. I cannot allow our clan to be defeated here. Next will be our last. Come after us, humans, if you want to save the fairies. Retreat. Oh. I'll come after you, alright. I ain't leaving you. The least they could have done is not killed the fairies. I'm gonna kill these gnomes, and then I'll be right back. Alright, let us see what is in these two doors, and then we'll continue on down. I'm guessing this is probably like a little chest room, right? Yep. That's what I guessed. Magic ring. Um, let's see, who can wear that? Um, nah. I don't think anyone should be able to, I don't think anyone needs that. Let's see what we got in the second room over here. What's behind door number two? Take a look. Um, nothing? Okay. I don't like door number two. I like door number one. Let's continue down, though. Let's we'll see what is going on. Well, I guess we'll fight this dwarf just because, I mean... I'm, again, I'm trying to make these boss fights kind of as easy as possible. But I've kind of got a good strategy for these guys now. So if hit, if Surge hits both of those, I can basically arrow blaster that one. One's already weak, one's gonna be dead. I've kind of got this down to a math now. And even Kid can come back dead. See, they didn't even get a chance to attack. The fights are over kind of quickly. As long as Surge hits his two threes, I arrow blast, and then Kid can come in with the last couple strikes. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Bum bum bum. Oh, there's a safe spot, so we're gonna have to get there. So I guess we're gonna have to fight these dudes. Let's do it. Alright, we got past those goblins. Hello, controller? Okay, there we go. Let's go ahead and do up a save. If my controller would work correctly. Like, we finally got over the crashing and the visuals. Now my main issue is just my controller, which I don't think I can exactly fix. I think the wiring isn't amazing. All right, so we saved. I'm not gonna bother to fight that one, just because I'm lazy. Let's go over here and see what's up. So you've made it this far, but you will not find us so easy to defeat. We will settle our scores here by avenging the extinct Hydra in our dying homeland with your death. All right, let's do it. Y'all think you can take me on? Bum, bum, bum. Oh, they brought a train with them. How cute. He's got a red nose. All right, looks like we gotta fight the big boy. Let's do this, hi-ho tank. Oh, what a hit. I'm not going to even bother with the goblins because I'm pretty sure one of the special abilities of this tank is to spawn in more goblins. They don't do much damage. There's literally no point for me to actually kill those goblins. I'll just kill them after I kill the tank. Which shouldn't be very long because uh, I'm a little bit... Like, I'm, I don't want to say overleveled because like there's no such thing as overleveled in this game. But I've defeated more enemies than I probably should have. Meaning I am a little bit higher than I probably should be. Let's see what we can steal from the tank. 
I'm curious. Oh, we actually did it. Screw. Oh, come on. Really? A screw? That's all you can give me? Element shot. Let's see. Does this hurt or not? Oh, it was going at surge. Boom. Man, it didn't hurt that much. I could out heal that easily. Uh, what does this do again? Temporarily increase the element damage. Eh. Let's go ahead and magma burst the tank. I don't know if that'll do much damage, but might as well give it a try. Might as well give it a try. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, that didn't do that much damage. Oh, that was a good hit. Go over to Kid. Good hits. Um, let's just do Magma Bomb, I guess. That'll hurt the gnomes, too. So when we do have to kill them, they'll be a little bit lower health. And it damages the tank a little bit, so that's good. Okay, I'll say, does that hit all of them? Okay, Surge is getting low. Alright, what I'll do is I'll attack the tank, and then I will heal, heal Surge, just... Wow, okay. You just straight dodged it. Boom. Um, let's hit him with the one. Can I heal? Okay, I'll heal Surge. For now. And then I'll defend with him too. Nah, actually no, I won't. I'll just straight up attack. Oh, it was only 39. That's booty. That's garbage. Okay, that was a good hit. No, I didn't mean to... I didn't mean to hit. Repair. Oh my god, how much are they repairing for? 100. Ah, that's not that bad. Now, I won't heal all, actually. Not yet. I'll just defend. There we go. Oh, that's an attack that hits all. Okay. I'll let us get hit, like, once or twice more, and then I will heal all. Anyway, this guy is not going to be able to out-heal us. No way. And we got recover all, too. Let's use another magma bomb. He's not going to be able to outheal us, so. And I guess we'll kill his goblin slowly. Now, though, I just want to kind of hit the tank. Because basically, one turn of attacks just kind of wipes him, so. Um, I will just do another magma bomb, why not? Might as well do some damage to the little ones. Get them prepared for their end. Oh, I didn't do that much damage. Elemental shot. Black. Oh. This might hurt a bit. Hopefully this doesn't kill him. He is defending. Oh, that was way too close. Definitely gonna hit it up with a heal all. Jeez. That was a mistake leaving him that low. Okay. That is some good healing right there. Wow. I'll take it. Repair. Just keep repairing yourself. It's not gonna do anything. I can I can out damage that, my dude. Alright, who's he gonna hit? Okay, he hits Kid. She sucks a little bit because she's the lowest health out of all of them, but I can heal her up. Okay. You know what? I think I will kill the little dudes. I think I think I'm gonna go up and kill the little dudes. Come here. Can you please die? Um You know, I'll just go over to Greco. Let's try to kill this little dude. Bam. And let's go back to the tank. Hit him with that. Two, one, two. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, this doesn't do much damage to everybody, so that's completely fine. It actually does zero to Greco, because the man is literally a tank. Basically, with one, one attack, I take care of exactly what he healed, so that ain't no problem for me. 
And yeah, look at that. I'm not gonna kill that other one. Maybe his healing is less. All right, let's, if he only has one goblin, let's see, is it the same still? Or is it in half? No, okay, it's the same. Elemental shot. Oh no, he's going for kid. This might hurt a bit. If she dies, we have revive, it's fine. 86, very close. Okay. Definitely gonna hit up a... Gonna hit up a, a heal. That's for sure. And we're definitely gonna kill that stupid little gnome. Come here. Kill you. Alright. Back to hitting this thing. Don't... Oh, okay. I was like, please don't miss. And... You know what? Let's go over to Surge. There we go. Good hits. High res. What does that even do? It increases defense, right? Defense. Ah, uh, yep. Knew it. Alright, let's just use Photon Beam on it. Since it increases defense, uh, it'd be good to start maybe using a little bit of magic. Kamehameha kame, kame him right in the stomach. Is he dead? Oh, no, he's just... Oh, it is. Okay, no problem. Easy. I thought he was going to call more goblins. You're dead, boy. You're dead. I'm bound him up. That was a pretty easy fight. Um, we got really close to Surge dying. That would have been really bad. But, oh well. Got another knee pad. We survived. Grr, such strength. Are we to be driven off a, off our land once again? Is there no land on this planet where we can live in peace? Oh, goddess of fate, why are we dealt with such a hand? Are humans really the greatest species on the planet? These heretics of evolution, these destroyers of the planet. I don't know, man. I don't know. I feel bad. Bro. Uh. I was just trying to get a save, bruh. I was just trying to save. Alright, guys. Fine. You know what? For the first time ever in the series, we're going to end off at not a safe point. Because I'll just continue recording. So, guys. Thanks for watching. If you did enjoy it, make sure to like and comment as a the channel. And I will see you guys later. God bless and goodbye. Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Chrono Cross. Today we're going to go see the dragon, the dragon, the water dragon, and see what's up. So, let's go ahead. Surge, there is a fairy over there. What's good, fairy? Surge, is it alright? I don't think so. Surge. No, it is not alright. Tisk, if we only have gotten here a little earlier. Let's go, Surge. The water dragon must be beyond this point. That's another thing. So, if those dwarf gnome things wanted to make this their home, what would they do with the water dragon? The water dragon could clearly wipe out their entire race. What would they even do? So, I, to me, it didn't make no sense. Welcome, son of man. Well, I am... That makes sense. Now, come to me. Alright. Well, I would come to you if you didn't stop me in a cutscene. That'd be great. What's up, my dude? Still, water dragon. Thou needeth not explain. I know already what thou seeketh here. There is not to be surprised about. It is but a trifle for we sleeping dragons who hath dwelt upon this land for ages. Mount Pyre, the land thou seeketh is home to the fire dragon. Unless thou quench his red blazes, it will prove a difficult journey. Take this, son of man. My breath can freeze even boiling lava. Surge has, has been bestowed the ice breath. Take my subordinate as well. It shall be useful in holding back the fire dragon of Mount Pyre. Surge has been bestowed the frog prince, which is a, a water summon. So we need a water character for that. 
Wilt thou change the world or wilt thou change thyself? Wilt thou live on with thy mother planet or wilt thou turn thy back on the planet and tread another path? I don't know, man. I was trying to play some Chrono Cross, you know what I mean? They said that they were chased out of the forest by humans and they drifted down to our island, so the humans are to blame. I I agree. Because if you humans because if you humans are have been made victims, why can't humans live in harmony with nature? Why do you continue to act the way you do? Don't you see what the outcome of your choices will be in the future? Why, why? Razley, you're a fairy, so come back to us. You don't have to be with those humans. Sorry, I can't return to the village. I'm still a part of the fairies. But, but, I'm also friends with Sergi and all the others too. I can't betray them and go back yet. Sis, everybody, I'm sorry all this happened because of us. Razley, are you really going? Yes, please take care of Rosetta. Please bury her on Mount Isle so that she may forever watch over us from above. I am leaving this island for a while, but I will return someday. Until then, goodbye. Man, why does Raz Raz Lee gotta give me them goosebumps? Why gotta do this to me? Alright. Well, we've got the t the ice tier thingamajigger. Go ahead and do it to save. So the next part of the game is Mount Pyre, which is mainly a fireplace. Which is gonna suck a little bit because we have two fire characters. Uh, but we, what we probably should do is put on some water attacks, if you know what I mean. So we're definitely going to be putting Aqua Ball. Uh, this is like a weird transition episode because, uh, yeah, we're just going to basically go straight to the fireplace. Uh, I think we have to go here, right? Yeah. Getting my lily pads mixed up. And, yeah, so we're going to have to go back to the other world, of course. Not in this world, since we don't have a boat in this world yet. No second thoughts? Let's head back to the village. Yes. Let us go back to the village. You're sure? Well, let's go back to the village. Yeah, that's what I just said. Let's, let's, let's go back to the village. Yeah, we're going to have to uh, head back to Opasa Beach. Go back to the other world. And then, uh, freeze up the place. And go find Lynx. Oh, no, 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 no. Banana. All right, he saw home slice. Thanks for the ride. That dude's a pretty chill dude. Bum bum. Ba -da -dum -ba -na -na -na. But yeah, this game. So far, it's been such a fun game to play. I don't know about you guys, but I'm having the time of my life with this game. Again, I haven't played this game for a couple of years now. Considering it's my favorite game of all time ever in the existence of humanity It was it was probably time to do another run and for the first time ever a run on YouTube uh, If you guys don't know I started YouTube about three years ago, and I haven't played this game in about three or four years So I basically stopped playing it right when I started YouTube Now that I might be quitting YouTube in like six months to a year This game will probably take us about six months to a year to finish I think it's kind of symbolic that I'm a favorite game of all time. Might be the last of all time. But that's getting into another subject. So, let's go ahead. Get on our boat. Yes, let us board the boat. And head to Mount Pyre. Uh, I don't know if I'm... Hopefully I'm strong enough to kind of take it on leisurely. Hopefully. But the fog is gone now. Let's also do a quick save before we go in there just in case. Don't want nothing spooky happening. Yep, so it does kind of suck that we're going in with two fire characters. Uh, but that's fine. In a sense, they'll be immune to fire attacks. I'm okay with that. I guess. So, Mount Pyre East. So, this is the reason we couldn't come here earlier. Because if we touched that lava, we would be Ripperonis. But now that we got Ice Breath, use that item real quick. Bam. Lava is ice. The ice is in the way. Ah, oh, you gotta be kidding me, bro. Okay, well, I just blocked myself off from that chest. Okay, so 
these things. Let's go ahead and fight it. Of course, I want to fight uh, every enemy at least once so you guys can see it on screen. Usually, I would kind of skip these enemies, but... So, what are these... What are these called? Lava Boys? They are called Lava Boys. I knew it. Ooh, good hits. Let's see how strong they are. Let's use an Ice Blast on this one. See how hard it hits. It should hit pretty hard. Oh, 148. Knocked out. KO. Alright, good hits. And... Do Aqua Ball. Let's see how strong Aqua Ball is. Only thing is kids' magic attack isn't that strong, so it's not gonna do as much as Surge would, but should be around a hundred. Okay. I'll take it. Finish him off, Greco. What? I missed. No, uh, that's a fire attack. Uh Cure Plus is not Okay, you know what? We'll just go to Surge. And Surge can finish him off. Bam, there we go. Okay, good stuff, good stuff. So those are the Lava Boys. The Lava Boys, they have an interesting name. So, uh, we, can, we can't go up this way because it's like a slide. But we can go up this way. And these things are another type of enemy. They're like weird monkey boxer cat thingies. I don't think they're monkeys, they're cats, right? Yeah, they're cats. And then we got the little, uh, hot, hot doggity. I don't even know why they call them that. And these are cat burglars. So yeah, let's, uh, they're all red, right? Alright, let's go ahead and beat them up. Bam. And again, sadly, I do not have, um, a red character, or a blue character, so I can't use the frog prince. Uh, but I don't think I'll be able to place frog prince, because I don't think we have... Elem like, I don't think any of my characters can go up to level 7 elements anyway. So, it's fine. Let's see how much damage this thing does. Ah, just kidding. He dodged it. Okay, dodged. Oh, that thing is a has a good dodging, apparently. Haha, uh -huh, you missed. Go back to kid. This thing apparently does not have good dodging, though. You know what, I'll just go to Surge. I would use an element, but it'll take too long. There we go. And let's see if Surge can hit that three. Nice, good hit. And then we'll use Ice Blast on this one, too. Why not? I think I should insta-kill it, so. 175. Good stuff, good stuff. Get that out of the way. Bum, 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 bum. Alright, so... I think those are the main enemies in, in this little dungeon thingy. Cat Burglars, Lava Boys, and the Hot... I'm just going to call them the Hot Diggities because I don't want to say Doggities. Tablet doesn't really help me much. But those are all the enemies. And this little dungeon is actually quite short, actually. Oh, there's Salt and Pepper. Let's shake... Alright, yes, I'll do my best. Let's shake it. Get ready. To shake it. Okay, well, let's go ahead and shake it. Hopefully they brought some dark elements this time, am I right? Too bad they don't have Karsh with them. This time we shall not be beaten. I shall blow them to pieces with one of those powerful elements you brought me. Pepper, you mean one of those summoning elements. Now we're shaking. How oh, tragically tragic. I hate to tell you this, Pepper, but I just remembered that I lost the summoning element I had with me. What do you mean you lost it? Don't tell me you dropped it or your dog ate it or something. Stupid excuse. You're asking for a darn good shake and... No, I'm not that stupidly stupid, you know, Pepper. Actually, if you must know, the centipede monster in the Hydra Marshes stole it from me. <laughs> that sucks. Uh, I don't... Uh... Took it from me by laying a trap element. Uh, so trap elements uh, will lay a trap in front of you, Pepper, and then get you to use one of your special elements. All right. So they're gonna literally test it out for me. That's great. So he set up a trap element on his friend, and then he used black hole, a dark element, and bam. Now, you see how I took your element there, Pepper? 
I used a trap element designed to exclusively to capture black hole elements. You see, each trap element only works with one kind of element. It can't capture any elements other than the ones they were designed to capture. Shaking. I see what you mean about ha having your summoning elements stolen there. Alright, now I understand. So can you give me back my black hole element now? Oops, I should have told you. I can't give it back to you. Uh... Huh? Well, I guess it doesn't matter. Seeing as you've got your hands on it now, why don't you hurry up and use the elements to just trap down the enemy? You know you can't use an element until you have equipped it properly, so we'll have to wait until after this battle. Oops. Oh, no. Pepper is getting mad. What did you just say? Uh. Uh. I think he's gonna hit him, right? Yeah. <laughs> Man, they're just killing each other at this point. I'm okay with that. Uh, what color are these guys? Man, let's use Arrow Blaster on him. That should take care of him. 156. Jeez. Missed. Haha. <laughs> Dude, we should try to finish this boss fight without even getting hit once. Alright. It might be a little bit stronger than I thought. But they definitely don't hit very hard. What is- oh, they're both? Okay, they're both. Yellow. Let's see what we can steal. What can I steal from you? Okay, that's not that bad. I won't use it, but you know what? More armor. We can like, disassemble it for more stuff. Ow. Let's go over to Surge. Got in with that three-piece. And then hit him with that ice blast. Bam. Oh, he's getting low. Let's go to Greco. Bam. Hit him with that three piece. Boom. Let's go back to Kid. Try to finish this guy off. Oh, that was a good hit. Go back to Greco. Now time to take care of Salt. Go back to Kid. And then back to Surge. Oh, okay. That was actually a decent hit, but... Nowhere near close enough. Okay, good. Nice. We both hit, a, hit both of the threes. And then let's use Ice Blast. It should hurt quite a bit. Okay. Not too bad. He should be dead pretty soon here. Apparently he's not very good at defending. Or, yeah. Or dodging. And I don't have any, like, green elements. Do you have any? Nope, just heal alls. Alright, whatever. This will just... Hit him with normal attacks. There we go. Easy peasy. Bum 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 bum. Oh, we got Iron Vest, Iron Mail. Although we can't use that now. It would have been good. Let's shake it out of here. So, we go that way to actually get out of the place, but we don't want to get out of the place just yet. Let's try to avoid this guy. Yep. I really don't want to be fighting him right now. So we're going to straight swerve him. Oh, we gotta use Ice Breath, right? But we won't be able to get that. Well? Ice Breath? There you go. We won't be able to get that chest, but you know what? That's fine. I'm not too worried about that. We will get this chest up here, though. And... Oh, really? I can't hold any more capsules? Can I heal anybody? Oh, well, I guess we can't get that capsule. That's fine. Uh, let's try to dodge this guy. And go behind him. Just like that. I don't really want to fight him right now just because I'm lazy. And then just sort of past that guy. There's a safe point. I'll take it. Let's go ahead and do up a save. 
And if we're not strong enough, I'll come back, kill the little ones down there, and then we'll try again. But we should be strong enough. I don't see why we wouldn't be. Oh. That's a big dragon. What's that? It looks stuck. Mini dragon. Hey, lad, want to challenge me to a fight? Come on, what do you say? I guess we're fighting. What do you say? And then he doesn't even give me the, doesn't even give me the chance. Alright. Let's do this. Oh, we dodged it. Just go to kid. Wow, this guy has some agility. And that hurts a little bit. Get some damage in there. Fear your breath. Let's see how much this damage this does. Well, fire. Oh, that does quite a bit, actually. Do I have a cure plus? Go ahead and use that on Kid right now. Make sure she don't die. Make sure she don't die. And what I'm trying to do is get Surge. There we go. Get to Ice Blast range so we could use this. I should do quite a bit of damage, actually, yeah. And then I don't know if we have another Ice Blast on Kid. But she should have some type of, of Aqua Ball. I guess that's good enough. That's good enough. And I'm guessing this will do around 50. Okay, 69. That's pretty good. Uh, let's defend. And defend. Oh, he attacks the one that's not defending. That's kind of annoying. Miss. Okay, he hit that one. I guess we'll just hit him again. Fury Breath. Uh, who are you gonna hit? Hit Kid again. Well, I guess that's a good time to... Uh, good time to use a cure on her, I guess, right? Let's go ahead and give her some health so she won't die from another attack. Wait, does she have another water attack? No. Let's go ahead and pilfer. Let's see what we can grab from this dragon. Okay, we got it. What did we get? Magic ring. Okay, we don't really need that. Ooh. That hurts a little bit. I want him to attack Greco so we can I can use heal all without feeling bad about it. No, not Magma Burst. That'll probably heal him at this point. Let's go to Surge. And let's go ahead and defend up with him. Go ahead and attack with the kid. And I'm not going to heal all yet, but I will defend. Fury Breath. Is it going to be targeted at Kid again? No, it's going to be at Surge this time. Okay, well, you know what? I'll use a heal all. Just because I guess if there's two characters that are dying, I think it's worth it. It looks like he's getting low. Looks like it. Alright, missed. Good. I like I like that when he misses. Oh. Alright, he should be pretty low. Alright, he should be pretty low. So let's go ahead and maybe try to kill him quickly before he does any more major damage. Although I don't think he will. Surge could use some healing at this point. Come on, hit that three at least. Okay, good. We got him. So, he hit Kid pretty hard, but luckily enough, Kid could at least survive one hit. Okay, my controller is not working. That's not good. Hello? Alright, there we go. Let's go ahead and heal all. 
Hey, not bad, lad. I'm sure I'll see you again. Okay, we have burns. We need to fix those. Elements use ointment. Yeah, ointment's what we need for that. Oh, I probably should have bought some more ointment. Oh, well. I'm sure I won't get burnt that many times. Man's voice. That is far enough. So you made it this far, Junior, huh? The case your dragoons. Step aside. In the name of... You ain't getting past here. This will be the end of you all. So, so I guess this is three of them. And Surge, I hate you. <laughs> oh yeah, because we beat her earlier. I hate your friends, your mom, your dad, your grandma, your grandma, great great grandma. I hate them all. I hate you. Despise you. Blah, blah, blah. Well then, it's time for you to die. Let's do it up. I'll beat him pretty easily. No problem, no problem. I beat Karshardi, and I beat mate, uh, whatever, Marcy. How bad could that Zoa guy be, right? Alright, let's do it up. Um, Let's go for... Who should we go for first? Let's go for Marcy. Since we kind of tailored our way around blue magic in this dungeon, taking out the blue character is probably the best idea. Alright, that's a little bit of damage. That's not too bad, though. We have plenty of heal alls. Plenty of heal alls, so... Um, you know what? We won't use that yet. We will use Arrow Blaster on her, though. Oh, no, I probably should have saved this for the yellow character. Oh, well. I'll, I'll have to make sure not to do that again. Oh, she's already gone. What? This game is easy. What? Alright, let's go for the yellow character. This boss fight's supposed to be hard. I literally just dominated her. You enjoy pain? Not really, but I enjoy me winning. Let's use... Let's use clothesline on him. Wrestler v. Wrestler right here. Bam. Let's go back to Surge. Nope, I want to attack Zoa. Bam. And then let's give him a nice blast. How about that? Give me a nice blast. That should hurt quite a little bit. Oh, yep, he's hurting. Uh, let's go and try to finish him off while he's down. Oh, I missed. Oh, no, he's going to get to attack. That's annoying. Whatever. Okay, I thought I was really hoping that wouldn't kill her. Oh, that's bad. Go hit him again. Okay, good. Um, use a heal all. I was even if he attacked the third time, I think she would have lived actually. So that would have been fine, but that would have just sucked a little bit. 160. Jesus, I didn't realize it did that much healing. I hit that three. Nice. I like that. I missed with him. Let's go ahead and defend. Defend. Let's go ahead and get Greco to do a little bit of the boop. Dragon Rider. This is his special ability. Yeah, so, uh, Ma I'm gonna just call her Macy at this point. She didn't even get to use a special ability because we killed her so fast. Let's just use Magma Burst. That should be good. That should do a little bit of damage to him. 48. Eh, thought I'd do more than that. That's fine. Our bird and butter, anyway, is our actual attacks, anyway, so. Oh, come on. There we go. That, that third hit over 100. That's actually crazy. And he hits pretty hard, but, sadly, not hard enough. Let's go ahead and pilfer him, see if we can get anything interesting. Yoink! Arrow Blaster. Okay, that's pretty good, actually. Nice. Good hit. Um, you know what? We'll just switch to Surge. And we'll probably be able to kill him with two. Or if that one hits right there, we should be able to kill him with that. Good stuff. That was a really easy fight, actually. Like, really easy. Alright, nice, nice, nice. Let's make sure to heal. Gold Earring. Hmm. Probably check what that does. 
no, 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 no. Impossible. There's no way I'd lose Karsh. It is almost time. I'll get I'll get even for this. No, you won't. Na 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 na. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, let's head over here. All right, guys. Uh, I'm gonna hit up a safe point real quick. But guys, I think I will end off the episode here. Just because that, that was two boss fights. I think that'll be enough for one episode. So guys, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and comment as it supports the channel. And I'll see you guys later. God bless and goodbye. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Chrono Cross. Last time we defeated the three whiny divas right here. Now we're going to keep going. Surge. Oh, there's Harl. If you proceed any further... There will be no turning back, even so, you're, you still wish to go, Surge. Nah, let's keep going. Why would we give up? There's no point in coming here than giving up. I see, I won't stop you. But, don't die. Alright, well, uh, I'll, I'll try my best not to die. Dying is not, like, something that I want to do. At least I don't think so. Not, not yet. There's the good old animation of Mount Pyre. Beautiful. And I'm pretty sure. Uh. Yeah. Future. Future. Yep. So we got past that little cavern. Now we can actually go into. For Dragonia. Okay, let's see. What do we do here? Let's read this. Only when you fulfill the requirements can you attend the ceremony. Return the colored crystals to their grandmaster. Alright. Let's do it. I'm ready. Do, do, do. This music's so sad. Oh! It's not sad anymore. Look at that! Right when I say it's sad, boom, it just uplifts. Up, up. Alright, let's do this. My shoulder itches. Okay, so guys, uh, this is like one of my favorite rooms in the game. So basically, you can see there's like four little dots. Each of them has a boss in it. So, we gotta defeat each of those bosses. I'm guessing we might be able to do either two in an episode or three. You know what? Maybe we just do them all in this episode. If we defeat them quickly, maybe we can do every single one of them. Guess let's see. I know some of them have like puzzles and stuff though. So, um, I guess we'll see. Depending on how, because each episode is about a half an hour. We'll see how many we get in a half an hour. If we get one, we get one. If, if we'll get more than one. Okay, this one will definitely be only one or two in an episode because, in my opinion, this right here is the hardest part of this entire place. Is this stupid, stupid maze. So what we have to do is we got to get those walls to sync up and for those walls to sync up we basically need to get the right character order on that blue platform up there and to change our player order uh, there's this machine inside of here that'll let us do that so if we stand on here we dragonians are a compromise of head body and tail those must change the order of head body and tail to unreal unreveal a new to reveal a new path Okay, so I'm guessing since this is the one we came in with, it's probably not going to be the one, but we can go over here and click this button. What'll, what will that do? Okay, that'll give us stairs up there. So now let's go back here. This will change our position. Yep, so now kids up front. Let's go in here and let's see what this order does to the walls. Now it's going to be really annoying because we have to keep like doing all of this, but it's fine. Now when I was little, this puzzle took me absolute ages. But basically, if you don't know exactly what you're doing, you just have to do this over and over again until you, something goes right. Um, let's go and see. What did that do? It basically blocked my way out. Huh. 
Yeah, it doesn't really help me in any way. Okay, guys, so I've switched up the order to this so we can get over here. What does this do? Oh, that just brings it to the ground. Okay, cool. So, this is the order that I had to get in. I don't know if this is the perfect order. Now, let's get... Ooh, oh, no. Controller. I need... I want Surge back. <laughs> I want... Oh, okay. Controller, hello. Before I go to that boss fight, I do want to get myself in the right order here. Because I'm very specific about it. I do want Surge up front, and then I want Kid, and then I want Mr. Uh, Mexican Wrestler over there. Okay. I think this works, right? Yep. Surge, Kid, and then Mexican Wrestler. Let's go ahead and head over to this boss. Oh, gotta dodge that. I don't want to fight it right now. At least not yet. I'm hoping I don't lose here. And that should be one of the little things lit up. Maybe there's not a boss. Maybe I'm delusional. Maybe there isn't a boss. I don't know. Who knows? Well, whatever. Guess that saves us a bit of time. Let's go ahead and run to the second one, I guess. Maybe some of them have bosses. Maybe this one didn't have a boss because, like, the boss was the puzzle. I don't know. That'd be weird. But you know what? I dig it. I guess we'll just have to wait and see, right? Um, let's go ahead and save. Because if there is a boss and I die, I don't want to do that puzzle over again. That would actually make me cry a little bit. Let's go ahead. Make sure we save. Alright, let's head to the second one. Let's see what this does. Oh, uh, this must be another... This is another puzzle, man. How gross is that? Well, one of these... Okay, we need that one to come over here. Okay, no. We need that one open. This one closed. Run over here. Oh, don't hit me. And then we need... That one like that. And then if we run over here, we need this one. This is actually quite an easy puzzle. We need that one over here. So we can go... Oh, don't hit me. So we can go over here. That one's actually a fairly easy puzzle. Oh, there's a person here. Maybe, maybe it was the wrong place. Oops. What is you? Oh, it's the dragoon. Okay. Well, we'll take care of him. Oh, he's even red. Perfect. That ice blast will do some big damage to him. Bam. Let's see. Man, this, this guy's fairly strong, actually. Let's see if we can steal from him. That'd be interesting. Give me something good. Silver pendant? Okay. I don't know what that does, but that's great. Wow, he didn't do much damage to him. I wonder, did his, like, defense go up? Or is Greco just weak or something? Um... You know what, we're just gonna go to Kit Surge. Go ahead and... Oh, missed. Okay, hit the second one at least. Oh, come on. Alright, you know what? Let's go back to Greco. Bam. Got good hits. Go back to Surge. Bam. Oh, okay. That killed him. Nice. Nice soon, nice soon. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, we didn't receive much gold for that, so that's kind of sad, but that's fine. Whew. 
Okay, well, that clearly was not what we were coming for. Seems like we have to go to the other door. No! The thing dived at me. That's so annoying. It's unbelievably annoying, actually. You know what? Actually, we haven't fought one of these. Oh, yeah. Let's, let's fight these. What is this? Uh, combat. Uh, and Google. That's fine. Seems like... Bat beam. I wonder what this does. The animation takes forever. Ugh. Ah, it doesn't even. For such like a big show, that doesn't actually do much. Ow. Okay. Dude really likes the nimble. What is this? Build up and release. To Ooh. Let's try out. We actually just got this. We haven't tried this yet. Let's go see what Luminaire does. Let's see if it does a lot of damage. Oh, that does some major damage. Jeez. Ah, oh, come on, two misses. Oh my God, in a long animation. No. We will get a drink of water while this is going. That's gonna take forever. Come on. Man, the animation is so stupidly long. It's going Greco. Come on, hit your shot. Bam. Stuff. Hit your shot. Oh, you missed. All right, come on, Serge. I believe in you. You hit your shot. Ooh. Definitely hit a shot. Nice. I like it. Bum, 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 bum. Let's make sure to heal all. And let's keep going. But that Luminaire, wow. I didn't expect it to be that strong. So we gotta move this one over there. And the one over here, we're gonna have to move to us. This one's not really that big of a puzzle. And close that one. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum, bum. Um, and this is where we should. This is probably where we have to go with the little. Mm. Maybe not. Oh, my controller. <laughs> I was like, why isn't my controller working? Sea charm. Okay. Well, that's clearly not where we have to go. Alright. Oh, do we gotta go. Oh, I get it. I know where we have to go. Okay, we have to go over there. I get it. I get it. I get it. I think we have to close this one, right? Yep. We have to go down in that corner. Right over here. Yep. And then we could do this to release. So we don't have to go through that puzzle again, of course. There is a boss on this one. I knew it. I knew there'd be a boss. I was wondering why the other one didn't have one. I knew it. Alright, and I kind of remember this boss being actually, like, a really annoying boss. Yeah, because it, it's, its defense is so high. Alright, let's try Luminaire. Okay, so it's a blue type. And I have a bunch of blue elements, so that's really bad for me, but... Oh, well. I'm pretty sure this thing is susceptible to magic attacks, but not, not physical attacks. So we'll basically just have to spam all of our elements at it and kill it slowly. How much damage does that do? Oh, I missed this all. Alright, let's try... No, not heal. Let's try Magma Bomb. This should do a little bit. Okay, that's more than what an attack would do. So let's go ahead and magma bomb it again. We're basically just gonna spam all our elements instead of just attacking over and over again. Let's go up and hit it. Let's try to hit that three. Hmm. Let's go back to kid. Go for the two and go for the three. Take in. Oh god. That's gross. 
60, it's actually not that bad. That's not a lot of damage. And let's go over to... What? Uh, okay. Let's go... Oh, we can't use Surge. What, is he frozen? Oh, no, he's frozen. Alright, well... Um, until he gets unfrozen, let's just, uh... Kind of drop stuff on him, right? Boom. And then element... Red pin? What does this do? Throws... Okay, so that's like an all again. Let's do Electro Bolt. I'm guessing this probably won't do too much damage, but... Slowly, slow... Oh, I did a lot of damage. Slowly we'll chip him. I wonder when Surge gets unfrozen. Or if he ever gets unfrozen. I don't really have anything to fix him. And he has a lot of good elements that we're definitely going to need. Let's clothesline him. Boom. Ooh, only four? Oh, we can finally attack with him. Nice. Miss. Good miss. Do magma bomb. Boom. It's just a little volley of balls. Iceberg. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, God. What? Jeez. That hurt quite a bit. I don't even have heal on him. What? Hopefully he doesn't attack. Do I have heal all? Oh, one more. Nope. I, I'm going to have to hit two. Don't attack? Okay, I have heal all. Okay. And then I'll have to just revive, kid. Wow, that's such a... That attack is so strong. It's unbelievable. Alright, we got a... Revive Kid. I'm pretty sure Kid has a lot of healing, so I'm gonna need her to attack like right away. Okay, that shouldn't that shouldn't kill him at all, or shouldn't kill any of us. So evade decreased. Do we have a heal all? Okay, this should be able to get us back up where we need to be. Yep. Okay, good. We're back at it. Let's defend. No, who's he gonna take in? Oh, he's gonna take him, kid. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. That's fine. Pretty sure we can heal her. Right? We have a cure. Let's cure her real quick. Make sure she doesn't get one shot by something. I'm just scared of the thing's the iceberg. That thing is really bad for us. Okay, we gotta start hitting our shots here. Hit it with another magma bomb. And I don't know, this thing needs to be close to dying. Oh, that's so bad! That's gonna kill, kid. And I do not have revives for her. That's so bad. We're gonna have to heal all. Mm. This is not good. If we finish this battle, it's gonna have to be without Kid. And the thing's not- it doesn't even look like it's dying. Oh, okay. Um... Let's Arrow Blast it. Hopefully, it won't Iceberg right away for some reason. Okay, that's gooey goo. That's fine. That won't do too much damage. But we will need to heal all. Let's heal all just in case he does another iceberg. I really don't want to get I don't want to get instantly wiped. Not to mention I won't I don't have any more revives. So if Greco dies, he's out. Okay, my controller's being wonky again. Okay, let's go ahead and hit him with two. 
Magma Burst. Ooh, this, sh this should be pretty strong. Hopefully. Hopefully it does a good bit of damage. 81. Is that it? Yes. Good, we beat him. Man, those icebergs are deadly. They hurt quite a bit. Oh, too bad. Kid doesn't get XP, but... Mm. Yeah, it's kind of how it is. Her HP isn't high at all. And it's her opposite color, so she just kind of got destroyed by it. Just kind of got destroyed by it. Okay, let's make sure... Use... This is for the flu, right? And then let's make sure to... Give everyone a full health. Alright. There's another one of those spooky dragon things. Alright. I think in this episode, if my controller would work, I think we'll be able to get one more. At least one more. I should probably even... I should probably do all four, honestly. But we'll see how bad the boss is, or if there is a boss, for the sec for the third one. If there is no boss, or it's like easy, we'll do a fourth. Maybe, maybe. But let's definitely go ahead and run over here. Let's see, ah, I think this is a pretty bad one actually. This one, yeah, I hate this one. Cause there's those paper things that like disappear. Let's just go straight on ahead to see what is up over here. Okay, we're gonna try to get through these. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we're fighting that. We have to go over to that door over there. I'll be remembering why in a minute here. But I always hated how confusing it was. All right, let's go up here. That thing is below. He can't get to me, right? Yeah. Heal all. That's pretty good. What is this? Push basher. That's pretty good. Let's go up here. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, no, okay. Well, I guess I have to fight one of these paper things. They look like pieces of paper. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, and we got a bat. Man, this controller is not nice to me today. What is it? Paper boy. Of course his name is a paper boy. Alright, good hits. Hit him with that luminaire. It should be pretty strong. And then we'll go straight to Kid and do Red Pin. <clears throat> Bam. That thing's gone. Let's go up to this. Yep, yeah, actually, that was a really good hit. Maybe we just hit the three? Oh, I missed. I know, let's just go to Greco. Greco will be able to finish this thing off. Yeah. One little hit. Good stuff, good stuff. Good stuff, good stuff. Let's keep going. Hopefully this is the way... Hopefully this is the way. Nope, it is just the way to the chest. Alright, that doesn't really help me much. Alright, but we're gonna have to somehow get to the other side. Oh, no, no, no. I guess we're gonna have to go the other way, right? Wait a minute. Do, do, do. Maybe I'm just lost. Okay, yeah, that doesn't take us anywhere. So we're gonna have to go back through here. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to take the other way around, sadly. Yeah, we're gonna have to go this way. Oh, wonder if I can just run past this thing. No, it doesn't look like. I think we'll have to fight it. That's fine though. With level up, I like it. I like it. 
Right, let's keep moving. I think this is the right way to go, so we're on our way. Ah, uh, we're gonna have to fight another paper boy. I don't think I can run past him. I think I think I have to fight him. I'm not gonna fight that paper boy, so I'm just gonna run past that one. If we have to go back there, we will, but no. I'm just gonna run past him, because I don't feel like fighting him, unless I have to. Oh my god! <laughs> he can jump back up. What a madman. That's fine, though. We got past him. Oh god, paper boy. No! Oh, we juked him! He got juked! World star. Alright. Ah, uh, there's the stairs. I think we'll be- I think this- I think the thingies are in this room. In this next room coming up right here. Alright. And that is the third one done. Oh, and there's a boss. I'm pretty sure this boss is a hard one, actually. Alright. We gotta pray for this one, boys. This one I know is a hard boss. I specifically know this one is a hard boss. So, let's keep our hopes up. Hopefully not insta- insta-killed. I mean, I don't know, maybe it's an easy boss, maybe I'm just delusional, but I remember this one being hard. I remember it being hard. Come on, Surge, bro, what are you doing? Okay, what what are you? He's green. Okay, then we don't want to use that. Let's go to Kid. Don't miss. Good. Don't miss. Ah. Bro, you gotta be kidding me, man. Ah, that hurt so much. And of course, everyone's missing every single shot. What is wrong with all of you? Okay, good hits. Let's see what Luminaire does. Let's see. Is this guy weak against physical attacks or magic attacks? Okay, he's definitely not weak to magic attacks. So, we're gonna have to hit him with a couple more magic attacks. Maybe if we can hit some of our shots. I mean, honestly, he's weak to kind of both. Let's do red pin. And hopefully he doesn't hit kid with something like super strong. Because I will probably not be able to kill him. Or revive her. Okay. Backdrop. Ugh. He's facing towards Kid. That's not good. Ooh. Jeez. Uh. Oh, God. We gotta heal her quick. Cure. Uh, I don't think that cure will be enough. Let's do one more attack. Oh, that, I thought that was a cure plus. Alright, let's... Maybe this will save her. Hopefully, she just doesn't get attacked. I don't think that'll save her. Maybe we can get a cure plus. I need her to cure herself. It seems like the big guy is just targeting her. So, oh, I got it. I just, like, dropped my controller. Oh, no! What have I done? Alright. Let's keep going. So she's out of kill range at least. Bro, y'all have to stop missing your shots, man. Alright, let's pull out a magma burst on this guy. Magma burst. Such a cool animation for such little damage. Choke slam. I think he's facing towards Surge this time, yeah. That's fine. Surge has plenty of health. That's like barely a dent to his health so it's completely fine okay good he's green right so we don't want to use that we can use ice blast though definitely use ice blast i know i think he's got one more big aoe ability maybe i'm thinking he does at least um you know what we're just gonna go back and defend defend there we go Hopefully he hits... Yes, he's... Wait, no! Surge is the only one not defending. That's dumb. What luck. 
so lucky. Alright, let's cure ourselves. I'm, I'm still waiting for that big attack, honestly, so... I'm not gonna take any chances. If it does more than 200, well then... I whatever. Alright, Electro Bolt should be strong against this guy, so that's pretty good. I think we still have that. Alright, 150, that's actually really good. Heal all. Oh, wait. Well, it's only him. How much healing could he possibly- 71? That's it? Dude, this controller, man. I mean, that's, I guess, that's 71 that we'll have to get back. But, basically, that's one spell. So, he delayed- he delayed a turn, basically. He delayed. Uh, well, maybe he delayed more than one turn, actually. Okay, please hit someone that's defending. Okay, kid is defending, so that should lessen her lid didn't lessen her load at all, actually. Nice, two good hits. Um Since Surge and Kid both need healing, I might as well just use a heal all. Hit two birds with one stone, make sure nobody does anything that they're not supposed to be doing. Nice. Is he is that his weak animation? Yes, he looks weak. Okay, good. That means we got him on the ropes. As long as he doesn't insta-kill Kid, we should be fine. Nice. Two good hits. Backdrop. Okay, he's hitting Surge again, I think. No, he's hitting Greco. That's completely fine. Greco will not get hurt by this. Okay, yeah, he will. But not that... He's doing two in a row. Alright, well... It's a good thing he didn't do that to Kid, because Kid would 100% be dead after two. Um... Oh, what can we pilfer from? I know this is risky, pilfering now, but I want—I really want to know what I can get from him. If it's something rare, obviously I want it. Tornado, okay. Um, now let's use clothesline, I guess. I don't think this is that strong, but whatever. Let's just get the ability out of the way. Oh, okay, 43. That's good enough. That's, I think, what a normal basic spell would do anyway. Now let's just go for the nuts try to try to go for something crazy here all right let's do gash and slash this isn't gonna be that strong hopefully it'll kill him though 50 all right better than a normal attack oh i think he's dead okay never mind i thought this guy was hard apparently he's really not i mean his individual attacks were kind of strong though but i'm kind of seeing the pattern of the enemies now so that first glob boss it was very specialized at mass attacking. Its individual attacks weren't that strong, but its AoE was nuts. And this boss, it was the exact opposite. He barely had any AoE, but his strengths were directly at one-on-one -on -one attacks that were fairly strong, especially near the end there. It's a good thing we took him out quickly. If we wouldn't have, he would have gotten those like double abilities over and over again. But since we finished him off pretty quickly, we didn't have to endure through that way too long, which is good. Now, the annoying part is we're going to have to get back to that save place. So, let's go ahead and run our butts all the way there. Actually, well, wait, we got the stairs. Look at that. Haha, uh -huh, screw you. We don't have to walk all the way back, but uh, this is going to be the end of today's episode. We got three of the rooms done. I think that's good enough for me. And next episode, we'll finish up the last room, and then we'll go to Mount Pyre. And there's something, probably the biggest thing in the game will happen, but no spoilers, no spoilers. Let's, is everyone healed up? Yeah, everyone's healed up. And before we go, let's go back here, make sure to equip anything. Um, Let's see, are these level 1s? Turn black put that there I guess uh, blah, blah 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 what do we need this is level two right mm. we'll put another meteorite since we don't have a way to attack level three put cure plus and nothing over there she needs another level one uh, let's use is there another yeah let's turn yellow I guess why not and then we'll use cure no let's use cure plus 
And then, what's level 3? Bush Basher, fine. We don't have many green attacks. Let's take a look at this guy. I think he has, ooh, he has two new ones all the way over here. Level 5. Do we have anything that's just level 5 directly? No, we have level 4. Let's put an Arrow Blaster. And then anything level 6. Set Trap to catch Tornado. You know what? I don't know anyone who'd use Tornado, so for now, I guess... We'll just put a heal all, just for convenience. Also, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure we got a couple new equips. Uh, that stuff's fine, because we all got iron mails on, but... Um, made of iron. What is this stuff? Silver pen improves magic defense. Gold earring increases a bunch of HP. Ooh. I think Kid needs that really badly. So, oh, no. I was trying to get Kid. Uh, proves attack power. Hmm. I think she's definitely gonna need the gold earrings. What does these do? <clears throat> Protection against anti-yellow. I think everything's fine, but she 100% needed them gold earrings. And this guy improves. Let's go ahead and put power glove. Or should we just... Is this... Okay. Maybe we can improve his defense. You know what? I think we'll put that on. Alright. Cool. Those are the characters, guys. Not takes forever time. Usually I just cut it out of the video, but I think I'll leave it in that time. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and comment as well as the channel. And I will see you guys later. God bless and goodbye. Hey, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Chrono Cross. So, today we're going to be finishing up that last little wing right there. And then heading into where Lynx should be. So let's go ahead and get started. So far, the three rooms, one of them was just a puzzle and two of them had bosses. I don't specifically remember. I know what this room looks like and kind of how the puzzle works. I don't remember if there was a boss though. So that's going to be something we're going to have to figure out together. But this is kind of like a drop down type puzzle. Let's see. Watch Keeper Faces North as we defend the fort. Let's go west. Yeah, let's see what west does. So basically we have to, one of them is the one we have to go to, the other two just gives us like loot and stuff. It'd be cool, okay. Uh, okay, my controller. Please controller, work with me here. So we got two chests. Okay, my controller once again is not working, so that's great, come on. All right, there we go, got it fixed. Volcano, I don't know who uses Volcano, but once Flame Charm, that's going to be helping us for fire. So this is a lot of good loot. Magma Burst. So we won't need to come back here. And Fire Pillar. Alright, so it's all good loot. We don't really need it. We didn't, like, need any of it. You know what, that's fine. The more the merrier, that's for sure. Let's go ahead and climb up. Um, boom. And let's see what's going on. And I guess we'll try... North. Oh, wait. Why don't we just go north? The Watchkeeper faces north as we defend the fort. Uh, let's go... Let's go west. That should take me to either the... S yeah, it'd take me right... This is where I wanted to go. This is where I wanted to go, so... That's good. Banana. I think this is right. Yeah, this is yeah this this is where I was supposed to go. Let's see, is there a boss with this one? Doesn't look like there's a boss. Okay, so maybe there's just two puzzles and two bosses. And I'm definitely okay with that. Do 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 do. All right. So now we got the little elevator to go up, and I'm pretty sure. If you guys go back to episode one and we start off in an elevator scene and I told you guys on episode that that is basically like we're starting out in the middle of the game we do a little chunk of it and then we come back to that part of the game later well this is actually that part of the game so now me kid and last time we had Razly, but this time we're gonna have Greco we're gonna do the exact same thing. 
literally the exact same thing over again. But then this time, once we get past that part, we're actually going to keep continuing the game instead of obviously going back to when Kid or when Serge was still in his bed. So before we leave, let's 100% sure make sure we save because there will be bosses up ahead. I mean, there's bosses everywhere in this game, so there's no doubt that there will be some bosses up ahead. Let's open it up. Yes! Ah, oh, this boss. I hate this boss. Uh, this is a fairly easy one, but man, I remember this one being very, very annoying because he can change his stats and stuff. You guys will see. And it's and it's, and I can't really hit it with physical attacks, which is also kind of annoying. And the thing also does hit pretty hard. Uh, it's white. We don't want to hit it with Luminaire then. But we can hit it with everything else. Luckily, we don't have too many white spells on us, actually. So, And you can see the gold earring is giving Kid about 15 more HP. Which actually isn't too much. But, you know what? It's something. Especially with her dire need of health. I think she need she needs it. Oh god, this spell is so annoying. And that hurts so much. And then it changes its mood. Now it's sad. Oh, what is it doing? Okay. I was like, I didn't tell him to do that. Let's hit it with the two. Now let's hit it with that magma burst real quick. And real quick, I'm also gonna make sure my controller's working here. Bam. What? I had it for like literally nothing. Let's use red pin on it. I don't think this will do much. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if this is magic or physical attack. Okay, that's, that's good. Weak minded. I'm pretty sure this just lowers defense. Mag lowers magic defense. Strong minded. Oh, and he's gonna. He's gonna buff his own defense, right? Right, what is he changing to? Happy. That means he's gonna go kissing again, right? That's not good. Um, let's just use a magma bomb. Let's see how much damage this will do to him. If it doesn't do much, I'm not gonna do it again. Zero. Definitely not gonna be hitting that guy again. Boom. Okay, he's finally woken up. Surge is woken up. Let's hit it with the arrow blaster. Hopefully this does a bit of damage. Man. I don't know. Maybe I'm maybe I'm doing this fight wrong. I don't know how to. Apparently, I don't know how to hit him. Is Greco's magic just not high, or is this thing immune? It looks like the thing was just. Greco's magic is just not high. The thing is getting low though. It's actually fine. Oh, and it missed. Look at you. Mo change. Alright, what are you gonna change to? To I don't even know. Is that sad? I don't even know, that's fine though. Let's try to go for the three. Ah, oh, bad idea. Go back to kid, hit it with two. And then. Why not Electro Bolt? Let's just try out Electro Bolt. Hopefully this will hit for at least 30, 40? Okay, 30, that's good. Anti-Black. So we can't use Dark Magic, which we didn't have much anyway. That's completely fine. I don't want to hit it with Meteorite, because it's also black. Let's just go with Surge then, and just go straight up to its face. And miss. I'll hit it with an Aqua Ball. We've got really nothing else to do. We just have to chip at it slowly. This thing's clearly not going to kill us anytime soon, unless it brings out some huge AoE attack that I don't know about yet, which it hasn't shown off yet. Holy... Oh, this must be it. This is going to hurt. Oh, that didn't hurt that bad. What? 
What a weak boss. I thought that thing was going to do at least 200 damage to everybody. Just heal all. That'll. This will basically just revert everything she just did. Or he. I don't know. It's a weird sun looking thing. I don't know what gender it is, but... Is that it? Was it below 5 health? Seriously, it was below 5 health. Well, that thing is clearly in a lot of pain. Dude, that thing is literally stuff of nightmares. I don't even know what that is. That is a... I don't know if that's a living thing or if that's like a machine. That is a creepy machine slash living face thing. Clock. Looks like a clock. Like a sun clock. Alright, well that was a boss fight, so we did get a star. And we found some iron. Look at that. Let's go ahead and turn this boy off. And this will be another one of those things up in that circle room that we've been seeing last episode. This thingy with all the dragon things. So... I think we have one more boss to light up the last pyre thingy. Alright, and we got an, um, an elevator. Now, this elevator, we can go either up or down. First, the way we're supposed to go is up, so we're gonna go down first. Uh, I think there's something down here we can kind of collect. I think there's an, it's some kind of device not functioning. Okay, we gotta actually bring an egg down here. That's what I remember. We gotta we gotta get some sort of egg and bring it here, which we don't have it with us yet. We might have to grab it from another world and bring it back. I think if we bring the right egg, we'll be able to get another character, which is like a little mini dragon thing. But I that, I think that's what I remember. Don't I won't take that as a fact. But here we are. If you guys remember the first scene in the game. This is literally the exact scene, right here. We got out the elevator. And, yeah, we're basically at the start of the game once again. See? So, yeah, and there is the last boss. I'm pretty sure we have to go fight that thing. Now, I don't think I have a save point, so I better not lose to that last boss. That would suck quite a bit. Oh, and there's a soldier. Um, I don't know. There's soldiers here. Okay, so I don't... Can I heal myself so I can grab that capsule? No, oh, everyone's full health. Alright, whatever. Follow me. Okay, we're just gonna juke him out. I don't really feel like fighting him. So, I'm just gonna juke him out and we'll move on. I think we're gonna be strong enough. The past couple fights have been fairly easy. Although, I don't think I can juke this guy. Yeah, this guy will have to fight. Because, yeah, his, like, body is so big, I won't be able to kind of juke him out like I did with that soldier. But it's fine, this guy isn't that strong. We beat one of them last episode, if we're even able to hit it. You know, I won't do anything with him, because I want to use Luminaire. Good hits, and I want to use Red Pin. I really wish we had Luminaire and Red Pen when we were fighting the dwarves. That would have absolutely demolished them. Yeah, this thing doesn't even hit that hard. Let's go over to Surge. Hopefully he hits that. Alright, now we can Luminaire. There we go. Easy peasy. Let me make sure my controller's doing its thing. Luminaire and Red Pin right now are our biggest, like, attacks. And it's really good that they're also AoE. So if we face a boss next that's, like, somehow its kind of, like, gimmick is reproducing, we'll be able to kill a lot of its little spawns with those types of attacks. I don't think we will. I know the dwarves had that kind of gimmick where there was so many of them. Oh, okay. Uh, another thing, if we're below that ledge, the bat can't actually get to us, which is interesting. Oh, it's a thingy. That's our last boss. Let's go ahead and clean it up. I'm really hoping we, hoping we don't die, because then we might have to redo that sun boss. And of course, I'll do that off camera, but that would be quite annoying. Okay. This thing is susceptible to normal attacks, which is good. And it's red, so we can use Luminaire. 
is also good. Hopefully we can disperse of this boss fairly quickly. Although, I don't think it was made to be a hard boss either, because since we've had two bosses with no save point, I'm sure the game wouldn't hate us that much to make it a really hard one without a save point. Alright, Magma Bomb, that's not going to do much. It'll do about 50 to all of us. Not even, what? Only like 20? Weak. Let's go ahead and use Arrow Blaster on the thing. <clears throat> Now, his attack damage, magic dam- Oh, okay, that did more than I thought it would do. I'm pleasantly surprised. Alright, now comes the real boss. I tricked you. You, th you thought the frog was a real boss? No way, Jose. It's actually this thingamajigger. This eyeball thingy. But luckily, that the eye eyeball itself, it has some really good AoE attacks. But they're actually not that strong. And he's still susceptible to everything and now he's dark so we have photon oh, I took photon right off didn't I that's annoying that's fine let's we'll use ice blaster <clears throat> although I wonder is this guy susceptible to magic yeah okay so we can hit him with pretty much anything and he'll get hurt <clears throat> let's see how much does he do oh 54 is pretty good actually but We'll just use Red Pin. We haven't used Red Pin yet, so this should do quite a bit of damage. Bam! 150. Easy. And we're I might use a heal all here. Um You know, I'm not gonna use a heal all, but I will heal surge because I don't know if this guy could bring out some big AoE like laser attack. I think he has. And I don't want that to kill Surge instantly. Okay, we missed. I'm gonna go ahead and defend, defend, Gravitone. Okay, so this is an AoE No, it's not an AoE attack. But that is effective against him. Actually, we'll just go to Surge over here. Hit him with the two. Hit him with another one. And, you know what? I won't heal all. I don't think I'm in that dire need. Although, I might get, uh, Kid to tier plus. Get him two. And I'm thinking... Let's get a Cure Plus on Surge. Just in case, because we also have to remember, Surge is the only one with Revive. So if he dies, we're doing this solo. Which isn't fun. Free Fall. This is a pretty strong attack, if I remember correctly. Yeah, that is... That is quite an attack. So, I'm just going to do a Cure Plus. No reason to use a Heal All because not, of us, not all of us are in dire need. So, I'm going to go ahead and just use a Cure Plus, which doesn't cure that much, actually. Okay, come on. And, you know what? I'm just going to go to Kid. Maybe try to get a spell ready. Ow, it did a good bit of damage. You know what? Maybe I can... Nah, actually I won't need to. Let's go ahead and place a cure on Greco. Just in case. If he has something that does over 200 damage, he's gonna be in a bad zone. So if we get him up to 200, he'll be fine. Devil Thun- Okay. This is what I was talking about. His laser attack. Yes, I remember this attack. Except I thought I did a lot more than that. Fine, let's go to Greco. And let's hope he hits the shots here because I needed to use a heal all. Yeah, heal all. That's the attack that I was actually looking for, but I thought it would be a lot stronger than that. I guess not. Oh, that wasn't as much healing as I thought. Let's use another heal all then. Actually, I don't even need to use that, but you know what, whatever. This boss should be dead. Ah, oh, yeah, I probably shouldn't use that, but this boss is probably almost close to being dead if I could just hit my stupid abilities let's use dash and slash I don't know if this will hurt him more because he's dark but it'll definitely hit him a little bit defend okay Greco has really good defense so that's not gonna even phase him gravity blow 
Okay, this will hurt a little bit. I think I'm definitely gonna have to heal her. No, I won't even- What? Oh, that was a garbage attack. That is completely fine. What? Okay, well, it looks like it's on the ropes here. So we're gonna go ahead and go straight for the throat. If anybody can hit their shots, at least. Now, you know what? Let's just go straight to Surge. Because he's a high attacker. Bro, come on. Okay. Well, this is gonna hurt, but not that badly, so that's fine. It hit Surge quite big. Um, come on, don't hit, don't miss. Good hit. And hopefully, I, I'm having hopes that this takes us out. I don't think so. I don't think it will, though. Yeah, it's got just a tiny bit more health. Not too much. This should kill him. Yeah, I, I, I knew that third hit would kill him. Alright, good fight, good fight. That was actually a really easy fight, so I'm very happy with that. Let's use consumables, make sure we heal ourselves. I do not think there is another fight, but just in case, it's always better to be safe than sorry. Alright, and that should be the last little dragon statue. Now it is time to make our way up. It's time to make our way up. And then, spoilers, we are going to see Lynx there. Oh, no! I didn't want to fight him. Ah, that sucks. The, the, honestly, the thing is, I would fight these, but since I'm recording videos, like, I'm trying to get through this, like, fairly quickly. So I could get, like, at least two boss fights in one episode, or, you know, two large plot lines in an episode. Things like this, they just... They slow me down, man. They slow me down. And it's uber annoying. And again, I would be fighting them normally because I need for levels. Oh, okay. Oh, and we missed the chest up there. Oh, we missed the chest down there. No! Actually, no, that was the capsule, right? Uh, that was the capsule, and I do not want to grab that capsule because I can't. I'm already full. Hey, guys, if you remember this scene, we are back. Actually, I'm just going to move forward. Alright. Now, sit back, relax, and watch the show. Come on, mate. Well, this is gonna end badly. That's all I'm saying. It's gonna end badly. There is General Viper, Lynx, and the Frozen Flame. Finally, we've been expecting you. Oh, thank you. Do we have, like, tea? I have nothing personal against you, but anyone who hinders our plan must be eliminated. I'm rather sorry about that. Um... We're fighting General Viper? No problemo. Let's fight him. He should be pretty easy. Care for some warming up first? Then, then now come on, I'll take you on. Dude, we're gonna beat the crap out of him. He's like a million years old. Okay, he does a good amount of damage, but he's still old. What color is he? He's yellow? Alright, well Luminaire is fine. As long as he's not white. It's all good. Thing. Should do about 150. Okay, that was a little high. Only 100. Flip flop. Hey, a new thing. Duo Jazz's Leap to Spinning Drop Kick. This is a new tech. I like it. This is 
He's literally a Mexican wrestler. He's like Rey Mysterio, but fatter. Alright, good hits. G-Force. <laughs> Alright. Bringing some science into this. 68. Not too strong. No problemo. Hit him with some good attack. Let's go back to Kid. Can she... Okay, she can use Red Pin. Good stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and defend with him. Then attack with Greco. He's clearly on his last... Oh, no, he dodged it. Okay. Well, it's a little damage. I think Kid will be able to finish him off right here. If she hits her attacks, nice. And then, you know what? I'll just go to Surge. And this should finish him off. Nice. Ha ha ha. Well, we really... We got uh, fairly lucky at the end there. We hit a lot of our shots right away. Little level up. Let's make sure to heal because... In Chrono Cross fashion, we will have another fight. You are a worthy opponent, but let us see how you do now. I should give it to you my all. Lynx. You traitor. Boy! Why would you trust Lynx? Since when was that a good idea? I'm gonna rant about it. Since when was that a good idea? Since when? You were extremely useful in helping me make my way around these islands. I appreciate your help, General. However, I no longer have any need for you. This fort shall serve as a fine grave marker for you and your dragoons. May you rest in peace. Forgive me, Riddle. Look what you did, guy. Riddle told you not to work with them. You're like, nah, fam. I'm gonna do it anyway. Look what happened. I'll let this be your final resting place as well. Come on, Lynx, you're going down. Time to fight your boy! Let's do this. But man, General Viper, like, I don't like that guy, man. He's dumb. I mean, I don't know what Lynx told him, but he's dumb. Nice, two good hits. Let's hit him with Luminaire. This should do quite a bit of damage, because I think Lynx is black. I didn't look, but I just kind of guessed. 135? Okay, that's pretty good. Let's go over to Kid. Hit him. Ooh, good hits. Glide hook. Wham. Nah, it's not even that strong. Let's use Red Pin. Put up, put up. Do about a hundred. Good stuff. Go to Greco. Bam, bam. Let's use foot flop. I don't think this does a lot of damage, but you know what? I like I like the animation, so you know what? I'll give him a good booping in the face. And the thing about Lynx, he does attack very often though. Like when he attacks, he attacks pretty good. Let's use. Um, ah, uh, you know what? Let's just go to Kid. I would use a heal all, but I don't think we need it just yet. Okay, he's getting low already. Graviton. Okay, he, he'll hit Surge, but Surge. Oh, he hits everybody. I think everyone can he handle it, but now we're definitely going to be using a heal all. That's definitely going to be a thing we're going to have to do. Right, let's go back to Surge. Nice! It, oh, that last shot was brutal. Alright. Ooh. Ooh. Those are some attacks right there. I tell ya. Let's use Ice Blast. I would heal, but I don't think we need to heal, actually. Pretty sure we could take one, one more attack from him. And he's dead right there anyway, so... Oh, although he's not dead. But... The fight is over. Now, this part will make a lot of you very angry. A lot of you will get very angry here. But this has to happen. You're more trouble than I thought. Do you really think your skills are more superior than mine? Sore loser. Serge, have you ever questioned who you really are? <clears throat> Serge? What has been the significance of your existence up until now? That ominous day ten years ago, the boundary of space and time was torn, and part of me, in fact, died. 
So hey, you remember that uh, Jaguar we've been seeing that we kept seeing attack? Yeah, that thing was attacking Surge. Also, that was Lynx. Surprise, surprise. You cannot defeat me, Surge. This is because denying me is the same as erasing your very existence. Don't be taken in by this rubbish, Surge. This guy is full of it. Hmm. We'll see about that. There are two sides of every coin. Life and death, love and hate. They are all the same. What do you say? Talk some sense, will ya? This is, this is the part where a lot of you will probably get, like, pretty angry. I guess who? He took over my body. Surge, what's wrong? Lynx, what have you done to Surge? Surge, you alright? Mm, yes, I'm fine. I'm just fine, kid. He's really not. Oh, jeez. What are you doing, Lynx? Now's your chance, kid. I'll kill him. Yeah, I know. This is the end of you, Lynx. Say your prayers. Yeah. Well, we're now Lynx. So, yeah, obviously this fight we're not supposed to win. We're not going to win this fight. Win against three of them. Uh, but we're just gonna have to pretty much live it out. Let's see. I wonder what spells we have. Yeah, it's also kind of unfair that we only have 300 health. Uh, do we have like the same? Did we did we keep the same? Oh, we kept the same moves, like the same table. Let's just defend. Obviously, once again, we're not supposed to be winning. But I kind of want to see special abilities. Let's do that, and then pretty sure we have the kitty attack, right? No, dash and slash, that's dark. Hit it one more time. Feral cats, yeah. I kind of want to show you guys this move. This move is kind of kind of cool. So it's just a bunch of, like, demon cats. It's kind of cool. Bam. But yeah, sadly, we will get taken down. There is no way we can actually win that fight. Bum, bum, bum. Ba -na 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 -na. You did it, kid. Yeah. Now finish him. What's wrong? Settle it once and for all. Here, hand me your dagger. I'll finish him off. You've made a mistake. Watch this, kid. I'll avenge Luke before you die, Lynx. Wait. Okay. Spoiler. Kind of, not really. How does Surge know who Luca is? We've never played, or we've never seen a Luca with Surge, and Luca is actually, um, kid's adoptive mother, I think? So she finally realizes that. Here's your foe, isn't he? How do you know Luca's name? What are you talking about, kid? Not once did I ever mention Luca's name to you, Serge. No, don't tell me you're... Yeah, um... Yeah. And a, a, a little stabby stab, you know what I mean? Yeah, that sucks.
And uh, the vision that we've been seeing for basically the entire game has come true. Surprise, surprise. So, he's got my body. Quiet. This is the end of the road for you, kid. Ugh, your links ain't ya. He he he. I'll send. I'll send you to see Luca. I'll finish you off later. Look at yourself, Surge. I mean, Link. He <laughs> he. Excellent. The enemy is growing. The only thing pure in the world is the enemy. Ah, uh, well then, the time has come for curtain fall. Your service are no longer needed. Even your very existence is worthless. Farewell, Surge. Then he grabbed the frozen flame. Finally, I have the key. The key to the gate of fate. So y'all have to remember. Uh, throughout all this, remember the only one that could go between worlds and do special stuff was Surge. The frozen flame has the ability to make people switch bodies. So why do you think Lynx was so interested in Surge's body? Well, because again, it's the only one that can do things. So Lynx, this was his plan all along to steal Surge's body. So then he could kind of run the world because essentially right now he is Surge. Surge is like the big thing. He's the one that made all of this possible. If he has Surge's body, he can basically do whatever he wants. Finally, I have the key. So the key is basically the frozen flame, but it's also the body. Surge himself. Uh, the time has finally come for the frozen flame to awaken. Come to the Sea of Eden, Surge, should you wish to end your dream of 10 years ago. Now, let love bleed darker and deeper than the seas of hell. Ha 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 ha. Now we get sent to a mystical land. And this is probably also the ugliest part of the game, graphically, because they did not do a very good job with this place. But you know what? We can get through it because we are good at this game. Also, all these things that I'm telling you could be wrong. Maybe I'm hallucinating. Or I'm delusional. I don't know. If you want to read the story, look it up on Wiki. Ugh. This place is gross. I know it's supposed to be like this because this is like dream, heaven, hell thingy. But man, it looks like a child drew it. And literally, that's the, uh, it's what it's supposed to be. Hello? Okay, I can't talk to that. I guess let's go save and then we will end up the episode here. Can I go and I go save? I can't. Uh, okay. Wait a minute. I know what, whatever. You know what, we'll end it off here, guys. Thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and comment, add support to the channel, and I will see you guys later. God bless, and goodbye. Hey, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Chrono Cross. Last episode, we switched bodies with Lynx, so now we're Lynx, and we're kind of, like, dead or something. We're in, like, a dream world. The graphics are really terrible, but that's how they're supposed to be, so don't judge the game too hard. 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 Don't judge it too badly. Uh, yeah, let's continue. It's locked from the outside. I was trying to get to that save point, but it wouldn't let me. So I guess, let's go see what's up here, I guess. There's a little house. Let's for sure drop this boulder though. That will do something. Let's see, is this locked? I'm guessing it's locked, yeah. All right, well, obviously that boulder is what we're supposed to be doing. So let's go back to the boulder and drop it. Drop it like it's hot. Boom. So that'll clear up the chest for us. Let's go get that chest. 
and then maybe he'll let us inside the house at some point. Let's see, what is, what's in here? Revive. Okay, actually, I needed that revive. Can I get in yet? Oh, I know what I need to do. Drop, drop a fruit. While he runs outside to get it, we gotta run inside of his house. Yeah, that's what we're supposed to do. Hey, you, what are you doing in me house? <laughs> hmm, I figured you for another wandering spirit. How many years has it been since a physical being wandered into this world? Very strange indeed. At least so, the world is controlled by chance and chaos. Anything can happen as quick as a wink, nobody knows. Something you have today may have gone tomorrow, just like the berry I'm olden. Important stuff, irreplaceable stuff. All these may come to arm with super little something, something. And what's frightening is there's been absolutely no meaning to what's happening in our daily lives. Meaning is non-existent no matter what's born, lost, or changed. It's beyond calculation. There'd be no one or nothing watching over you. Such is life. Going to bed, it's just your rest up. Alright, let's rest up. Bum, 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 bum. Oop, I think I messed up my controller. Alright, let's go see what's up. Can we grab this? Just a second there, I'll give you a place to sleep, and you're leaving without a word of thanks. I'm coming with you. Okay. <laughs> I have feeling I, I have a feeling I can get out of here if I tag along. Besides, you won't be able to make it outside that tower alone. I'll open it for you. All right, we got my boy Sprig. Got my boy Sprig. Um, yeah, let's go down real quickly. Let us see what is downstairs. Of course, let's check out as much of the map as we can. Oh, it's a save point. Actually, that's exactly what I needed. Let's go ahead and save. We're gonna save to a different slot just because this is like a pivotal part of the game. Oh, can I? Do I have to go all the way back up? Seriously. Okay, so let's keep going. Boom, boom. And let's head up to that tower because that's I'm, what I'm guessing he means. Is. Oh, wrong way. Let's go through here. Oh, by the way. Does... Do I still have the same equipment? No. Okay, so I have that on. Uh, let's put... We're gonna put Iron Helmet. Uh... do 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 Probably put... Gold... You know what? No, we'll put Power Glove. I wonder which one's... Oh, the Dragoon Gauntlet's bigger. Put two Dragoon's Helmets. Uh, Silver Staff, Iron Mail... Go ahead and put all the earrings on him, iron helmet, and then uh, let's improve his magic defense. And then what about this stuff? Oh, it's all cleared. Okay, so we're going to have to do all of this. Okay, so I've got all of their elements done. Oh, my controller... Okay, so I'll just kind of scroll through here. I'm not going to go through all of it, but if there's his, and then Sprig literally only has two spots, so just put a revive and heal all on him. Alright, let's keep moving. Oh, okay, we got to go up. Well, let's keep moving. Bum, 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 bum. And then he'll be able to let us inside of this house, which is nice. Now this part is very, very annoying. You'll see why. You are late. Come on, Monsoor Links, let's go. We don't have the time to be dawdling here. We may truly get lost in time. I can't afford to lose you just yet. Exactly, you are Monsoor Links. You are no longer Surge. That kind of sucks. You look at yourself. When they're who in their right mind is going to believe you are Surge? Everybody except for yourself says that you are Lynx. You are Monsoor Lynx. It is simple as that. Is that who you are? Uh, can't go against it. Reality will crush you. Reality will continue to go on as if nothing ever happened from yesterday to today and from today to tomorrow, leaving your, crush, leaving your crushed body behind. 
I'm Lynx. Bravo! You're Lynx. <laughs> Whoa. Regarding your memory as you may be able to rewrite it if you use the dragon tear. In reality, you died 10 years ago in the other world. How can you say for sure that this is the real you? Maybe for you it is evident, but I wonder if you ever really were Surge. Furthermore, what is Surge? A figure, a shape, a spirit, a soul, where is Surge? Who am I? Who <laughs> are what you're not me, I'm not you, I'm in reality, you are something trippy. Somebody's doing way too many drugs, clearly. Okay. So what? I don't know what any of this means. Do I just have to follow that guy? I'm so confused. Okay, so we did just have to follow him. How boring. Fine, I understand how you feel. Let's head back to reality. All right, let's do this, Harl. Oh, we get Harl on our team. Look at that. Beautiful. I actually like Harl. She's actually one of my favorite characters. Whoa, a lot of music. Whoa. Do we need this? No, okay. Do, do, do. Wait, no, we need this to be gone. Yeah. No. Yeah, yeah, just like that. Oh, these... Okay, let's fight one of these things just so I can show you guys, obviously, what, like, they are. Man, this place is trippy, though. Like, little... What are they... Wait, what are they called? Total Chaos. Oh, come on. And then, let's use Magma Bomb, why not? Bum, bum, bum. And I want to attack with Harl and Sprig. We haven't attacked with either of them yet. Let's go with Harl. Pretty sure she uses a slingshot, right? Yeah. Oh, we missed. That's fine. I do want to show you guys what Sprig does. What Sprig does is actually really, really cool. So, okay, he attacks normally, right? Okay, well, we need to get up to five. So he can use a special ability, Doppelganger. So he can transform himself into an enemy that we fought beforehand. So let's turn into Cat Burglar. So he literally turns into that creature. So he's fairly weak, but once he turns into a different creature, he becomes a bit stronger. Uh, let's go to Lynx. So we're fighting alongside Cat Burglar. Let's go over here. Let's see kind of how he attacks. Oh, he missed. Oh, he missed too. And actually, I'm pretty sure he gets the move set of the Cat Burglar. I'm curious. I want to hit at least like one. Dude, come on. What? Dude, how do you miss like 10 attacks in an actual row? What? Go back to Cat Burglar. What is this? Dude. You gotta be kidding me, right? No, I, I'm gonna hit this guy with the Cat Burglar. Or is this guy's, like, evade way too high for the Cat Burglar or something? Okay, we clearly can't hit him. 
because that's just, that's kind of annoying at this point. Dude, seriously? Fine, I guess we'll just ice, we probably should have proton beamed him, but it's just kind of annoying at this point. I don't know why it wouldn't let me hit him. Can I hit him now since he's frozen? Dude, that's, that's like all sorts of messed up. Dude, how are we supposed to kill him? Oh, wait a minute. Did he turn... What a weird... Wait. Okay, I was like, what a weird thing. to triple fist. What a weird enemy. He has to, like, turn around for us to hit him. Damn. Okay, that's not too powerful, but you know what? That's fine. There we go. And I didn't show you Harl's special moves, but we're gonna get to it eventually. But man, those enemies really are annoying. They're uber annoying. Does this hole do anything? I don't think so. Bum -bum -bum. Oh, I wanna get that chest. Oh well. Uh. No, I'm trying to get past him. There we go. Uh, where do I go? Do I drop? Yeah. Gotta drop in this hole. Spooky dookie. Oh, we made it back to reality. So it's literally that easy to make it back to reality. We're back at the Hydra Marshes. We are back to reality. This is the place that looks familiar. Uh, no, I already know. We're at the Hydra Marshes. Ah, you remember. Then let's leave. Ah, yes. Finally back to the real world. Ah, world of substance. Even the water in there is different. This is great. Alright, cool. It's time to party. Let's have a toast to our return in the real world. <laughs> that seems happy. Listen, old lady, you're not getting any younger. Try to control your emotions. Sure, bus kill. So where to now? Uh, you seem to be worried about the search character. Do you still remember? It's a place where it all started. Where angels lose their way. Yes, I do. I do. Where angels, whatever. It's a bad ring to it. So what exactly is it? Get to another world, something like that. What are you saying? There's another dimension distortion in this world. Very interesting indeed. So where is this place? Pasa Beach. Let's get going, my dudes. What is that place? What the spirit? What's going on? Um. Yeah, I was like, this isn't another teleporting place, right? Um. Okay. First, uh, did we do... We didn't allocate Harl's elements, did we? Okay, I'm gonna do that real quick. Alright, so we got the elements done. Oh. Let's go over here. So, uh, okay, so she has Mithril, which is even better than Iron. Uh, I think I have an Iron Helmet, right? Iron Helmet, Power Glove, and then Improves Hit Chance. I think that's probably our best chance do that okay and I think she's set oh no no so let's make our way to Opasa Beach then I guess right only other place to go dun, 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 dun. by the way we should probably yeah do that there we go so this is home world this way we'll know which world we're in and obviously so since now we're links Basically, all interactions with everybody will be different because we're Lynx, not Surge. Let's try to use the Astral Amulet. Well, we can't because we're in the wrong body. What's wrong, Lynx? Don't tell me the dimension gate won't open. Well, you must be in hot water. Of course it won't open. Uh, there's nothing we can do. We just an unwanted piece. Very interesting. What are you going to do now, Lynx? Uh... 
All right, guys, so I don't exactly know what to do, but I guess two places we can check is Serge's house and Termina. Huh. Demi-humans? What do you monsters want from us? Man, these people are racist against demi-humans, man. Excuse my geezer, what kind of attitude is that? I'll kick your something if you... I will kick your derrier to the moon if you talk to Monster Link like that. Wow! Just like Kid would say. Ah, freak. Doesn't Kid have that exact line but in uh, Australian? <laughs> okay, this is not our house. We gotta go to Serge's house. I forgot which one is Serge's house. Oh wait, no, no, it's the one... It's over to the left. Yeah, it's this one, right? Maybe? Well, yeah, it is this one. Who might you be? May I help you? What? What did you just say? Your Surge? <laughs> Please explain to me exactly what is going on here. Okay, now we explained it. Blah, blah, blah. I see. So that man told you to go to the Sea of Eden. I really don't know about the dimensional distortions or about the other world, but if, like you say, something big is really happening, uh, blah, blah, blah. I made it all started 14 years ago on the night of the storm. Story time. That night, your father was Zuki, and his friend Miguel set out to the sea Des despite a storm. It was an emergency. They were swallowed by the high waves and lost consciousness. When they came to, they found themselves inside the Dead Sea, a place where no living creature dares enter. I don't know what he saw or what happened, but that incident changed your father. And your father's friend Miguel, that was Lena's father, he never returned. Back then, that place wasn't called the Dead Sea. Yes, I believe it was called the Sea of Eden. That was 14 years ago. Are you the ones everyone's talking about? No, this can't be. Are you Lynx? You're still alive. Step outside, Lynx, for I, too, was once a valiant member of the Acacia Dragoons. I must put a stop to you. <laughs> uh, this old man thinks he could battle us. Silence. Now step outside. Well, I guess we're not stepping outside. I guess we're stepping right here. Um. I love how they even have a battlefield for the town. On guard. Okay, dude, this guy is not gonna... Okay, this guy is good dodge, apparently. Ow. You know, let's just go to Sprig. Let's make Sprig change forms. Okay, let's go to Harl. Right, dude, this guy's evade is really good for being an old man. Jeez. We've missed so many of our attacks, it's actually annoying. Go to Lynx. Alright, good hits. Let's use Feral Cats. Bam. Alright, let's try to get Sprig up to... There we go. Now we should be able to transform. Long shot. Nah, eh, shouldn't hurt too much. Alright, let's go ahead and doppelgang. Let's go ahead and turn into a Lagoonate. I'm pretty sure this is the strongest thing you can turn into at the moment. And we've actually never seen one of these, so it's kind of a lie, but yeah. I'm pretty sure that's, that's the strongest thing you can turn into. Got some good damage. Moonshine. Oh wait, this is to protect all members. I didn't mean to do that. But I guess let's see what it does, right? Does it just buff all of us? Oh, okay, so that's just magic defense. Photon beam. I really don't think it's fair that he has to take on three of us, though. Oh, that didn't do anything. Let's see what this Lagune can do. 
Oh, 130. That is... Dude, what is... That damage, jeez. That's busted. Infernal, I'm pretty sure that's a big AoE attack. That didn't hurt that bad. Let's see if we can hit. Okay, we can't. That's fine, let's try to hit him with links. His this guy's evade is crazy though. I stand defeated. Yeah, that lagoon thing, that thing is strong. At least against that guy. We should probably turn into him more often. Like it though. Hmm. I do not sense any malice in your attacks. Do you really mean to tell me that you're not Lynx? And is it true that the general is still active in the other world? Here, the general has been missing for the past three years. Understood. I shall accompany you. You may still have a chance to save the general and riddle in the other world. Um. I guess he's joined the party. Yeah, I guess we'll just keep him. I should probably change him out for Sprig. Yeah. Um, but we have to take Sprig's stuff off. So we'll do that in a minute. We must gather news in the term we must gather news in Termina about General Vipers. We may find clues. I radius shall give up my all in the name of General Viper. Okay. So what we're gonna do, let's head outside. Let's change his stuff. And then we will for sure We're going to put Radius in, because I like him better than Spriggs. Let's go to Equips. Give him Ivory Vest. Put leave that on. Take that off. Take that off. Oh, nope. Bam. Teleporter. Let's go ahead and get Radius in here. Put Harl. There we go. I like. I want Harl to be second. By the way, just a little point thing to point out. Do you know... Did you see the similarities between Lynx and Harl and Surge and Kid? I'm just gonna put that out there. Dun dun. Actually, we need ointments, right? Yeah. There we go. And let's go ahead. Oh, I gotta equip my dude Radius over here. Wait. Does okay. Marl has a Mithril mail. Uh, gold earrings. Let's put iron helmet and I guess a power glove. Yep. And then let's allocate his elements. Oh, he has quite a table. Alright, we've got his elements and equips all set. I'm pretty sure now, before the poor soldiers were blocking this, they are no longer blocking it. Hey, check out that guy's face. Uh, our investigation is done. Let's get out of here. I want to go back to poor. So, let's just try to uh, juke this guy. Yep, there we go. Juked. And let's go make sure there's nothing different. Is a bird? There is a bird up there. Let's go see if there's anything different up here. Just in case. Doo, 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 doo. There is a chest. Let's grab these chests. Infrared vision frame. Okay, cool. So that's like a different text border we can use, but I like my first one, honestly. Bum, 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 bum. Let's see what this is. Mithril. Okay, we're gonna need that to craft some of the mithril elements. I guess let's go see what's down here. Do do do. Okay, there's a chest. Oh. Yeah, I think we're gonna end up fighting the bird, but I wanna grab this. Oh, just mithril. Actually, we don't even need to fight the bird. Honestly, the bird used to be a strong enemy, but at this point in the game, it's really not strong anymore. It won't give me a lot of XP. There's really no reason to fight it. But guys, I think we will be ending off the episode here. If there's not another cutscene right here. Let me just outrun that. So guys, thanks for watching. 
If you did enjoy, make sure to like and comment as it supports my channel. And next time, we're going to go to Termina. So God bless and goodbye. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Chrono Cross. So, uh, past couple episodes, we got turned into Link. And now we're just trying to figure out kind of what to do and what's going on. So I'm pretty sure the next step for us right now is to go into Termina. And uh, the place is taken over by the poor army. Lynx, how dare you? You have the nerve to return to this town. Get out of here. Looks like the youngins and wanted guests, whatever. Humans are very selfish. Okay, they're always searching for something to lay their blame on. So yeah, um, apparently this is my fault. Apparently. And let's go ahead and save while we're here. Oopsies, wrong memory card. Here, let's do that again. Put it on the right... No. Put it on the second one. There we go. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's see what... I don't know, let's see what's going on. Um, left or right. I guess let's check out both of the bars and stuff. See what's going on. Can we still buy elements? Hello? Welcome. We're pretty low on stock right now, but please look around. Okay, so she doesn't have much stuff. According to her. Oh, okay, she has plenty of stuff. Uh, got one of those. One of those. We have too much money, honestly. Like, legitimately, we have too much money. Um, ooh, don't want to spend that much money. Let's buy, like, five of those. Like, two of those. Um, let's do that. And then for these, you know what? Just buy as many as we can. There we go. Why not? We have plenty of money. Let's get out of here. And let's go check out the bar. Let's see what's going on. Okay, there's just poor soldiers. Okay. Hello. You, weren't you the guy at Sir? Get yourself out of here. Our beautiful Termina has been turned into a mess because of you. We don't serve your kind here. Well, that's just racist. Alright, let's get out of here. Um, I think this way is blocked. Right? Can it be you, Sir Lynx? You are safe, sir. Where have you been all this time? We have set up a temporary military block beyond this point. Nobody can pass without permission from the Commander Norris. Not even you, Sir Lynx. Commander Norris is at the ruins of Viper Manor. Oh, okay. So that is our next place. Arg, it's such a pity the Statue of Master Viper that has been polished every day has been changed to this. Once Magnificent Manor gone, none of this would happen. So, um, apparently Viper is gone and what are, you, what are you saying? Viper is gone and manners the, the manners destroyed. So Lynx, so I said there's nothing here in this old shack, but would you like some tea or something? Get out, you big stray cat. I don't like you. Father's the one who's always saying it. Is this guy if this guy never came, we wouldn't be in this mess. No, sister Lynx, uh, well you see it's just kids talk. There's a stray cat that steals our fish around here, so uh, Yeah, sure. Come on, apologize too. Hee <laughs> hee, we're real sorry. Alright, buddy. I'll let you escape with your life this one time. I wonder what happened to that one grandma. Whose son is a skeleton now, apparently. I wonder what happened to them. What's up? Oh, my poor skelly. Prey. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so there's nothing's changed with her. So let's go check out what's going on on the right side of the game. And then once we figure out if there's not anything special there we'll head over to the destroyed viper manor real quickly though i also do want to check the blacksmith uh they have some mithril armor or they should have mithril armor let's go check it out maybe we can make oh Aye, that should do it. 
This year forge has always had a fire since olden times. Had to see it without a blaze. My apologies. Closing this shop for my own selfish desires. I've had to listen to you for the longest time and do not want to hear you say it's foolish now. Never mind that, dear. So you're really going? I, uh, it's finished to here and wait for Karsh's return. It's already been three years. These years haven't been good to us. Our best patrons, the dragoons, disappear. Uh, oh, okay, so they're saying Karsh is probably fine. What do we do? Uh, his name is Karsh. He's a pretty rough character, but he's a good boy. Um, okay, so they're just looking for a son, basically. Yeah. So they're basically just looking for their son. Can we say anything to this guy? Radius, it's been a while. How far is the village? You need not worry about the village. There are bigger things to concern us. I'm guessing you're not from around here. Do you know a thing called the rainbow? It's a superb material that can be forged into anything. I'm thinking of searching for this rainbow. You mind if I join you? Yeah, why not? Alright, it's a good... Uh... Smith spirit. Cool. So, uh, confirm. Cool. Uh, it's a good. I was about to not go talk to him. Oh, this guy is a lot stronger. But wow. Okay, that guy is a lot stronger, but has a few other weaknesses. Call me anytime you like. Okay, cool. So I was actually about to not talk to him, so it's a good thing I went and talked to him. Uh, there's nothing back here to take care of. Okay, cool, cool, cool. We might switch him out. We might switch Radius out. Let's go in here. Let us see. I remember when we first came here, there was two brothers fighting. I'm guessing they're not here anymore. Okay, so nothing. We don't really need anything from these guys. The last thing we should probably check out here is... Over here. So if you guys remember, when we came here in the other world, right in this place was a huge mansion. And the dad here was a businessman. He was very rich, and he kept going on business trips, leaving his son. Now, in this world, it's the exact opposite. They're very, very poor. Phew. Van's father... Van's father, go. Are you Van's friend? He's over in the back room. Do, 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 do. Cush. Exclamation mark, exclamation mark. At least knock before you enter. What's good, fam? Are you guys tourists? If you want to be willing to guide you around, of course, there's a small fee involved. Ah, well, let's hire him. That is. Huh? I've had long enough to pay your debts, and I'm not going to wait any longer. Either you pay now, or I have will have to move you out of this house. But what will happen to my son and me? It's none of my concern. I just want to make this place into a personal storage for my precious treasures. Hey, wait. I'll pay that debt. Well, this is amusing. How is our little Mr. Van today? How much have you saved from your allowance? None of your business. This is what I got. Uh-huh. This won't even pay off the interest. Better luck next time. Just to wait a little bit more, then I'll be able to get the money you need. What are you planning to do, little Van? Don't waste your energy on something stupid. I'm going with these guys to search for the frozen flame. So please, just wait a little. So he just, like, invited himself? Uh, you're, uh, but you're still just a kid. It's so naive of you to believe in such a fairy tale like the frozen flame. He literally just did invite himself. Uh, I mean, might as well add him to the party. There's no reason not to. Amazing, I actually believe that legendary people are crazy or something. Not a bad joke, though. Frozen Flame is supposed to be the treasure of all treasures. Even if it's just a legend, there's something very tempting about it. Alright. I will wait a little longer. Have the Frozen Flame ready by the time I come back here. Be careful not to burn yourself. Although you're probably never going to find it. Ha ha ha. Hmm. How garrant of her to just push us around just because we're poor. If only we had money. If only we had money. This would never have happened. Hey, hey, hey. None of that. Uh, besides, even though we don't have money... We have paintings. <laughs> I don't want to hear that. Uh, we're out of money because we're not selling any of the paintings we have in this room. I'm sorry, Van. These pictures are just not good enough to sell yet. I, I only want to sell the pieces that I'm satisfied with to those who understand my work. 
Fine, then I'm going to be the one to find us a place to live. Do you enjoy watching family disputes? There's absolutely positively nothing here, so there's no point hanging around. Thanks. Thank you for going along with my bogus story. Nah, fam dude, he's about to join us. I think it's pretty good picture, so why doesn't it sell? Dad isn't too active about selling his work. He says cocky things... He says cocky things like he'll only sell to those who understand his work. Oh well, I guess I'll have to come up with the money myself. Okay, let's see my piggy bank. Yep, it's here. The money's in here too. Now the hardest part is to finding a place to live. Next we have... Yeah, it's homemade paint color, El Nido Blue. Painting the sea in this color gives it the smell of salt water, supposedly. If I were dead, I would have sold this paint by myself and made a fortune off of it. And the seashell. Mom, the only remains, the only remaining remi reminder between me and mom is this shell. I cracked, I can't even hear the sound. I, but I remember all mom found the shell and held it gently to my ear and I remember that sound the sound of the sea I also had a fit because I couldn't take home the sand castle I made that day And now we have to move out of the house mom and I lived there, but don't worry mom. I'll take good care of dad for you oh, Fam dude Man always had a hard time dealing with our troubles ever since he was a child that made him do without made him do without so many things that he's grown a bit sarcastic. Yet he has a very kind heart like his mother always was. One day I wish I could let him do as he pleases just like other children. You guys are still here? You need some? Are you here to buy my dad's paintings? Actually, what you were just saying. We really are looking for the frozen flame. Ironic. You're being sarcastic, you got me pretty ticked. Oh I get it. Are you trying to cheer me up or something? Don't underestimate me because I'm a kid. I know that no such thing exists in this world. Or, you're, or are you all some kind of simpletons? Whether you believe it or not, it is up to you. Stop looking at me at that. You remind me of my mom. Your eyes tell me that you're telling the truth. Even I can see that, but I can't do it. I just can't leave my dad here and go off on some fool's errand, although it's tempting. I'll be right, man. You don't have to find any frozen flame or anything. I just want you to go into the world and broaden your horizons. Of all the people in the world, only a handful live in happiness. No, maybe even those who look happy aren't really happy at all. I want you to go find out for yourself what real happiness means, so go. Just be careful to lock up at night. It'd be bad if any of the paintings were stolen. I will, be careful out there. Oh yes, wait just a moment. Take this with you. This, a boomerang? Dad, I'm not going out there to play. What am I going to do with this toy? This isn't a toy. During your journey, there will be danger. This should help you when it comes... When the time comes, and a boomerang comes back under the stone, I want it to be a reminder to you. So it's a good luck charm, huh? Hm, I don't care for such things, but oh well, I'll take it with me just in case. Alright, we gotta go before she comes back again. Alright, Van has joined the party. Now, I don't actually like Van at all. Um, another one of those people, I'm not a fan of his design, really. I honestly don't think he's even that strong so please yeah yeah, yeah. so yeah we're, we're not gonna use him no reason to uh, but I will probably put Zappa in for now though let's go and check out the right side of the town see what's going on over there and then once we get back to the home like map uh, okay, we can go through here. Then we'll do all the stuff to switch them out. For now, though, we'll be fine. Let's see if there's anything going on here. If there's anything new. Let's see who's in this building. Who are you? What brings you here, Shenka? Uh... Okay. So... Random crap about a ghost. Don't really care. Um, so... I don't think there's anything to do here, except... Let's take a look at the sword real quick before we leave. The sword is probably important. A radius. Uh, radius might know about this. 
Garia, forgive me. Okay. So clearly Radius had something to do with a lot of these old dragoons. Like Garia, Darius, or whatever. So he must know something about that. But that's completely fine. I'm going to be switching them out anyway, most likely here. Or Zappa. Uh, partly just because I like Zappa a little bit better. I don't like Zappa either. I mean, you guys might be wondering at this point what characters I even do like. And that's actually... Did we go to the... Yeah, we went to the bar. I actually, I don't like many characters in this game. There's only a few handful that I actually do like. So we got to go to the old Broken Manor. But before we do that, I do want to replace... And then put Zappa in. And he's red, right? What is Harl? Harl is black. So is Lynx. Okay. So we're going to have two blacks and a red. But that's completely fine. Also, we did get the Smithy Spirit from Zappa. Can we seriously do this anywhere we want? That's crazy. That's really good, actually. Since he's with us. Okay. Well, let's see. Uh, silver, silver swallows. So this is better. Okay. Yep, we'll get that. And then, what about armor? We got a mithril mail. How many of these can we make? We can only make one. Alright, well, we'll make one then. Alright, guys, we got all of his elements equipped. Alright, he should be nice and set. Alright, let's head over to Viper Manor. Before we do, of course, let's save. Okay. So we still have that save file from before. Of course, we're never going to use it, but I like to keep it just in case something happens. Go to Viper Manor. This place is, like, in rubble, basically. These guards say anything? Okay, I'm too lazy to click on them. Let's keep going, see what's up. The one thing that I'm not a big fan of Zappa is his walking is real dumb radius is here i believe it has been four years since i retired from the dragoons time sure does fly i was shocked to hear of Dari dario's death three years ago and now the general and the others are missing manners and, and i took the liberty of conducting my own investigation but i have discovered nothing all i know is a man named Lynx approached the general and has involved him in some kind of incident only difference with the other world you talk about is that something has happened to the general three years ago. I just hope that this Norris fellow knows something. I know uh, I know nothing. I was not involved with the, with the plan. I did not find it amusing. Okay, so... Uh, I just hope that... Okay. So, obviously, we can't walk in there. But I do know where Norris is. He's down here. Go down. Yes, he is going to be down here, I think. At least that'd be my best guess. Okay. Let's talk to this guy. What's up? He's entered through here to get to the basement of the Viper Manor. Okay. Let's get to the basement of the Viper Manor. Blub, 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 blub. Um, okay, so this is going to be another kind of, like, tricky kind of place. Except, are all the puzzles done for me? Doesn't look like it. Let's push that one in there. Get the, ooh, the Mithril Helmet. That's good stuff right there. Uh, let's go over here. Equip him with the Mithril Helmet. There we go. So we got one barrel. I think we need to go get the other barrel. Oh, man, I wish I could just jump. That'd make it, everything so much easier. So we, now we need to go all the way around. This guy over here. Oh, the ladder leading to the prison is up ahead, sir. What do you mean, up ahead? I'm confused. Do I just go straight over here? Oh. Okay. Never mind, I just go straight up. Fine. I'll take it. Oh, it's locked. I wanted to get in there, man. Go find Norris in there. Alright, where you at, Norris? What's good? Let's 
Sir Lynx, it's been a while, sir. As you can see, the manor is in shambles. There is still no sign of the general or the others. We are still investigating the area, but it appears that the frozen flame is not here. Sir, are you really Sir Lynx? You seem different than the last time I remember. You are correct. This man is not Lynx. Excuse me, sir, but who might you be? I am Radius, a dragoon, although I've been retired for four years. So you are Radius, one of the former four divas. It is an honor to meet you, sir. So he, he was one of the divas. I believe you, sir, but it is still hard to accept that this man is not Sir Lynx. He may look like Lynx, but his spirit is of another. That is quite strange, if I may say so. If it is up to you what you want to believe, sir, what business do you, do you have with Lynx? Have you uncovered anything about the disappearance of the general? You will be doing us a great favor by telling us what you know. Very well. I'll tell you what I know. Blah, blah, blah. Cute cut scene. Oh, okay. It was actually Sir Lynx who approached us about the existence of the frozen flame in El Nido. Being from the main continent, we had doubted its very existence, so I was sent to El Nido Archipelago as a spy. I had narrowed down the location to Viper Manor, but it has appeared as though General Viper and his men were all in search of it as well. Eventually, I was called back to the I was called back to poor, but it was then I heard General Viper and his men had disappeared and that the manor had been destroyed as such. I heard only recently that there is good evidence that the general and his men headed to the Dead Sea. The Dead Sea is an ocean located to the east surrounded by coral. It used to be called the Sea of Eden, but even then, not many dared enter. We investigated the area, but to no avail. We could find no entrance. It is you, Sir Lynx, who wish to change the distorted world using the frozen flame. Oh la la, such grand dreams, Lynx. Hold your tongue. What? So, the Dead Sea. That ocean was called the Sea of Eden until three years ago. This may just be the clue we're looking for. Once we uncover Lynx's plans, it should be easy enough to counter them. Are you planning to go to the Dead Sea? There's no way to get in there. We searched all over for an entrance, but to no avail. No one knows anything about it either. Yes, I doubt you will be able to get in. I'm sure the demi-humans of Marble know something about this, but they, but they detest humans, especially those from the main continent. Perhaps they would give us a hint if we were to go. Then may I join you, sir? Want to know... To know if the frozen flame really exists and about everything that has happened here what about you hmm? but of course i will follow links yep okay cool there is a military boat docked in terminal let us use it okay cool actually um morris is one of the characters that i don't like but I'm really tempted to use him because I think he looks kind of cool. So we might do a second change of characters. All of a sudden. Just because I actually kind of like him. But cool. Now in this world we have a boat. Which is great. Uh, Bro this is my boat. What do you mean? Oh is this not my boat? Where is my boat? Oh, that's my boat. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, so my boat is the small blue one, not the big orange one. Oopsies. So we have to go to the island of Marble. So that island is right over here. Um, yeah, it's this island. Uh, Hmm. I'm wondering. Should we go maybe? Hmm. Maybe we'll check out the ship next episode. For now though, real quickly, I'm gonna switch out Zappa for Morris. Alright, Morris is all ready and set. So let's go to Marble. Marbule. Let's see what's popping. Uh I think the entrance is here. Yep. So let's see what's popping with these people. So these are the lagoons that you saw earlier. Uh, that, uh, whatever his name is, Skippy, Shippy, <laughs> whatever his name was, could turn into. Uh, there's no one in here, so let's keep going. Yeah. Alright, what's, what's up? Yo, stop running away from me. Uh, blah, blah, blah. 
Okay. Blah, blah, blah. I don't really care about that guy. Can we walk in here? Nope, doesn't look like it. Okay. So there must be something up in these rooms up here. Or room. Yeah, I don't think there's rooms. There's a singular room. Let's see what's popping. Is there no one even in here? Um. Okay. So they work as laborers on the SS thing. They're treated like dirt. You know, that's why I have, um... Okay, so, actually, that's the place that I was planning to go after this. I was hoping we could maybe talk to someone here and then do a side quest uh, at the SS whatever. It's... If you guys remember the pirate ship from a couple we uh, a couple episodes ago, well, that was a pirate ship. In, but it was in the other world. In this world, it is something else. It is a cruise ship. So, let's go ahead and... We're gonna start the mission, but we're not gonna finish it, because we're, like, at almost 30 minutes here. But, instead of a pirate ship, now this is a cruise ship. Which is kind of cool. Kind of. Do -do 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 -do. Alright, so let's go walk up here. Okay, so yeah, most of these people, they're obviously rich people. Um, let's talk to this guy. What up? Have you guys been... Yeah, I don't care. Let's go up here. Is there anyone up here? What are you doing? You're not allowed up here. Okay, so we can't go up there because blah, blah, blah. What do you have to say? Nothing. Cool. All right, let's go below deck. Uh, what does this lady have to say? Okay, so the lady just can't wait to see Nikki, which is like a singer in this game that's like very well known. I guess let's go through every room, see what's going on. So, this is dinner. I'm pretty sure this is one of Nikki's backup singers. Uh, you're a strange thief someone. I thought everyone was here to see Nikki. You don't look like the typical Nikki fans. Are you fans? No. You don't have to say that just to please me. Oh, honestly, I don't, I don't really like Nikki. I'm Mickey, the lead dancer for the Magical Dreamers. Nobody seems to understand the heart and soul of our performance. I want everyone to get the goosebumps from the message we try to convey. Not all about the looks. Hope you understand that. Well, I hope we didn't make her mad by telling her we didn't like her opposition. Alright, let's go see another room. Kitchen, do not enter. Alright, we can't enter in there. And I'm pretty sure down here is a gambling. Yes. You wanna play for 100G? Sure, let's play one time real quick. Okay, you start off with a thousand points, current points. Okay, so right now we have... Okay, we, he actually didn't explain how the game worked. Okay, so we just click. Oh, that's bad. Death. Oh, that's too bad. Uh, didn't he... He didn't explain how to play the game, did he? Alright, all right, play what? Here we go. So, let me explain the rules. Don't worry, it's real simple. I'm going to spin the pointer, so you just have to stop it whenever by pressing the X button. If the pointer stops at north, the jackpot, you double your points. And then, if you stop on the E, you get you win 50 points. If you stop on the W, you lose 50 points. If you stop on the S, uh, it's death. Right, so now we go on this, and it's death. So, let's play, like, one more time. Yeah. Uh, sudden death rule in the Vegas casino. Alright, let's play, like, one more time. Yeah. Okay, start off with 100 points. Let's continue. I'm just gonna hit that button right away. Okay, oh, we lost 50. Okay, let's continue. Let's try again. Hit that button right away. Okay, we doubled it. We're back to 100. Uh, let's try it again. 
come on. Okay, we got to 150. So I'm pretty sure we have to hit a th certain threshold to actually stop. Okay. I'm going to keep doing this until I either get a prize or I lose again. Okay, that's double. Good, good. Okay. Okay, so I don't know what point value we have to get to to be able to stop. No! That sucks. Ah, uh, okay. Well, okay. Whatever. We can't win. By the way, the next quest that's coming up is going to heavily have to do with that. But you guys will see that in the story. Pretty sure Fargus is over here, right? Hey, you're a new face. Relax to stay a while. The ship belongs to me, myself, and I. I want everyone to enjoy themselves courtesy of me. Stay as long as you like. Hey, okay. So he doesn't have any other voice lines. Let's try to get those voice lines. Okay. So we can't really do anything with him just yet. Now, let's go downstairs. I also do need a save point. That's honestly what I'm looking for right now. Okay, so we got... I'm pretty sure right here is the inn, right? Okay, we got a save point. This guy, it's an inn. Yeah. So, guys, right now we're going to be saving. So, guys, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and comment. as support on the channel. And I'll see you guys later. God bless and goodbye. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Chrono Cross. Today we are on uh, the SS, uh, whatever the name of the ship is, it's kind of harder to pronounce. Uh, but uh, let's get started, let's see what's going on. So we're in the inn, I don't really need to be doing that. So let's go kind of see what's up. I think we're supposed to be heading into these rooms over here. Pretty sure there's a magic show in one of them. Yeah, this is the magic show. And, <laughs> and there's salt and pepper. I am Linky Link and I am stout. Shake it and enjoy our show. So, um, this isn't the magic show. These two are just a bunch of idiots. But, I think once we come back at a certain point, there will be a magic show. So we'll just have to trigger some other event. Until then, let's see what's in this room. What is this? Uh, only no autographs. Okay. Let's see what is in this room. Okay, so these are a bunch of workers. I want to go home. Do you know what's happening in Marble? I'm just going to make her feel good. It's not. If you watched last episode, the place is basically a ruin. Good. I wish... Uh, do you know how the ship got its name? No, tell me. I kind of know, but... There once was a beautiful love that flourished in Marble, a love between a human and a mermaid. The mermaid's name was Elbaz, that's the name of the ship. Irene's sister, and the human was... I'm sure you'll find it hard to believe, but it was Fargo. Yep, he used to be such a nice man. What made him change? Appreciate there's just more workers, right? Um, so at least they get fed. Yeah, <laughs> at least they get fed. What are you saying? Through the stores, the Grand Slam, where only the Chosen One can participate. I can't let you through without the Captain's permission. Alright, everybody. So, I think I missed a step. I'm gonna real quickly go back to Mar Marble. Okay, guys. So, apparently, I'm supposed to talk to that guy. But then, we're supposed to sleep in here. Okay, so, he's saying that... He's talking about a rumor right there. I think that's what we were supposed to... Right here. So... I heard a rumor that you can hear a woman crying at night. So I think that's what we were supposed to trigger. And then I think we should be able to go in here. And yes. Yeah, that's what we were supposed to do. We were supposed to uh, check it out. So there's something outside. So we were supposed to talk to him. I missed that last episode. And then there should be a mermaid by the bridge. And she jumped in. Oh, uh, where are you going? What are you doing up at this hour? A mermaid, a homecoming maybe. Oh, you say she was crying. A mermaid returns in the middle of the night crying. Actually, it could possibly be the mermaid who lost her singing voice. Mermaids are known to have a beautiful voice and sing about love and happiness. But mermaids are forbidden to sing songs about... Only grudge against humans. If a mermaid breaks the taboo, she will lose her singing voice. I don't blame her, though, for all that has been happening in this day and age. 
Uh, you're heading to the Zelda's tomorrow, right? You should get some sleep. Oh, and don't forget to give your regards to Captain Fargo when you get there. He can be devious, so keep an eye on him. So yeah, we forgot to trigger this event last episode, but I mean, whatever. We're doing it now. And then we slowly walk back. Oh, real quick, I should check. Am I? Su oh, Fargo. That see, that was that one lady. Let me make sure there wasn't. I th does she end up talking to us? Oh, excuse me. Okay, so she did. Okay, she does come back. Will you be boarding the Zelbez? Take me with you. Let us go. Okay, so I guess she just invited herself. Cool. Na, 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 na. Is she like in our party now or something? I'm pretty sure we're supposed to talk to Fargo now. Now this is the point where we're supposed to talk to Fargo. Yep. There we go. It's been quite some time, Irene. You've grown up. Fargo, you have not changed at all. You are still here drowning in memories of the past. What do you know? I lost everything when I lost Zelda's. That is untrue. My sister left hope. A treasure that may one bring humans and demi-humans together. You mean Nikki and his sister, Marcy. Marcy is one of the four divas. The child died with Zelda's when... You do not know anything, do you? Or do you or you refuse to know? You only remember the past, which is unfavorable. Luca tried to save my sister, but she was only able to save the baby, Marcy. Uh but responsible and supporter Marcy when this throughout her life. Look at you now. Where is the old you who had the passion and desire to build a new world with my sister? I told you the old me is dead. Now what do you want? I need to I don't need to be lectured by you. Understood. Let me get to the point. If you have taken away the song of the demi humans, in other words, would like to we would like you to free the sage. I see, but why? You know that song too, don't you? Do not, f do not feign ignorance, Fargo. You should know better. Only when the song is sung by the one with special power can the effects be brought into full play. Uh, my sister Zelda is dead, and you have taken away the sage. Marble no longer has its true power without that song. Marble is now a nesting ground for evil spirits. Interesting, but so what? I don't want outsiders in Marble. That suits me just fine. How much longer are you going to be stubborn? The marble you once knew is no longer there. You will only find a nightmare. Open your eyes to reality. I'm not releasing the sage no matter what you say. Fine, I will not beseech you, but I will not give up on the restoration of marble. I will continue to strive to make my sister's dream come true. Now, if I were just like standing in the middle of the room while they're doing this, like just with no mind. Yes, this is where it's supposed to be. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Snuff's Fantastic Magic Show. Is there anyone in the audience who would like to volunteer for this next trick? How about you, young lady? Ooh, me? Well, it does seem like fun, but you're not going to slice me in two or stick knives at me, are you? Nothing to worry about, young lady. You're in good hands with Snuff. Now please step up to the stage. Now, what is your name? Jill. Well, let's start off with something simple. Jill, you're going to walk on air. You're feeling lighter? Jill, very, very light. One. Two, free, <laughs> three was free. And now for the main event, Jill, you will not become a chair. You will be able to withstand any weight. One, two, three. And she's a chair. See? No strings. That's kind of... It's borderline abuse. She's even able to support a fat so like him. Yeah, so just sit on her, why don't you? Okay, then let's we'll talk. It's about time we bring Jill back. Two. Three. <laughs> so, how was it, Jill? Um, I felt like I had no control over my body, but it didn't hurt one bit. It was very strange. Thank you very much for your assistance. You're a phony, and you and her are probably... Add all this planned out. You don't believe in magic. Looks like I have to. Look like I have something to prove to you. Step up to the stage. Oh boy. Let's see what this guy's gonna do. Yeah, go ahead. Do what you want. I know there's a trick. You're a real live wire. What's your name? It's Jack. It's Jack and Jill. Ha ha ha. Well then, Jack. Seeing how restless and irritated you are, here's one of my favorite tricks. I'll turn you into a cat. I call it cat on a hot something. Two. Three. And he's a cat. So what do you think? Don't be afraid. I'll change you back to normal. One. Two. 
three. Bam. Normal person. Do you believe me now, Jack? Thank you very much for your assistance. I hope everyone enjoyed the show. That's about it for today. Until next time. Let's talk to him. Hmm, that was freaky. Yeah, so let's go to the stage. It's in the one next to it, all the way over here. Yeah. He's gonna be in here. Excuse me, but I need to get to work. Please let me through. Ask about the marble sage. We're looking for the marble sage. Do you know anything? Hmm, I don't believe he's here. Try elsewhere now, please. I have to get to work. Well, secretly, that is the marble sage. That is him. I have to mop the floors. Let me through. Alright, go. Don't slack off. Real question is, why is there still pirates if it's a cruise ship? The old man used to be the leader of Marble, but now he's down on the dumps. Mopping the floors of the Zelbes. Through the door is the Grand Slam. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. So, I need to get the captain's permission to go in there because the sage is in there. So, I'm pretty sure now I have to go to Fargo and ask him for the key. And we get that key if we beat him in the gambling thing, right? Let's see. We'd like to get through the to the Grand Slam. Oh, the Grand Slam, you're out for blood. Tell me, where did you folks come from? Marble. What, Marble? What are you doing there, anyway? We're looking for the sage for Marble. Well, 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 I'm sorry, but there's no one that's sort of on the Zelbez. Plus, I don't want strangers ruining the fun of my ship. Sorry, I can't grant you act. Okay. Is my controller... Oh, okay, I was talking my controller's dead. But wouldn't that be fun of? The foundation of the Zelbez is entertainment. What do you say to try your luck? Try our luck? That's right. There's a casino down below. If you win, I'll give you access to the Grand Slam. If you lose, how about you give me your boat docked by the entrance? Um, well, I guess we have no other choice. So, yep, we're gonna have to meet him down at the casino. And, uh, yeah. Secretly, we're going to lose. But, you know, casinos are rigged, right? Oh, Sneff landed on the ass. No, not again. Give it up, old man Sneff. You don't have what it takes. Just keep doing your shows, that's all. Hmm. One of these days, I'm going to slap your dirty face with a wad of cash and get the hell off the ship. Oh, well, well, look who's here. The old man has built up quite a debt from this casino, so now I own him. I suggest you don't let the same, th same thing happen to you. Excuse me, everyone. May I have your attention, please? I need to have a private game with these folks. Would you mind leaving us alone for a while? I'll clear my... He'll clear any debts. Are you serious? Yes. Did I, did I stutter? All right. Captain is G O O D. Better watch it. I don't see how you can be good at a spinning game. It takes no skill. You just kind of press the button randomly, but K. Okay. okay, then let's begin. Uh, yes, sudden death. It was so simple. Press the X after the dealer. Pointer will stop on north, east, south, or west. Should the pointer stop on south, where it lands now, you lose. Simple game, isn't it? Just don't make the pointer stop on south. It's a game of luck rather than skill. Then I'll go first. So it's basically like uh, Russian roulette. Whoever gets S first. Hee <laughs> hee, you're up. So it's not going to hit south right away. Alright, it's not going to hit south right away, but... Eventually, we're going to hit south. He's never going to hit south. That's not how the game works. Yep, there is south. Aha, you've got ways to go before you can beat me. No, it's rigged, my dude. Well then, it looks like you owe me your boat. Don't hold a grudge. I won that game for a square. I guess that means you'll have to swim back. Okay, uh, where do we go now? Do we... Okay, maybe we're supposed to go to the inn. Yeah, looks like it. Oh, sorry about that. Didn't realize I had a customer. Please do excuse me. Hehe. <laughs> what can I do for you? Hey, don't go up there. So let's see, right above this inn is the casino where we played Fargo. 
Something is fishy. If only we could make move around freely like that cat. Well, to move around freely like that cat, we would need to be a cat. And uh, surprisingly enough, that one dude turned somebody into a cat. And he's still not here. Where is this guy, man? Can I go in here yet? No. Oh, maybe we can make him turn us into a cat. Let's see if he's going to come out again. Is it Snuff? Yeah, Snuff is out. Maybe we'll make him turn us into cats. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, blah, blah, blah. Welcome to the Snuff show. How about we start off with a cat on a hot tin roof? Uh, yes. So, you folks must be new around here. Would you like to volunteer? Yeah, let's do it. Cool. Are you ready? Yes, let us be turned into cats. Bam. Now we're all kitty cats. Oh, but, uh, hey, peace out. Lol, XD. Alright, let's go to the inn. And see what's up there, you know what I mean? See what's good. Bum, 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 ba, na, 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 na. See ya. Let's see what's going on up here. Hey, guess what? It's a magnet machine. And look at that. He's controlling the game. No, why me? This, this happens to me every time I start winning big. Haha, <laughs> too bad, old man. You have to learn. I wanted to buy some cat food for those folks. Cat food? For whom? None of your beeswax. Ouch, my back. Dude, don't scare me like that. So yeah, it is rigged. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna grab the handle. Uh, yeah, I think that's all we need for now. I just, I think we just needed the handle so he couldn't use the compass and yeah, get turned out of cat mode. Challenge him. Okay, so now, why is that threesome looking for a sage? I don't like the fact that they arrived here in a poor boat either. Who are they? Hello there, kitty. Sure, she sure loved cats. Zelbez. Walk, walk, walk. Bam. Open a big dresser. You would look into the mirror and say, How I pity you, mirror, for the man does not see you as the mirror that you are. Did I see you as who you were back then? Is that my true blah blah blah? What would you think of me if you saw me today aboard the ship cheating people out of money? Oh. Okay. So he admitted it. I wish I had a camera. Too bad I don't. He's back. No! Wait a minute. Oh, there's a there's a hole. What? Okay, there we go. Oh, controller. Oh, you had me worried sick. I had to lie down a bit because I strained my back running. Finally, I'm able to stand up. I'm not 100% better be yet, but I think I can change it back. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to blah blah blah. So, yeah, <laughs> he's got to do his like show. One, two, three, and boom. We're normal again. You, uh, better stop using that magic. Listen, I'm very sorry we had to put. If there's anything I can do to make it up, I would like to help. But due to unforeseen circumstances, I am forced to stay on the ship. Please do come by again if you're ever around. The least I can do is offer you a cup of tea. Yes. Um. Yeah. So, he is a person that can join our team. Can I? Hello. We'll challenge Fargo another time. If I'm correct. I think we have to go challenge him again. Oh, and there's Nikki. I can't allow you to go to the Grand Slam. But why? I really need to talk to the sage about teaching me the song or else that beautiful island marble will be gone forever. I can't just stand there and do nothing. You don't understand the true beauty is found with a dying entity. Therefore, I will watch over marble when it comes time. Furthermore, you and I have a contract for the time being. You're in my possession. What am I supposed to do? Should anything happen to you, that would be a great financial loss for me. So you're saying I'm... Nothing but a mere object. That is what you think, so be it. Ugh. 
the dressing table. It looks exactly like my mother's. Yeah, there's even that scratch from when I was a child. Wait a minute. Could it be that you are my father? He just figured this out? He's been working for him and he just figured out? The gentle and caring father used to know. You're my father, aren't you? But why are you participating in such dubious acts? I am no longer the father you once knew. I lost everything when your mother's elbows passed away, including myself. Laugh at me all you want. Pity me if you wish. But remember this, Nikki. Man is not as strong as you think. Father. It's kind of funny. Honestly, circumstances are just terrible. You tell me he's never seen that dresser ever in his life? Come on now. Do, 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 do. Yep, let's do it. So, let's go ahead and challenge him because now he can't cheat. Do, 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 do. He can't cheat. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. So hopefully this time we'll win, and we'll get access to the Grand Slam. Okay. Is he just going to hit south right away? And he hits south right away. What? Impossible. Interesting little item you got there. So I guess you found me out. I lose. <laughs> as promised, I'll give you the access to the Grand Slam, of course. You'll get your boat back as well. Yay. But how did you get a hold of that handle? You know, I became a cat. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's head to the Grand Slam. Is it bottom or top? It is bottom. Okay. So let's go over to the Grand Slam. And the Sage should be there. So we'll be able to talk to him and see what's good. Banana, banana. Okay, um, yeah, let's go up in there. And I'm pretty sure there's like a little game down here. Okay, let's see, where is the sage? Um, he's not out here, is he? I thought he was out here. Yep, there he is. No, come back. I think he's gonna keep traveling through these doors. Come back. I'm gonna have to like catch him. No, come back. He's gonna like turn around and be, he's gonna be like, why are you following me? I think, should we, yes, there we go, we blocked him. <laughs> yes, what is it? Why are you following me? As you can see, I'm quite busy. I do not have time. Where is the Dead Sea? The Dead Sea, why do you wish to enter the Dead Sea? Do you realize humans have stolen our land along with our legend and treasure? Humans will do nothing but for profit. No matter what the cost, the demi-humans aboard this ship are living proof. We have lost all sense of pride with no dreams for tomorrow. We just cling to the mercy of humans every day. Why must we demi-humans lend? What will you do if I refuse? Will you go as far as to use brute force? Let's talk it over. So you wish to avoid conflict. You also need to encourage to defeat others to get through life. Do not forget. Okay, fine. Okay, so maybe we do have to fight him. I guess. Of course. I see them prepare yourselves. All right, looks like we're gonna be fighting the sage <laughs> with his broom. He shouldn't be too hard to beat, honestly. I mean, he's like a wise old man, but he's not exactly a, like, not like a strong person. Well, how much does he hit for? Oh, he hits pretty hard. Maybe I should have saved. What is he? He's white? Okay, then Glide Hook should do a bit of damage. Boom. Ooh. And Harl is black too, actually, so she should do a good bit of damage. Yeah. And then Moonshine. Oh, this will... Oh, wait. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, well. I guess it's not a terrible thing to have turn black so he turned okay well Lynx is already black so that doesn't really do much now does it boom right in the face only 91 Wait, we've actually never attacked with Morris before but I definitely think he has some of the cooler animations for attacking Sun Shower so he makes a rain of bullets that's pretty interesting and then bop, bop, bop. 
Those bullets are pretty big. <laughs> it would have been a cooler animation if... Um... Okay, I'm pretty sure he's already yellow. So he turned them yellow, but he was already yellow. Okay, let's see. Can we... Man, this guy is good evade, though. Nope, not heal all. Actually, you know what? Healing all would probably be smart at this point. I don't want him to do some crazy stuff and accidentally take us all out. So, I, you know, that's probably a good idea. Try to get a few shots in. Maybe it's Morris. It's fine. Try to get that three in. Good. Hit. And then, what's Moonbeams? Let's try this one. This one should do a bit of damage. Bam. About 150. Okay. That's about how much I expected. Let's see if we can hit that three. Oh, we did hit that three. Turn black. So he's going to turn Harl black who is already black and use Photon Beam against her. That's fine. That's not going to kill her or anything. Probably about 100 damage. Yep. Let's see. What's his other special ability? Let's see. Spiral Ray. It's kind of cool. It's kind of like a headshot. Okay. He is low. A few more hits, and he should be gone. And we still haven't used Feral Cats, so... This should do a great amount of damage. A lot of kitty cats flying at him. Back and forth, back and forth. 200. Oh, and there he goes. Alright, that wasn't too hard of a fight. But we did get lucky, and we have two black characters, and he was white, so... It kind of helped a little bit. We got a Mithril Helmet. It's actually pretty useful. I'm pretty sure one of our players can equip it. Hmm, I sense that you are quite serious about entering the Dead Sea. Could it be that you are carrying the burden of fate for the human race? Uh, let me give you this. I'm sure you'll probably be able to put it to good use. Just remember, opening a new gate also brings forth a new fortune. Don't forget. Fiddler Crab. There's an area near the Dead Sea where the tides are different. Use that item there. Nature will take over from there. Cool. Finally. I knew I'd find you here. You know you know the legendary Song of Marble, right? I want you to teach me the song, please. Why do humans have to be so selfish? Our song only has a place in the hearts of demi-humans. Why should I teach you the song? Irene's asked me. I see that she has not given up. But it's not only because she asked me to. I personally have a great interest in that song. A beautiful song originated from the beautiful island. I'm not 100% sure I'll be able to pull it off, but if it means I can save someone through my song. There was once a man just like you. Ooh, Fargo. My father. Ah, so you're a son. I guess history does repeat itself. I had high hopes for that man. I hopes that he would be the one that he would be the one day to tear down the wall between demi humans and humans, but look at now the walls seem even higher. Please don't speak badly about my father. No one understands the pain and suffering he's going through. Even though he has built up this lively place, he screams in sorrow alone within his dark deep self, but I can hear him. His screams of despair, which no one else can hear, or he wants to hear. So you can hear him too. I beg of you, please. I bet if my father hears that song. I'm sorry, but I have to, other ears of the ship to mop. But while I hum, then you'll... There you go. I saw the way you fought back there. I've been looking for tough guys like you. It would be honor if we could talk inside the ship. Alright, let us go. Real quickly, check out the Grand Slam. That's, that's something we have to check out. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, we talked to this guy. The ultimate event of that is Grand Slam. Monster all over the world. The battle out. Sure, let's participate. Alright, let's fight this girl. Our slogan, fight with might and believe the hype. It's time to get it on. Alright, we have a new challenge. Let's see what the consistent can do. Woohoo, don't take me too lightly. Okay, so... Yeah, we have these to choose from. So, the first one should be the weaker enemies, so let's obviously use the weaker monsters that we have. Oh god, we're gonna die. Oh no, that's not good. Let's take out the Torminator first, I guess. Oh, I missed. Oh, that's not good. He's gonna trample me, my dude. That's gonna insta-kill. Yeah, it literally just insta-killed. I don't... 
I think we need some stronger monsters, honestly. All right, guys, apparently we have to go to the top of the deck. So let's see if that's where we have to go. There's another kitty. Hello. Hi, kitty. And apparently we did miss an item. Uh, while we were cats, we were supposed to talk to a cat and get an item called the Monster Mouth. But, oh well, a little too late. So apparently we're supposed to go up here? Nikki has told me all about you guys. Hop on. So yeah, now we're able to get on here. Which is good. Zoom. I don't exactly know where this is going to take us. I think it takes us to his ship. Yeah. Cool. Now, what do we do? Oh, there he is. Rocket, I knew you'd come. Well, now that we're all here, here's my idea. How would you all like to save an island with a song? Aha, I think before you speak, Nikki, you've got to be out of your mind. No, I'm serious. According to Irene's, the island of Marble is infested with monsters. The only weakness is a demi-human song that the sage knows. While we perform our gig near the island, these people will exterminate all the monsters. That's the plan. Of course, you'll help. Of course. Why not? Rocket, I knew you'd help. I shall get all the damn humans on the ship to play. It will be difficult for humans to place the proper notes for a song, but don't we have to bring the ship over to Marble? Our ship's chained to the Zelbez, you know. Plus, we have a contract with the Fargo guy. We can't just leave. Yes and no. I don't intend to go with our ship alone. We wouldn't want to disappoint our fans aboard the Zelbez. The only hurdle left to clear is now how's we're, how is going to how are we going to convince Fargo? I'll leave that up to you, Irene's. We have to concentrate on setting up the gig. Hey, you know, this is starting to sound interesting and almost like a test to see how far we can take our show. So you're with me then, Mickey. Great. Let's get ready for rehearsal, everyone. Thank you for your support. Hehe. <laughs> yep. Do -do -do -do. All right. Let's see what we can do. Excuse me. We seem to have involved you in a quite a task. If there's anything all I can do, I will be happy to join you. Yes, let us let the mermaid lady join our party. Bum 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 bum. And Irene's Irene whatever is actually one of the characters that I do like. She has a lot of magic power and her innate is blue. We're not gonna switch her in yet, but I am very tempted to have her in the group very much so real quickly before we continue let's check up here see what's going going on okay there seems to be nothing here can we grab anything any items no it doesn't look like it bum, 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 bum. okay let's head back to the ship and I don't know if we're gonna be able to do the song now so real quickly guys before we head to the marble we can add Sneff to our party, so you'll see him here. He ends up winning big. What's up with the old man Sneff today? Ever since the captain lost, Sneff's been on a winning streak. That's why I can't stop gambling. Lady Luck is with me today. Now I can pay off my debt to the dirty captain. Oh, it's you. Luck has finally come my way. I'm going to pay off my debt and get off the ship. Cool. So now he'll be able to get off the ship. And I'm pretty sure if we go to his show or his room, I forgot which one. Roster. Let's go. Is he in here? Yes. Hey, Pops, I heard you paid off your debt to Fargo. You're not pulling my leg, are you? Why would I lie about something like this? There's no reason for me to stay here now. I'm getting off out of here. It's kind of sad. It was three years ago when you shook us in after you found us wandering around with amnesia. We are, gr we are greatly grateful to you. We still have our ways to go with our stand-up comedy, but one day we will truly make you laugh if i run into your comrades i'll be sure to tell them that you're doing well good luck to you guys and go on a diet already yeah no sniff come on you guys enough enough moping around yeah feels bad feels bad um not until you're you're able to handle four swords and not until someone laughs at your jokes i can't just leave behind my family behind pops but I just want you to know, I may be traveling with these people whenever they call upon me. Well then, who's up next? Um, and you two should be practicing instead of crying. Alright, uh... 
Well, what are you going to do? Yeah, let's have him join the party. So, once again, we're not going to use him because I don't like his character design and he's not that strong. But, might as well add him to the list. Alright guys, so we're not able to continue with that storyline yet because we do have to wait until later in the story uh, when Fargo joins our team and then we have to like confront Fargo with Fargo, you know what I mean? Uh, so today, this is going to be it. Next episode, we will enter the Dead Sea or see what's going on with it. So guys, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and comment as opposed to my channel. And I will see you guys later. God bless and goodbye. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Chrono Cross. Today, we're going to be finally entering the Dead Sea and seeing what's up. So, let's just go. Oh, we got to use the Fiddler Crab, right? Yeah. That is the item that the Sage gave us last episode on the SS Zelbez or whatever it's called. Boom, the mountains are falling or something. And a path has been cleared to the Dead Sea. Look at that. Why'd you look at that? Alright, let's go to Death's Door. So Sage knew what he was doing, apparently. Radius is here. Oh, okay. <laughs> so can I move or what's going on here? Alright, real quick, let's save. I do not think there's a boss up ahead. But it's better to be safe than sorry. Let's go up in here. So there is a red sword stuck in the ground. What is the evil sword Masamune doing here? I don't know. What is that sword doing here? Ugh, it's no use. We will not be able to proceed without going mad. Surge, we have no choice but to withdraw for now. Dang it, can't we just, like, <laughs> run past it? Like, like two seconds? Just, like, sprint? The path appears to be blocked off by that sword. He must already be in there. The negative sentiment associated with that sword has intensified. It will be impossible to proceed without going mad. Is that the so-called evil sword, Mass Immune Serratius? Do you know anything about the sword? What shall we do? We cannot make our way into the Dead Sea without removing the sword. Only the dragon sword, Iron Lane. I don't know how to say it. can break the seal of the mass, mass immune. The sword forged by the ancient dragonians. Truly. Yes, the legendary holy sword forged by the dragon knights. I have placed that sword to rest beside its rightful owner, Garia. May he rest in peace without. Although it pains me to disturb his eternal sleep, we have no other choice. Where's the cavern? We know it today as the Isle of the Damned. It used to be an ordinary cavern until it mutated into a nest ground for demons. I believe that this may be the result of Gary Garia's sentiments, which lingered. Negative sentiment, which the Holy Sword could not even restrain in order to make our way in there. We need a certain item that Garia used while he was still alive. I have sorted away in a hut where Garia and I used to train. We must go there and get the item. Alright. Let's do this. Get in the boat. Alright, so where we gotta go is to the Hermit's Hut thingamajigger. Which is... Right over here. And the Isle of the Damned is the one right to the right. But first, we must go to Hermit's Hideaway. And see what's good. It took you long enough. I've been waiting for... Bro, I drove you here. What? Dario's father, Garia, and I used to frequent the island for our training. So, there's like a solid eight islands on this entire Almedo, and one of them is solely for training. Sigh, I lose again. Hm, you're always a half step too slow. And you have a habit of turning your wrist down when you swing. I can read your every move. Ah, you're about the only one who knows that since we practice together so often. And I thought I was a genius. Yeah, right. Uh, as a legendary sword passed on to the most skilled swordsman of the eight. The dragoons, it belonged to Garia before Daria, Dar Dario, Dario took over the title. He was a magnificent dragoon. Could this really be it the sort of legend the masa mean my word leave it alone there's something wrong about this what could be a, this is a legendary sword no don't touch it see garia there's nothing to fear 
Hmm, perhaps not. Let's go radius. No use hanging around this eerie place. Ah. Well, uh, this part up here is uh, kind of sad. So, not, not safe for sadness. The Masa Mutant Sword is cursed with hate and sorrow. Anyone who lays his hands on it will overcome with negative sentiment and will be driven mad. I... Enough talk from an old man. Just wait here a moment. Ah, uh, he killed that guy. Haha, <laughs> spoilers. We'll probably see in a clip here in a second. Oh, oh, are we supposed to walk? Okay, thought we were waiting for him. All right, let's go up in his little treehouse. See what's good. Oh, um. Hello? Can we not go in here? There he, okay. Oh, see, we legitimately had to wait for him. It's like the first time the game's ever done that, where we, where we actually had to wait <laughs> instead of going to follow him. Sorry to keep you waiting. Yeah, you're right. With this merit, we shall be able to make it to the inner parts of the Isle of the Damned. Garia's keepsake. Let us be off to the Isle of the Damned. I agree. Let us get going. To the Isle of the Damned. Which is... Right here. Where do we stop? Hello? Oh, okay. We stopped right where I thought that would be. Alright, let's go in here. So, this is the type of place that you'd probably explore before you are able to go in. But I didn't bother coming here because I knew I couldn't get very far. But now we're here. And this place is very creepy. There's bones and eyeballs and dirty water and creepy music and uh, demons. So that's great, right? Alright. Gotta get past there, right? So we probably have to defeat this, to my best of knowledge. Bum, bum, bum. Right, come on. Animation takes so long. I just wanna beat the crap out of these things. One hit. Two hit. Three hit. Uh, let's use glide hook. The thing is red, so we should use blue stuff on it, but oh well. Bam. Okay, dead. I was gonna say, if that thing doesn't die, I'll be surprised. One hit, two hit. Ooh, okay. Too bad it got a move off. That's fine, though. No biggie. That'll hurt about 100. Ah, right, only 50. Okay, cool. Alright, come on, gunman. Boom. One shot to the face. There we go. HP, HP, HP. Let's make sure we heal. We got a few fire elements that we do not need. Okay, bam. We blew open the fire thingy and we can go in. Okay, so flying things are creatures that we can fight. So, where we need to go... Hello? Okay, well, where we need to go is over here. -na 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 -na. Is over here. Yep, so we go over here and use Garia's keepsake. And uh, we can walk right in. Look at that. Easy. Okay, and then we walk over here. But, maybe not. I don't know, either way, we're going through this door, that's for sure. Oh, okay. Oh, Go ahead. Link, Sarl Norris, may you all rest in peace. Oh. No, Garia. Near day passes where I haven't looked back on the day. I was overcome by the power of that sword. Yes, you truly were, my friend. This is the scene that I was talking about earlier. Who would have thought we'd find the Masa Mune in a place like this, Radius? I know. Hey, Garia, what? Oh! Arg, what the... Ha ha ha, now I'm the top swordsman of the Dragoons. Ha, I did it. I am the greatest. Huh? What happened? Uh, this... Oh, Lord, what have I done? The sword took over you, my dude. No, yeah. That's why I shouldn't mess with spooky swords, my man. Spooky swords aren't good. They do spooky things. 
I know, I lost my sanity because of that sword, but I must admit that the sword is not entirely to blame. I was jealous of Gary. I wanted to be the better swordsman. I once renowned, ma the once renowned master me and the whole holy sword that conquered darkness. Could it merely me? It could it merely be a tool for murder? Should you feel remorse for what you have done, then may you fall by my sword, you traitor. Oh boy, Garia, no. <clears throat> Listen to me, Garia. We need to end whatever to seal the blah blah blah. Then express your intent to the blah blah blah. The true swords would do. You must defeat me to proceed. In order to believe what is right, one must suffer pain and sorrow. Do not hesitate. Show me with the pride and honor of the Acacia Dragoons. Come on, Radius. <clears throat> Let's do this. Now, <clears throat> Radius is not in my party. So technically, he's not fighting him. But I am fighting him. So, what color is he? He's white? Perfect. Two of us are black. Alright, let's try not to hit. Or let's try not to miss. Good shots, good shots. How strong is he? Ooh, that 52. It's quite a hit. Aw oh, man, it reset my damage. Or it reset my thingy. Alright, let's do the glide hook. This should hurt quite a bit. Again, it's kind of good that we have two black characters. That hits quite hard. And a Haro should hit even harder. 24, 61. How much would this hit? Over 100. Triple cut. Oh. This is going to be like 150. Yeah, ooh. Let's go ahead and use... Uh, let's use Moonbeams. Yeah, and this should hurt quite a bit too, about 150 to 200. Over 200, I like that. Uh, with him, he doesn't do as much damage, but uh, we should use a heal all. Just for Harl's sake. If Harl gets hit again by something big, she dead. So, it'd be good to keep her... Ow, ow. Okay. Let's use that, that. Man, search it's like a truck. Let's use Feral Cats. This should hurt a lot. Once again, this is a dark color ability. So, I'd expect this to hit quite a bit harder than normal abilities. 225, that's pretty good. Okay, let's try to hit. Okay, good. Two hits, nice. Okay, Harl. That's actually... I'm actually happy that she got... Okay, buddy, calm down. I'm actually happy she got hit. Because I was going to use heal all with her anyway. But, jeez, man, the dude's just going into her. Slash and slash and slash. 250. What is that heal? One shot, two shot, three shot, four. Alright, uh. Let's make some bullet rain, you know what I mean? Let's make some bullet rain. Boom. Alright, I didn't do that much, but it's kind of what I expected. Defend. Defend. Ah, oh, I wanted to defend with Norris. If he hits Norris, this is gonna hurt. Oh, it's gonna hurt anybody. Oh, of course he hits Norris. Dude, what a bum. Bro, why you gotta do this? Alright. As long as we get to uh, Cure Plus. Yeah. Let's heal up our boy Norris right quick. Make sure he don't die. 160? Okay. Uh, I should make him survive. I'll wait until... Oh, he's already low on health? I'm just gonna go at him then. Full speed ahead, ow. Only once? Oh boy. What are you doing? You're weak. Bah, you know what? I'm just gonna go with Lynx. We're going in, boys. Slice and dice and- Aw, oh, you missed, you bum. Triple cut. I think he's going for Surge. Oh, it's gonna hurt. Oh, that was five over the limit, you bum. That's fine. Let's go ahead and revive Norris. And then hopefully we can finish him off with Harl. I'm hoping. I don't have another revive, I don't think so. Come on, kill him. No! Okay, he's going for links. That's fine. Ooh. Ooh. Those are some shots right there. You know what? 
Uh, Norris. Does Norris have heal all? Yes. Let's go ahead and uh, yeah, uh, heal up. I don't want to lose anybody because I want them to get their experience. So let's defend, defend, defend. And that will reduce damage on all of us and give us some stamina. Oof. Aw, oh, come on. Why, why are you about to hit three times? That's fine, though. We should be able to kill him right here, honestly. Wow. Yeah, yeah, he's dead. I told you. I knew we could have finished him right there. Garia is no longer the best swordsman. I am. Banana. Well, technically not swordsman, because I use a... <clears throat> I use a, whatever that thing is called. <clears throat> a sea swallow. Right, let's make sure we heal. We got another Dragoons on it. <clears throat> That's good stuff right there, and I got something in my throat. Link's received the sword. Okay, cool. Probably sounded so gross, but I need some water right now getting intense i've always been prepared to fall to a sword held by one of your sons perhaps glenn will take on that role now that dario is gone <clears throat> however i must attend to some unfinished business please wait a little longer garia forgive me my friend all right sick we got the sword fam <clears throat> i'm pretty sure we're gonna be able to go in there now hopefully there's also that thingy get me bro Alright, you know what? We haven't fought one of these. Uh, it's probably <clears throat> a good idea to fight it. Take a look at its animations, sprites, movesets. Just for giggles. Power dive. That's a cool move. Oh, that thing hits hard. Alright, I like it. Cool stuff, my dude. Go ahead, hit that three. Get out of here. I mean, I hit one more. Bloop. Let's go ahead and use our feral cats. See how they like cats. I don't like cats. Maybe that's partly why I actually don't like links that much. I don't really like cats. But I like Carl. Carl is cool. Boom. Dead. Let's see. Can she snipe a 72? She can. Look at her. Get a 95. What? That thing's not dead? Alright, 68, I believe. Okay. Alright, he hit another shot, though. Aw, oh, come on, man. Why didn't that kill him? How much HP does this stupid bird have? Actually, that thing actually hits pretty hard, low-key, though. Alright, hit that 68. I believe you. There you go. Mmm. Mmm. That three crit. I'll take it. Bum, 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 bum. I will take it, honestly. And I'll take that gold. That's my gold now, boy. Get out of here. Alright, let's head over. Let's head over to the Dead Sea. And see what's going on. I'll probably scoot over this way. I think my camera's a little off. By the way, guys. It's, some, it's one thing that I haven't addressed with this game. Another reason why I love this game so much is just for the fact that there's not random encounters like a lot of other games. As you can see, all enemies... The only time you need to fight them is when you touch them. And I think that is a great system. Also, there is a very great anti-grind system in in like incorporated into the game where you don't need to grind like other games. You basically just need to defeat the enemies in that room and continue and you'll be fine. But, I mean, five minutes of grinding compared to like a couple hours of grinding, I'll take it. So let's go ahead and save. Boop. And let's continue. Now we have the sword to get past to the other sword. Spooky waves and stuff. Oh, Garia, we shall use the holy powers of the sword that I can't pronounce. Boom, right in the ground. Oh, the sword is a reflection of one of... How I pity you. You've done nothing wrong either. Aha! No! You broke the sword! I just hope that one day that sword will be freed of em Bro, you broke the sword! Why would you break the sword? I mean, I guess we need to get past whatever. Still, man, that is a perfectly good sword. It looked cool, too. Why you gotta do that? Alright, let's head into the Dead Sea.
Now, this is one of the most interesting places. It, it, basically, the most mysterious and coolest place in this entire game. This is the Dead Sea. It is some site. I feel like I'm living a nightmare. Literally. Look, the waves are at a standstill. That is how the game looks. What is that shadow in the distance? Uh, blah, blah, blah. So, literally, here, time is stuck. It is literally stuck. And is that an enemy? I think that is an enemy. So, all of these places are a place. So, right there, that is the broken highway. We're going to have to go through that. We're going to have to go through that. We found an anti-red. So, uh, I'm pretty sure this does act like a world map. So, we can do, like, the smithy spirit and save and stuff like that. Real quickly, can we forge a little weapon for my boy Norris over here? Where? Okay, can we... Nah, we still don't have a mithril, man. That's annoying. Alright. Well, um, we're at about 25 minutes. And I... Oh, no, what have I done? And I don't really want to end the... I don't want to end the episode yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to save. And we're going to keep moving just for a little bit longer. Uh, because, hint, hint, there is a boss. And these things, by the way, aren't save points. It's kind of deceiving. They're not save points. They're actually just basically like teleport points. Um... Oh, these are enemies. Good to know. Good to know. I didn't know those were enemies. Bum, bum, bum. All right, well, let's see how strong they are for research purposes. Okay. He takes normal amount of damage. Let's see how about how much health he has. Light health. You have been... Okay. He's already low. He's clearly not that strong, then. Does he even attack? Oh, well, I don't know if he attacks, but he's definitely dead. That's for sure. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. All right, cool. So, uh, there's a chest, like, right below us, over here. And this is truly a sad, sad place. Can't carry more capsules. This place is literally just a nightmare, basically. All right. That is a boss. Right there. So, uh, we saved, we got all our dudes up and running. You know what? Let's go straight into here. Let's, what's up, dude? What's up? Let's go. Let's, let's beat this thing. He doesn't even know what's coming. Very big engines. Alright, what's up, dude? What's your name? What, what color are you? He's black. The highwayman. Uh, nah, 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 nah. Alright. Well, the highwayman. Prepare to be slain. Ooh, that was a crispy hit. How hard is he at? Ah, oh, bro. He hits kind of like Daria. That ain't that bad. That ain't bad at all. I'm not gonna hit him with that glide hook. I'm just gonna go over to Harl. So that she can attack. Ooh, oh, I was gonna say, if you missed that girl. Alright, good hits. Let's go over to Norris. One hit, two hit, three hit, four. How many people are at my door 60 that's a good hit no full tom beam bro this guy's black so a white element should be good against him just like that 200 damage easy 150 close enough this guy shouldn't be that hard honestly this guy's like a mini boss exhaust gas I'm pretty sure this poisons? What does this do? Um. Bum, 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 bum. What does this do? I don't know. Let's use Ice Blast. I don't. Yeah. I don't know. I guess we'll see with Norris. Let's see with Norris. Can you hit? Oh, God, Art. Oh. That's not good. Our, our thingy is very low rampage oh why did that hit norris <gasps> that is strong bro all right let's just do a little tap little tippy tap 
Let's revive our boy Norris. He got literally, even if he was full health, he would have got killed by me. Literally no point. Alright, let's uh Let's go ahead and uh you know what actually no. Does Man, okay. Let's just heal all. I don't want to use a heal all because not everyone's hurt, only one, but at this point. Whatever. Norris needs some healing. Man, Harl is. Not. Uh, you know, let's defend Norris, actually. Okay, we're defending with all of them. Good. Miss, haha! 21. 21, 21, 21. Do this. Ah, oh, why is your. Mm. Okay, you know what we're gonna have to do? Let's go with up here in links. Try to not miss. Hit that too. And then use this on Harl. So she could stop missing. That'd be great. Yes, there we go. Be gone. Now we can hit. One, two, three, four. That wasn't that bad, actually. -na 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 -na. Except now our percentages are reset. Let's just go to Norris. Bam. Bam. Oh, he missed. Bam. Is he getting low yet? I don't know. Either way, let's use a heal all. Uh, both Norris and Harl are a little bit hurt. Wouldn't hurt to do some healing. Let's just go to Harl since she's at 7. Let's use a two. Okay, I was about to go to Lynx. Miss. You suck. Let's go to Lynx. Hit him good, Lynx. Nice, good hit. And then we're just gonna go to Harl. Hit him with that two. You missed. Hit him with that three. Yeah. That's how I like it. Let's go to Norris. No, let's go back to Lynx, actually. Let's go back to Lynx. Oh, dang it. Exhaust gas. Okay, so we're back to the whole paralyzing thing. Please miss everybody. Oh, I missed everyone. What? That's fine, actually. Let's use another one of these. Norris doesn't do much damage anyway. For all I care, he doesn't even have to hit his shots. Honestly. Uh, let's see. 34. Okay, of course he missed the 34. I'm delusional. Alright, let's hit him with the Harl. Bam, bam. Bam. Bram, bam. Oh, someone's dead. Oh, okay. Lynx is a big boy. He can take it. Okay, let's go over to Lynx. Let's try to hit. Okay. Because we can use a Cure Plus. I'm just gonna Cure Plus myself, make sure I don't die here. Go back. Oh, I don't wanna go to Norris, actually. He can't hit nothing. Missed. How do you miss a 96? Uh, let's go ahead and Ice Blast him. This guy is still not low. That's actually surprising. Oh! I need to hit him with some more magic. Jeez, if I can hit him at all. I actually hit him. I hit him. I hit him twice with 30%? Dude, my boy Norris is nutty. Let's go to his elements. Let's see if we can hit him one more. Oh, my boy. Um. Let's see. He can't even do much, actually. Uh, let's use mm, Photon Beam. That that should do quite a bit of damage. More than his normal attacks, at least. That's what sure. Boom. Nine. Okay, he's low. Finally. What? Let's go to Harl. Hit him with the best shot. Damn. Alright. Don't kill my boy, Norris. Please and thank you. Alright, let's go back to Lynx. Boy, come on. Bro! This always happens, man. At the end of fight, Surge just... 
misses everything. He gets too excited. Alright, you know what? Hit Lynx. Lynx has great defense and agility. You can't beat him. Oh, oh man, he always misses the triple. The third one. That's fine. Ice Blast should do about 200 damage. This may, might kill him. No, I can't do it. But this definitely will not. Okay. Exhaust gas. Well, luckily for us, that actually doesn't kill us. It would have been more brutal if it actually did something. Oh, it didn't hit. It only hit Harl. You know what? I can play your game. Bro, how do you make an Electro Bolt to the face? How about that, huh? Electro Bolt, right. Right in the... Right in the... Oh! Yeah, that should be him gone. Boom. You're dead, boy. You're dead. Bum, 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 bum. Cool. That boss took forever, but was a fairly easy one at that, though. Definitely a, one of the easier bosses. And it was not even, like, technically a real boss. It was kind of just a boss placed there because... Well, what is this? Hello? Okay. It was just basically a boss placed there because, hey, we need a boss here. Uh, some guy with a brain make a boss quickly and then they just made us a, a spooky uh, machine Okay, follow okay good But we have beaten the spooky machine and for now I'm gonna go save real quick uh, Because we are done with this episode guys. Thanks for watching if you did enjoy make sure like in the comment as well as the channel And next time we will explore further on so guys Yeah, thanks for watching God bless and Goodbye. Hey everybody, welcome back to another Chrono Cross video. Last time we finally got into the Dead Sea, uh, we got uh, the sword, and we defeated the Highwayman boss. So that's already taken care of. Now we basically just have to keep going and seeing what's good. So let's go. And I don't know what that little thing is. I tried like pressing X on it, and it doesn't do anything. And those yellow things I could fight. Uh, but they're weak and I'm lazy, so I'm not gonna bother. If I'm not strong enough for this next boss, I'll come back. I will fight this though, because I'm curious what, what that is. If I'm not strong enough for the next battle, what I'll do is... I'll go fight a bunch of stuff, and then come back. But, on camera, I'm just gonna skip them if I don't have to. What is this thing? Is it like a little bird chicken? It takes normal damage. Let's go to Haro. Alright, nice. Oh, hit that three. I just go to Norris. Actually, let's go back to Lynx. Yeah. Oh, okay. You know, I believe in the three. Nice. Alright, Ice Blast should do at least 200. 150 to 200. 160. Okay, so above 150. That's good. Whoop, and my controller's not connected. So I should probably get it connected right before this cutscene ends. Have I done it? I have done it. Look at that. I am a genius. Alright, let's continue. And I'm not gonna fight that second chicken. Okay, where... Let me... Okay. What is that other thing? Okay, I found an anti-yellow. What is this? City ruins. Okay. I guess let's check this out. You know what? Uh, I don't want to fight you, chicken. Before we go into the big main building, I guess we should see what's good. Can I do anything? Apparently not. I don't want to hit the chickens, man. I don't want to fight those things. Is this a thing? Okay. Can I do something? Oh, it can do something. Look at that. Oh, this is great. I love this part of the game. Here, it basically gives you some context and some history. If you've ever played Chrono Trigger, you might remember some of this. So many strange things happen here. The power source is still active. I do not... Blah, blah, blah. Uh, so, he does some boopity boppities and gets it to work. Ooh, 
Boop. One more button. Oh, okay, a couple more buttons. So he does not have knowledge of electrical stuff, but he, uh, but he makes it work anyway. Uh, the monitor should be able to display some information, sir. Guess who? That is your boy, Lavos. Lavos. I don't care. Uh, blah blah blah. 2300 AD. Unknown life force, a parasitic to the planet. Code Lavos. Yes. If you've played Chrono Trigger, you'll know exactly who Lavos Lavos. I I'm, I don't care anymore. You mean the ruin from the future, Norris? Can you download more information about this world? Yes, one moment. So yeah, I've played Chrono Trigger, obviously. Uh, beneath, slumbering deep beneath the crust, when Lavos awakens, this planet will not be very good. What happened, Norris? What happened to the screen? The power supply has gone out. At this rate, we'll not be able to gather any information. Dang, we were so close to learning more about Lavos. It will not be able to find anything new. Let's proceed. So yeah, um, I'm not going to go into the story because it is a couple hundred pages on the Wikipedia and it probably will take a couple hours for me to explain. And I don't know it myself because, or very like super perfectly well because this game is crazy about its storylines. You have to remember, this game has multiple worlds with multiple dimensions, with different... No! With different people and worlds and people and worlds and people and worlds. It's a crazy mess and jumble of letters and numbers. I want to get through the door, so I think I'm, I will have to kill this thing. Oh, what a good hit. Oh, okay. Link's killed it by himself. So I'm not going to go what into Lavos is, but if you're curious... Probably no one's curious because no one watches my videos. Um, but you can go uh, on the wiki page and Google it. Uh, there's this one great video, like the. Hello? Oh, I found Kung Fu Shoes. There's a great video by, I forgot his name, that like the complete history of Chrono Cross. It's a great video, explains everything you need to know. Okay, I'm just gonna grab this and I'm gonna run. Um, is that it? Okay. No, it's not it. But it's a very long, complicated story. Oh, we made it over here. Oh! Oh, we- What? Could we have not- Oh, we couldn't have made it over there. Oh, so I guess it was a good thing I took the highway. I didn't- I'm stupid. I didn't even realize that. I thought we could make it into that big place without the- Okay. That make- That makes sense. Uh, school. You know what? Let's fight one of them just because I I want to fight one of every enemy, you know. Bum, bum, bum. So, yes. I will fight this for completion's sake. Uh, let's use links. What are these? Are these green? Easy. Let's use one and a two and a three. Bum, 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 nah, nah, nah. These things are pretty strong, actually. Oh... That's gross, my dude. Let's go ahead and use Feral Cats. It's not black, so it should do normal amount of damage. It should do normal amount of damage. But this thing took almost a full stamina bar of hits from Lynx. So the thing is clearly not weak. Boop, right in the face. It's clearly not weak. But what it is, is very slow animating creatures. Okay, hopefully Harl can- yes. Hopefully Harl can kill one of them. And then let's hope Norris can kill another. Dare I say. Okay, good. And then Harl can come in here. And Ice Blast the crap out of this. I don't feel like letting it animate again if I attack, so I'm just gonna kill it right away. Easy. No problems. This is how we play the game. We instantly kill everything in our path so we don't let it animate. Because I'm doing a semi speedrun at this point. I'm dodging everything to get this game done. Alright, coolio. Uh, before we go in there, it's probably a smart idea to save. 
Remember, kids, save your games. I mean, I can, never mind. Forget that. Uh, games nowadays, they automatically save. In this game, you need to save, obviously. Like the good old days. So, Tower of Geddon. Let's do this. This must be the center of the Dead Sea. All this chaos must have spread out from here. The buildings seem to have melted into one giant conglomeration. That's 2,400. What's up with the place? So that is in the future, yes. If we do some simple addition, we can tell that the thing is in the future. Yes, and by uh, the uh, the creepy robot mannequins walking around, and the broken down technology, you could definitely tell this is from the future. Um, is this a thing? Nope, not a thing. This is a thing if we go up here. Yeah. Oh, I don't like this part of the game. Partly because of the creepy mannequins, but also because there's so many ways to go. There's so many things to look at. So I guess we'll look at it one by one. Let's go over here. This is a broken train, right? But there is a chest then. For some reason... On top of the train, my nose itches, and there's a broken chest. Or not a broken chest, broken train. Whew, can't think right when my nose is itching. Um, can I go? What? That's sick. I can go on top of the train. Can I go through these? Uh, we need a station pass. Whew. Okay. We need to obtain a station pass from somewhere. So let us continue on our endeavor for the station pass. Go away, spooky mannequins. Now, honestly, this is probably a terrible idea. I should probably be fighting them because I'm probably a little under leveled. At least Norris is. Whoop, almost hit him. You've been juked. Alright, let's see what's up here. Can't go into those buildings. I can go into that big hole in the wall, though. What is up here? Okay, I don't know what's up there. Let's go in the big hole in the wall. That seems promising, right? Man, I don't want to nose it just so much. <laughs> Come on, nose. Work with me, dog. Alright, there's nothing here. There's a little ghost girl, though. The other place I hate about this place is uh, there's ghosts everywhere, man. What is wrong, Serge? You sent something. Yes, many ghosts. Hehehe. <laughs> oh, they look behind me. Okay. Bum, 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 bum. You know what I'm actually gonna do on camera? I'm gonna go turn on my light because lights are great. There we go. You probably see the close-up of my face right there, but are you all right? Nope. Lynx is not alright. What? You saw a child. I didn't see a child anywhere. <laughs> Nothing will surprise me. Let's just keep going. I'm pretty sure these things are also enemies. And don't don't let me fool you guys. I will fight one of those mannequins. Obviously, because I want to fight one of every creature. But it looks like we're going to have to defeat this thing to get past that anyway. So you know what? Let's make it easy on us. Let's defeat this thing. And I will move my camera a bit. There we go. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, there's a lot of them. Entry number one. I'm in a little tall. This is the black hole. Oh god, entry number two. I'm Libra. My specialty is recover all. Nice to meet you. Ah, oh, everyone's gonna. Age and a vegetarian. My favorite pastime is volcanoes. Fourteen. And I'll, oh, I like to suck. Pause. Blood. Bro, why? Oh, thank you. Thank you. No, thank you. No, 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 thank you. That'll hurt quite a bit. No, it won't. Suck blood. Man, these things are just... Oof. 
things are just taking everything, huh? Uh, which one was Recover All? The Recover All was this one. Let's go ahead and, uh... Please hit. Deal with this black hole. Ugh. That's not good. That's a cool animation, though. It's definitely a cool animation. Oh, that did a bit of damage. Bum, bum, bum. Recover all. Don't want to be dying out here. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of recovering. What is this thing? Is that, is, are these dark? Oh, they're red. Then I can hit them with my ult. With my all. Good stuff. Let's hit them with moonbeams. That hits them all, too, so that's good. And then Lynx also has stray cats. So we, sh we should be able to hit them all with. Bam. Oh. Good hits. Well, might as well hit some with Norris, too. Ah, bro, why you gotta miss everything? It's like the failure of the family. Come on, man. You know what? Go for that one. Go for that two. Oh, she's dead. Okay, let's go to Harl. Hit a few with her. Bam. Go back to Lynx. Try to hit two. Good. Oh, I was gonna use Feral Cats. How hard do you hit? Uh huh, you missed. Oh, okay. They don't hit hard at all. Let's go ahead and use Feral Cats. This should kill them all? Honestly? Hopefully? Please tell me. It should take most of them out, though. Like, a large portion of them. Yeah. Oh, one is still alive. You know, I'll hit you with that 72. You're dead, boy. Alright, good stuff, good stuff. I like it. Bum, 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 bum. Got lots of aqua balls. I don't really need those. Thank you. Thank you for the aqua balls. But I definitely don't want to be fighting those things over and over again. Oh, I didn't even need to fight that one. I fought it for a feather. I didn't really need that feather. Okay, well, anyway, I'll probably be fighting all, all of these off camera anyway. Honestly. Uh, okay, let's go up here. My arm itches again. What is what is over here? Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum, bum. Is that anything? Nope. Bum, bum. Don't tell me I have to fight you. I'm gonna run past you. Aha! It's over here. And why does it look so green? That's a well. Oof. This is a sword. Link's received prop sword. Thanks for the prop sword, my dude. What's in here? Hello? Your chest? Okay. Julio must be like a zoo attraction. Bro, ghost. You're gonna have to get out of my way, fam. Ooh, juked. Once again, I will be coming back probably to fight all these off camera. But not right now. Because I know, uh, I don't want to spoil too much, but we're gonna have a boss coming up soon. And he is one of the harder ones in the game by far, especially against this cast of members. So I'll definitely have to uh, make sure to defeat everything around me so I can get prepared for it. There's the little girl again. Or little boy. A young lad. Where are you going, my dude? Bum, 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 bum. We're inside a building yet. What's this thing doing here? This place is beyond me, truly. This place is something of a wonder. Is this a thing I can walk upon? It is, except I don't think this is the thing where you were supposed to be walking upon. Maybe it is. I don't know if we were supposed to be walking on the wing? Or this. We were supposed to be walking on the wing. This is just... Uh, for a chest. Which, wait a minute, there's a second ladder! What is up here? Tell me now. What is over here? Hello? Hello? I'm just gonna press that. There's gotta be a chest right here somewhere. Hey, there it is. Mithril! That's good. 
I needed a mithril actually because I want to make uh, Norris his gun. Or is silver? Uh, or one of another party member a mithril attack item? Except, is this steel? <gasps> Don't tell me I forgot. Let's. Oh my god, I never even equipped his thing. I never even equipped it. I'm a genius. I completely forgot. Okay, well, we do have a mithril weapon on him. Now we do. Because I forgot to put it on him like a genius. Hello? Can I walk back up, please? Okay, this is literally the hardest part of the game, finding where to walk gee i'm a genius i can't believe i didn't equip him with a stupid mithril sword jeez man i mean whatever all the bosses so far have been easy but i guess that just shows even with using bad stuff i'm still winning exclamation mark exclamation mark there's these are the Acacia Dragoons that disappeared three years ago. What? What? Yeah, they were held captive. And yeah, there's Marcy, Karsh, Zoa, uh, some Dragoons, and the thingy, and Riddle, and Glenn, Viper. We're all here. Can I talk to them? No? Oh, jeez, man. Why is Karsh up front? Hey, there's my boy Chrono. Are you alright? If y'all haven't seen or played Chrono Trigger, that little boy was Chrono. Or he was dressed like Chrono. Alright, let's go in the weird portal. Yeah, that little that little kid was Chrono, which is kinda cool. Kind of cool. Uh, in the beginning of the game, I said that you didn't really need knowledge of Trigger to know about this game. A sunset. Uh, good thing there's a save point because there's a boss coming up. Uh, time and space could be different here. Luckily, distortion. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Uh, big boss is right up ahead. We're definitely going to be saving up. Actually, before I save, uh, let's go to the Smithy Spirit. Let's go ahead and make that gun for Norris, because we're definitely going to need it. Silver gun? Where's the, where's the gun? Argent gun. Yes, let's just make the Argent gun. And then... Equip it on his body. Argent gun. Okay. And then... You know what we're probably going to need? We're probably going to need some magic defense especially for this fight uh let's get some magic defense we're probably going to need it um do we have another magic defense um let's see increase the time whatever whatever okay i guess we'll just put the dragoon no uh yeah we'll hit the We'll hit up the Dragoon's Gauntlet. Alright, cool. Now let's do up a save. And let's go let's go fight this thing, my dudes. We'll fight this thing. Well, first I might as well check these little rooms. Will you rest? No, nah, I don't I don't need to rest. My HP's already full. Do 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 do. Okay. So, over there was probably a chest, which, whatever, at this point. Yep, that is little Chrono. And up there, there's Luca, I think. Yeah. One of them looked like Luke. Uh, was it Luca? Am I delusional? I think it was Luca. I'm hellbound. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, let's see. Yeah, that is little... I, I think it's Luca, is that her name? But that's definitely Chrono, and that seems like the princess. But once again, probably delusional. 
Let's read the bell. Oh, we gotta read the tag. Hello? There we go. ED 1000, Nadia's Bell, Mary Prayers for Peace, Ring for an Eternity. But Nadia's Bell will never be heard again. Never. We. No, everybody worked to save the planet's future for nothing. It's all because of you. You killed it. You. So many lives are supposed to be saved. This planet was supposed to be healed with love, hope, and dreams. Huh? That's a fantasy. What do you gotta say, little girl? How could you? How could you do such a thing? It's all your fault that the world is going to end up like this. It's all your fault, Serge. Okay, chill out. Mert, okay, chill. Okay? Chill? I'm sure Serge didn't mean it. Who are these children? It's Serge's fault that the world will end up like this? Apparently. These children are really set on making me feel bad. Don't let it bother you. It's just a distant echo f from ones far gone. It's just an illusion. And there's... Bum, ba, da, ba. So your name? Welcome to the Tower of Geddon. Time Crash Ground Zero. It's been a while, Serge, but I guess you don't remember who I am. I don't blame you. You were only a little child back then. Who was with... I'm Miguel, a friend of your father. Who was with Serge's father? Your boy, Miguel. According to the time outside, it's been about 14 years since the night of the storm. So, yep, yeah, that is the dude that was accompanying my father when, uh... Surge was sick. Oh, you can see, see that? Thank you, game. Wazuki, what is this place? Thank you, game. Just helping me right out. I don't know, but I don't think we're supposed to know about it. That's true, very true. That child. That wounded child. He's not just a child, but he's also a wounded child. Bring him to me. What was that? Who was there? Wait, Wazuki, what are you, where are you going? There's no way we can set sail again in the storm. We don't have a second to waste, or else Surge will rest in pepperoni. I don't care what lies ahead of us. I'm going. There's no way I'll allow my son to die without a fight. I'd appreciate it if you waited for me here. Thank you for coming tonight, Miguel. Thank you. No, wait, Wazuki. Your boy is going to save Surge. What a good guy. And he lived, so yes, I've been here in this place in this very place for 14 years. It wasn't like this when I got here, though. An incident that occurred 10 years ago transformed it into the Dead Sea. Don't you know? There's nothing in the world as ruthless or impartial as death. All living matter ages over time and eventually dies, no matter how mighty or tiny its life force. So being alive means you're creeping closer to death with every second. Sadly, don't remind me. But there's none of that here. No, no one and nothing ages. Nothing wastes away because time doesn't pass. This quiet, boundless, and beautiful world, an ideal world straight out of a fairy tale, isn't it? A place and time that belongs to no one. Rest knowledge. It's because this is a future that was eliminated. History is composed of choices and divergences. Each choice you make creates a new world and brings forth a new future, but at the same time, you're eliminating a different future with choices you didn't make. A future denied of all existence because of a change in the past. A future that was destroyed even before it was born rests here. Condensed into the Dead Sea. How is that possible? Fate. Our lives are governed by fate. Fate knows all and controls all. No one can run from fate. And, uh, fate's a robot. Even your presence here was predestined long, long ago. Okay, uh, Apple software updates, thank you. Long ago, and I'm not playing on a Mac. I have iTunes installed on my computer, long story. I play on a PC, don't get that wrong. Don't get it twisted. Wouldn't you all like to become one with this world? To be part of eternity? How about it, Serge? You no longer struggle alone, nor fear of an uncertain tomorrow. Well, what do you say? Refuse, bruh, I gotta get back to the world, man. I see, I guess there's only one thing to do. I I'll Take it you're trying to restore the dimensional distortion. If you defeat me and liberate this place, the distortion will return to the way it was. I guess this is it. Just as there are times of place, there are times of war. You don't have to hold back, attack me with all your soul if you want to live. Let fate take its course. Let's do this. Let's kick some butt, fam. So, uh, like I stated previously, 
I'm gonna... This is one of the harder bosses by far. You know what? Real quick, guys. Yeah. Um... You know, let me move my camera back. This is like... Actually, I need to go the opposite. I'm going the wrong way, fam. Okay, there we go. Let us beat him, right? And I'm just like fixing something. Let's beat him. Um, I'm pretty sure he has some very unique magic strong attacks. That I definitely need to be careful of. Anti-black. That makes him not use any black elements. That's completely fine. Nice hit. Good thing we have two black members, since he's white. Okay, strong-minded. Okay, and then go back to Lynx, because Lynx hits the hardest. But we do want to attack with him the most. Wow, you missed your third one. What are you doing? Weak-minded. No! That's fine. He's hardcore targeting Norris for no... No pair. Holy drag. Ooh. That's an insta-kill. Like, no hesitation. You're... If you get hit by that, you're dead. Use feral cats. And... I'm definitely gonna need to revive him? 100% sure. Man, I told you, this guy has some really strong... Um... Who has revive? Oh god, Lynx has a revive. Alright, well I guess we're just gonna be attacking him then. Yeah. How hard is he hit? Oof. It's a pretty hard hit, actually. Bro, what do you mean? Oh. Uh... We only need to attack him once. Ah, oh, but I don't have, like, any energy. Turn black. Well, she's already black. Oh, Tom Beam. Okay, that's gonna hurt a little bit. Bro. Ooch. Uh, let's go to Lynx. Hit once. Let's use Revive. Yes, let us revive Norris, and then with Harl, we shall heal. Even though this guy basically one-shots anyway. Uh, heal all? Yes. Let us heal everybody. Yeah, I don't know, man. I'm having doubts that I'm going to be able to defeat this guy. Like, honestly. Okay. Norse doesn't do too much damage. You know what? We're just going to defend with him. Anti-black. Though... Oh, my God. Okay. I think he's about to hit him hard with something. Okay, he didn't hit him hard with something. Hit. Go ahead. You know what, I'm just gonna go to Harl. I wanna prepare her for her ultimate attack. Aw, oh, come on, bro. I'm gonna defend. Go with Lynx. Let's go into a go to attack. It hits. Ah, oh, strong-minded. All he has to do is not hit Norris, I think, basically. Hit! Good. Let's go to Harl. Because I think Norris is the only one with a revive left. Okay, those are some good hits. Let's hit another two. No! I want to hit him with my special ability before he kills Norris. Don't kill Norris! Why? Why do you gotta kill Norris? I can't save him! Alright, let's use this. This should hurt him quite a bit. Hopefully, we'll be able to take him down with Judd. Honestly, I'm gonna switch Norris out once I get a better character. So, I honestly really don't care that... He doesn't get the XP. This is a cool animation, by the way. I'm just hoping I'm even able to kill him. Like, he's not even low yet. Oh, he's low. Good. Oh, this is bad. Those hurt. That hurts a lot. This is one of the coolest animations in the game. But those hurt really badly we're gonna go ahead and uh, heal that up and we're gonna defend holy like that's not good doesn't that just insta kill everybody Jesus 
We're gonna have to heal. Hopefully. I really need Harl not to miss her shots. I need one more shot. Don't attack. Heal all. Yes. We're gonna have to keep these two alive. I mean, basically, Norris legitimately wasn't doing anything. The only thing that sucks is he was the one that had my revive. Okay, we're just gonna defend here. Anti-black, that's fine. As long as he doesn't do drag sword, then we're good. Okay, good hit, good hit. You can hit him with an ice blast. Ice blast is strong. If it does 200, it's definitely worth it. Boom. Yes, it, that does a good amount of damage. That's definitely worth it. Ah, oh, you missed. You bum. Don't hit. Good. Do I have an element? No. Might as well defend. Weak-minded. Oh, no. Don't kill Harl. No! This is gonna hurt a lot. That's that's literally instant death. There's literally nothing that I can do about that. Except I have to try to kill him right now before he kills me. Okay, that's a good attack. I have to kill him. Oh! He's dead. Seriously. The one turn he kills Harl, I kill him. Okay, that's tilting. Whatever. It's okay. I'm gonna be using Kid anyway. I don't need Harl. It's fine. As long as Surge gets the thing, that's what's important. Honestly. That was definitely a tough battle. Though. Well done. That's the way, Surge. Me, my, my, you have grown, may you have grown strong. Maybe just maybe. You and your friends have the power to defeat fate and build a future. Defeat fate. Key. The, the Dead Sea is the truth is the true form of this planet's future. That's right. At one stage, our world was on the verge of such inevitable destruction. That was in 1999, when this game was first released in Japan and my birth year. When the parasitic alien life form known as Lavos awoke after centuries of feeding off this planet, Lavos fell from the heavens a countless number of years ago and burrowed deep beneath the surface to eat and sleep. Slowly but deliberately, Lavos devoured our planet from the inside out, waiting for the timing to ripen for its true awakening. Finally, Lavos did awake, and it manifested its true form on the surface of the planet. That's when our world faced death, from which there seemed no possibility of escape. Were it not for the teenage boy and his group of adventure friends, that is, Chrono, those young heroes caught a glimpse of this planet's future destruction that appeared in the year 2300. They realized they could not turn their backs on our planet, even if its death would not be anywhere near their lifetime. Time traveling from epoch to epoch, they battled Lavos for the future of our planet and eventually won. But in saving our planet from the death Lavos was going to bring about, they also changed the course of history. At that very moment, this whole future time axis ceased to exist. Call it cause and effect, it is just a problem of possibilities after all. In this world, there are no such thing as absolutes or uncertainties. But the future that was supposed to have disappeared is about to be restored here. The future destruction of our planet is going to become a reality in this world once again. That means we need to run. The vengeance of the future we killed is about to begin with Surge serving as the trigger. The Chrono Trigger. Perhaps or perhaps not. Either way, it's all part of the grand game of the gods and goddesses. People are dragged into playing this game, forced to put out their own lives on the line without even knowing the rules, without even being allowed to complain. They try to do their best under conditions put under them. The only alternative is to give up and leave the playing field in a forfeit. Ow. Three years ago, members of the Acacia Dragoons from Termina visited here. Those nights were after the Frozen Flame, of course, but instead they became salt for the Dead Sea. You see, only the Chosen One can approach the flame. It looks like fate has made its decision and has started to carry it out. Fate doesn't want the Frozen Flame to awaken in this place at this time. It would choose to destroy the flame along with the whole Dead Sea, then allow its enemies to take hold of the flame. This lost future is about to disappear into the darkness beyond the dimensions again. You have no time to spare. You must leave here immediately. Quickly. Go. Alright, fam. I'm out. Peace. See you, Chrono. See you, Luca. See you, Marl, I think. I love you so much. Uh, yeah. I'm pretty great. This is why sometimes 
desire to, sometimes why I desire desire to smash you to bits. Don't worry about me. You must go now. All right, dude. Peace out. Farewell, Surge. The future is yours for the taking. You, the one that the frozen flame has chosen. Yes, the frozen flame has chosen me. Or Surge, whatever. My dear Lena. Oh, I forgot. This dude is Lena's father. May you live in a happier tomorrow. We literally beat the crap out of Lena's father. Lena is basically our girlfriend in this game. We just beat the crap out of her dad. That, that's a pretty big feels bad man. Now, the only problem is this place is literally crashing on top of us. So we need a... We're not going to make it. No. Yo, what's good, white dragon? Grab hold, sons of man. <laughs> yes, thank you, dragon. I appreciate it, my dude. Oh, I gotta fix my headset. Oh, the greatest animation ever made. I think everyone saw that from like every island. Why did you help us? I too would like to witness this, how thou shalt live and how thou shalt die. If if thou art planning to bring forth a new entity, prepare thyself for anguish and sorrow. All right, so the sky dragon helped us. Thanks, bruh. To the Sea of Eden, if thou intend to defy the goddess of fate, speak with the ancient dragon gods who sit in repose in El Nido. Let the path to the Sea of Eden be known when all powers of the sleeping dragons are brought together. My favorite part of the game! Uh, nah. Serge, are you concerned about the other world, are you not? Truly. Their dimensional distortion should be back in order. Let's head to Opasa Beach. Dude, let's do it. Let us, let's, let's do it. Bum, 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 bum. So the sea is fixed or something? Look at it. Can I enter? Real quickly. Let's enter. I want to see what's up. Oh, we can kind of just head in here. Now oh, there's islands and stuff. Fate distortion. What is this? Is this another fate distortion? Okay. Uh, let's see what happens if we click on this. I'm pretty sure it'll basically just say, nah, fam, you can't enter yet. Could this be, uh, but the amulet isn't responding. Yeah, so we can't go in here yet. Uh, but once, I'm pretty sure it says something about, uh, now this is the time where we have to, like, gather all the dragons, like, defeat them all, low-key, low-key, and, um, get some stuff from them. To let us go in the wormholes or something? My memory is fading on me. Let's for sure see what's going on. You know what, guys? I think I'm going to end the episode off here. Next episode, we will see what happens at Opasa Beach, guys. So thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and comment. Is my camera still working? Yes, it is. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. God bless and goodbye. Hey everybody, welcome to another Corner Cross video. Today, uh, we're gonna go to Opasa Beach and try to uh, do something. In the last two episodes, we defeated a lot of bosses. Garia, uh, the Highwaymen, Miguel. Man, this past couple episodes have been crazy with bosses. But yeah, our next stop is Opasa Beach. Let's see, are we able to do this? So this is the dimensional gate. Now let's get going. So, do, does this work now? 
Look at that. It does work. Um, yeah. I don't think they have an animation for Lynx. I think, yeah. They just kind of... <laughs> yeah. Apparently, the Chrono Cross dev team was a little too lazy to create an animation for Lynx. So they were just like, yeah, he doesn't need an animation. Um, yeah. Ah. Ah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a spooky lion. Oh, no. Those are uh, shadow cats. Oh, shoot. Leave me alone. Dude, I got you, bro. I got you. Bro, you want to fight? <laughs> the cats are just looking around like, what? Backing off slowly. What's going on? <laughs> Yikes! <laughs> Over here's a scary looking cat man. Yeah. Yeah, this kid's screwed. Boy, am I in a major fix. <laughs> I'm always looking at us. That's great. Be gone, demons, if you value your lives. Get out of our way. Yeah. Bro, are you gonna fight or not? Alright, peace out, home dog. Home doggies. Phew, <laughs> you saved me. <laughs> Thought you were bad guys, too, from the way you look. I was looking for rainbow cell shells when those things started harassing me. But look, I got the shells alright. I better head back and give them to Kiki. Thanks a lot for saving me. Hey, mister, you should be careful, too. Lots of monsters are running loose nowadays. All the grown-ups say it's a rebellion led by Surge. And I heard this Surge is trying to kill everyone on the island. I can't believe someone would want to do that. I wonder what's going to happen to us. Hey, that's my body that he stole, and he's harassing people now. It looks like there isn't much more chaos going on here. An uprising led by Surge, so Surge has become enemy of the people. Dang it, man. The guy, or Lynx, stole my body, and now he's making everyone hate me. This ain't cool. Okay, I actually have no idea where to go next. Uh, I completely forgot. So... Um, town is empty. Town is empty. That's not good. Hey, man, sorry. Only our new residents are allowed through here. They're all taking shelter from the evils of Surge and his minions. So I can't go in there? Dang. Okay. Look serious, then. That, if legitimately, the entire town of Arnie is hiding. Oh, what the heck? Okay, we can't just walk through the valley. It looks like we're gonna have to go through it again. Why would... Oh, shadow cats. Maybe that's what they were talking about. Oh, no. These things are... Oh, no. You got juked. What the heck is that? Is that an enemy? Ah! Alright, you know what we're gonna do, guys? Uh, like I always said, with this game, I wanna defeat one of every enemy... Uh, because that's what a let's play is i'm trying to show you the game so i'm not gonna fight all of these but i oh my god i forgot harlan norse or I, like, no health but i do want to fight these yeah oops i forgot those two are at low health my bad oh well, there goes norris whatever i'll revive him in a bit but yeah so i will defeat these one time of course for the video then let's use Ice Blast. So these things are black. Black element. Please die. Uh-huh. Oh. Crispy. I'll take it. So yeah, two of my members are dead. Oops. Oopsie daisies. Okay. Uh, real quickly. And I'll fight one of those bulb thingies. But I do... <laughs> have to, uh, heal them. So let's use some capsules. Bum, 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 bum. Alright. And let's go up that ladder, see if there's anything new. There shouldn't be anything new, but might as well check it out, right? Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Alright, what are these things? Are these things strong? Toot, toot, toot to shaman. Okay, they're not weak to physical attacks what are they they're oh you know let's ice blast this one i'd be surprised if this just like insta killed it let's see no it didn't insta kill it but it's definitely weak you'll probably hit it with a one and then a two it'd be wow 
Lucky you. Fire pillar, that's not gonna do much. Maybe about 50. Two! He did two! Alright, let's hit it with that two piece. And let's check out Norris. How you doing, Norris? I haven't attacked with him. Boom. Wow. Hit that 75. Alright, you know what? Let's go to let's go to Lynx. You know what? Hit that three piece. You don't hit that three piece. Carl, you hit that three piece. Bam. Carl never misses apparently, so that's great. Man, after 20 episodes of this game, I still don't get tired of singing along with that end song. Of course, I have an excuse this is my favorite game of all time, so I have that right. Peace out, home slice. Alright, let's see what's going on in Termina. So, Viper Castle. Oh, you know what? We're going to do something real quick, right? Um, I'm pretty sure we can gain a new character. Can we go in? Can we? I have or something that anyone through. Okay, we can't go in. Alright, because I'm pretty sure if we go to the Viper Manor and go to the balcony, I don't know if it's too late or too early, but there's a character there waiting for us. No spoils, no spoils. But let's see what's good. This place is taken over by the poor. Who is it? So I walked in the bar, by the way. You, a poor soldier is with you too? Well, in that case, it can't be helped. Just wait right there. I'll unlock it for you. Oh yeah, technically, uh, uh, the boy over there, Norris, he's technically a poor soldier. Here, go in from the left side. Yo, it's Gil! I feel that I might have met you before. Sorry, but I cannot remember. Bro, he's in our party. Well, he was, at least. Oh, okay. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Bro, what do you mean? Oh, it's a secret door. That's sick. Yo, it's Karsh. And Zoa. Look at that. It's been a while, Lynx. Or is it Surge? That poor scumbag is with you. <laughs> well, as long as you're here, you're one of us. You, stay put and listen to what we gotta say. After we fought you guys, we also entered Fort Dragonia too. Ooh. Okay. Let me see that backstory. <sighs> so they walked in and uh, went general. They went to crap. You are probably dead. Disappeared. He disappeared. <laughs> Dang. This is bad. General, are you alright? Ugh, riddle, blah, blah, blah. Don't just stand around. Help the general. I agree. Get some healing spells, my dudes. I cannot believe this. What happened to the general? Like, I can't believe it. Yeah. What in Dragoon's name happened here? Um, you trusted Lynx? I mean, that's what happened. Clearly. Uh, so, like, what are all these shiny shards? Uh, not now. We have to stop the bleeding. Marcy, you pick up those broken pieces. Bum, bum, bum. We brought the general to the hermit's hideaway and prayed for his recovery. He was able to escape death, but he still needs rest. However, we can't leave the manor for too long, so we came back here, leaving Marcy behind to take care of him, only to find the poor military had taken control of Termina. Dang it. What a shame. <laughs> Truly, what a shame. Because of them pores, what do you gotta say to that? Uh, I too question the methods the military has taken. That is why I'm acting in line with Sir Lynx. Then don't you dare get in my way. Bro, why gotta be swimming the Norris? My dude over here is chilling. We knew that was going on. The general talks in his sleep. Lynx is behind this, correct? Yes. Uh, he's not going to get away with this. We've got some fault in all of this, so we gotta do something about it. I agree. But first, we gotta rescue Lady Riddle. Ooh, she's being held captive at the manor where the poor military, blah, blah, blah. Hey, with your uniform, you can enter the undetected, right? Let's join forces for time. It's not too late to go after him. One of us will remain here to collect info. The other will enter the manor. Let us meet afterwards. Oh, yeah, the shards on the ground must have been the dragon tier. We've gathered as many as possible. We don't have any use for it. You can have them. Okay, we've gotten the tier of hate. That's pretty good. Okay, so at this point in the story, we can pick either Karsh or Zoa to join us. We can only pick one. The other one will join with us later, but for now, we can only pick one. And you know, I'm gonna go with my boy Karsh. He's sick. He's got that anime hairstyle, you know what I mean? So, for sure, 
and Karsh is actually really, really strong. He is not a bad character. And I'm honestly... Bro, I'm about to pick him up. For sure, I'm about to, I'm about to pick up Karsh. I think I'm going to drop Norris hardcore. Or can I? I might have... I wonder if I have, if I have to keep Norris to get inside the building. I guess we'll see, right? What I'm going to do... Oh, okay. What? <laughs> then bring this boy search to me as soon as you find him. Bro. It's... Why, Sir Lynx? It's Norris and Norris. It's two of them. Sir Lynx, where have you been all this time? We heard that you headed to Forge with the General. Exactly what happened back there. There have been many strange occurrences since then. Perhaps you know of a boy named Serge. You are me? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Let's just say I am another you and leave it at that. Pardon me for saying this, but it appears that both of us need to look at the big picture. We will only have a limited understanding by staying in the same place. Silence. Bro, what do you mean? I am you. How can you tell me to silence? Commander Norris, there is an urgent message from command. What is it? Sir, it is a level 2 security message. Go ahead, take no heed. This man is one of us. Yes, sir. Grobach Big had just arrived at the manor, sir. Hmm, he is quite ahead of schedule. Understood. I will return ASAP. Yes! I love that guy. You'll see who he is. He's great. Sir Lynx, forgive me, but I must return to the manor at once. Please come to the manor a little later. We will discuss this in more detail there. Cool. So yes, something exciting is about to happen. I like it. Alright, um, real quickly. Sadly, I think I'm gonna have to take my boy Norris out of action. Let's remove all his stuff. And yeah, I'm gonna get him I'm gonna get Karsh set up. I've got all of their stuff in place. I'm not gonna bother to show you, but everything's there, trust me. Every equipped all of uh, the stuff. Also, I put Dragoon's Honor, which is a new item, on Karsh, and it basically just helps like evade and hit, and basically like a really good item. It's a, it's a good item. So, thanks. Please go through. Yes, thank you. So we don't need Norris specifically because we talked to him already. But yeah, I want I wanted Karsh with us. Although, like I kept saying, Norris is so cool and I like his animations. I think he is a bit weak at this point in, in the game. Sir Lynx, please go on through. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, did I save? Uh. Whatever, we'll beat him anyway. Being stubborn, eh? Yo, do you see that little cyborg sitting on the wall? Yes. I like him. I'm going to ask you one more time. What happened at Fort Dragonia? Where is General Viper and where is the Frozen Flame? I don't know, and even if I did, I would never tell you. Dang, this goody two-shoes. Listen up, Missy. Do you know what kind of predicament you're in? Please, sir, this woman has done nothing wrong. She's a prisoner of the poor army. This is a legitimate interrogation. I do not believe that is, sir. There has to be a better way to go about this. Just give it a little bit more time and... I don't have time, Norris. I have no time to be listening to your idealistic theories. Now, Missy, let's have you go down to the basement. Oh, boy! No, please, no, Norris. I've had enough of you for today. I want you to stay out of this. Take her... Boy, okay. Y'all want to fight? Bro. I'll mess somebody up. Dude, for real, I'm about to run down to the basement. You disappoint me. Remain on standby in the parlor. I cannot hear you, bro. Please wait. Think of what you're doing. Can you live with that? He won't talk to you. He has no interest other than fighting. This cannot be. Is he one from the? Is he the one from the lab? That's right. This is the killing machine, Grabic. Grabic only takes orders from those who are stronger. Ah, another soldier who won't listen. This, bro, dude, I'm about to screw him up. Dude, let me add him, bro. Call in the cook. Ah, oh, okay, that's going to be another one to fight. Let's do this. I'm excited. Dude, I'm about to whip a kid. Let's do this. Uh. Okay, do we... Okay, I think we have to do a couple things before we go. Um, I don't think there's any enemies around, which is good this time. Um, blah, blah, blah. What do you got to say? Um, the suit of, oh, uh, can we put a decoy shield? Yeah. Oh, now we're in a fight. Okay. <laughs> cool. Hey, at least you put it in the right place. 
Bum, bum, bum. All right, let's fight them. All right, I'm ready. Let's do this. Y'all want to scrap? Let's do this. What are you? Oh, they're all black. Man of War. My game's lagging. Man, these things have some deep animations. My game is lagging. Oh, they're weak. What? I just destroyed one of them. And oh my gosh, these things are weak. I thought they were gonna be strong. What? Even though they're black, I could probably still kill them with feral, feral cats. Bro, why you gotta be playing pranks on me like this? These things are easy. Get them out of here, dude. Get them out of here. I thought this was gonna be a hard fight. I mean, to be fair, I think I was supposed to do this a long time ago. Probably back when I came here the first time I was supposed to do this. But, you know. Things have to be done. Alright, does that give me anything? Hello? Can I... <laughs> Can I get something? Okay, hold on. Let me... Let me do this puzzle again. Does this give me anything the second time? Dude, okay, I hate this. The walking mechanics for this game are straight amazing. Okay, push, push, push. Okay, push that way. Yeah, yeah, no, yes, no, oh, no. Yes, that way. Bro, this game. Okay, now forward. Yeah, it's just like that. Okay, let's go see what's up. Oh, we got some chests. Oh, God. Okay. It's secured. Well, yeah, clearly. Dude, you're telling me I seriously just can't go through? It won't move. Bro, are you serious? That's dumb. Can I... Like, is there any way to spin them? Alright. Oh, wait, wait. Okay, this is a crazy idea. Can I use Ice Breath? This is a crazy idea. Ice Breath. No, okay, I can't freeze the water. Alright, well, it doesn't look like I'm getting to those. And I could probably Google it right now and figure out a way, but you know what? I ain't no cheater. Do some capsules. I'll let I'll let it be. We can't get in right now, and I can't figure it out. You know what? We're not gonna do it. Um. Oh, here he is. This is where. Look, Sir Links. Please excuse the blah 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 conditions, sir. There has there. This has been bothering me since we met up in Terminator. You seem different from when I last remember. You just seem different. This man is not Lynx. What? <laughs> he may look like Lynx, but his spirit is of Surge. Is it true, Lynx? What has happened? Blah, blah, blah. This is the point where this is how they quickly explain it. So basically, now he knows everything. I see. So the Surge command commanding the insurgent troop is the real Lynx. Everything is starting to make sense. We were wrong all along. We sh never should have joined forces with Lynx. And what brings you here? Riddle. <laughs> where is Lady Riddle? Bring her out now. You may you lay one filthy finger on her and you die. Arg. I chill, chill, my dude. I see. Then you are here to rescue her. Understood. I would like to help. Riddle should be in the basement prison. Please take this. Key. Prison key. Hey, that's what I like. There's a sewer system below the prison. You should be able to break into the prison by making your way through the sewers. Use the hatch. Blah blah blah. The sewers are full of monsters. Please be alert. I have heard of one particular frightful monster. I'll be in the one F main hall. Please meet me there once you rescued Riddle. All right, family. I got you. Okay, so... Oh, okay. Hi, Orcha. It's that time again. What you talking about? You know. This. <clears throat> oh. And he's getting angry. Hell, Orcha. <laughs> Your guest is waiting in the basement. Yeah, that's not good. It's kind of gross, my dudes. We're going to have to beat that up 100%. It's locked. Real quickly. Can I get into here? I want to check something real quick. If this isn't worthwhile, I'm just going to cut it out of the video. But I do want to check something. Sure. We'll be able to get a new party member. What's up? I came here looking for a fight, but no one here. What's the point? Bro, what do you... I mean, I'll fight you, but I mean, you'll die. So... Yes, this is what I was looking for right here. What's up? Uh, it's called Nia. It, it will behave just like a human. However, the Nia was... I can't read it, man. It is powerful type. They use it almost naturally. It was I who improved it. 
One is able to train it uh, with blossoms, but a life sparkle is necessary for that. I have pinpointed uh, in the marsh east of Arnie Village. So I sent some of our dragoons to retrieve it, however, none have returned. It is a shame, but I cannot allow any more loss of life. I suggest you stay away from that marsh if you wish to live. Huh. The marsh east? Okay, so is there anything up here? There's a chest. Let's sight scope. I'm pretty sure that just helps with accuracy, right? Okay, well, what we're going to do is if we actually go to her lab, she joins the party. So we're definitely going to be doing that. I'm guessing there's nothing in this room, right? All right, I think I get it. I remember that marsh she was talking about where we have to get a flower. We have to get that and then she'll come to the party. Okay, well, we will definitely do that in, I'm guessing another video because obviously we won't get this entire place done in one video. Do, 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 do. So we can't go in there, but we can go in here. Right? Under investigation. I'm sorry. But... Bro. Oh, okay. Well, uh, I think uh, Norris told us that there is a hatch over here. Right? Yeah. Yes. Put on that one. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, and we can fight those things, but I don't really feel like fighting them. Oh, okay. Well, uh, we fell in the water. Oops. But I'm pretty sure that's how we're supposed to go. Uh, the water... We should be able to stop it somewhere. So, basically, this is a giant puzzle of valves and stuff. Um, I don't want to fight this thing, man. Oh, juked. Peace. Oh, there's another one. Um, I'm pretty sure I need to... I need to drop both of these. Ooh, drop, drop. I need to drop both of these barrels. Yeah. So there's one. And I need to drop the other. Okay, I'm gonna juke him out. Yeah, if I go over here, I can drop this barrel here. It, it's going that way, right? Yeah, okay. And then I should be able to kind of go across that I can just quickly dodge him come on barrel man this barrel so slow you better get here before the other guy gets here all right and we can kind of go across oh there's a chest in the water but oh well whatever now there's a ladder over there I but this is where we're supposed to go yeah so tighten it there we go so now we stop the water the water ain't fast no more. Yeah. I think that's what we're supposed to do. Uh, I guess we'll see, right? No! Okay, you know what? We have to fight one of these for video's sake, so you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and do it. I will go ahead and do it. But I'm pretty sure these things are... They're not, like, hard. They're fairly beefy, though. And they're very annoying with their abilities because they just like buff each other up for no apparent reason. And then they just don't buff me. Which is uber annoying. But they're also, they're kind of big. It's kind of annoying. So I'm going to really try not to fight them unless I have to. But of course, like always, I want to defeat every creature at least once. So get rid of these boys. See, that thing's not even... That thing's not even hurt yet. That, these things are pretty beefy, honestly. Okay, he's hurt now. But... They're also very annoying still. Alright, hit him with that three, please. Nice. Get rid of him. Okay, let's see how Car strong is. We haven't fought with him yet. Let's see how big... Oh, okay. He's pretty strong. Okay. He's not as good as Surge. Not... Not even close. But he's pretty strong. Let's see what Surge does. Yeah, Surge is quite a bit stronger. Dude, is he seriously not dead? Bro, why won't you just die? But Surge is quite a bit stronger still. Uh, but that's kind of natural. Uh, because... Obviously, Surge is with the party this entire time. And most boss fights, he's usually the last one to live. 
So some characters missed a couple boss fights here and there. Surge never did. So that is why he is a little bit stronger than the rest. But that's no matter. Let's walk through here. Ooh, I need to run past this. I need to juke this thing. Yes, go that way. Bam. I think I need to go up here. That's my best guess. Oh, wait. I might as well... Oh, that thing. I don't want to fight it, but I want to get this chest. Oh, okay, I'm pretty sure that is a material that will be used for future armor and weapon making. That's really good. Okay, so... We came up. Let's go... I think this is the wrong way to go. I'm pretty sure there's a simpler way to do this. But whatever. I'm already, like, on my way there. Might as well. Yep. And the water should have stopped flowing now, so that's good. So, ugh, stupid thing. Pretty sure... No! Seriously? Bro, you gotta be kidding me. Alright, so if this doesn't work, we might have to... Because I'm pretty sure we closed it. If this doesn't work, we might have to open it. But if we just run... Oh, okay, we did. Okay, it does work. That's what we were supposed to do. Ah, oh, man, I don't want to fight this thing. Move. Oh, juked. Okay, good stuff. Let's see, where do we go now? This is a room over here. Nope, okay, I guess it's not. What's over here? Do some trick to opening it. Okay, so we have to pull some valves. We have to open some valves to do that. So let's open this. Okay. I don't know what that's supposed to do. But, okay, let's go over here. Let's see if there's something else we can pull. Yes, we can pull this. Uh, let's open it. What does that do? Okay. I don't really know what that was supposed to do. I guess we will see. I mean, I guess that's the point of puzzles, I guess. I mean, it's a puzzle. Let's go through here, see if what we did is is right. We'll figure it out if it's wrong. Okay, can we not even go? Bro, that dude can walk in it. Oh, no, the water's flowing this way. Okay, so we have to... Maybe we have to change it. Let's, let's try doing the opposite and seeing what happens, I guess. So let's try open it. What happens if we open it? I don't think that changes anything. Okay, I won't open any further. Mm. And that should bring us... Yes, that one. Okay. So that's what we needed. And then let's run past this boy. Yeet. Then we'll be able to go down. Go into the right place. And then there's a ladder back up to retighten it. Okay, so yeah. These these uh, puzzles are fairly easy, honestly. Uh, these puzzles were a lot harder when I was like 7 and 9 and then 12. I'm just guessing that's when I played this game. I played this game like three or four times, but it was a lot harder back then. All right, let's try to juke him. Is this the thing? Okay, no. <laughs> it looks shiny. I thought I could grab it. But yeah. Ooh. I don't want to fight you. I'm pretty sure we go over here. Go up here. And then we open it. Yep, there we go. <laughs> to reveal that. And then we go back down. And now we can go through here. Look at that. We're geniuses. But remember that bug that Norris was talking about. Yes, that is that bug right there. So let's go ahead and uh, do it up. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum, bum. This, this bug can't be too hard to defeat, right? How hard could it be? Says everybody. This can't be too hard. Nice, we added a few good times. What is it? Oh, it's blue. 
So we don't want to hit it. Hit it with that photon beam, you know? With that Kame, Kame, uh, you know, just right in the face. Ooh. Nine? Okay. How much damage does it do? Ah, only 43. Weak. Actually, it's not that weak, but you know what? Whatever. Hit it, hit it, hit it. And then... Don't want to hit it with Ice Blast. Uh, let's hit it with... What is this? Fire Pillar? Let's hit it with that Fire Pillar. Fire Pillar should be good. Do a decent amount of damage. Oh, 144. Okay, I like it. Let's get Karsh up in here. Jitterbug. Oh, boy. So this is its special ability. Okay, it does a good bit of damage. I'll give it to him. I'll give it, give, give it that. No, I didn't mean to attack again. Okay, well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Oh, God. Okay, let's go to Lynx. Let's attack one more time. Oh, okay. Ooh, maybe I should have healed. Maybe I should have healed. Okay, no, actually, it'll hit Lynx. He'll survive. Ooh, that hit quite hard, but I will survive. Okay. I'm pretty sure Karsh can heal now, right? Actually, I should probably heal with Carl. Carly, since she has the most healing power. Yeah, let's heal all. Yeah, she's the she I think on the team she's best at healing overall. Yeah, 200. Everybody else would have done about 100, which I guess in hindsight wouldn't have really mattered. But, you know, whatever. Miss, 44. Oh. He's one of those bosses that hits multiple times. It's kind of annoying. I was hoping, or I was thinking that the thing would, like, shoot out its bugs. Then I could use Feral on, like, like wipe them all out quickly. But I guess it's not that type of boss. That's why I was holding out on Feral Cats. But I guess at this point, if it doesn't do that, I might as well just wipe it out. No reason to wait. 1-6, that's pretty good. Hopefully we kill it here? I don't think we will. But it'd be cool if we did. Let's hit her with the 87. Oh, and there it goes. Sorry, buddy. Gotta do it to you. Bum, 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 bum. Cool stuff, cool stuff. Uh, let's make sure we heal in case there's another fight. Now let's keep going. Oh, there's three ways we can go up. And remember, these are all prison cells. So one is Fargo. Arg, what the hell am I doing here? I missed the smell of the old sea. Yo, wake up! Something's down below. Is anybody there? I right, hold on a bit. Eve. So there's Fargo. That's kind of cool. I wonder if he'll join the party now. Shiver me timbers, Lynx. Just calm down. Do you really think Lynx would be here? He's right before my eyes, ain't he? It isn't Lynx. Uh, you're pulling my leg. Hmm, it's strange that he'd be here. But I'm honored you would come to save me. I owe you one. We're not here to rescue you. We're here to rescue the daughter. Oh, is that so? Well, he ended up saving me anyway. Let me help. You know where General Viper's daughter is? I, a young lass, was taken to the cell next door. Uh, here, take the prison key. Oh, great. <laughs> okay. And bam, we just open. I'm gonna go free the others and make the escape. Good luck to you. All right, cool. Y your boy Fargo's just doing his thing. Wait a minute. Isn't this where she's supposed to be? Um. How did I end up in here? Yeah, I don't know. Um. Oh! Uh, she's supposed to be in there, I think. Alright, guys. So, I think it's gonna be the end of this episode, guys. So, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and comment as a personal channel. And I'll see you guys later. God bless and goodbye. Hey, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Chrono Cross. I think this episode we're going to be saving Lady Riddle and fighting some things. So let's just get straight to it. Hopefully I healed everybody. I think during the last fight I did 
end up healing. But yeah, uh, that doesn't look good. Uh, the man is our secret weapon, Hell's Cook. You are the cook Orcha. What have you done to him? We have had him eat some uh, some seeds found in the Hydra Marshes. It has the power to release one's dark side. After that, we just ring a special bell, and next thing you know, we have Hell's Cook Orcha. How horrible, but why Orcha? We needed him to steal the dragon. dragon's tears from Goldob. Of course, his true self has no idea what he's done. Now prepare yourself. Who knows what this crazy man will do. Dude, that guy won't do nothing if I'm here. Lady Riddle, I've come to save you. You are Sir Lynx, but why are you here? Actually, this man ain't Lynx. What? <laughs> it's too hard to explain. We're just here to take Riddle back. Bro, you really want to fight. Uh, don't you go interfering with my cooking. Actually, you'll make a fine ingredient for my soup. Let's get cooking. Dude, let's get cooking, bro. This guy's going down. No problem. I'm pretty sure he's either a dark type or a fire type. I'm guessing he's a dark type. Is, let's see, is he dark type? No, he is a fire type. Okay. Well, we're gonna beat him either way. It's better, actually, that he's a fire type. Because I can use my abilities. Real question is, why is he so short? I didn't realize he'd be this short. Let's go ahead and use Ice Blast. This should hurt him quite a bit, honestly. Bam. Ooh, 200. Nice. Hit him with that, too. Oh, I missed the two. That's buns. Okay. His attacks are uber weak, actually. Aw, oh, seriously? Alright, let's go over to Karsh. I'll let Harl get her stamina back. Oh, good hits. Ah, oh, I take that back. Let's use Dragon Rider while we're at it. We've actually never used the secret move, because we haven't fought with him that much, so... This is his special Dragon Rider. There you go. Hit him with that two, and then hit him with that three. Nice. Good hits, good hits. Fireball. That w won't really do anything. Okay. Um, let's use Feral Cats on him. He's not a dark type, so it won't really matter. Yep, yeah, and this should do quite a bit of damage. Pew, 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 pew. Almost 200. That's pretty good, actually. So let's get Harley. One, two, three. And then, yeah, actually, we ha we don't use this move very often, so let's go ahead and do it up. Once again, he's not a dark type, so this is fine to use. A lot, a lot of bosses have that one thing where if you use an element of their type against them, it'll heal them. So it seems like all RPGs have that. So you always want to kind of be careful. Oh, 400. That's busted. Holy crap. You know what? Let's just go ahead and hit that dude right in the face. 60. Ooh. Okay, that hurt a little bit. That hurt a little bit for sure. What we're going to do... We're going to do a Cure Plus on Harley. Let's do this. Heal her up. There we go. Just enough. Good hits. Ah, uh, okay. Not a good hit. But we can use another one of his abilities that we've never used before. So let's go ahead and use it up. So this basically, I think that hits multiple people. But that damage from multiple people is pretty good. So yeah, he seems to have a very special interest in Harley. For some reason. That's fine. Uh, we can use Ice Blast against them. This will be pretty strong. Now, see, this boss is fairly easy. I don't know if he gets any harder, but so far he's... Nah. He's already weak. I mean, I don't know if he goes nuts when he's hurt. At this point, this guy is fairly easy. He's... He doesn't hit very hard, to be honest. Even when he does hit very hard, it's kind of like, oh, okay, well, uh... Good for you, buddy. Good for you. Now, let's just go to Karsh. Aw, oh, you missed. Can I hit that other 80? Good. And then, you know what? Let's go to Lynx. Let's use a heal all. Just in case he pulls out something nuts. Might as well be better safe than sorry. And he should be dead pretty soon, honestly. This is fairly easy. Let's use Moonbeams. This won't do too much damage, but it should do a little bit. Maybe enough to take him down. I really don't think so, though. 
Yeah, spice life. All right, we've never seen this before. What is? Oh, this. Oh, seriously? Only a hundred, dude. Step up, step up your game, dude. I just hit you for your healing damage in one little turn. You step up your game. That spice of life would have been a really bad ability if it healed about 400 to 500. Then yes, that would have been quite a bit of trouble. But nope. Let's see. Sir Lynx has go Sir Lynx has gone mad. I told you, he's not Lynx. Oh, I have a feeling I've done something terrible. They saw me gloating as a weakness and used me. I need more discipline. It's true. He ate. I want to make it up to you. I want you to take me with you. I want to help. Sure, bruh. Yeah, come along. Now we got to cook. I like it. I'm not, I'm not going to use the cook, obviously, because Karsh and Harley are great. But yeah, there we go. We have saved Riddle. I will take it upon myself to make sure Riddle leaves the premises safely. Please distract the soldiers while we make our escape. I would like to thank everyone from the bottom of my heart. I shall be heading to Hermit's Hideaway to take care of my father. Please be sure to stop by when you get a chance. Don't worry about us. I'll make sure to wipe out all these poor buffoons. Thank you, Karsh. What do you plan on doing after all this? I will be returning here. But why don't you join us? Thank you, I am honored. However, as a soldier of the poor military, I cannot abandon my country or my men. I'll be fine, thank you. I love how Lynx just said he's going to kill all his soldiers, and then he's like, yeah, best of luck. That's, uh, ugh. We must hurry. Goodbye. Alright, peace out, homie. Alright. Do we have to go this way? I think we have to distract them by... Yeah, by doing this. And I didn't save. Oops. Did I even heal? Where might you be off to, Sir Lynx? I guess we can't tuck our way out of this one. Seize them. Okay, well, I guess we'll get to fight after these. Uh, we'll get to heal after these ones, so. But I didn't save, which worries me tiny. I won't die. I'm, I'm not going to die. But it would suck if we did tiny bit. Dude, these poor soldiers are weak, man. Yeah, only 22? Let me get that out of here. Let me get that feral cats up in here. You guys are weak. And then I'll just get Harley to her illuminator or whatever, and it's, it's GG. Bam. Oh! 300? Boy, okay, we could probably just take him down with our basic attacks, honestly. Ah, oh, come on, why you gotta attack? Just let me kill you. Don't attack. Don't miss. There we go. Good stuff, good stuff. Bum, 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 bum. Alright, did I heal? I was clicking too fast. Arg, hmm. Hey, you're up. Hey, alright, let's do this. You are strong, but grow big, grow bike, whatever, man, is stronger. He is not, and I shall prove that to you right now. Let's go. We're gonna be facing boss after boss after boss, by the way, guys, so prepare yourself for a great episode. That's all I'm saying. Okay, so he is dark. Bam, dude, get that out of here. He hits quite a bit harder than the poor soldiers. I'll give him that. Let's use an ice blast on him. One, two hundred. Jeez. Okay. Oopsies. Controller broke. Okay. I think we're good. Oh, I can't hit him very hard. Um, let's just keep ice blasting him though. Does a decent amount of damage. That's all that matters. 200. Jeez. Rocket Fist. This is a really cool move. He literally shoots his rocket at your face. Doesn't do that much damage, though. But he is a cool character, though. I'll give him that. Oh, come on, bro. Alright, good, good hits. Let's use Aerial Axe. 
and I'll wait until he hits someone else with something to heal. And if he does do something crazy, I do have a revive, so that's fine. Get him. Oh, I missed. He's gonna go hit Harl. He just slapped her. Okay. Well, that's enough for me to heal, probably. Good hit. Um. You know what? Let's go to Harley. One, two, three. And then we could use a uh, heal all. There we go. And that should be able to take Karsh and Harley out of like death range of like a single attack. Hair cutter. Oh man, I should have. Actually, no, wait. This might have saved them. Air cutters are pretty like hardcore attack. Oh, I thought that was gonna be hardcore. That was weak. What? Bro, this guy disappoints me. I thought I was gonna have to like do something crazy. Oh, come on. Boom, boom, boom. Nice. And sergey has been hitting his shots lately. I like it. He doesn't all. Oh, photon beam. I forgot that he's black. Let's go up and do up that photon beam. Boom. 148? Okay, I thought I'd do more, but. Oh, come on, bro. Why you gotta miss? I just go to Karsh. And I think Karsh has some healing. Oh, oops. Heal all. Okay, he's just gonna heal himself. That's how much could he heal for? Oh, yeah, that's actually a pretty big number. Actually, that's kind of funny. I was about to heal all myself, too. Look at that. Coincidence. Alright, let's go ahead and go to Harley. Hello, controller. Okay. Thank you, controller, for... Bro, this controller is whack. There we go. And... Let's use another Ice Blast. Ice Blast just seems to work pretty good, so you know what? If it ain't broken, don't fix it. And that's basically everything you healed, so... We're back to our starting position. Man, he's still not weak, seriously? Just die, please. Here, hit that 80. Nice. 85. Ugh. Whatever. Let's hit that 81. Okay. Good stuff. Vigoro, what does this do? Does that increase his attack? I don't even know what that did, but you know what? I don't like it. What we're gonna do? We're gonna seal all. You know what? I don't want him to use something. So you know what? We're gonna. He's not. He ain't. You. What? It missed him? Oh my gosh. So I can't use the elements. But he can. What kind of bull is that? I just... I just goofed myself. Oh, well. It happens. Ouch. Can I not heal? Dude, okay. Chill. Chill. Bro. Bro, chill. Does that mean I can't even heal? Dude, I can't even heal. I hope that goes away very soon. Because I literally won't be able to heal myself. You know, I'm gonna go to Harley. I'm gonna defend. Oh my god, I might have just screwed myself over. Oh my god. I'm gonna... Oh <laughs> no. Mistakes have been made. Yeah, I'm gonna leave Harley defending. Karsh and Lynx will be fine. Still can't use stuff, so I guess we'll just defend. I'm really hoping he doesn't hit Harley again. Okay, he hits Karsh. That's good. Though, although he's going to hit him like a... Okay. Well, he's not going to hit him a million times. Nice. Good hit. Oh, he's low. He's low. It's a good sign. Is she... I want to make sure I'm defending with her. Good hits. Let's go to Lynx. Continue our barrage. Okay. Oh, uh, don't hit Harley. I think that's at. Oh, yeah, that's at Lynx. That's fine. 
That is no problemo. Let's go to Karsh. Yeah, let's go ahead and heal all. Make sure we're all good. There we go. Okay. Now we can finish this guy off. Alright. Come back to Harley. Oh, I missed. Nice. Good hit. Let's go to Karsh. Karsh is pretty strong, man. I like him. Not as strong as Surge, but respect. Oh, I was gonna hit him another time. Hair cutter. Alright, this doesn't do much damage. Only does about 100 to each. It's not that big of a deal, honestly. I probably should heal, but he's gotta be dead soon, honestly. If he's not dead soon, I'd be surprised. Yes, there he goes. Okay, I was hoping he wouldn't do like a final move to kill one person and then they don't get XP. That would suck quite a bit. Alright, cool stuff. Let's make sure we heal. Because, spoiler, we have another fight in coming. Hey, where are you? Dang. Hehe, <laughs> it's time for this baby. Now go and destroy them. Yeah, you've made a mistake, buddy. Move it. Bro, why you gotta kick a death machine, bro? What are you doing? This guy's an idiot, bro. There's a machine of death over there, and he's kicking it. Alright, dude, let's, let's, let's do it. I told you guys, last episode, we'd probably be fighting it. Now the prophecy has become true. We are fighting it. And this thing is quite hard, in my knowledge. Bro, don't, don't dodge. What are you? He's yellow. Okay, we're just gonna go over to Har Harley. One, two. He's a bit stronger. Hot edge. How, how bad is this? How bad could it be, right? Ooh. Jeez. Alright, family. Here plus Karsh real quick. Know what I'm saying? Okay, it didn't kill him though. That's good, it didn't kill him. That's all that matters, right? Karsh gave him a good little beating right there. Alright, how much base damage does he do? That's a real question. Aw, oh, it's not that bad. Unless he like does again and again and again and again and again. That's not that bad. Let's go ahead, and I won't make the same mistake by using seal all on a boss, because it clearly does not work on bosses. And I guess in hindsight, that'd be that's probably a good idea, because if I just stop bosses from using elemental attacks, they would be really easy, especially in the late game. So in hindsight, I probably should have realized, oh, they probably just made it where seal all just doesn't work on bosses. Alright, oh, is that thing already weak? Man, I thought this thing was gonna give me a fight. I'm just gonna hit it with that three. Easy. I thought this thing was gonna give me a fight at least. No, apparently not. Alright, you can hit Harley all you want, but you're still about to die. Oh, come on, you gotta hit, you gotta hit that three piece. Alright. Good damage. That's oh okay, that's it. Easy. Two HP. Oh, did I heal? Okay, everyone's healed up. Good. And we got a piece of mithril that we don't really need. Alright, so the robot is down. Oh, the robot is not down. I thought we already destroyed it. Over here, oh, it must be a new type. Na, 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 na. Oh, I guess it's following us. That sucks. By the way, I'm not controlling the thingy right now. It's basically doing it all on its own. 
Yeah, this robot is following us, and it clearly doesn't want us to live. But uh, there's an issue there because I want to live. <laughs> what up, old guy? It's right behind us. Go, go up. Keep going, dude. It's gonna kill the old man. That's you want to just leave an old man defenseless? No, we're trapped, bro. Get that ladder down. What do we do? We don't have time. Are we fighting it again? Oh, we gotta fight it again. Oh, jeez. Okay. I'm down to fight it again. Let's do this, alright? Bro, who do you think you is? Does it hit harder this time? No, it hits like the same. Okay, we're just gonna have to defeat it again. How boring is that? I think it's yellow, right? Hit it with that, feral cats. Yeah, I guess we'll just defeat it again. No problemo, my comprendo. Pew, 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 pew. 200, that's pretty good. This thing is just so much help, it's annoying. I know I can defeat it, it just takes forever. I just want it to die already, honestly. Boom. Bam. It's really only good move is that one hot blade move. That move is busted. Is this thing already weak? Or was that just an animation? Oh, the thing looks already weak. Let's use Dragon Rider. There we go. I like Dragon Rider. It's a pretty cool move. Get on a Dragoon and just hit it right in the face. Yeah, let's just destroy this thing. And then give it, give it an ice blast. This, this should hurt it pretty good. Bam. Alright, I was gonna say, please don't. <laughs> please don't extend this fight. Obviously, it's not gonna kill me. Just let me kill this stupid thing. Alright, let's use some consumables. There is a button that lowers the ladder down inside the bookshelf. Hurry, you have little time. Bam. Bro, I'm just gonna keep going up and up and up. It's just gonna keep following, my dudes. Oh well. Boom, boom, boom. It won't be able to make it up here. Nah, just kidding. <laughs> yeah, the thing will just jump. Alright, what up? Step aside. Don't be foolish. Bro, the dude's just... This guy is crazy. Is he about to cut the... He, bro, he's cutting the wire. <laughs> Yeet. Unbelievable. Over there. They're up there. We got them now. This is endless. Break through the window. Do it now. Alright, let's do it. We just broke through somebody's beautiful glass window. Hey, look at that. We landed right in the Dragoon Pit. What the? Where did you come from? Sir Lynx. Sounds like you ran into some trouble up there. What are you gonna do? The poor soldiers are all over the place. I'll take them all on, my dude. Don't be reckless. I haven't yet. Leave it to me. Oh. My dude's got a great idea. Over there. Huh? What is that noise? 3, 2, 1. Ha ha. Peace out, my dudes. <laughs> Just kinda booping every single soldier. Sorry. Thanks, Drag. What are the things called? Like, stable guy? That is great. You. Why did you save us? You oppose the poor army. Robot. Robot. You don't call him Robot. Finds it interesting. Robot only takes orders from one who is stronger. Thus, Robot will join you in your battle, too. Let's do it. Honestly, this guy is one of my favorite characters. I love this guy. I actually, I used them in my first run through. Right now, I'm not going to use him because he's black. And I also have Harley. She's black. And Lynx, also black. I don't want to have a team of three black characters because if there's like an uber hard white boss later, uh, that's a no-go. Uh, call upon Robot when you need help. Yes. Let's escape while we still can. Uh, let's head to Hermit's Hideaway. There should be a boat ready. Alright, let's do this. 
Hopefully we can come back here with that stupid flower thing for uh, the scientist, Lucia or whatever. Um, but, um, I wonder, okay, just because I'm curious, what happens if I go back to the manor? What happens if I go back? Can I get back in? We haven't received for sure, but there are some... So can I not go back in, bro? Dang it, so I won't be able to get that flower. Well, that kind of sucks. Okay, so, yeah. We have to take the boat to Hermit Sideway. So I guess let's do that, right? And, yeah, okay. I was going to say, I should maybe end off the episode here. But, maybe I could do, like couple points here at the hideaway what's the boat oh this is the pirate ship yeah we don't really need to do anything with that wait a minute i wonder if you know what before we go let's check if fargo is here it'd be cool if links uh the cam ain't here so just leave you lover bro okay so clearly fargo is not here maybe he is at the hermit's hide dude is it burning it looks like crusty. Burned out hermit's hideaway. Bro, it looks all crusty. The ground is here, but it won't be able to grow. Bro, what have you done? Oh, oh, I get it. They're inside of it. It burnt down, but they're in the side. Gotcha, gotcha. Halt. Hey, Gramps. <laughs> no radius. He's not Sir. I mean, he's not Lynx. So you mean to tell me that you are really Surge? Yep. Yeah. Hmm. This is hard to take in so suddenly, but I do not sense Lynx's evil in you. Yeah, bro. Um. Thank you. Thank you for saving Miss Riddle. Blah blah blah. Right, let's see what's going on over here. Thank you kindly for everything. Can I like? Uh, I owe you a debt. So I would like to fight alongside you. Yes. Here we go. Miss Riddle has joined our party, so there is another character. Of course, we'll keep her name the same. Um, yes, let's rest. I think I think that's what we're supposed to do, right? Yeah. I think we're gonna end up doing it either. Oh, and there's trouble. What the? They have come. You look much better, Daddy. Sorry to worry you. All thanks to Marcy. Sorry to trouble you like this, Marcy. Looks like I worried everyone as well. Bro, we're about to get in some fights. Ah, dang. Show your face, Lynx. Your nine lives are up. I recognize that voice. Indeed, that is Surge, I think. Kid. Oh no, it's Kid! Wait, Surge. Alright, guys. Here's what we're gonna do. We're going to end off the episode right here, guys. Thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and comment as well as the channel. And I will see you guys later. God bless and goodbye.